Gaudi is the curator at the American Natural History Museum in New York. So if David Grimaldi, curator of the American Natural History Museum in New York, if he can't get hold of this material and is essentially tapping out and saying, look, it's too frustrating. The Chinese get all the best pieces. It is too frustrating. I, I, I can't get hold of it anymore. If he can't get hold of it anymore, how, with all the financial backing of the American Natural History Museum, how on earth can you and I, from the UK, how on earth can we be expected to have a shot? And this is why you've never had access to this material before. This is why you have never had access to this material before. It is, it, it, you're just not allowed. You are not able to get access to it. And, and I'm not even able to get access to it. The American Natural History Museum can't get access to it. It's just, it, it, it's impossible. During a more recent craze among Chinese buyers, amber prices reached a record high of $450 a gram. That is hundreds of times the price of gold at the time that that article was written. Even today, even today, that makes this material, and we know amber is famously light, it floats, it makes it $90 a carat. Wow. Rough. Rough pieces, $90. It's more expensive than gold. That hasn't happened since the Roman times, that amber has achieved a price higher than gold. And to put that into perspective, the, the, the author of this particular article, they, um, they asked for about a cubic inch of amber. Now, when Marius has come here, he's brought some big pieces of amber. Yeah, so, yeah. so, you know, I'm not talking a giant piece here. I'm talking something like this size, something like this. This kind of size. Marius has brought you bigger ones. I know that he has. $15,000. And that's from Matthew Downen, who is the doctor, doctoral student talking about, uh, or, 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 or who, who wrote this, this, this academic article. $15,000 for pieces of amber, the size of which Marius has brought you here, the difference between one is from the Baltic and one is from Burma. When it comes to Burma, the sky is the limit for the value of this kind of material. And the reason for that, you might be thinking, well, who on earth? Who on earth is paying $15,000 for a piece like this? Who on earth is paying more than the price of gold for this amber? And the answer, the answer is the traditional Chinese market. If you have a look at this, it's not one or two people. So they're recounting here uh, that some of those Chinese buyers, um, and they're discussing the, di the dynamic in the Chinese market. And there's a, there's a, there is an academic uh, in, who, who's referred to here as Jing, and Jing discusses buying it with, with, with his colleague Xiao. If neither of them grab that specimen, someone else in the small, deep-pocketed circle might. Someone like the, the Jia Fangyuan, who is a collector, a dealer, and an enthusiastic co-author of about a dozen high-profile papers who lives across the country in Shanghai, China. And he competes with Jing for the top specimens. You can see, this is, this is its own, it's exclusively Chinese material here. Mm. Jia spends roughly three quarters of a million dollars on amber a year. Three quarters of a million dollars of amber a year. And, and scientists like Wang have named species of, of cockroach, frog hopper, parasitoid, uh, parasitoid flies, caddis flies. Any animals that are trapped in the amber, they get named after, after Jia. His vast collection, he has to store it in a bank vault. What? Because of the value. Mm. <laughs> this is the kind of value we're talking about with the Burmese amber. It has to be stored in a bank vault and you're investing three quarters of a million a year in this material. The same source, the same kind of stuff you are about to get access to for the first time ever in jewellery maker history. Have a look one more time, because they talk about his favourite piece. His favourite specimen, he says, is a perfectly preserved insect, a praying mantis that he bought for $22,000 for one piece of Burmese amber. One piece of Burmese amber. Wow. Let's come back to this article in a moment. That's as the situation was about 18 months ago. When I went to the region, when I, I was there in October 2019, that's how I found out about this source. 
I don't have photos of the amber being mined. And the reason is because we went to Tanai, but no mining was taking place. In fact, where we ended up picking up this particular parcel, we had to go uh, to the trading town just south of uh, Mietkinya. And that's where we were able to get hold of this material. Coming direct from, for, from the article from Matthew, from Matthew Dallin, the mines haven't produced any new amber in two years. And that was two years ago. That was to October 2019. As of October 2019, the mines haven't produced any new amber in two years. When it comes to gems that I'm able to bring you regularly, there are, there are stones that I'm going to try and keep bringing you uh, with, with, with some degree of regularity. But this Burmese amber on Jewelry Maker's 11th birthday this is not one of those stones, unfortunately. This is a one-off opportunity. I can't get hold of this material anymore. Whatsoever, I cannot get hold of this. This is everything from our vault. I've announced it on Gems TV. I've told, all the, I've told everyone, all the viewers on Gems TV, I've told them, this is the last show. This is the last parcel of Burmese Amber in the West today. Now, are you ready to see why this material is so special? Do you remember what I told you about how Caribbean amber is the youngest amber? So it's quite, it's quite, um, it's quite soft and therefore it's quite hard to work. The Baltic amber is the classic source and it can be cut into cabochons. If you were to go to the oldest source and the amber has more time to harden, has more time to fossilize, has more time to preserve that time capsule from 99 million years ago, this amber, being harder, allows you to do different things. In fact, it is the only amber on the planet I know of that we can facet. Have a look at this. Oh, gosh. No other amber in the world could deliver something like this. No other amber in the world is able to be faceted so that you experience brilliance from your amber. This is 100% natural, 100% natural material, and you are getting brilliance. We've never used this word before, brilliance, no. to describe an amber. Only Burmese amber can do it. This is the only parcel we have left anywhere, I mean here in the United Kingdom, I mean in our vault in Jaipur, we have zero rough whatsoever. This is absolutely everything. And you know what the best part is? We talk about rare blue amber. We talk about amber having special properties. 99 million year old amber faceted unlike any amber you've ever seen before but it also possesses the blue have a look <gasps> oh my goodness it's the same gem that you are looking at but these ambers formed 99 million years ago 100% natural even the baltic material can't boast this 100% Natural material from 99 million years ago fluoresces blue. It's got the blue fluorescence that mark it out as the most valuable amber on the planet. This is why, what you're witnessing right now, is part of the reason why people are paying more by gram than they are for gold. Wow. I was totally not expecting that at all. And this, this is why, this is one of the fastest sellers we have on our sister channel, Gems. Oh, um, yeah. It is the most valuable amber on the planet by weight more valuable than gold. Liam, we're gonna kick off our birthday show, launching Burmese Amber, launching the most valuable Amber on the planet. I'm gonna wish you at home the very, very best of luck. Best of luck. Oh my goodness me. Um, we're gonna open with a pear uh, cut for you. We don't have big quantities, like I say, it's the last of our vault. It is the last of our vault.
but I know today, I know you're ready for this. I know you can do it. I know for the first and last time ever, you can acquire genuine, natural Burmese amber certified throughout for you. Take a look. Oh my goodness, man. Every single one possesses that fluorescent property. Really? Every single gem. Look at the quality, look at the faceting. The phone lines are open and the race is on. Oh, goodness me. Um... So I make you jump then, sorry. <laughs> I made Adam jump. You just, whoo, you just, I just heard that come from the gallery. Oh, how amazing is today's show going to be? Oh, how excited, are you excited? Because we're truly, truly spoiled this morning. Um, not only do we have the utterly fabulous Jake Thompson joining us again from nine o'clock. We also have for the very first time, and we've been very much awaiting this, haven't we, Jory Makers? We're launching the fabulous Glenn Lara Taurus Cut to the JM world. Oh my goodness me. I mean, he truly is an absolute mastermind um, of all your lipidary uh, needs effectively. I mean, his work has been uh, exhibited globally. Um, he is internationally recognized um, and literally he's going to be Skyping from the USA into the studio live for the launch of the Taurus Cut. I mean, how incredibly exciting is that? Um, so that happens from nine o'clock when Jake uh, arrives here in the studio. Um, what's happening before and after that as well? Because in your eight o'clock hour, jewelry makers, now this is not viewer's choice. Everything that we're actually bringing you in this hour is not on a time restraint. So um, you do have because we're thinking, what we're actually thinking is that there's going to be a lot of items that we bring you today, uh, in this hour rather, that will go beautifully alongside additional items throughout the course of the day. Um, so Liam is just saying to me, uh, I'm going to put a load of items on pre-order, including, right, right, now, your kit exchange. They are back in stock. Do you know how long we've waited for these to be back in stock? Two years. Two years we've actually waited for these and there is not a single show that goes by where we don't have requests for the kit exchange board. Um, so now this is not just for your seed beaders, jewelry makers. This is perfect for all jewelry making aspects. I'll show you around it for those of you that haven't seen it before. Um, you'll, here we go. I've got one literally just here set up, literally opened up. And obviously you can put your goodies in the back. That's what our, all of our guest designers actually demonstrate from on the live show. Right, I've got three colors. We've got the pink, the purple, and we've got this teal or turquoise, yeah. Um, so yeah, already they are getting snapped up. The purple, by the way, 20 of the purple have already gone. In that, in that short time frame. That's how, how much you've wanted these. There it generally isn't a live show that goes past um, that we don't have requests for the kit exchange board. So they are back in stock. You can pre-order yours now. Do you know what else is, is, is available right now? This is a ama an amazing uh, early bird deal put together by yours truly, the fabulous Liam. Oh, they are gonna wanna all be together because they're magnetic. So a bundle 
of your three colours of your magnetic class. So you're getting three of the 925 sterling silver, three of the gold plated 925 sterling silver, sorry, one of those, and one of the rose gold. So five of your magnetic clasps um, all coming your way at a star by deal. So you can pre order those right now too, alongside lots of other sterling silver goodies that we've got coming up, jewelry makers. Um, so that's eight o'clock. Can I also mention that 11 o'clock I'm going to be joined by Tammy from Connoisseurs and she's going to be bringing you some brand new lines um, for all of your jewellery cleaning needs and that's not just finished jewellery that's you know at the end of the day we have to look after things like our findings and precious components um, so yeah she's bringing brand new lines at 11 she's joining me in the studio and then at 12 o'clock We've got all your Miori storage bags. So look, all different sizes, your pop-up Miori storage bags. We've got the small ones, we've got the medium and large, all coming your way. They're lovely, aren't they? Um, and literally, look, can you see? They fold down your little pop-up storage box. We've got them in different patterns and different colours. Very apt, don't you think, the one that I reached for? Very apt because those of you that don't know, we're actually celebrating our 11th birthday here at Jewelry Maker. 11 years. 11 years. I can also announce yesterday's winners because we're giving prizes away every single hour. Um, yesterday, our winners were Maria, well done to you, Maria Souza. Uh, you won the 8 o'clock giveaway, which was um, the Sterling Silver Spaces, um, the Stardust Spaces. At 9 o'clock, um, our winner is uh, Tripti. Hello to you, Tripti. You won... That was the amber. Oh, yes, and the mount. Well done to you, Tripti. Um, at 10 o'clock, Julie Granger and Emma Wyatt. We've got two winners there. One of you will win a diamond. And one of you is going to win the, uh, the Burmese Sapphire. Wow. Um, I'm going to leave that to uh, whoever's arranging our kit prizes. So it's going to, either way, both of you winning big time. Um, hello to Marion Walker. You have won the Jadeite. Congratulations. That beautiful uh, um, heaven circle pendant. Uh, Luba, at 12 o'clock, you have won. What? Oh, the bead loom. Yes, the mega, a bead loom mega kit. Um, in the afternoon, your winners are Justin McCarthy. Congratulations. I don't know what you've won. Oh, that was Mineral Man goodies, wasn't it? Um, and Alison, I think you got Mineral Man goodies. At 3 o'clock, Carol Guy and Karen uh, Garner. I'm not sure what you won, but well done. Um, and at 4 o'clock, Sarah Elson. Congratulations, everybody. And guess what? If you're thinking, how, how do I get a chance of doing it? How do I get involved? All you need to do is purchase in each hour basically if you purchase multiple times that's multiple entries um, into the hourly prize giveaway um, amazing right amazing do you want to know what this hour's giveaway is now it should have been the magnetic clasps which we will do so there's a, a magnetic clasp giveaway and Liam has just decided he's going to throw him a b-board so literally what is that two 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 winners or one winner gets both Oh, what do we think? One winner or two winners? One, everyone's saying. The general consensus in the one winner for today is going to win the Kit Exchange B-Board and also the Magnetic Class. Right then, should we get cracking for what is going to be an absolutely awesome show? It's your early bird. Oh. I mean, I, I'll say it now, I, as I always do, a magnetic clasp is truly revolutionary. Now, just before I get into it, if you wear a pacemaker, then obviously do avoid because they, there is a magnet in there and quite a strong one at that. Now, why do we use magnetic clasps? Because have you ever, here's paint the scenario, have you ever to go to uh, try to put a bracelet on and you found it a little bit tricky and you always end up doing like what I call the bracelet dance, just swinging it towards you and, you can't, uh, and it gets really frustrating. Likewise with your necklace, um, this is going to change all of that. Um, if, you've, if you've maybe got dexterity issues and you find certain class a little bit fiddly, this is going to change all of that for you. I've literally got these added to every single necklace that I have in my jewellery collection. So, obviously you can make with them, um, but if you've got pieces of jewellery already at home uh, that you don't wear maybe because you find the clasp a bit fiddly, pop these on. So here they are, you're actually getting five in your early bird, three of the 925 sterling silver, um, and can you see there, this really beautiful spherical bead, one in the rose gold plated 925 sterling silver, and one in the yellow gold plated 925 sterling silver, measuring um, eight millimetres, so it, I mean if you imagine this with 
a string of pearls, just the, you know, the consistency that you're going to get, that beautiful consistency. And it's going to become really part of the design, not just a function. It's actually part of the, uh, the beautiful design that you're going to get. Now, already these are being snapped up. They really are revolutionary, don't you think, jewelry makers? You've got the two loops at either end that literally you could just attach onto or bead onto. You can use these with seed beading. I know that lots of our, our uh, guest designers actually prefer a magnetic clasp, um, maybe to something like a bolt ring because they are that much easier. Literally, just hold them. I'll show you. If I just move those out of the way, I'll go for the rose gold just because it's on its own. Now, so here we go. Just hold them. And I'm not looking now, jewelry makers. I'm not actually looking at the magnetic class. But if you hold them in the vicinity, they will literally find one another. And perfectly so. So here we go. Look. There you go. And your necklace or bracelet is literally on. Like that simple. Um, I remember the launch of these on our sister channel. Certainly all of our uh, fellow colleagues over on our sister channel use them to put pieces of jewelry on and off nice and quickly for the show. Um, yeah, and, and the same applies um, for us when we're actually at home. You don't want to have to be fiddling around with bolting class and some things like that. I mean, I'm not saying they haven't got their place. They have. But um, this is going to make life so much easier. Right. Do you know what this means? Do you know what this means? It's a minute to madness. The phone lines are going to go crazy. If I can suggest jewelry makers, please do shop with us by the app or the web um, if you have that ability. If you don't, then that's fine. Call our amazing call center. They are UK based and it is also a free phone telephone number if you're calling off your landline. But just to give you a heads up, there may well be a, um, a, little, a little wait. When we say wait, we're talking literally a couple of minutes possibly um, because it is going to be crazy busy today. Um, I, I actually am going to go as far as saying I think today is one of the most exciting shows of the entire event. The fact that we have got Glenn Lehrer um, joining us, Jake Thompson, we've got Kit Exchange, we've got your Miori board, uh, we've got, I mean, uh, literally, birthday deals galore. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, already those of you checking out, congratulations. Have we got a limited quantity of these then, Liam? Okay, yeah, there's only 150. If you do want to multi-buy, you absolutely can. A minute to madness, the time is up. Go, 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 if you haven't already done so. This is for all five. I remember launching these, actually, on our sister channel um, quite a few years back. Slightly different design. Theirs was more elongated, um, kind of like a, like a pellet sort of shape. Um, and they might have changed it since then. And they were about that price tag on the first launch, and that was for just one. You're getting five with us purely because it is the birthday event. And that is precious metal over your magnetic clasp as well. So you've really got that beautiful luster that's working out at three pounds and 99 pence each each per precious metal per precious metal magnetic class all of which are eight millimeters good morning to you all debbie hello to you veronica allison pauline eileen caroline hello to you james hello to you neil and linda maria anita kirsty uh julian warmly hello to you margaret kim maggie in london hello to you paul and new customers so many of you there make sure you check out your baskets because we only actually had 150 of these and do get involved give us a message because we're live here in the studio very 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 excited about this morning super excited Jake will be with us in just under an hour's time um, the biggest pro probably one of the most exciting gemstone cut launches history in fact there's no probably about it is there um, but make sure you get hold of all your birthday deals and don't forget there is the competition running every single hour this hour you may win the kit exchange beading board and the magnetic clasps. So you're gonna be well and truly stocked. I've got 99 remaining. That's it, that's it. It might sound like a big quantity, it's not. It really isn't because people will come in, as I'm seeing here, getting twos, threes, fours, sixes, fives um yeah well why wouldn't you because you're going to capitalize on the birthday savings of course you know they're an essential to anyone's stash especially if you're thinking about changing your own um sort of jewelry pieces you know because if you actually make these maybe to sell or gift you're then going to be thinking why don't i actually put that on my own jewelry um, have you ever been in that situation where you're rushing to go out you know I know and we will be able to soon hopefully you're rushing to go out maybe you're going for a nice meal or something like that and and literally you can't put your jewelry on so you end up not wearing it don't you good morning morning jane did you like our dancing by the way this morning did you join us join me on, my, on our facebook pages if i could share that everywhere i totally would because i have to say adam you stole the show you literally stole the show 
He's got some serious moves. Serious, serious moves. <laughs> Move over, line of duty. Move over. That's what it was inspired by, by the way. But yeah, really excited about this morning's show. Um, OK, OK, OK. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Um, Liam is saying he's putting some items up on pre-order. So if there's anything that you want, you can purchase it now. Um, if they are star buys, they may well go lower. But everybody is guaranteed that final low. Um, if there is anything that you would want to see, want or want me to show live on air, whilst this isn't viewer's choice as such, because that gives you a time restraint, um, we'll still bring it to air for you. So if there's anything that you want, um, currently on pre-order, the most popular item is the purple travel board. They say travel board. It's more than a travel board, isn't it? It's, it literally is. You put it on your you put it on your dining room table, on your workstation. It's literally here in the studio every single day. Um, so so yeah, they're flying out the door. Right, Liam says, Al's from British Pretty Auctions. Okay, Liam. Fast and pacey, Al, fast and pacey. He's not from London. No, he's from Stoke, actually. Leicester, sorry, 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 sorry. Here we go, Hinkley. Ah, lovely Hinkley. Um, this is beautiful. It's an inner magic to your opalite. A wonderful created gemstone that gives you, I don't know, it's almost quite spiritual appearing, I think. Uh, this beautiful uh, this beautiful strand. Lots and lots and lots of people um, have been loving the opalite, and I've seen it lots on the Wall of Fame. Looks really beautiful alongside pearls and shell pearls, contrasting it maybe with your monochrome um, treasures. Uh, let's go straight down. It is a birthday special. Your gorgeous 10 millimeter rounds. Opalite, yeah. As the name suggests, it's got real similarities to Opal as a gemstone. A beautiful performance of colour. Um, it is a created gemstone. Oh, I shouldn't say gemstone, sorry. It's a created... Uh, um um, material. Here we go. Let's say that. But very, very, very popular in the jewelry maker, uh, jewelry maker world. 250 carats in your 10 mil rounds. Um, hello to you, Ellen. Hello. Uh, saying morning, my lovely. What time will you be doing the travel boards, please? We're doing them at quarter to the hour, so half an hour, unless. It looks like they're going to be an on-screen sellout. So if we, we don't want them to sell out before we can actually bring them to air. Um, Liam is saying behind me, there's a birthday card. Ah, look at that. Now this has been sent in from the lovely Fran. Fran. That's beautiful. Thank you, lovely. Uh, with best wishes, happy birthday, congratulations. It's party time. Um, Liam said he did open it yesterday, but uh, literally got sidetracked. So we're showing it today. Thank you, Fran, for your beautiful card. That's very kind. Uh, you might have spotted it yesterday in the studio. There you go. We'll keep that one there. Bless your heart. It's your birthday too. Right, let's move on. Let's bring you a beautiful, genuine gemstone that will go gorgeously alongside your opalite. This is Unakite. Um, totally natural colours, a wonderful fusion. You know I always call it the, Mo the Monet gemstone. I think it's almost got the same brush strokes, uh, but not painted, literally Mother Nature created. Uh, a fusion of greens and also these beautiful blossom pinks. 10 millimetre rounds for 325 carats of natural Unakite. Loving the fact that we're actually seeing a little bit more of this beautiful gemstone it, back in the day we used to have it more plenty uh, more readily um, and then it kind of disappeared didn't it um, it's back in stock do you see where I'm coming from it's like a quintessential English country garden message in Liam is saying messaging and if you want what any dance requests for the future especially Adam especially Adam I think we need to get Adam on uh, on strictly come dancing with those moves, <laughs> you would breeze it, Adam. So, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and if you haven't seen the video, it's special. It is special. At $3.99 only, Pamela, Maureen, Caroline, Alison, Bertha, Jan, Sheila, Yorkshire, multi-buyers in this as well. Perfect for your Marla necklaces. If you multi-bought, you need three, I believe, for a Marla necklace. Um, you need three of them. Um, and just knot them in between, obviously, find your accent guru beads too. Um, well done. Already, in fact, I can see multi buyers there, so maybe you could choose uh, as your guru beads because it has to be quite a, a little bit different. Um, I believe it does anyway. Um, you could pick something which has got a similar colorway, maybe a green or, or a pink or one of those wonderful deep reds um, to create those guru accent beads. Moving on to, let's do. 
Oh, this is lovely. Oh my goodness me, I'm seeing some Glenlera pieces arriving. Wow. <laughs> Sneaky peek. A little teaser. A little teaser. Oh my goodness me, they're beautiful. Um, beautiful faceted magnesite that you've got here. If you're a fan of the colours of your uh, of your turquoise, I mean, obviously, if they were ten uh, if they were ten mil rounds like these, you'd be talking quite considerable um, price tag ordinarily. Uh, however, magnesite looks remarkably similar. Um, it has patterns and uh, um, matrix veining. It they actually refer to it as within the actual gemstone, and also can be dyed beautifully. It's, it absorbs wonderful colour saturations. You do get both strands. Um, not often we actually get magnesite especially in the faceted rounds so again I'm going to talk about things like Marla necklaces your knotted necklaces you know simple really simple beading or knotting um, they're pretty aren't they perfect for the summer months that are coming I know it doesn't feel like it right now um, it is it is it's been positively winter hasn't it winterly outside and everything freezing cold uh, $6.99 for the two strands hiya Kirsty uh, morning Al the 11th day uh, of birthday deals are haven't they They've been amazing. They have been absolutely unbelievable. And the giveaways, um, I think it's probably one of the most uh, the most exciting lineups that we've ever actually had through the birthday celebrations. So, yeah, and thank you for your part uh, participation throughout the, the birthday. It's not done yet. In fact, in fact, the final birthday show is next weekend on Sunday. Is that right? Or is it Saturday? Yeah. Next Tuesday. Technically Monday, but we're going to do an after party as well as all big events happen. And there's a big surprise. It, uh, it, like, literally huge surprise. Uh, there's going to be, potentially, we might have a message from Marilyn Monroe. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. We have got some people scratching their heads right now, not knowing what on earth I'm going on about. Um, okay, moving on to... <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I sh we should say somebody in the shape of Marilyn Monroe. Perhaps we should say that. Perhaps we should say that. These are beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Look at those. Gorgeous chalcedony. Um, in your delicate two mil rounds, two strands, gorgeous for your seed beading. You can use your genuine gemstones for your seed beading too. Um, uh, however, the passes, uh, so maybe, okay, let's rephrase that. You can use it for things like maybe a kiss cross. I think you can certainly use it for your like halo settings. Um, $6.99 for the two strands. Really, really beautiful. Delicate azure blue, you know, like a perfect summer's day sky blue. Cal Sedney has... Uh, a level of translucency, so you get this lovely glow. Hello, Michaela. Morning, lovely. Saw the Insta video. Love it. Uh, where's the lycra, luscious Liam? I know, I know, I know. I was disappointed he didn't turn up in his lycra this morning. Okay. Maybe one day, he says. One day, he's, he, says he, has to, he says he has to bulk up. <laughs> uh, for the lycra event that is good about that is going to happen by the way but we need to look at it maybe after the birthday event because there's so much going on right now um okay moving on to um don't you think that would have looked lovely by the way with your opalite that combination blue chalcedony and opalite currently half the stock on the kit exchange um the purple and the pink have actually already sold on pre-order so if you want the kit exchange we are keeping a very watchful eye but what i would uh, suggest is that you actually uh, um pre-order yours check out everybody's going to pay the fi final low whilst we've waited two years we actually haven't got massive quantity um, and by the way if you buy it you might actually win a second so how cool is that it's worthwhile having different one, uh, multiple ones because you might have different projects underway anyway right now for your gold plated 925 sterling silver jump rings um, absolute necessity so for example you know when we had the magnetic class and I'll bring the gold plated one over so if you wanted to complete that necklace so if you imagine you'd have a jump ring either side literally attached to the magnetic glass either side and then obviously you'd have your bracelet or your necklace coming from here you need a jump ring they are an integral part um, of any uh, any jewelry makers stash effectively um, and also great for things like your uh, um, chain mail this is a, a birthday bargain you're getting how many how many of them 
60 in total, two packs. Ours are precision cuts, by the way. Can you see how perfectly aligned where the separation is? They're open jump rings, obviously. So precision cuts means that they're going to literally join back together and you're not going to be able to see that, uh, see that join. And also, you don't want your beading thread potentially working its way through. So that's the difference between precision cut jump rings and literally just, uh, you know, hand cut jump rings. $14.99 for 60 of them. If you think in a, in, in a standard piece of jewellery, you're only actually going to need two. Um, if you do chain mail, then obviously you're going to need much more than that. Um, okay. This, oh, a minute to madness, Liam says, in this next opportunity. Absolutely. Because I tell you what, you're getting 100 925 sterling silver. Everybody always wants the 925 sterling silver jump rings. They're four mil, so arguably one of the most consistently requested size because they, you know, they just work, don't they? They're not too large to go with even some of your, slim, uh, your simplest and most petite of designs um, and likewise large enough to be able to house your carrot weights. Um, everybody requests the 925 sterling silver. Today is going to be absolutely amazing. I totally agree with you, Liam. A minute till the graphics actually appear. So you get 100 of your 925 sterling silver jump rings. How many do we have then, Liam? Only a hundred available. Um, only a hundred of these available, and you get a hundred jump rings as well. Um, I mean, you use a jump ring in earrings, you use them in bracelets, in necklaces, in chain mails, you use them, um, gosh, across, across pretty much most jewellery uh, um, construction, shall we say, most mediums that we actually incorporate. Okay, the graphics are live. Go, 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 go. This will sell out for sure. For sure. I can't actually recall. Do you remember, Joy Makers, the last time that we actually had a bundle of, of, of jump rings outside of maybe a, um, a chain mail show? I can't remember the last time I had a chain mail show, to be truthful. So yeah, you can actually use these to make things like Mobius rings, which is kind of three interlocking or more um, interlocking jump rings to create a really beautiful motif. Now, now, for 100 jump rings, 925 sterling silver, not your plate, not your base metals, £18.99 uh, only. Eighteen ninety nine only. Caroline, hello to Kirsty, Sharon, Suzanne, Kent, hello to Devon, Warwickshire, Debbie, hi Kirsty, hi Sharon, hello Jenny, hello Kimberly, hello to Kay. Stay, the phone lines are already busy, already busy. I've got forty left. Look at that quantity. Oh, you are up and you are with it. And if you're on the phone lines right now, back in stock. After two years of waiting, we have the kit exchange um, beading boards. Um, they're coming up in 15 minutes' time. Whilst you're on the phone or whilst you're on the, um, on the website or app, you can pre-order those too. Um, and prize giveaways. Goodness me. Goodness me. Right then, do I know what? The turquoise colour has taken over in the lead. So let me just show you the three colours quickly. I'll, leave, I'll turn them this way. All available on pre-order. We've got the three colours... But how many of each, Liam? Only a hundred of each of them. Oh, drat. That's not enough, is it? Um, so these have been flown over especially for the birthday. Um, I'll show you around the kit exchange board. They are absolute genius. Um, yeah, so we've had guest designers requesting inside information of when these are on. Um, saying, I need some, I do need some. And Liam was like, listen, listen, you've got to tune in as well you got to tune in too. Um, so yeah, these are available for pre-order right now. In fact, I'll keep them there, just there, right then. In the meantime, check out your baskets on the jump rings. In the meantime, let's do... Oh, Liam's bringing you all the essentials. Your sterling silver shepherd hooks. 20 pairs that you're getting here. Think about, think about you know, uh, um, your Taurus stones. Can you imagine actually wearing... Uh, the Taurus cut, Glen Lair Taurus cut, and turning them into earrings. And that's the potential here um, on today's show. For 20 of them, 925 sterling silver. And that's your classic shepherd hook. 29.99. Now that currently makes them currently makes them how much each? 150 a pair. That's not bad, is it? But I do also see the one minute to madness clock. <sighs> I do notice that Liam has every intention of taking them lower. Hello, Fiona. What colour does the winner get, please, Al? Oh, I don't know. 
Okay, purple. Let's go purple. The winner's going to get purple. Okay? But yes, because then if you're thinking I might be the winner, I'll get the different colour. I'll get a different colour because then I'll actually have uh, two of those kit exchange boards. So there you go, we've just announced it. The, the winner will receive a purple board. $29.99 currently for 20 pairs of 925 sterling silver shepherd hooks. Literally, you open and close that little loop at the bottom. A little wrap loop attached, whatever you wish, your pearl or um, <clears throat> maybe you're thinking about some of the beautiful pieces that, uh, that Jake brought us yesterday. Um, in less than five seconds, Seconds, Liam is going to drop that price. It is down to the birthday celebrations. Um, absolutely incredible birthday deals. They've been relentless, haven't they, in the best possible way. $9.99. That's not for five, by the way. That's for 20 pairs. 20 pairs of 925 sterling silver. It's working out at, what, 50 pence? 50 pence per pair. 25 pence per finding and it is precious metal we're not talking base metal here a classic shepherd hook i mean what do we use shepherd hooks for every single medium you can seed bead onto those you can do you can attach your, any of your gemstones onto there of course using a wrap loop technique um you can even create sort of your, your, your wirework macrame would be fabulous. You know, a, a classic shepherd hook so it creates a really beautiful drop. Um, very easy to wear, very easy to put on. And if, by the way, you do want earring findings, I need to also mention that Tammy is bringing um, what the, the lock, the the lock secure earring backs um they're being brought to air um in the 11 o'clock hour as well so diff totally different to your shepherd hooks totally different those are more for your studs these are obviously for your your drop earrings that's working out at 25 pence per shepherd hook that's pretty amazing isn't it keep on dialing through um michaela's messaged in for wondering who won yesterday congratulations to the winners so far um Okay, we can flash them up quickly because we did, we ran through them earlier on. Um, but here you go. Here's the winners. See if you can spot, see if you can spot your name on there. Um, Pre-order on your kit exchange. You can pre-order on those jewelry makers. They're already over half the stock. So we're keeping a watchful eye um, on when we actually launch these. You can uh, also, well, you can, you can pre-order on every single item. Is that right, Liam? Is that right? No, no. No, most of them. Um, so don't forget about your early bird. Here are the winners from yesterday, so see if you can spot your name. Congratulations if you are on that list. Some of you have won some absolutely amazing, amazing prizes. And if you've not seen a name on that list, don't worry, because we are actually giving prizes away every single hour. Um, and we've still got, what, six days. Every hour, six days, we're actually doing um, giveaways. And like diamond pendants. Uh, Glen Lara pieces. I don't know if Jake knows about that, or Glen for that matter. Um, anyway, okay. Uh, okay, there is going to be a giveaway during the Glen Lara uh, um, show. Everybody that purchased something will be receiving a special gift, but I'm not telling you what it is. You have to tune into the show. That starts at nine o'clock, so it's not too long to wait. Um, triple trouble, triple trouble, beautiful uh, combination of your sunstone and your appetite. Um, I mean, look at that. You could literally just twist them together, couldn't you? Maybe braid them. That would be a really lovely uh, design. Perfect for your Ashley Clark inspired stack of bracelets. Um, a two mil round. You know, um, they're delicate miniature sizes, but they create so much. You can actually use them in terms of spaces. Maybe you don't want to use your 925 sterling silver. You want to keep uh, keep it solely your genuine gemstones, and they work fabulously like so. Going straight down. That's three amazing strands there of three beautiful gemstones. Your sunstone with all of those beautiful internal. Uh, Adventurescence from um, mica, copper, even hematite inclusions within that gemstone that's natural. Appetite with those gorgeous sky blue uh, colors. All three, I haven't got to choose between them. Look at that. I mean, look how lovely that goes together. Sky blue and then sort of the blush tones um, of your sunstone. Um, check out those baskets. I really like that, don't you? I really like how, it's, how, how Adam has actually displayed it for you. Uh, moving on to, in fact, it will work beautifully with this next strand. That is the king of agates. Your beautiful Botswana. The quality of our Botswana is absolutely astonishing. Every single one will be completely and utterly unique. 
130 carats. Look, you get lovely bands, lovely patterns, uh, stories effectively within the gemstone and a fusion of colors from your natural earthy tones, taupes, and even some wonderful sort of very clean linen whites. Um, yeah, a Botswana ragate is referred to as the king of agates. It's totally and utterly natural, often uh, carries a much higher price tag um, than other agates. Not today though, um, because it is part of the birthday deal. It's something actually I think that both gents and ladies can wear and I also think it complements pretty much every gemstone that I could actually reel off um, because it's, it's quite sort of natural, complementary, um, nude tones. There's only four of these left, goodness me. Nude tones. Well, they are, aren't they? Compliments all different skin tones and all different colorways. $7.99. That's how quickly everything's selling out already, jewelry makers. So they've flown. Um, okay. Let's bring you... <gasps> oh, gorgeous lapis. Just going to move that board for one second. Look at this. Beautiful. I love the shape, the cut. Um, faceted flat pointers. I swear, I swear our buying team try and make me trip up on air with the descriptions that they have. <laughs> Faceted, f that could so easily go wrong, couldn't it? <laughs> Faceted flat pointers. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, Adam. Anyway, um, you have your beautiful <laughs> checkerboard faceted flat pointers um, that are top drilled that are top drilled really highlight that midnight sky from these beautiful natural lapis uh, lazuli's. Um, you have star-like inclusions that come from the, the presence of pyrite within this beautiful gemstone. Uh, did you say Surrey's messaged in? Hello Surrey. Uh, any plans for other kit exchange things in the future? Desperate for the panels and could do with another binder. Um, Not very. Uh, <laughs> Adam said, "Can you wink, Al? I'm rubbish at winking. I, I do have to open my mouth to wink. <laughs> Watch this space." Watch this space. I, I would be useless in my line of duty. I'm not very good at lying, to be, to, to be truthful, which isn't, which isn't a bad thing. Did you say 13? 13, did you say? Yeah, <laughs> he didn't say that clearly. Um, <laughs> here you go, your lovely lava kite. I adore this car. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Rondelles in the, uh, you know, not a single facet, but they're just gorgeous exterior shape. Re especially with things like lava kite and your labradorite, because you have that phenomenal effect. It almost allows it to kind of almost ricochet around the curves of the gemstones. So you get two strands of this wonderful, deep, mysterious. Um, it's so much more than a black gemstone, don't you think? It's like the most amazing turbulent sky um, and you have flashes flashes of silver from uh, the natural phenomena of lava kite so if you love your if you love your labradite if you love your labradite you will absolutely adore your lava kite it has this wonderful mystery and depth to it uh, that I find you know quite intoxicating I suppose 6.99 that's for two lava kite strands looks beautiful alongside lava rock as well um, amazing if you were to sort of completely uh, contrast it with some vibrant colors or maybe some of the most feminine colors like kunzite too hello sorry saying uh, haha thanks for the not so subtle answer can't wait I don't know what you mean. <laughs> it's the same as Tuesday. There may or may not be something really big happening. <laughs> and like I said, we may have an appearance from somebody <laughs> in the form of Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> oh dear me. Oh, someone's going to screen grab that, aren't they? And literally be like, oh no. Here we go. I do sometimes forget that I am actually on live television. I sometimes forget that. Um, anyway, right now my husband's watching like that. 
Um, here we go. Gorgeous Unikites. We had that amazing 10 mil strand earlier on. Um, these are your beautiful faceted 4 mils in your Unikite. Look at that. Really pretty. In fact, I'm going to bring the, four, the 10 mil strand back. So if you wanted to literally create a multi-strand layered piece, look how fabulously they complement uh, one another. Um, so, yeah, literally maybe pick out the, the blush tones with your beading thread or your knotting, uh, your nylon cord. That would be lovely. You're getting two of them, two of your your natural unikite and um, there's wonderful it is like a gorgeous garden isn't it I really can whenever I see it I visualize like a uh, um, a stately home you know they're perfectly manicured gardens and rose beds and things like that I literally see it in this gemstone six pound fifty gets you the two strands of your four mil rounds 80 carats in your in total make sure you check out your baskets because by the way if you purchase this you're also in with a chance for the prize giveaway um, every if you purchase no matter how many times you purchase you will be entered that many times into the prize giveaway so that's worthwhile isn't it okay move, and we'll announce the winner tomorrow morning um, moving on to Oh, a huge bundle of your nuggets. I've got Unakite in here as well, lovely Unakite. One, Botswana, two, and your Moss Agate as well. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Um, your 360 strands, they measure approximately 84 centimetres each. So, again, so much potential. What I love about your nuggets, it, nuggets is that you can actually create so much texture. That's for the three strands. An absolute birthday giveaway deal. I mean, I remember the day. This was prior to Liam. Liam, you wouldn't get one of those strands for that price tag, let alone three. Um, but Liam turns up. He swoops on in here. And look, yeah, look at what he can do. Goodness me. That's less than two pound per genuine gemstone 360 strand. You can use these on memory wire, elastic, cords. Um, you can create those beautiful crochet style necklace. They are flying out the door. I'm not surprised at less than two pounds each. Um, yeah, Botswana, I'd pay that for the Botswana. I'd pay that for the Unikai. I'd pay that for the Mossage on their own. But you're actually getting all three of them there. Um, but it is, like I said, birthday deal. Hello to you, Magali. Hello to you. Pauline, Bertha, Eileen, hello Caroline, Sue, Pam, hi Alison, hello Susan, Isabel, Herefordshire, Jax, you're there as well. Do check out your baskets. Um, keep on dialing through. I'm moving on so I can bring you more goodies. Let's do. Uh, hang on. Yes. Go oh. Liam, can you tell me what this is going to? Go on. No way. Russian chrome diopside. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at the quality. Totally and utterly natural. I mean, all joking aside now, this, it, it, it's, it's almost impossible to get hold of chrome diopside because, A, the remoteness of, uh, of the actual mine location. Um, also, the fact that it's only ever mined a very short window, a small window uh, in, in any one year because of the weather conditions. Um, this is totally natural, and it tends to form in almost granular sizes. So to get anything of any substantial size to be able to warrant faceting these four and five mil uh, beads, that's exciting. That's really exciting. They're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? zero color zoning. Do you notice how they're all uh, maintaining that vivacity, that beautiful energy? Love the fact they're in rounds. We very seldom we very seldom see chrome diopside in rounds. Um, Liam has just said, we've got the 60 second clock ticking. Um, we're not stopping anywhere near what's on your screens right now. I mean, this is luxury. Jewelry makers, they refer to chrome dioxide as every, you know, the million dollar emerald. It was actually discovered in this location in 1998 and it sent ricochets of excitement around the globe um, because, um, because, well, look, look how breathtakingly beautiful it is. You can get diopside in different locations, but the Russian chrome dioxide mine is renowned for being the finest. Um, in 30 seconds, we are going so much lower than what is already on your screen. Um, if you are a, a, a collector, a connoisseur of your gemstones, then for sure this is something that's going to be pulling on your heartstring. I mean, imagine what you can do with it. A few of your lovely 925 sterling silver spaces, be that gold, be that uh, rose, be that the, the actual uh, white metals. Look how beautiful that would actually be. No way near where 
we're actually closing. Those of you that have made your confirmations already, congratulations. I mean, that's beautiful, isn't it? In between some gorgeous pearls, they're gonna radiate that electrifying, totally natural green. What on earth is that? Um, to be bringing you 60 carats of natural Russian chrome diopside. I would suggest jewelry makers maybe actually getting your certificate of authenticity. You can get diopside in other places. Still beautiful, don't get me wrong, and I'm not being derogatory to those locations, but it's like, you know, Jake was talking about amber yesterday. Um, this is like, Burmese amber is the oldest, the most valuable. Russian chrome diopside is certainly the most globally desired, certainly the most documented as being the finest, um, but sadly, very little of it actually comes um, into, into availability. $29.99 only. You've got a full strand, which measures 38 centimeters. I remember when a, a, a chrome diopside, Russian chrome diopside opportunities would be, if we were lucky, 20 centimeters, wouldn't they, jewelry makers? Because it is absolutely a gems, gems of distinction. It is absolutely a collector's opportunity. Now, our, our team, I know our founder and also a few, uh, I think Jake actually went as well, uh, to the Russian dioxide mine and um, they actually there's videos of it where literally Steve, Steve is saying it's like granular it's literally granular um, uh, what Russian dioxide actually tends to sort of be uh, um, extracted as you've got big and the, and the yield by the way the loss that you lose during the cutting process amazing well done everybody congratulations that really is a collector's uh, opportunity one not to miss if it's in your baskets again don't forget that also enters into you, you into the prize giving away but even if you are not successful I have to say um, you've just got yourself a huge collector's gemstone um, okay it is time it is time I don't know why I went into that voice but anyway um, two years waiting patiently patiently waiting but there's probably not a single live show that goes by where our producers don't get a message for these the kit exchange, it's back. admired the boards that our guest designers demonstrate on um, perhaps you've seen some of your fellow jewelry maker colleagues actually carrying these now is the time to be acting because it, it, it has taken us literally two years to get them back in stock I only have a hundred of each color I'm gonna be starting with the pink as you can see the clock is already ticking away I will show you, they're all exactly the same in terms in terms of their construction just literally different colors um, do you know the idea between colours, by the way? They're actually designed specifically for jewellery maker. It's the colourways that you actually see on our branding. Um, so once upon a time, we had all of those. Um, and we've only managed to, uh, for the birthday, actually get the three colours. Um, by the way, they are already, every single one of them, over 50% of the stock has been allocated. So let me just show you around. It's such a quality, quality, uh, it says travel board, but it's so much more than a travel board. Because if I actually open it up, firstly, I'll just remove that for you, um, you can see that's so soft for your beading it stops all your beads and your gemstones rolling and your findings so it's like it got a very soft brushed uh, um feel to it almost like almost like velvet but I don't want to say it is velvet um, but very very soft so it's going to stop all of your findings um, and, and tiny little beads and gemstones etc um, getting lost they stay secure you'll also notice they've got a really lovely lip that's because when you are actually working with it look you can literally double the zip back and that's so none of the gemstones or um, materials that you're working with actually get lost within the zip so you actually double that back and look work with it like so literally so there's they're all there they're all there ready and waiting here if I just slide it this way you can see you've got your zip compartment so for all of your uh, all of your whatever projects you're actually working on whatever components you're working with you can actually keep them in there if I just spin it round as well because there is little um, additional hidden extra because do you see this yeah so say you're working from a pattern you can pop it in there 
So all of your patterns or maybe your, even your, your tablets, you can put your, your sort of your iPad, etc., through there if you wanted to. They are single-handedly Jewelry Makers, probably one of the most requested products that we ever actually have launched here at Jewelry Maker. Daily we get requests for the kit exchange boards. And, and, and by the way, the one we have in the studio is still the same one that we had from the original launch. They last, they are quality. Um, hello to you. Uh, Nikki saying, uh, I got my blue kit exchange board the first time uh, they were on. I use it every day. The best thing I've ever bought. You, uh, so we hear that so many times, Nikki, as well. So thank you for, so much for messaging in live. We hear that so many times because at the end of the day, and I'm guilty of this, making jewelry literally on a little tray on your lap and then everything falls off and you, you know, you've got gemstones and sea beads all over the floor. Um, this is going to stop that. It is something that you can just pop on your lap. Maybe, um, Maybe uh, maybe it's something that um, you haven't got maybe a, an actual workstation. Maybe you haven't got room on your dining room table. Then this is this is perfect because you can actually do it on the sofa as well. They are exclusive to us here at JM. You won't find this board. You might find similar, but you won't find the, the look. Is br it's branded, if I turn it over, can you see? It is branded for Jewelry Maker itself, and these colors are exclusive to us as well. Um, now, um, here you go, you can actually find something on Amazon. Um, so it's quite similar, as you can see. That's 60 pounds, by the way, 60 pounds. And you heard Nikki say from the first time that she bought it on the first time, um, and it's still going strong. Yeah, because they are quality. They're really, really, really well made. This is not, you know, you can buy, you could probably buy a beading tray elsewhere, um, maybe for less. I don't know, possibly. I haven't really looked to be truthful, but I can't guarantee it'll be the same quality as these. Literally, you can feel how luxurious, how high quality the kit exchange beading board actually is. This is the pink. This is the pink. We have it in the purple and also um, in the turquoise. Um, you can pre-order those as well if you wanted to, if you want multiples, because I do know lots of the guest designers will actually have different colors because they might have a different projects actually on the way. 54 pounds and 99 pence. You get the colors, you get, you get the branding. Um, all of our guest designers use these, literally whatever medium they specialize in. Uh, Monica, our guest designer, uh, the, the super talent that is Monica, she was actually trying to get the inside information. What time are they on, Liam? Um, so I, I, she'll, be, she'll be getting involved on this as well, for sure. Every single time they have been brought to where they've sold out. Bar none. Every single time. They are really beautiful. And once, if you want to like literally just, I, I would recommend keeping hold of this, by the way. It's just like the little foam section inside. Because, say you've got a beading project on there, and you have to, I don't know, you have to go and make dinner or something like that. Literally just pop it on top so it keeps it all nice and safe and secure. I'd zip it up maybe so the, so the kids or the cat or the dog can't knock it off. So fold it all back up again. And also you're looking after your creations, aren't you? Yeah, keep it so it stays in place. Um, and then zip it back up, and you know that it's, it's not going anywhere, as long as you don't shake it all around. But it's not going anywhere if you actually keep it flat. Um, down to the final 42. Those of you that have it in your basket, you are... Uh, dangerously uh, running the chance of possibly missing out. You might be waiting for the other two colors. Um, so I tell you, I'll do those in a moment, but um, they're, ugh, yeah, they're all very, very, very limited already. So Candice, Christine, Jane, Charmaine, Elaine, Geraldine, Elaine, Julie, Angela, uh, another Angela, Joy, Jill, Chris, uh, Caroline, Karen, Jack. So you need to check out your basket for those. The final 27, final 27 in the pink, nice. Zippable compartments, room enough for you to put your tools, your beading, uh, your, your seed beads if you wanted to. You could put your gemstone strands in there if you wanted to. You can put absolutely anything really. You've also got that divider separation. So um, if you've got specific pro uh, sketches or anything like that, I know a lot of our designers will actually put pen to paper before they construct the piece of jewelry. Or oh, you're following an actual pattern. Booklets from our guest designers. That was the pink. Let's bring you. Um, so I'm going to move on just because we've got the other two colors. They'll all sell out for sure. They will all sell out. Let's do the purple one. Back in stock. Two years. 
I don't know why it's taken us that long. I know that because they are exclusive to us in terms of this, this design. Um, let's, do, let's do another minute to graphics, jewelry makers. It makes it fair for everybody. That means that literally it's available on the web and on the phone lines at exactly the same time. Um, so, yeah, the clock is ticking away. This is in that lovely purple colour. Um, so really, the only decision that you need to make, jewelry makers, is what colour you want. Um, but they're all getting quite limited now. They are all getting quite limited. So to be truthful, I don't think I'd be bothered as long as I got hold of one. I'm not necessarily a seed beader. You might be thinking, oh, is that something that's exclusive to seed beaders? No, not, not at all. Like I said, I've, uh, 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 people do knotting on this because you have actually got, and I'll quickly open it up. You have actually got... Um, within it's actually quite soft so you can actually pin use your little pins in there if you want to do some of your knotting on there too um, I would use small pins by the way because you wouldn't want to damage the actual material itself so maybe some of your fine dressmaking pins or something like that of that variety but you can do a lot onto it um, it is super super soft do you want me to show you do you want a demonstration would you like a demonstration I know these are only your magnetic cast so they're a bit larger but look literally they're not going anywhere it holds everything in place. Um, you know, if, if I were, if, if these were your 11 millimeter sea beads, for example, if I were to knock it, and if I was to sort of, I, I don't know, move ever so slightly, they're not gonna ricochet everywhere, which let's be honest, we've all been in that situation, haven't we, jewelry makers? We've all been in that situation. Okay, we had 99. Don't forget we're giving one of these away. The purple has, I think, been the fastest seller so far. Do you know how many we've got now? Right. Okay. Um, if you want to get multiples of these, of course you can, because you can have them with different projects. Um, super, super, super popular. I mean, if, if you do things like your craft fairs, your events, your commissions and things like that, you know, uh, you don't just be sat there. You want to keep yourself looking busy. Um, and also, we're, we're quite nosy by nature, aren't we? So people will actually, if you're making something, people will actually want to see what you're doing. So you can actually have this on your lap and you can be busy working away. Um, you can customize maybe pieces of jewelry, um, pieces of jewelry that you might be uh, offering on your stand. Um, maybe you're going on holiday or to the caravan or um, anything like that. You can take projects with you. They are a travel bee board, but there's so much more than that as well, because as you can see, they're a full size. The measurements, which I don't think I've actually said just yet. Have we got the measurements, Liam? Because I can't see my ruler. You know, hang on, hang on. Let's see. Oh yeah, here you go. I got it, I got it, I got it. Let's give you the measurements, because they're not small, these. You know, they are sizable. Look, they're over a ruler. So you're going to talk, I'm talking, if you talk about the interior space, so that's 30 centimetres. You're talking about 34 centimetres in its length and approximately 29 in its width. So a big space for you to be working at. People are multi-buying on this as well. Congratulations, back in stock, gosh, two years. I can't believe it's, been, it's taken us two years. Um, there'll be a reason for that, probably the fact that it is actually exclusive to us, this specific design. On the verge of selling out, I've got one more colour, one more colour to bring you, the last one. I don't know, the purple's been very popular. I really like this turquoise. I really love the turquoise colour, I just think it's quite fun, it's quite vibrant. Here it is. Make it fair for everybody again, 60 seconds to graphics, jewellery makers. Um, so, I mean, imagine, maybe, maybe uh, you've got limited space, so you can have maybe have different projects underway. Um, instead of having it sort of all out on the dining room table or, um, I don't know, in, even, even on the floor, I've sometimes done that, you can actually have them sorted away in your kit exchange beading boards. Um, have one per project if you wanted to multi-buy, if you're going to treat yourself to that. Don't forget we are actually giving one of these away alongside the mag magnetic class in our prize giveaway. Um, um, all you need to do, all you need to do is literally purchase and you never know you might get um, another one sent to you. We'll announce the winners this time tomorrow. 20 seconds, jewellery makers, until uh, the graphics actually appear. If you're loving the turquoise, then now is the time for you to make, uh, you know, to, to, to call or add it to your basket. Um, well, when you can, when the graphics appear and check them out. If you pop them in your baskets and you don't do anything with them, that's a pointless exercise because there were only a hundred of each of them. Only a hundred of each of them. So this time it's in the turquoise. I'm just going to pop that there. Again, we're matching that price tag for you. We've brought all three colours today. 
Really amazing quality. I almost wish you could actually feel the quality. But when, you know, we've got regular customers who's messaged in, completely off their own back, by the way, and said, yeah, I use it every day. It's, it's become, it's, it's, it's a genius. It is, it's, it, it truly is one of the best products that you could, we could actually recommend jewelry makers for, um, for any medium whatsoever. So right now it's in the turquoise. You've had the purple and you've had the pink. All have been at 54 pounds and 99 pence. Um, turquoise seems to be very popular. How are we doing in terms of the stock quantities across all of them? Oh, literally single figures on each. Single figures on the pink and the purple, and we're down to the final 21 of this one. Um, well done. Congratulations, Lincolnshire, Leone, Amy, Janet, Sean, Kathleen, Victoria, Christine, Lindsay, Rita, Yorkshire, Sally, Jill. Gosh, too many names for me to say hello to all of you, but congratulations to you all. Right now for the beading board jewelry makers. Um, let me quickly show you inside this one, just so you know that it is exactly the same as the one we had previously. Um, there's your foam insert. You could discard that if you wanted to, but but I think it's actually quite useful because it's going to keep everything secure because um, there is an obvious little space um, and that's obviously so we can zip around. Don't forget that if I actually lay it flat, you, the idea is that you turn the zip down so that none of your gemstones or none of your seed beads actually get stuck um, underneath the zip itself. Keep on dialing through, Jury Makers, down to the final four. Okay, could we be any more excited about this morning's show? Absolutely, categorically, no way. Because we are truly spoiled jewelry makers. Not only have we got the wealth of knowledge that comes from Jake, our gem investor, but also we have the artist that he can only be described. We're launching Glenn Lehrer's Taurus Cut after this. Jewelry makers, it's our 11th birthday. And we're celebrating for 11 days. Yeah, you heard right. 11 days. Jam-packed, full of amazing products, including... <gasps> Marla Notting Kits. Tourmaline Showcases. Gallery Wire with Claire. Brand new packaging. Argentium. Acrylic. Acrylic pouring. Oh, Jade Showcases. Swarovski Closeout Deals. New Amber Collections. Alex the Mineral Man. We've got Connoisseurs. Glenn Lehrer is launching his unique gemstone cut. Natural Diamonds with Dan. Milliput with Gemma. Burmese. Burmese Amber. <gasps> is that all of it? Is that? That's not all of it. No, there's so much more. We can't even fit it into this promo. I guess you better just tune in starting Saturday, the 1st of May from 8am. Make sure you're there. Oh my goodness, I need a drink after that. Amongst the many exciting things, jewellery makers, that we have coming up tomorrow, we also have brand new connoisseurs arriving and being brought to screens in the 11 o'clock hour. Perfect for all of your jewellery cleaning needs. In the 12 o'clock hour, we have Miori, which is a premium brand for all of your storage, looking after your gemstones and your jewellery making stash. So make sure you're with me. It's 11 o'clock for your connoisseurs and 12 o'clock for your Miori. So it's birthday and always what do we do on birthday week is we have something new. So on Thursday we will be bringing, or I will be bringing, paint pouring to you. Now you may have seen paint pouring on the great big canvases and amazing works of art, but I'm going to be downscaling and bringing it to you in your jewellery creations. I cannot wait to show you how effective it is. Really hope you can join me in the afternoon from 1pm. Happy 11th birthday, jewellery maker. And after the year that we've all had, the best thing for us is to celebrate in style. Happy birthday, jewellery maker, 11 years old. Wow, that time has completely flown. What an amazing birthday event we've got for you this year. On behalf of myself, and everyone else in the gemstone trade, happy birthday, jewellery maker. To make this year's celebration the best one yet, we invited my good friend and world-renowned gem artist, Glenn Lehrer, to come and join in the celebration. 
Unfortunately, because of travel restrictions, Glenn can't join us live in the studio. So I'm going to step in, I'm going to invite Glenn to come in on Skype, and we're going to have a party as we launch the world famous lapidarist Glenn Lehrer's Taurus Ring to Jewelry Maker for the first time ever. Join us this coming Friday as part of our birthday celebrations here at Jewelry Maker. We have invited some extra special guests for you. We will be joined by Daniel Raphael, our diamond man, and you just wait and see what he's got in store for you. And phoning in from Poland will be the adorable, wonderful Marius, who has some extra special brand new amber pieces for you. So make sure you join us this coming Friday, the 7th of May, here at Jewelry Maker. Happy birthday to everyone at Jewelry Maker. It has been an amazing 11 years and I look forward to everything that we've got coming up in the future. For everyone at home, I just want to say congratulations to all of you that have been involved with Jewelry Maker for the last 11 years and I can guarantee you the next 11 are going to be just as special. Did you know that we are live every day from 8 a.m. through to 5 p.m.? We can be watched on Sky, Freesat and Virgin. You can also watch us on Freeview SD from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. and Freeview HD from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Or you can join us online at www.jewelrymaker.com or download our app from the App Store. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. I know, I know, I know, I know, Jewelry Makers, how excited you are for this morning. Um, I've often said on air that Thursday morning has most definitely become my favorite day of the week because we have, we learn so much, don't we, from the knowledge that uh, Jake brings. But this show is going to be doubly exciting. Here in the studio, it's Jake Thompson. Good morning, Al, and good morning to you. Happy birthday, jewelry maker. It's an absolute pleasure to be with you this Thursday morning. My name is Jake Thompson, uh, the Gempori Partnership's lead gemstone investor. And on Thursday mornings, what I try and do is I try and give you access to the trade information, to the trade deals and pricing on, on certain gemstones, and access really to gemstones that the quality of which has never featured here on Jewelry Maker before. However, this morning is unlike any other as we celebrate as we celebrate Jewelry Maker turning 11 years old because. It, it, it's really today, it, it, it's not about a particular stone. Uh, it's not about the knowledge that I'm able to bring you. I'm going to be learning with you um, as we all take one of the most privileged, one of the most sought after masterclasses in the gem world. We hear directly from my good friend, live from California, uh, Glenn Lehrer, award winning lapidary artist. We're going to be talking all about Glenn's story. But Glenn, have we got you live in the studio? I'm here. Can you hear me? Hey, good evening, buddy. <laughs> really, we can hear you loud. We can hear you clear. Uh, and I know I talk on behalf of, of, of Elle, everyone here at the Jewelry Maker team, and indeed the wider jewelry making community to say we are honored and privileged to have you joining us this birthday event. So thank this you so great. much for that. I know we've talked a lot about uh, a lot about this show. Um, we've been we've been working on this now for for close to six months. I, I think I've got it right. About six months we've been working on this show, Glenn, together, uh, you and I. And and before we really dive into the gemstone, Glenn, um, obviously Glenn and I are good friends. We've known each other for seven years now. Seven years. Wow, that time's gone really quickly. And, uh, and, and, and Glenn, so I know a lot about your story, but for, for, for everyone else who, who might not be as familiar with you, um, I think one of the most shocking things that I heard when I first met you, Glenn, was how you weren't taught at any school. And, and, and what are you going to be seeing a lot today is, is stuff that was entirely self-taught. So, I mean, we're going back a long time, but Glenn, can you try and take us back right to the beginning of your incredible journey uh, and, and really talk about that journey that was so unorthodox and has produced so many unorthodox cutting styles. Okay, I'll try to keep it short. 
Um, I started out as an artist and um, really didn't really know what I wanted to do. And when I had traveled, come back from traveling around the world, um, I, my brother handed me a piece of polished quartz crystal and I uh, just started playing with it. Like, wow, this is really different. What am I going to do with this? You know, I really want to learn this. So I started looking for teachers. And there weren't really any teachers here in America. There was no schools. And so I ran out, bought stone lapidary equipment. And I, not knowing anything, I started carving. And 10 years in, I realized I really was passionate about this. And if it, during the same 10 years, I went, went back to uh, college and studied mineralogy, crystallography, and geology to understand the medium I was working. And also then further went on and got my chromology degree because it was the first art form that I, I realized it in, required a, a scientific background. So it was one of those art forms where science and art met together. And then I knew I was really into a lifetime learning experience. And then um, about 10 years into this, with all this education and background, I went off to Eder Oberstein. You can see in the upper uh, right-hand corner there, me actually on one of the old traditional lapidary wheels. And um, um, I and, and actually, because I self-taught everything, the Germans found this very unique and very unorthodox themselves that this guy who was self-taught knew what he was doing already, started to invite me back to Oberstein to actually be, you know, study in the studio, which was a rare thing back in the They never led foreigners, especially those that never really ever went to school. So they allowed somebody like this to work in their studio. But it, the timing, meeting the right people was truly a rare experience where I started going back to Edo every year and spending two to three weeks in the studios of these masters. And that's how it all evolved. And then coming from a very untraditional lapidary, when, being an artist, I knew that what I did it had to be something that nobody had ever seen before or had never been done before. And that's my, my rise to acknowledgement and, and how do you say, my fame, I, you know, not to try to be too arrogant about it, but my fame came from the fact that everything that I produced was unique and one-off and never seen before. Oops. And I think that chorus ring was really like the, the kind of the, the crescendo of that. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, Glenn, I, I know you to be an incredibly humble man, so don't worry, I, it's, it's not, I mean, I, if anything, I'll sing your praises, because, because you, you, you took this, this, this unique uh, perspective, learned from Edar Oberstein, was self-taught, and then enhanced, and that mutual exchange of knowledge back in Edar Oberstein, and, and, and came back and started winning award after award after award, and I can say that because 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 I I, I I know you're too humble to say that, but I know how many awards you have won, uh, and quickly built a reputation as this award-winning, ingenuitive, and innovative, um, really master that blends these lapidary techniques and carving techniques together. And, and this is just a, a selection of, of the, I mean, these are some of the some of the bigger awards, the the, the AGTA First Place Award. Uh, and, and this incredible, incredible uh, placing piece from 2009. But I know that that's just a handful of the many, many awards that were that were won um, around that time. And and, and it didn't take long, um, Glenn, before you started becoming a regular fitting in, in, in pretty much every um, article, every magazine uh, going. And I've got some of the uh, I've got some of the archive footage. I hope I'm not embarrassing you here, Glenn. Uh, but you know, no, okay. featuring you. featuring on three covers of Lapidary Journal, and it wasn't just Lapidary Journal. It, trade shows like the Basel World uh, and other trade shows would feature your pieces 
on the front. Uh, and, 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 and I imagine if, if, if there were a library of magazines that you featured on and, and, and covered on, uh, you know, again, here's another two. And, and on the left here, we've got, um, I don't know if you can see this, Glenn, so I'm just going to talk you through it. There's, a, there's a, yeah. a, a, a copy of California Geology featuring on the front cover the, uh, the awesome, the awesome and inspiring uh, sculpture of, uh, of the Bahia in the GIA. Bahia. Um, and, and we'll talk about, we'll, we'll come on to the Bahia uh, in, in, in a few moments if I could. Uh, but just before we do, uh, there, there is no area really, I think, of, of, of jewellery making. That, that, that hasn't really been a huge fan of your of, of, of your incredible artwork. I mean, professional jewelry. It's not just the lapidary art, uh, world. It's not just the uh, you know ju just the uh, the treasures. Professional jeweler, and of course, then gems and gemology. The GIA's the Gemological Institute of America's quarterly journal featuring your pieces on the front cover. But but if I could, let's come back to bit here because that's really the the sculpture that that that, that most people may be most uh, you know most aware of. Um, it is, of course, uh, well, well, actually, if you could tell us, what is Bahia? What is the Bahia sculpture? The Bahia sculpture is considered the world's largest transparent gemstone hanging that hangs from a ceiling. And this had never been done before. There you can see how big it is. It's over five feet tall. It hangs 30 feet down on these two tiny steel cables. There you can see it as a whole piece before we cut it into three pieces to put it back together. In that quick, that previous photo, you could see the you could actually see the cleavage planes right by my my partner Lawrence Stoller's hands. So these were two parallel cleavage planes off of what we call the rhombohedral plane of the crystal, and we didn't know those were there until we had actually cut the front face off, and then once we realized they were there. We realized we weren't going to be able to keep it as a single piece, so we actually cut it into three pieces, thinking that we'd put it as a single sculpture. But then we had this aha epiphany moment and realized, wow, we could hang this from a ceiling. Wow, this is radical. So it's a huge crystal sculpture, almost like a giant chandelier. And, and that was the major breakthrough that I think has made by uh, famous today, where people from all over the world, the GIA's world campus, and actually see it hanging there for generations to come. So it's really, truly one of the top accolades of my my 44 year career. Uh, and, and you're absolutely right, Glenn. And of course, but here is it, it, it's. Um, I mean, it's extraordinary in its scale. But the idea that the idea that a lot of, and certainly in my time that I've known you, the idea that a lot of world-leading uh, sources, be that miners, I know that with the Moroccan amethyst, for example, when, when that discovery was found, they sought you out to be able to work with that material. Uh, incredible artists such as uh, you know, Paula Crevache, who, who is, who is uh, and, and, and I don't want to, I don't want to uh, leak anything out because I know you and I have had private conversations about your collaborations with Paula Crevache, but one of the world, I, I would say today, the greatest jewelry designer in the world today. I know you and Paula are working on some museum pieces together as well, uh, with, with, you know, which are millions of pounds. Uh, so, so, so I know that you know, whenever world-leading art is being performed, uh, you, you know, your name is right up there uh, in, in, in the mix and, and, and how that's going to happen. And, and, when new discoveries are made, when new significant discoveries are made. Um, I, I had the pleasure of bringing some faceted bits by to this channel, uh, literally this time last year, actually, Glenn. Um, and, and, and when we did that, that was the first faceted bits by that had ever been in the Gempori partnership. They were 20 point specimens. You've done a carving with some big spike, with, 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 with some big spike, which is over three carats. And so when these once in a in a in a mind's lifetime, not a human's lifetime, a mind's lifetime discoveries are made, uh, that why is it do you think that miners tend to come uh, to, to, to to an artist of your caliber? Well, I think they're all trying to get their 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 brand new mine on on the on the map, you might say. And also bring in some sort of, um, you might say, some sort of notoriety to that location. And of course, the big spike from Walla, Walla Walla Mountains of Utah is a very rare fine formation. The only place in the world where you're going to find rare barrels, red barrel like this. And so I think they came to me or they come to me like this 
because they're looking for me to do unusual things that usually either win awards, get published on magazines, and create, create attention for their gem materials. So I do get to work with some of the rarest gem material in the world, which is ex extraordinarily exciting and very gratifying, you might say. I, I can absolutely imagine. And, 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 and we are, of course, today we're going to be launching the cut that has become um, synonymous with you, really, the, the signature, the Lara signature that is the Taurus ring. But just before I come on to that, um, I, I want to explore one area that, that actually we don't often get to talk about, which is I, I really think the mark of, of your artistry. I find it one of the most, if not the most impressive thing, uh, that, that, that knowing your work that, that you're able to do, which is where you can, you know, you can t it's one thing working with rough like this and being able to completely get across your vision. Uh, but, but I think part of your creative genius is also in working with already cut stones, poorly cut or native cut stones, and then really bringing them to life. And that's an area we don't often get to talk about, but I think is testament to, to your ability as, as a cutter, is to look beyond other people's mistakes here. We've got a, well, what have we got here, Glenn? Well, these are two tanzanites that you can see the before and afters. Which is, you know, like in the case of the trillion, it's a very classic trillion cut. And if you look at the three corners, you're going to see what we call extinction, where the color gets very dark and almost blackish. So there's hardly any light. So this was actually the genesis for what future became what we might call the affinity cut that I have now brought to Jamboria that sometime in the future maybe we'll be able to bring the gem maker, but this is really the affinity where I put three very strategically placed negative cuts on each side face, and those negative cuts actually reflected into the corners and blew out any extinction. So look how you can see how it lit up. So you're working then, with light to try and, you're working with the properties of light, with the property of the stones, to really try and bring out the beauty of the gem. That's correct. So you're always, you know, the thing about the thing about my art form is you are you have to know the science of optics and where it's going to travel inside this body. And in most cases, gemstones very the light is reflectively abstract. You can't tell if it's a tree or a bird or a dog. It's just light. <laughs> right. So you have to know coming from and going to. And so once you understand the path of light within a gemstone. Then you can, like a masterful magician, you might say, direct where you want it to go. Well, well they, say, they goes, say that magic is we'll science say. we don't understand yet. And, and I think that, I mean, I've been doing this 10 years, but I still don't understand it. And for me, your pieces are absolutely still magical. And, and again, on a similar vein, there's, a, there's some tanzanite and a, and a, and a sapphire. So I think both of these actually may be, may, be the, uh, may be the tanzanite. But again, you can start to see... Uh, and this is, this is the first glimpse so far, really, we've had of, of the Taurus ring, Glenn, on the left. Uh, that, that, yep. that, that is uh, that it's a modified Taurus ring uh, that we're seeing on the left here. Again, you can see that transformation of moving away from an, a gemstone with extinction towards, uh, towards one where you're seeing that maximum return of light. Exactly. So, again, I'm taking what's already there in these cases, and this was from a a tan, uh, tanzanite company that was really looking to to lift up the, the and this was the early days when tanzanite was first coming out so they were really looking to bring um, awareness to tanzanite and its beauty and its magic and its unique color and i think what i did with each of these is take ordinary faceted stones and turn them into pieces of art and i don't think anyone is contesting that these are fantastic Fantastic pieces of art, and, uh, and 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 let's move on to the Taurus ring then. So, so Glenn, talk to, talk us through the process because this is a gem. This is a cut rather that is completely patented, doesn't it? You are you are the only person in the world as the inventor, uh, the visionary behind this gem. You have secured a U.S. patent on it, and, and, and that's not an easy thing to do for a gemstone cut. No, it's not because the defi the, the the definition of a patent is it, what we call a utility here in the United States is it has to be completely unique and novel within the industry in which you're bringing a new idea to. 
And so based on the round per million, as you can see from the illustration diagram, I'm basing it on the round per million picture. But what happens is you're taking off the bottom culet half of the stone of the pavilion and inverting it into a cone going inward into the stone. And of course, the hole in the middle allows you to set another stone in the middle. If you had just drilled a hole in a regular round per million, that hole would reflect within the round per million and destroy the beauty of the reflection. So it was coming, I, mean, I kind of came from it the back door, you might say. I, I always wanted to set a stone inside of a stone. That was something that I had always thought of. It, it's something, there's something, you know, kind of, um, how do you say, archetypal about a circle inside of a circle. Thus, the torrid shape, which is the most prevalent form in nature. And in my attempts, I noticed that every time I drilled a hole, I could not be very appealing. So this was kind of I'm from a place where I was struggling to find a way to make it. And then I have one of those moments where if you take a long back end and you bend it around like, if you, I'm talking to jewelers now, and you were to bend it around a mantle like you were to do a ring, I realized it was really a pavilion up on the circle. So if you take a pavilion, you know, the pavilion shape, and then you actually bend it in a circle, you end up with what the torque spring shape is. And that's, that's how it came about it. That's why it was the second, only the second applied uh, gem, how do you say, a gem application for patent. That's why I was awarded it because it was completely unique and novel within our, with our given industry. Wow, which, 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 which when you think of the full spectrum of, of all the all the gems and cuts now that exist, uh, you know, for something to be awarded a patent is a huge, huge, huge accomplishment. And congratulations to you, and congratulations to the to the Taurus ring as well for for, for, for having that boast. And you mentioned that you mentioned yes. a little bit then about about how the Taurus is um, the Taurus ring is a cut, but actually. The torus form is, is something in many ways bigger than the cut. You know, the, the, the torus form is, is, is. You talked about it being a prevalent uh, form in, in the universe. Can you, can you talk a little bit more for us about what you mean by that? Well, every you know, you can see it by the spiraling nebula here. Everything you know draws together in a spiral, circular nature. All you have to do is walk out into your garden. There, there, you see the hurricane. With the whole, you know, with the eye of the hurricane just off the coast of Florida, right there, you saw it at the spiraling nebulae. It represents the electromagnetic. There's the iris of the eye. It represents the electromagnetic uh, energy of the body, also of the Earth, and and most planets that have a that have a, a light core to it. It's generating uh, electromagnetic energy. We're looking at the for us in that earth shape from the side profile. But when you're looking down, let's say, from let's say the uh, Arctic or the Antarctic, you're gonna, it's actually, it's like a funnel going in with a hole in the middle, like the eye. So all you have to do is the, the rings on a tree, it's the center of every power. It represents the most prevalent form in which, in which life coalesces into form. Thank you so much, Glenn. Um, Look, I, I'm very conscious of the time. We, we, I could, I mean, the, the thing is, you and I can chat, and we have chatted all day about this. And so I've almost got to slap myself on the wrist and not indulge too much in it, just because I love, I love this so much. Uh, but, but we, we, uh, we have teased, uh, we have teased our audience. Uh, I, I think a little bit too, too long now. Uh, we, we, shall we unveil, Glenn? I'd like to invite you to unveil for the first time live on Jewelry Maker. We've seen the Taurus shape in that galactic nebula. We've seen the Taurus shape in the human eye and the swirling storm. But Glenn, I'd like to invite you to introduce the Taurus immortalized in genuine gemstone material for the first time here on Jewelry Maker. Um, over to you, Glenn, to, to unveil your masterpiece. Well, this is exciting for me. I mean, uh, this is a cut that I've been working on for almost 25 years now, so it's been quite a, a journey, and and of course it is my, it has become one of my branded cuts that is identifiable. So when somebody looks at the cut, they go, oh, "That's a layer." 
that's how identifiable, like you said earlier, Jake. Um, I think very few gem cutters dare to, to copy me because they'll immediately get associated with me so they stay clear of the cut. So <laughs> you know that when you're getting a torus ring, you're getting only, you're getting the layer look, you might say. So the torus ring, it's super exciting. You know, we've had a long history of it on Gemporia. So to bring it to the gem maker, I can actually, you know, which has been a big part of my business over the many, many years, is to be able to supply gemstones, loose gemstones, to jewelry designers, create whatever their dreams are that they see, and it has been that kind of that, that foundation that's been there for years. Of course, on Jampori, we have jewelry, but this is exciting because this is really where it all began, is me making gemstones for the jewelry designer and the jewelry maker. So, you know, this is an exciting moment for me to be able to bring it through to the jewelry maker. For all of you out there, there it is right there. It's showing you, and you can see how the light just Plays on it, and there with the diamond set in. Uh, we do not in the middle. Beautiful. any glue, or any kind of um, adhesive. It's all held in place. When you come around the back, it's held in place by lasering it in place. So it's mechanically held in there. It's not going to come out. And you can just see. So you can see the negative cone on the back side and the facets. And what that negative cone does, it condenses light. So you see the streaks of lightning light. That's actually light condensing on that inner cone and reflecting back onto the facets on the outside. Thus, you're getting a play of light you could ever achieve. Maybe the closest thing would be the concave cut, which is a different style of cutting, and it requires a machine. This is all hand carved besides the faceting that you see on the cone wow. itself is actually hand carved and faceted. So you can see the simplicity, but the complexity at the same time. Well, I think I think that is that is genius. Turning something from a complex concept into, into something that looks effortless, looks simple, but we well we know it's not because for millennia we've been cutting gemstones and no one has come close to anything like this. Glenn, a huge congratulations to you. A huge congratulations to everyone ahead of time who secures one of these. And and also just before we open the phone lines, the first lot, what the first piece we're going to bring, Glenn, is the largest amethyst we have available in the Gemporia partnership. We're talking about a 14 millimeter all natural amethyst. We're gonna open this up in about 60 seconds time. Can we have a quick look at the amethyst? I'd love Glenn to see this amethyst here. 100% natural, there it is, beautiful to see. You can see those stormy chocolate box purples. But Glenn, just before we open it, I wanna say a big thank you because it is your Jewel Maker 11th birthday. You're bringing us a brand new cup, but Glenn's gone one step further today. Uh, Glenn, thank you so much for every single, every single jewelry maker today, every single jewelry maker today who is successful acquiring, successfully acquiring in one of your tourist rings, they are going to get a free copy of your, of your autobiography, which is called Inquest of the Indescribable. It usually retails for about £20, this book. Wow. It's a £20 book, usually retails for £20. Every single jewelry maker who is successful today will get a free copy of this courtesy of Glenn. So Glenn, on behalf, on behalf of our community, thank you so, so much for this incredibly well, generous well. gift. Really appreciate it. Yeah, it's, got, it's the full story of Glenn. You can, you can, you can, uh, it's a fantastic read that combines science and art, and it comes with full, full color photographs as well uh, of some of Glenn's most prized and celebrated works uh, throughout there. There's a couple of sections of full color uh, photography telling both the gemstone story and the uh, 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 and the and the stone story and there is uh, some photos from Glenn from our time in Morocco uh, together as well so so an incredible incredible book I highly recommend it usually 20 pounds a free 20 pound gift for everyone who is successful today and um, okay we are going to open the phone lines for the first ever Taurus ring auction here at Jewelry Maker it is the largest Taurus ring we have in the show it's a 14 millimeter Amethyst, huge in its proportions. Have a look at this. Just amazing. Uh, Glenn, when you're working with, with Amethyst, what is it you're trying to pull out? Well, of course, it's always about the color. Um, one of the things about Amethyst, that, like other, other stuff, so I'd say like sapphires, you're dealing with zoning. So how you orientate the material is super critical because if you don't orientate it right, 
the zoning will make it look bi-colored and you really want that color to evenly be distributed and of course when you're looking at amethyst you know amethyst you can see the blues in there and you see little flashes of magenta and then you have the purple so you're trying to capture as much of those color zones as you can in one like you see here and, but of and, course and you, it, that's it, doubly hard glenn in the 100 percent natural yeah. amethyst isn't it yes doubly but, hard. i'm sorry you gotta get I said it's doubly hard in, in, in when trying to source a hundred percent natural amethyst. Uh, yes. Uh, in, in the amethyst world, Morocco was ex extraordinary because because all the material from there was natural. But in terms of elsewhere in the amethyst world, what would you say? Ninety, ninety-five, even more perhaps percent of amethyst is heated. Yes, I'd say over ninety-five percent has to be heated, and there's a couple reasons for that. Primarily, most amethyst from around the world tends to be almost too dark. So what they do is when they light it, when they heat it, they actually lighten the color, give it the brilliance that you want. But Moroccan amethyst, like you say, you, they, you absolutely, it's a completely unique formation. It's different than maybe the Brazilian material that's hydrothermal. This is, con this is actually what we call a high temperature quartz. So it doesn't need any heat at all. It comes just the way you see it. A true, true rarity. And um, Glenn, we're going to start for these for these bigger sizes. I'd like us to start the auction at, at four hundred and thirty pounds today. Four hundred and thirty pounds. We don't have many of these, as you well, you know better than I do, Glenn. How long they take to cut. <laughs> so I don't need to tell you we don't have many of these. But for, for yes. you at home, we don't have many of these at all. It is the largest size, the 14 millimeters. Now, Glenn, you've, you've done, you've done Taurus rings and um, what in, in, in four millimeter forms in five millimeter forms. Uh, and we, we've got yeah, a range of Taurus rings in today's show. How yes. small can a Taurus ring go? I've gone with corundum and sapphires down to four millimeters, four millimeters. So and 14 is huge. What's that again? So 14 millimeters is, is, is right on the other end of, of, of what's doable. Yeah. So this is one of the biggest tourist wings, and it is the biggest tourist wing we've got in this show. This is the part that I always feel a little bit awkward on, uh, <laughs> which is we inevitably <laughs> have to crash the price. But doing this with the artist here is a very, very difficult thing for me. Uh, so I'm just going to I'm just going to treat it like a plaster and tear it off. Um, Liam, straight down, please. We're on, we're, on, we're on split pay. We've opened up four split payments on this one to try and make it uh, as accessible for everyone at home. For the largest Taurus ring of the show in all natural amethyst, £149, please, Liam. <laughs> and I, if we could... <laughs> Glenn, I'm just going to remind you, we are live on TV. Uh, please don't, please don't swear. Uh, <laughs> no, we're, I know, on a serious note, Glenn and I have talked through these deals uh, throughout the show. Yeah. Just make it any less awkward for me. Uh, but we have talked through the, through the deals before the show. Uh, and, and the reason, the reason we're doing this is because, remember, Glenn said it before, his dream was to enable jewellery makers not just in this jewelry making community, but around the world to enable them to create unique pieces of art. Of which, which from a jewelry maker's perspective, hello, Glenn, by the way. Nice to hey, see you. To so see lovely you. to see you. Yeah, good to see you, dear. Um, do you know, from a jewelry maker's perspective as well, Glenn, I know that will be uh, like uh, the moment you said that, I was like, gosh, how amazingly heartwarming. Um, A, that you're saying that, but how our jewelry maker. Uh, Adam, sort I'm of so family... sorry to interrupt. That's sold out. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I'm so sorry. We, we, we will allow you to continue that point. That's... Sorry, Al. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I hate being rude and interrupting like that. Uh, especially because it's the first time that you and Glenn have had a chance to catch up. Glenn, we are hoping Glenn is going to be a regular fixture here here at Jewelry Maker. And that one has sold out, though. I tell you what we're going to do next. Let's do. Let's stick with those large sizes. I'd like to do a sky blue topaz. Uh, this is really, really, really special material. Sky blue topaz. Uh, uh, and again, we're talking these larger Taurus rings. And I, I personally love the sky blue, Glenn. I don't know how mm. you feel, but you know, we have the hurricane here off the, off the coast of Florida. That Taurus form, I think the sky blue, there's something, you really feel the light spinning around and ricocheting in the Taurus ring. But when you're working with sky blue, Glenn, what is it that you love about it? Well, I mean, it's one of my favorite colors. I mean, I love sky blue topaz and I love aqua. Those are two of my favorite uh, stones to work with. And I do a lot in sky blue topaz where I love to set different colors in the middle of it. And it, it's just, it's, you know, second to diamond, 
the color blue gemstone is the most popular gemstone mm -hmm. in in the in the jewelry world. Look at it. Wow. I mean, wow. How could you not, yeah. how could you not love what you're looking at? And here you again you really see with this light pastel color how the light kind of bounces around on the outside from that curved cone from the inside. You're getting a, a splay of light. And I think there's something about the, the archetypal form of the Taurus ring that we all resonate with because it is so, it's so primordial. In our, it's in our very DNA, right? the spiraling of our DNA, that I think our brain just goes on steroids, so to speak, when we mm -hmm. see this shape. And so to have it in a gemstone, it's a kid in a candy store, you know, especially for designers. It's infinite, and I know for all the designers I've worked with all, all these years, um, you know, they've taken it from very modern, very simplistic looking jewelry to very vintage, antique looking jewelry. It's, it's, the cut is so, so archetypal that it, it spans from modern to antique. And so for a designer, it's, 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 it's a match made in heaven. Wherever your face goes, this would fit right in the middle of it. Glenn, I'm so sorry to interrupt. These are all these are already going. Uh, huge congratulations, those of you who are just snapping this up straight away. It's the largest. It's the largest sky blue topaz we have in the show. And um, Liam, we, we were going to start at 399. We haven't got time. Let's go straight down. Forget the 150 pounds we talked about at the beginning of the show. 129 God. pounds for the largest sky blue topaz. Absolutely amazing. I mean, Al, did you ever think that no. our community would get access to these at these kind of prices? Do you know, it's so funny that you should say that, Glenn. We did a, I did a Facebook Live before coming to the show, and honestly, we were just, like, grinning from ear to ear, the fact that you're here at Jewelry Maker. Um, and, yeah, I mean, that's exactly what I said, Jake. Never in our wildest dreams, and I think I'm, I, I'd be right to speak on behalf of all the jewelry making community, did we ever imagine it would be possible to work with uh, the likes of yourself, um, these works of art? So truly truly thank you from all of us here at jewelry maker for giving us this opportunity they really are incredible absolutely incredible i suppose in many ways this show it's really an invitation to to doulas around the united kingdom and beyond mm -hmm. uh, an unprecedented uh, an unprecedented invitation to collaborate with glenn larry yes. on a piece of art well this is it uh, this is it I, i'm sorry that's sold out that one's sold out. I, I want to add something as we move forward for the designer. This, you know, you're looking at something that looks unique. But after all these years of working with designers, I want to point out to them that it has a classic girdle. That's that outer diameter of it. And you can see it as it's coming around. It's a classic girdle. So it, it, it requires no unusual stone setting. It could be prong set. It could be bezel set. It could be punctual set. You know, it, it could be set like a traditional stone, but it, because it's only half the depth, you can set it much lower. Well, Glenn, it's interesting you, you say that. We, we've just opened the phone lines for the Citrine, uh, the Citrine Tourist Ring, which we'll come on to talking about in a moment's time. But there are available on the website. They're all available for pre-order. We've got special mounts that were commissioned for this collection, Glenn. Solid gold mounts. And every single one of them, and in fact, if you could pick up one of those mounts for me, sure. every single one of them, you'll see this. It, it's been customized to really accommodate this particular cut. So the, here's the mounts. They're all available online. They're all available on, on, on pre-order. You can commit to it there. But if we could just really look in on, uh, look, look in on the mount, and you'll see how it, how, it, how it accommodates this gem perfectly. You can see how the depth of the mount there yeah, you're talking then, Glenn, about the, uh, about, about, about the space. But also, there is a little secret that I want to share with everybody. Glenn. Yes. Your signature, and you and I, you know this as well as I do. Your, when, when, when jewelry makers are using these particular mounts, they, are, they really are working with you, Glenn, aren't they? Because they've been signed in a very literal way by you. Yes, they have. So in the yes. gold, on the mount, and in fact, if we show the mount one more time, 
Wow. On the mount is Glenn Lehrer's signature for you because you are making a genuine Glenn Lehrer piece of art when you're working with these mounts and, and working with these gems. So you'll see uh, it, it's by the hallmark, it's by the hallmark there, and, and, and I don't even know if these cameras will be able to zoom in close enough, but we'll, we'll definitely try and show you that on, 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 on air for you. But every single mount is signed by Glenn there for you. And it's just, it's just by the hall marking. It should be on the side shanks, not on the back. Because on the very back, that's the room where you can size the ring up or down without destroying the hall. That's right. So oh, on the okay, side, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to see them on the sides there. It's just so that to, way. It's just where the nine carat mark size is. up or down, it's not going to affect me. So if it, uh -huh, you, there, yeah. you can there see you it are. there, you yep. can see next to the nine count mark, there's Glenn Lehrer's signature in the gold for you. Wow. Wow, signed by the artist himself. Amazing, and that's on every single one of the maps that's that you can pre-order. That's on every single one of the that are available on pre-order, they're all available there. Now, the, what we're talking about right now is a 12 millimeter citrine, it's the same size as uh, 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 the topaz that we just brought for you. Beautiful. And, and, and Glenn, you talked about that light ricocheting and concentrating. I, I don't know about you, but for me, I love the citrine because it really is mm. like the light transforms into liquid gold within this and, and flows through. Wow. I mean, my goodness, goodness yes. me. Glenn, what is it you there love you about go. working with citrine? That is exactly it. That was kind of like one of the, you know, one of the taglines early on when we presented it was that it is like liquid gold. It, it looks like it, you know, it's the alchemist, you know, transforming lead into gold. It, it's so liquid looking. And it and it's that again, it's that curved cone on the inside that's making everything look so liquidy and fluid, but brilliant. Glenn, these are already over half have sold already. Let's go straight down, please, Liam, on these. It is a 12 millimeter. Let's go straight down. It's the, la it's the last 12 millimeter, by the way, as well uh, at home, if you're interested in the 12 millimeter gem. The last, the final 12 millimeter gem. Liam, straight down, please. 120, no, no, do you know, not 129. Let's go 119 pounds wow. for this genuine Taurus ring by Glenn Lehrer, owning a piece of art and inviting you to collaborate with Glenn. I mean. We've got some messages coming through um, for you both. Uh, from Mandy, who's one of our regular customers, uh, Glenn saying, can I say a huge thank you to Glenn for the Taurus ring? I have a, a Mystic Topaz Taurus ring. It's stunning, highly recommend it, so beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you, Mandy. Uh, yeah, I think, there's, I think we're being bombarded by, with messages for you as well. Can I ask well, just... I think I think it's... It's, it's an exciting thing because I think a lot of people from Jeffrey have migrated over here because we've retired it from a finished piece of jewelry. So this is the only place they're going to be able to get the Taurus ring for now, which wow. is on Jewelry Make. Wow. And, and, you know, like we've said it so many times in the lead up to this morning show, Glenn, they really are incredible works of art. Um, this is sold out, unsurprisingly. Um, I, was, I have to say I was not prepared for the, for, for the deals that you and Jake have actually arranged. I wasn't prepared for that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we, we wanted to make this uh, a birthday special. Uh, Glenn and I have been talking about this for a long time. We really set the wheels in motion about six months ago, Glenn. Uh, it, it, feels, it feels like yesterday. Oh, well, is, is, is that Simba? My cat, right? Yeah, there's Simba. He's made a great deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I first met Simba uh, when I, I, I went Oregon sunstone mining with Glenn uh, and, and we stopped and, and, and probably rather embarrassingly for Glenn we parked an RV out the front of your house Glenn if you remember on the way up to Oregon <laughs> and then we had a, I remember we had a wonderful time we had a, we had a beautiful barbecue and we, we were chucking the corn it was a, it was a fantastic time in, 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 in oh I'm being sorry Liam, Liam said he's just loaded the, the garnet Glenn the garnet piece now this is this is my personal favourite, uh, and, 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 and Glenn, I, I know normally we say, you know, everyone says you shouldn't have favourites, but, but I'm a bit of a rule breaker here, I'll always say which is my favourite. The garnet in the Taurus ring, I just, I absolutely love it, and perhaps it's because as a gem investor, I know that garnets don't come big. 
getting a nine millimeter garnet in any world is unheard of, right? Yeah, very. Yeah, most garnets are terribly very small and don't come very large. So when you're getting over a 10 millimeter, you're, you're talking big for garnet. <clears throat> and, and so it is, it is and, and you know, garnet is one of the oldest it, biblical times. The gemstone goes back to the Bible days. You know, it's, it's one of those stones that have been with humanity from the beginning, you might say, for our love of gemstone. And, and yet, so, it's, it's been, it has that prestige, and yet, you and I know in the, in the trade recently, this gem has been soaring in value, particularly at the larger sizes. I mean, it, 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 it's between Garnet and, 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 and Spinel as to which one is the phoenix rising quicker right now. And um, these are already, over, over two thirds have already gone. I'm gonna go straight down on this one, please. Uh, let's go to 99.99 wow. on, on my favorite piece wow. of the show. Go, yeah. Wow. Wow. I don't wow. know if now is the right time to do this, and I'm ever so sorry to interrupt you, gents, but did you know that we're actually doing a giveaway with every hour of our birthday? Yeah, well, well, Elle, don't forget, we have the giveaway. The giveaway is the book Glenn True. has generously given us. Every single collector who gets the who, who gets any Taurus ring will get a free, worth £20 book uh, for, for, from Glenn. So is that what you're referring to? Yeah. I just might tell all your viewers at home, though, if you're not into lapidary, don't worry. The first half of the book is kind of a hero's journey that has nothing to do with lapidary, as Jake knows. Yes. It's some of my journeys to the far edges of the world and to the remote parts of the Khyber Pass and places like that. So it's Truly inaccessible like areas. I, I found that part of the book fascinating. Mystery. This is sold out already? Yeah. Okay, that's sold out already. Um, um, sorry, El, so th this, is the, this is the giveaway, yeah? No, this, the, the, if you missed out on that beautiful garnet, then the only way that you can now get hold of it is in our prize giveaway. What's our giveaway? The garnet. We're not giving away. <laughs> any any wow. of you Whoa. that purchases one of Glenn's amazing Taurus cut stones are in with the chance of winning this beautiful piece. This actual piece. So the finished piece as you see it right now. So there is an eight millimeter uh, garnet Taurus ring in the mound that is available on the website right now. And um, I'll tell you what we do, we have got one more 14 millimeter Taurus ring to bring. One okay. more 14 millimeter, we'll bring that one next. Um, it's the fern green quartz. I, it, I, now this is a color I've never brought you before. Fern green quartz, um, it's number nine. It's just on that corner there, Al, and it, it, it is oh, piercing this green. It, it is, it, it, it's unbelievable. Now we're going back up in size to a 14 wow. millimeter gem material. Um, and, and, and Glenn, you, you've worked a lot with, uh, with, with, with Manuj Goyal, who we've talked about on this program before, uh, really the, a modern day alchemist in the gem world. When you choose the fern green quartz, what are the colors that you want to see and why is this material such a great one for you to work in? Well, green is a hard color to come up with. You're talking about emerald, which is in the stratosphere as a price. As we know, green tourmaline isn't so inexpensive any longer. No. <laughs> and the whole idea is to be able to come up with this green color that's accessible and affordable. And and so wow. this whole new, as you wow. say, look at that. <laughs> look at the color it, it, here. It's, it's about as close to a, 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 a Pakistani peridot as you could mm. get, right? And it's just that beautiful kind of, you know, foresty, fern green kind of, you know, with a lime tone, so it's it's a perfect stone if you're a green lover. So let's go straight down on this one, please, Liam. It's back up to the largest size Taurus rings we have in the show, ninety nine ninety nine. But this is this is fourteen millimeters. Goodness me! Look, I, 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 Glenn's doing an excellent job of not by t of, of, of not telling me off for the prices. I don't need you to start. <laughs> fair out. enough. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Huge, well done, everyone. This is the 14 millimeter. It is the largest tourist ring we have in the show. I don't want people missing out. Yeah, cover your eyes, Glenn. Do whatever you need to do not to tell me off for this one. Goodness no, I, me. I, I'm sure I talk on all behalf of all our collectors when I say thank you so much. And you know what's so interesting? We are now what? It's a sell out, sell out, sell out, sell out. That one's just sold out as well. We're about four or five tourist rings in. We've, we, we've not once talked about the quality diamond in the heart of the design, the solid gold that's using technology to rivet and hold it in place, 
and, and I think that's almost a testimony to the strength of the Taurus ring. We've not mentioned any of those things yet so far, and we will talk about them when the time comes. Now let's move next. We've seen, we just saw the fern green quartz, which was fantastic. Can you talk about how the material uh, to try and get that color, you know, be that a, 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 a tourmaline, exceedingly expensive nowadays, uh, emerald, exceedingly expensive for millennia, or cashmere peridot, a real collector's item. Pad Paracha in the gem world as a hue, how rare is it, Glenn? Well, the orange peachy color is probably the rarest color in the gem world. <clears throat> and there's only a handful. We talk about the Paparaccia sapphires, which is the most valued and coveted of all the sapphires. And then you have what we call the Oro Preto Topaz, which comes from only one, loca one location in Brazil from the Capal mine. And then maybe you have the Oregon Sunstone that's in that tone. So to come up with that color, it's so rare. Wow. And, so <laughs> and, 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 and I don't even think the picture on this screen no. does it justice. But I, mean, I, well, think I, I think it's beautiful. You but this home, You have to see the real color. It's really more of a mandarin orange color. Yeah, it's beautiful. And, and, and Glenn, at the heart of every Taurus, in that silent eye of that storm of light, there is an yes. SI graded diamond at the heart of every single one of these as well. Yes, and more importantly, of course, the clarity is important, you know, and anything above SI, the, neck, the naked eye can't see the inclusions. But what, what I tell people when they're looking at diamonds, far beyond the clarity is the color, which is the lack of color in diamond. So one of the things that also I was very much a stickle on, that it had to be a GHI color, which is what we call near colors. Yeah. You know, top, of course, top, D top is the highest. Essentially. So it has to pop. And, and, and a GHI color is the highest white, you know, that gives it that brightness that you see there. Let's go, Liam. We're going to go straight down on this. 99, 99 again. And uh, then, and, and, and this is, and, and I, I, we've Glenn and I've talked about this uh, throughout the, you know, the preparation for this show, but this is the first time that Glenn and I, we know the Taurus ring has ever been available for under a hundred pounds. Well, yeah, I think we realise that though, jewelry makers, don't we? I think we actually understand that this is. I mean, we've, we've been discussing it's an, an absolutely amazing work of art. Did we ever imagine that we'd be able to get hold, Glenn, of one of your pieces? and get it home for £24.99 on, uh, on split pay. That wasn't anything that I, I imagine anybody in the jewellery making community would possibly comprehend, but it is happening. And it is in celebration of our 11th birthday. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for bringing this to us. It's absolutely beautiful. And I know we were saying earlier on, um, uh, well, Jake was saying about his favorite. This is mine, I think, Glenn. I absolutely adore that beautiful, as you said, mandarin orange. Yeah, uh, it looks, um, I mean, on my screen, it looks a little bit more like citrine, but I think people, when they get at home, they're gonna see that it's really much more of a tangerine, mm. mandarin orange. And, and in the right light, you're gonna get that flash of pinky, pinky violetish tone that blends with the orange tone that I don't think the camera is quite sensitive enough to pick up of. But when you get it at home, you can kind of see, there it is at the bottom end of the screen, you can kind of see it here when it's when it's against the back black background. Like that. Look at that. We're, we're talking about the fact there's two opportunities left, two genuine chances left. It's one of the bigger quantities of the show. Two chances left. There are 40 of it with of you with it in your basket. Uh, and of course, the two doesn't mean two people because if you want to make earrings out of this, you yeah. absolutely can. But you're going to need the pair of them, uh, and, and, and that's just the way it is. We're going to leave those last two there. Uh, that is, uh, so far, every single tourist ring has sold out. And one of the ones that had sold out earlier on was the sky blue topaz. We've got another sky blue topaz, this time with different dimensions, another sky blue topaz coming up next for you. Um, remember how quickly that first sky blue topaz uh, sold out? Glenn mentioned that this is Glenn, one of your favorite materials to work in with this color hue. Yes, I, 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 to this day, I mean, I'm still working on the blue topazes in my studio. Of course, one of the things I love to do is set emeralds in the middle of 
but you know that is that's for a different time on jewelry make. Right now we're doing it with diamond, but I I do love this wow. color blue. It is, it's a color of intimacy, communication. It's a it's a very warm it's a very welcoming blue tone. It, it's beautiful, isn't it? I love and, and and what I love about sky blue in particular is more so than Swiss, more so than London. It, you see the performance of light mm. Yes, you might get a deeper tone with the others, but this is the one that delivers the brilliance. And and, and where, when you have a cup that works light as hard as the Taurus ring works light, uh, it, it's fantastic. And I really now see that, you know, I really see the iris of the human eye. I really see the, uh, the, the you know, the, 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 the storm, uh, the eye of the storm. When I look, when I look at these, when I look at these in the sky blue topaz, I absolutely love them. Uh, these are already selling out. I'm going to have to go straight away on price. Ninety nine, ninety nine again for you for a ten millimeter, a big size Taurus ring today. Wow! Literally the brilliance, isn't it? You, it's like a wall of mirrors. Yeah, it's, it's again, it's that liquid light. That, yeah. That, and you can it feel, is that you can, liquid light. You can see it flow. And you can, you can see, see it. It's almost like the Caribbean blue turquoise color that you get when you're looking in the water and yeah. the way the light refracts through the water. You get those rays of bending light. That's what you see in the blue topaz like this. Wow. We're just showing you the reverse as well. I mean, obviously, this is not how you'd set it. But just let I me mean, look. It's beautiful from every single angle, Glenn. Look at that. Incredible, incredible work of art. Glacial blues, aren't they? Beautiful glacial blues. Mm. We've got one left of these. Um, it's for every item that uh, um, you have brought to air at Jake and Glenn, it has sold out. Oh, uh, huge congratulations to everyone who's acquiring one. Remember, with every single piece that you get, uh, every single one of you who secures one of Glenn's Taurus rings, you're going to get a free book. Normally retails for £20. Well, sorry, let me retract that. Normally retails for £19.99 at uh, free courtesy of Glenn because it's a jewelry maker birthday with every single one. So, Glenn, on behalf of every single person who's successful today, huge congratulations. And if you want the Lairet signed mounts, check online. You'll find the full catalogue of them. They're all available online for you there. And the pricing will be updated at the very end of this show. Showcase. Um, now, we saw, we opened the show, Glenn, with the huge amethyst from Brazil. We have got another amethyst from Brazil, obviously with different proportions this time. Um, but, but that first one, it sold out instantly, didn't it? Let's now take a look if you are interested in natural amethyst. Glenn, you said over 95% of it is, is enhanced in some way. This is that less than 5% that is natural. Yeah. It's extremely rare when you don't have to heat an amethyst like this. Wow. Beautiful. Deep purples. The light as well. That's absolutely incredible. And you get those light violets and those yeah. flashes of blue. And, and that's, Glenn, that's in the amethyst the world, how rare are those blues? Uh, it's pretty rare. There's only certain amethysts from different locations where what we call the C-axis, which is the long, the long optical axis in quartz, where that blue zone will actually form down the center of the axes. And if you capture it just right, you're going to pick up, you're going to capture and hold the blue in there. So you're going to get flashes of blue like that. And it doesn't occur in all amethysts from all places in the world. And And I'm not... 100% clear, but I think when you heat it, you do lose that blue zone if, if it's there. So it's it's kind of, I would say it, it's not there if you heat it, but I would say, you know, when an unheated amethyst is found, you can find that blue zone. Yeah, well, certainly, certainly from my own experience in investing in gemstones, uh, I, 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 would, I would probably corroborate that. You understand the science better, but I know that certain that you know, there's certainly less uh, less than five percent of amethyst I know of has that secondary blue hue. I think it adds a beautiful, rich, mm. velvety tone. And, and, and since since less than one in twenty amethysts will have that, and less than one in twenty amethysts are natural, that that, that would appear to, to you know to, 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 to at the very least correlate, uh, even if there's not a causation link there. Uh, right, we're gonna go. We've got less than ten of these left. Let's go straight down, please, Liam. Ninety nine, ninety nine on the natural amethyst material. 
Yeah, it's not sinking in with us here that this is a, that, that you're anywhere underneath a uh, hundred pounds. Can I? May I ask a question, uh, Glenn? Um, is yeah. are certain gemstones? I mean, I know obviously there's they're hugely uh, time-consuming to create each and every single work of art. But can I ask a question? Is there certain gemstones which are more challenging than others? Uh, well, every gemstone has its challenge. <laughs> you know, it, whether it has to do with the the optical properties or actual physical properties like cleavage or brittleness or parting, you know, so every gemstone has its challenge, some being more difficult than others. Of course. <laughs> you know, quartz is one of the more easy ones to cut and polish. But you're dealing with the zones, like I mentioned earlier, in amethyst, which is also true for citrine, because citrine is a heated version of amethyst. Generally, 99% of all citrine is heated from amethyst. So those are some of the more difficult ones. Um, so every gemstone has its challenge. Glenn, I I'm so sorry to interrupt. Your... That has sold out. That one has sold out. Let's, <laughs> let's talk about challenges. Let's stick with that idea of challenges because I, I'm learning along with you as well at home. Um, let's talk about one of the, you know, and I, I mentioned it when we first showed you one of these gems. We're going to bring another garnet uh, this time. Uh, so, uh, and, and what I want to talk about, Glenn, is what are the challenges with trying to create these larger garnet pieces? And um, obviously this is a gem that shares its crystal structure with, with a diamond. And, and, and like diamonds, we don't find many big garnets. But what, when you're cutting the Taurus ring, what are the challenges that you face uh, when we bring the garnet? And a quick warning to everyone at home, the last time we bought a garnet, it was the fastest oh, selling piece of the show because the garnets are personally, they are my, they're, they're up there with the sky blue topaz. Which one is my favorite? Probably the garnet just edges it from a gemological perspective because I know how hard it is. But what I want to learn, Glenn, is why is it so hard? What is the challenge with getting garnets in the Taurus ring? Um, well, I think it's size. I mean, there isn't that much in the world that produces this kind of a size to even work with. Like most garnets that when you hit a garnet field, you're going to find it in the three, four uh -huh. millimeter size. So when you start getting into the eights, nines, tens, you really are kind of running into a very difficult stone. And also the bigger it gets, the, because it's what we call, I'm going to throw out a gemological term called isotropic versus dichroic or trichroic. And I can explain that for another time. But isotropic means no matter which direction you cut the stone, the color is going to stay the same. So it's the, opposite, it's the opposite of a tanzanite. You, you, know, you can cut a tanzanite to maximize yes. the blue, to maximize the violet, but with a garnet, you, you, you're cutting it to maximize that pure, cr cr that pure color. Uh, and no matter which way you orientate the crystal, the color's the same. Right. And right. in many but ways, that you means you've got to get the rough pieces, right. Yeah. When you get into larger pieces, you're working with a dark color that could go black on you unless you know the right angles to cut it out. Well, there's certainly none of that extinction here. And that, that's, what I, that's what I love about it. Eight millimeter garnet normally heavily, heavily, uh, you know, plagued by extinction, but that negative cone removing all of that and delivering so much light. Liam, 99.99, please, on this one. Wow. It is truly beautiful, isn't it? In, 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 in the, like you said, the and garnet. This, garnet is mesmerizing. Yeah. And this is a classic, if I'm not mistaken, Jake, Correct me, but I think this is the Rajasthan garnet. This is, you're absolutely right, Glenn. I mean, you've worked with garnets from all over the world. I think it's amazing that with all the plethora of there, you're still able to, to, to nail on because of the optical properties. What was it about this that, 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 you, that immediately you recognized it as having, bearing that signature of, of Rajasthan? Is that tone of kind of almost a, you might say, kind of a peachy, cinnamony red color? only other garnet of this tone I've seen is from Malawi, but the Rajasthan garnet is extremely rare. You know, they've been mining stones for millenniums in, it, in India. So most of the gem fields in India are almost what we call played out. That means they've been mined out and, and there is no more coming out. So when you find something of this size and, and of this quality, from India, you're getting an extremely rare source of garnet. 
Huge. You know, Africa's the cornucopia of garnets nowadays. But yeah, to absolutely. be able to get one from yeah, you're it, really right. getting something unique. In, in many ways, uh, you know, the, the, it, with all the headlines, Africa and the East of Africa and the prospecting frontiers that are opening up, they're capturing all the, all the headlines, but, but, but quietly in the background, you're absolutely right, these traditional sources, garnet from India, topaz from Brazil, they're being quietly played out. Uh, because there's new prospecting, everyone's getting excited about Africa, uh, whilst ignoring probably the, the more significant news story, which, which is the depletion of the, of the Indian and the Brazilian fields. And, and, and that's what we've talked about previously on this program, Glenn. So, uh, so I'm really pleased that you, you, you know, you're, you're, you're adding your perspective to that debate that we continue to have in this community. <coughs> now, I'm going to bring what, what, you know, one of the last huge, huge, huge tourist rings that we've got, this time in citrine. We've brought you one citrine so far. It sold out almost instantly. This is the only the second citrine we've got for you. It's one of those vinyl, bigger, bigger, bigger Taurus rings. And take a look at this. I mean, we, we, we talked about it the first time, Glenn. Again, this one for me, liquid light racing around this citrine gemstone track. Look at that. It's just incredible. It is liquid gold. It's just extraordinary. I, 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 before I'd seen the Taurus ring, I, I couldn't even comprehend, let alone see something like this. It, it's incomparable for me. Wow. And I think that's kind of been my ethos from, from the very first days as a gem artist is if I'm going to create something, it's going to be something that you've never seen before. Because if you're just doing something that you've seen before, that's just called copying. But if a true <laughs> artist... A true artist, a true artist has to be completely unique and novel and outside the belief of what it is. So it's that's really who I've been all my my whole career. Glenn, you're certainly unique. It's certainly incomparable. Let's go straight down. Ninety nine ninety nine. Oh. Yes, it allows people to own a tourist ring, but in many ways, for under a hundred pounds. It's an invitation to collaborate as yeah. a, from one artist to another at home. It's an invitation for you to collaborate with, 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 with this incredible, incredible world-renowned uh, world -renowned artist. And, and, and so many of you have been messaging in. Thank you so much. I'll tell you what, let's have a look at some of those messages. Uh, Christine has said, uh, Glenn, she's written in, what a treat to have all these lovely gemstones. Thank you, Glenn. Do you receive the authenticity card with them? That is a great question, Christine. Of course you do. We would never do anything like anything other than that for you. Every single piece will come with an authenticity certificate attached to it. And also, every single piece, every single person <laughs> who is successful will receive Glenn's autobiography. Normally retails for £20 for free. A free £20 gift as well. Uh, so you get the authenticity card and you'll also get a book. And uh -huh. Lorraine's just messaging. Now, oh, do you want to take this one? Yeah, this is lovely. Uh, I never thought I would get one of the Taurus ring gems, uh, but now I have two works of art. Thank you, Glenn. Oh, that's beautiful, Lorraine. Thank you. This is so gratifying, you know? <laughs> this is, you know, it's, it's fun to create, but it's also extremely gratifying to know, you know, you're spre I'm spreading joy in the world, bringing beauty into the world. That beauty... You know, beauty is what moves us as humans, I think. And, and you really, really are. Like I said, uh, going back to what we were saying earlier on about we never would have imagined uh, that, you know, uh, our, our hobbies here at Jewelry Maker could possibly sort of develop to what's actually happening this morning, uh, the collaboration with yourself. Uh, and Jake said something whilst he was on air with me yesterday, and I really want to say the word. It's just one single word, because I always think that when I look at your pieces, Glenn. I mean, we literally are, these are heirloom legacy pieces, but we are custom custodians effectively of, of this work of art um, and certainly if, if, if and it is a big if at the moment I'm lucky enough to join any of our lovely jewelry makers in, in this purchase then it's something that I would absolutely love to pass on to my children my children's children they are absolutely phenomenal um, yes so many so it's very heartwarming I agree it's very very heartwarming that this morning's actually happening um, we've been super excited about it super excited and maybe it's been it's been a long time coming and we've been so excited to actually make this moment happen. So thank you once again. Oh, you're welcome. And I think you brought up a really good point. You know, I think gemstones in nature 
it's about as close to eternity as we can get in a physical form because they'll be here long after you and I are gone. The beauty, the brilliance, the life of that gemstone will shine 100, 200, 500 years from now the same way we're looking at it today. Wow. It's quite incredible to think about, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got two yeah. chances left on this one. I'm going to leave this one here for you. Uh, there are still many of you with you in your basket, but we're just going to leave those last two genuine chances available there for you. Now, we've explored a lot of different mediums so far. And Glenn, you talked about it. You know, I, I, coming at this from an artist's perspective, working with the medium uh, of, of gemstones. And within gemstones, there are so many mediums within that family, which I suppose is, is, is a wonderful, exciting thing for you as an artist. We've not yet explored this next medium. We've seen the sky blue topaz. But talk to me about the azure blue topaz material. This is, a, this is a, again, one of your collaborations with Manouj, uh, uh, the azure blue topaz. Um, and, and the color, the color that you get from this, I mean, I absolutely love it. I, I, I absolutely love this color. Uh, but talk to me about what, about, about what you think about this. And, and we'll bring that, we'll show you that color. And then, and, and then Glenn, if you could let us know what's so special about this material. Mm. <laughs> That's the Swiss, yes? It, yeah, it, so it, it, it's, it's Swiss, but because Manoj has worked on this uh, in a slightly different way to the traditional Swiss, um, it, we, 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 it, it's, he's, he's, he's called this azure blue, um, and I think what it, how it differs from the Swiss is obviously the, the, the Swiss is, um, is, is achieved via irradiation, uh, whereas this is using, uh, this is using Manoj's uh, really, really playing with light, playing with color. Right to deliver probably a more pristine blue than the Swiss, which could occasionally be plagued by a, a slight greenish mask. Right. This is what we call the azure blue, which is the same process that you might think of the mystic topaz or the, um, the paparazzi quartz or the fern green. We achieve this blue. So it's an, actually an, more of an azure color, a little bit more deeper, intense blue than you would get in the Swiss blue topaz. And and you don't, you can see it, look at that color. It kind of oh. has an azure, kind of an indigo blue color to it. Yeah, I, I, I absolutely love this one. Um, very fortunate, I've got a little girl with uh, with beautiful blue eyes, and, and this really does just remind me, uh, remind me, and, and I can, again, I see that kind of, that primal Taurus form and how it's yeah. reflected in nature, particularly, particularly strongly with this one. Um, we, we're gonna have to move very quickly on this one. It's already selling out. Liam, can you pop 99 on, 99, 99 on screen for me? This one is proving to be very, very popular. Well, I want to thank everyone for their trust throughout this show. A lot of you have been getting involved early on. You've not been waiting. We're not going to stop at 99.99 today. We're not stopping at 99.99 today. Let's go straight down, please. 79.99. These, these have already pretty much sold out, but you know what we do. In fact, these have sold out. You're dialing in now, you're putting it on the wish list. Wow. And just to reiterate, this is the first time ever... I'm right in saying that we've been able to get hold of a layer, a layer a piece under 100 pounds. Under 100 That's pounds. That's absolutely right. Uh, uh, absolutely right. We, we, Glenn, uh, we, we've done we've done closeout deals with your jewelry, but we've never taken that under 100 pounds. Yeah. Uh, I can't this think is, of a single this time. This is in that. This is in that stratosphere we call a no-brainer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That absolutely is. I mean, an invite, an invitation to work with you, Glenn. I mean, people, people will pay uh, hundreds, thousands to come and learn from you in your studio, don't they? As part of your courses. Yeah, uh, and, and really, this is, this is groundbreaking. This is innovative that we're, we're inviting you to collaborate with Glenn uh, for under £100. And we're going to move to the next piece that we've got in, in, in the show. Uh, we've got a big fern green quartz I'd love to, move, I'd, I'd love to show. Get, let's go back up in size of the Taurus ring for me. Have a look at this one. 12 millimeter, an enormous. We're, we're going right back up to the kind of sizes we saw right at the beginning of the show, and look at this pristine. Wow. I mean, Glenn, you talked about the cashmere peridot, and it was you who taught me this actually, uh, many, 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 many moons ago, about how the cashmere material it's a much more pure green. We're talking about a mint green rather than the Chinese material, which can be a strong yellowish mask, almost chartreuse in color. This is much more pristine, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's more in that kind of what we call that um, kind of Burmese um, peridot color, you know, that kind of classic Burmese peridot tone in the fern green. It's the absolute perfect kind of chartreuse, not, not brown, not too yellow, just that kind of medium kind of limey green color that you're looking at. Amazing. Um, on this one, we're talking about 12 millimeter. These are already selling out. I'm going to have to be very quick on this. Liam, again, let's forget 99.99. Let's do 79.99. Despite it being one of those biggest Taurus swings that we've got in the show, 79.99. Goodness me. Mm. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm a little lost for words. A little lost for words. <laughs> Having brought you uh, seen your pieces before, Glenn, I, I, and in preparation for today's show, I had no idea, and I'm sure our viewers were like the same, had no idea that this was going to be uh, sort of possible, <laughs> under £100. I think most of us were preparing ourselves to pay, the, you know. Uh, I, some... I, don't think, I don't think Jake and I imagined this was possible until about six or months ago when we started this idea. Wow. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I remember Glenn and I, we have racked our brains for years, uh, for years working out how we can how we can put the Taurus Ring into people's collection uh, for under £200, Glenn. And you remember how we can get your artwork. For years we've talked, how do we get Glenn Lehrer artwork into people's collections for under 150 for under £100? Here we are, not with any Glenn Lehrer artwork, with the patented yeah. Taurus Ring for £79.99. It's available on split pay for well under £30. And remember, with every single... Okay, so the book itself is worth £20. Yeah, that, yes. So essentially, you're paying £20 for the book, Fifty nine ninety nine. However you want to, however you got to justify it in your head. Twenty pound for the book. Fifty nine ninety nine for the Taurus Ring, or seventy nine ninety nine for the Taurus Ring, and you'll still get the book for free. However you're doing it, you're going to have to be quick. Yeah, uh, single figure quantities. Um, can I just point uh, point out to our lovely uh, JM viewers, if you are adding any of these to your basket and not checking out, it's entirely a pointless exercise. You have to check out to guarantee your success. Um, uh, can I just can I just say people uh, crew office team uh, some of our buyers uh, as well Glenn are desperately trying to get hold of uh, these as well and so far they've not been successful because they're selling out that quickly wow check out check out there's three left that's it is it, it really is such a beautifully intoxicating green it is an intoxicating green it's that very beautiful chartreuse and I, the closest color would be the peridot that you would be spending hundreds of pounds more for. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this truly hundreds and hundreds of carat for, for, for this great, yeah. great peridot. Um, yeah. from, 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 that's sold out now. That's sold out. Stop dialing in for that one. Um, okay. So we, we saw the azure blue topaz before. That was an eight millimeter. Um, we've talked about the sky blue, though. Have a look. I've got another sky blue for you here. Uh, cut by, you know, cut under Glenn's guidance here for you. Look at this, I mean, this, this is, oh, so we're going to go for the garnet next. Oh, well, amazing. No, I didn't realize we had another garnet. Of course. The final, no, 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 the final garnet of the show. Is it about to sit, right, okay. We, this is very, very limited. We're going to do the final garnet. No more garnets after this one. No more garnets. This is my particular favorite of the whole show. We'll get those phone lines in. And uh, at uh, 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 seven millimeters, a wonderful proportion Taurus ring. Glenn, since it is the final garnet and we're not going to get to explore this gem material anymore, um, this one you can see, we're, we're getting much more rich purple hues, um, very reminiscent of the, of the Malawi material in the Daylight Simulator there. Talk me through, mm -hmm. what are we looking for from fine garnet and how does this hit those criteria? Well, I think garnet is one of those stones that can go from a deep kind of, um, kind of burgundy red to kind of a cinnamony, peachy red, mm. to when you start to get into these kind of purpley reds, you're talking more in that kind of rhodolite tone. Garnet is a very complex chemistry, and it's what we call a family, not necessarily a species. The family means kind of like tourmaline. It, the, the species changes depending on the chemistry, and garnet is known, it's very, complex chemistry that goes from magnesium to calcium in transition without getting too you know scientifically complex and therefore every garnet is a unique 
one off looking stone because of its chemistry can vary from stone to stone from the same location. Glenn, thank you so much for explaining that. It is, it is complex. Uh, this is about to sell out. Liam, straight down, please. $79.99. We started with over 24 of these. Let's go. We're down to the last three. We're down to pretty much the last 10% of this opportunity. It's the final Garnet Taurus ring of the show. If you've missed out consistently, and so many of you have, do not miss out on this one. Uh, don't forget as well, jewelry makers, if you want to look for the mounts, we have the mounts, they're all uploaded on, uh, um, they are uploaded though, am I right in saying that? Yeah, you can have a look on our website or the app, or speak to our contact centre if you're shopping with us via the telephone. Um, a classic 7mm as well, I mean, literally. A classic 7mm, uh, it'll fit into the Lara sign, remember those mounts are yeah. engraved with Glenn Lara's signature on there for you. Mm. And every single one of them, so that you are making a true piece of Glenn Lara art, which, which, which is, I mean, the signature of high jewellery, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, look at that. Um, and you can break this down into split pay if you wish, jewelry makers as well. Um, to twenty six pounds and sixty six pence a bit. I mean, that's that's unfathomable that we can actually get a Glen no, Lara piece. This is just sold out. Yeah, yeah. For, for, for under thirty pounds and split pay. Unfathomable. Um, and, 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 and I do on behalf of our entire community. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you for, uh, for, for 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 sharing this opportunity, sharing this artwork. Uh, it's so generously uh, with, with, with our entire community. Um, I teased the sky blue topaz, and in the moment I said that, we got a barrage of messages saying, show me the sky blue topaz. <laughs> and so we're going to show the sky blue topaz next. We'll move on to this one. Uh, again, we, we, we've talked about how much you love working with this material, Glenn. Um, I've talked about how much I love seeing this material because I, I do think there is something very primordial about seeing this material in the sky blue. But, Glenn, this is possibly our... In fact, I'm just going to check... Yeah, it is. It's our final sky blue topaz in the Taurus ring. Would you mind um, just talking us through, for this final opportunity, why you love working in sky blue topaz so much? I think it's the color. I mean, what else is there to say? It is, it is just, it is, you know, we're this, we're this blue planet in this vast space, right? And that's what makes the Earth so unique. And I think there's something about our oceans, our blue oceans, you know the, you know everywhere you look, the blue is is kind of a very soothing color. So I think even when I work on it, I feel calm. Uh, what can I say? You know, it's one of those gem materials that is gratifying because of its color and its tone. You know, we all have these emotional responses to color, and so blue is one of those colors that's very calming and very meditative. And I think that's primarily the reason why I like working it. It, uh, yeah, it is, it is, it is a calming, it is a calming look, isn't it? Uh, and like you say, Glenn, it, you know, it really talks to the Taurus forms, the human eye, the, the swirling storm. Let's go straight down on this one, seventy-nine ninety-nine. Wow. For our final, it is the final Swiss blue opportunity. Wow. Don't forget to have a look at your mounts. Can you imagine, in, in literally a few days, you are going to be a custodian of a Lara piece. Look at that. Wonderful glacial blues. Diamond literally radiating, but you just can't. Take your eyes off that performance of light internally. These are very, very popular jewelry makers, yeah. Um, those are Valerie, Kirsten, Debbie, Pauline, new customers, Va another Valerie, Jill, uh, Karen, Norma, uh, West Yorkshire, Candy. Gosh, there's too many names for me to actually mention everybody, but check out those baskets. I mean, uh, hopefully this will be a collaboration. Do you know what I'm going to do? Look, it's the final Swiss Blue. It's one of my favourites. Glenn's talked about it being his favourite. Adam, can I pick... Can I please get a wish list? So far, everyone who's been involved in this show, every single item that people have been missing out. Let's get the, let's show you how the wish list service works. Um, I want to buy myself a little bit of time to ask Glenn if we can do something truly, truly special and naughty on this piece. Uh, we'll be back straight after this. Here's how the wish list works. 
Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that we are live every day from 8 a.m. through to 5 p.m.? We can be watched on Sky, Freesat and Virgin. You can also watch us on Freeview SD from 8am to 1pm and Freeview HD from 1pm to 5pm. Or you can join us online at www.jewelrymaker.com or download our app from the App Store. That was really unfair of me. I shouldn't have done that to live to Glenn, to putting that pressure on. <laughs> uh, I apologise, Glenn. Uh, but Glenn has, Glenn's got an announcement. Glenn, uh, thank you so much. You, I, at 79.99, <laughs> it is a steal. And thank you so much for your generosity to everyone of, of our jewelry making community. Uh, I believe this is almost sold out now, but, but Glenn, uh, uh, over to you. Well, one of the things why I love working with Jim, Jim Maker now, and, and of course Jim Paul is, it's a way in which my work is affordable to more, more people than ever before because most of my stuff is museum grade and goes for hundreds if not thousands of pounds and dollars. But in this case, I think Jake and I just decided this is gonna be a gift from me to every of you out there. We're gonna drop the price another five pounds to, to 74.99, which is just an absolute screaming price. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, Glenn. And what it does so, is it means that everybody is who time. is buying on Split Pay is now getting it for twenty-five pounds on Split Pay. That's a milestone in my wildest dreams. I never thought we'd make. Uh, oh, that's just sold out instantly, that quickly. Well, wow. well okay. are we surprised at all? <laughs> Seriously, I, <laughs> you can get it home for twenty-five pounds. Wow, huge, huge, split. well done. Now. <laughs> As if this show could get any better. We, 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 we're towards the end of the tour swing now. We, you know, we've got about three opportunities left. But we have saved some of the best opportunities until last, including a brand new medium for the Taurus ring. You've seen it so far in beautiful sky blue. You've seen it in the garnet. You've seen it in fern green woods. But what you haven't seen so far is a grade of amethyst I know you rarely get to appreciate on this channel. Whenever I've brought it you, it has been an instant sellout and I've not brought it you in the Taurus ring. This is your introduction. I'm going to ask Glenn as well to, uh, to explain why he loves working with this particular material, but it is the grade that you hardly ever see in, in Amethyst, Rose de France Amethyst. Take a look at this. Glenn, why do you love Rose de France so much? Well, I think it's, I, I'm a big fan, like the sky blue topaz, I'm a big fan of pastels. Mm. I think, you know, pastels to me are sweet, they're delicate, you know, this lilac color. Uh, and, you know, I, you know, people think, oh, that's just light amethyst. But I have to tell people out there that the Rose de France only makes up about 1% to 2% of any mine run of amethyst. So, in fact, even though it's a lighter color, it's still much rarer when you think about the yield of amethyst that comes out of the earth. So to be able to come, and it doesn't come from every amethyst field. So you have to be in the right field. And to get whether it 100% it's in natural is, Africa, getting this 100% natural is culture. truly special. Um, and, 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 yeah. and, and Glenn, again, it's 100% yeah. natural. It's that Rose de France material. It's the only Rose de France uh, tourist that we've got. I, 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 I'm cutting in here and I apologize, only because these are already selling out. The, uh, 
The reception has been electric with this material. It's the first, it's the final Rose de France Taurus ring. Liam, straight down please on this one. $74.99, we're gonna hold that $74.99 price point for you. Good luck everyone wow, who is getting hold of these. Uh, I mean, that is truly, you said yeah, pretty, pretty delicate. It, it, it has this femininity, I think, this, this colour uh, combined with the Taurus yes. cut. And, and what's really interesting is a lot of people assume better saturation is, is more yeah. value. But that's actually not the case. Glenn will know this. Um, Papadasha Sapphire, if the saturation and the tone goes too high, mm -hmm. it's, a gem lab will no longer certify it as Papadasha Sapphire. It's only my, light and medium tone sapphires that get that certification. So with certain stones, you want to have pastel. Praise Light's another, uh, another example of that. Huge well done, everyone who is getting the only Rose de France piece of the show. Gosh, it's beautiful, isn't it? One and a half carats. Um, again, the light of the shades just seem to, uh, um, I, I, I think I'm right in saying this, just seem to really highlight every single one of the facets, Glenn, that you influenced to these beautiful pieces. Yeah, absolutely. That's kind of why I like the pastel colors. I mean, I love the intensity of certain colors like the garnet. But when you're getting into the pastels, you know, as a gem cutter, you really see how the light travels through it because there's enough transparency and lightness to it. You can see how the brilliance comes to life. And you brought up a good point about performance of light. You know, prior to my career, you know, you're talking back, I go back into the late 80s. You know, cut wasn't given that much uh, a credence. But now, cut is everything. And so with a cut, to really bring out life in a Jones. So now everything is about performance. Wow. Glenn, after everything you said, I feel awful doing this. We're going to take the five pounds off. <laughs> Jake, Let's I can do see it. the horns growing. I can see the horns <laughs> let's, I know we talk 74.99. I'm sorry. I'll buy you a wine when you next come here. Uh, let's do 69.99. Let's take another five pounds off the Goodness price for the me. only Rose de France of the show. A, a beautiful piece. It, it, you know, it, we know pastels are the color of the year this year. We know yeah. that, the, that this material is incredibly sought after. Just one or two percent of any mines production will be this grade. Huge congratulations, to those of you who are snapping this up. I mean, it literally, can I just point out to our lovely viewers at home, there was no need whatsoever to drop the price. No need. They were already going to be an on-screen sellout for sure. But I suppose in celebration of, uh, of uh, Glenn uh, being with us with the incredible Taurus uh, cut and also our 11th birthday, I guess that's our excuse. <laughs> I don't know how long we'll be able to get away with this though, Glenn. Well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one thing I do want to say, like, obviously, this is the launch. We know launches at introductory price points. Mm -hmm. That's the, you know, it's the best deal you're going to get. Please, when Glenn's going to be a regular fixture here at Jewelry Maker, he's going to be yes. part of our community, which I'm incredibly excited about. But please don't uh, at home. Please don't. You know, this is artists' work, and, and and it's right that we probably value that. This is you, you know, and I know. This is not a sixty nine ninety nine cut. Absolutely, absolutely not. Absolutely not. No. And, and when you see the price go up in the future, that is absolutely the right thing that should happen with this gem. I'm going to leave those last few chances. A cut. They're, they're on, on checkout, I'm sure they're going to sell out. We'll keep you updated on, on, wow. on to that. Now, let's go back up in size. This is your penultimate opportunity. Your penultimate opportunity for the Taurus ring. There are two chances left. This is one of them, and we're going back up in size. It is the beautiful fern green quartz. It's been a hugely popular cut, right, color right the way through. Take a look at the final chance to get one. Wow. Mm. Wow. Beautiful. I mean, this hue... Zesty, this hue, isn't it? it, it it's, uh, uh, and it really is. It's worth thousands. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, I've saw, in fact, I've, I've sourced, uh, I've sourced, I've sourced Peridot recently, four thousands of this exact same hue. Um, it's extraordinary to be able to get this. And like Glenn said, really only coming from the Kashmir mountains um, in, right. in, in, in Peridot there in Pakistan. Uh, it's, it's extraordinary. And, you know, one of the things that's fascinating about the color green is it's the one color that our eye 
sees the, the greatest variations of tone shape. And I think that probably goes back to when we were hunter-gatherers in the forest, and what our eyes had to learn to see the green subtleties of the foliage among, among the plants to be able to see whether we were hunting or gathering. And so green is one of those colors where we see such variations of shades and tones mm. like no of the other colors on the, on the color spectrum wheel. Glenn, I'm going to have to go straight down on this. This is already selling out. You know it's the, it, it's the largest remaining Taurus ring of the show. Let's go straight down, please. $69.99. It's a price point I know you're loving at home. <laughs> I can just hear Glenn in the background. Um, you can get hold of the actual mounts that will literally, it's a, it's a, it's a classic four-prong mount, customised and hand-signed by Glenn that will accommodate this beautiful, beautiful work of art. Now, that's the only way I can actually describe it, Glenn, as a, as a, a work of art. You know, for the value of the gemstones alone, $69.99 is incredible. Yeah, I mean, but, but for the fact that this is literally from... Glenn himself, the creator um, of this beautiful piece, that's priceless. With this order, you are going to get a £20 autobiography. It retails at £20 for free. So if you go, okay, fine, so $19.99, let's take that off the price. That's the value. That's the value of Glenn's autobiography. That means we're bringing you essentially this gem for £50 only when you factor in the price of the book. Mm. Huge well done, everyone who's doing this. The penultimate. Burn green quartz. You've got to check out because there are more people with it in your basket. Uh, huge congratulations to those of you that have. You, know, you don't have to check out your basket. You can wait to the end of the show. You're at risk of missing out. Those yeah, of you who absolutely. have checked out, massive congratulations. Acquiring a true piece of Lara artwork. Look at that. It's electrifying. And it's a mm. big, it's a big piece as well. I mean, this is uh, obviously... I, 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 what's the largest ever Taurus cut that you've had? Was it 14 mil? The largest we'd had in the show was a 14 millimeter, yes. Wow. Yeah. So this is right up there in terms of size. Yeah, you know, it's the largest remaining of the show as well. Yeah, sure. Beautiful fern green quartz. Love it. Absolutely love that. Um, goodness me, and you can get that home for £34.99 on two split paints. If there are any of these, Glenn, and I've got, I've got to say, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not bothered what, which stone. Um, I'll absolutely be joining um, our jury maker community on this, on this launch. They are so beautiful. And it's been a long time since I've actually had the chance to bring them to air as well. So um, loving, loving this morning. <laughs> well done, everyone who was successful there. Now, well this is, we all knew this time would happen. We all knew it would come, that the party would have to draw to an end. This is the final, this is the final choice. We have got a bit of a surprise coming up in, in about three minutes time or so, but I'm, I'll tell you about that afterwards. Final Taurus ring cut. Final Taurus ring cut. And here wow. it is. The Pad Paracha is extraordinary. What a way to end on a high. Mm. A juicy orange. That's so beautiful, isn't it? Oh, goodness me. Just when you think you've seen your favourite, then another one pops up and you think, oh, maybe that one. Look at that. The light is ricocheting, orbiting well, almost. I think, what, I think what's happened is what people end up doing is they fall in love with all the colours. So they have to add to the colour. You know, we know that it's important. There are many collectors who have, you know, a dozen, two mm -hmm. dozen pieces of So I think once they get hooked on the cut, then they have to transit all the different colours to add the to speak and this is a great opportunity to build out one's collection so to speak well i'm going to try and help our collectors build that collection i'm going to try and help people at home amass a collection of taurus rings owning glenn's artwork direct from the artist joining us today and glenn we're incredibly grateful for you to have to do that for us liam 59.99 we're gonna make this the most affordable taurus <laughs> ring 
of the show in the Papadasha. Glenn, I'm sorry, it's Thanks. your final one. You're lucky I'm not there. <laughs> I, I really am. Uh, I mean, I'm excited for when you can be here, but it's going to be a passage of time. Hopefully, you'll right. have calmed down by then. On split pay, $29.99, $59.99 total payment for a genuine Lara Taurus ring. And, and do you know what, Glenn, you said earlier on, you were like, uh, you said once people uh, own a single piece uh, of, of, of uh a Taurus ring, earrings, necklaces, whichever it might be, or the cut stone, then literally they become hooked on it uh, and the collection actually begins. Perhaps that's what, hopefully, um, that's what we can actually justify this saving for. It'll be the beginning of a wonderful collection. Because it truly I is difficult to so. choose, isn't it? It's so difficult to choose a favourite. Oh, you get this home I and think I you think... Have it, to you have to start with your first pick and then work your way down. Yeah, so, or yeah. Work your way, work your way up, I should say. Yeah, I had quite a few messages. Yes, last night, uh, Glenn, on my Facebook page, when I was talking about today's show to some of my uh, friends, and they were saying much, uh, much the same as what you just have done there. Um, you know, I own a few of Glenn's pieces, and I'm still collecting. I think that's what happens. I think what what people realize, especially once they get the piece. They get stopped every day. This, I hear this all the time. They get stopped and ask me, oh, my God, what is this? Where did you get it? <laughs> you know, because it's not your normal no. run-of-the-mill gemstone. Time. So and to take something like this and be able to create it and also make it so accessible, the way you have done this on Gem, Gem Jewelry Maker, makes it extremely easy to collect, I might say. Yeah, and like and like you said earlier on, you know, um, you won't find anything else like uh, like Glenn's works of art. This is so unique, so so unique, on the verge of selling out. And I think that's an entire introductory Taurus ring cut uh, sellout launch. Yeah, and I think that is the the beginning of hopefully many many exciting things to come here at Jewelry Maker. Glenn, thank you so much for sharing the Taurus ring with us um, on this Jewelry Maker 11th birthday. Now, if at home you were thinking, okay, now I get to take a bit of a breath, uh, you know, I can, I, 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 can, I can relax, I can calm down, I hate to disappoint you, you absolutely can't. We are not stopping there, are we, Glenn? Because we have got, and we've kept it closely under wraps, we have got the next cut to unveil here at Jewelry Maker. So Glenn, talk us through, in terms of the evolution of the Taurus ring, many, many moons ago, uh, we, 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 you know, we, 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 we worked together to Gem Pori Partnership and yourself uh, to, to bring the Taurus ring. And then as an artist though, you never want to sit on your laurels. I don't think you can. I mean, if you sit on your laurels, then you're moving backwards. You know, they say, you know, you know, the biggest curse, the biggest curse of sitting on your, your laurels is you actually fall into mediocrity. <laughs> and, 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 and let that never you. be said about Glenn, right? <laughs> <laughs> so for me, I'm always like, as soon as I've accomplished one thing and, and I've, hit, I've hit the mark, I'd say, then the next thing is what's next? You know, and I think that's been the, the long 10 year success I've had here with the, the Gemporia group, jewelry maker, gem collector, now of course, you know, with all the shows that I've been on, is that I'm constantly pushing the boundaries and bringing new cuts to you. So this next cut we're about to unveil for the first time on Jewelry Maker is truly the next evolution. And it, and it came out of this magical cone that was discovered in the Taurus ring, but it's, Completely a different cut. Well, yeah, Glenn, I remember when you very first unveiled this cut to me. Uh, 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 and most people have never seen this cut before. I remember vividly when you unveiled it to me and, and you, you showed it me. And, and I was familiar with the Taurus ring. And, and, and I thought, and, and my reaction then, you, you correct me, you meant that's exactly what my wife and business partner Sharon thought as well. When you handed me, I thought that the diamond was loose in the Taurus ring because the way the light was moving, whoa, 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 whoa. Went, no, no, don't worry, don't worry. That is not diamond, that is pure light that is behaving like the diamond at the heart. And if, That's right. if the Taurus ring is a celebration of that Taurus form that is so prevalent within, within the universe, 
Then, then, Glenn, explain to us why we've you've named this cut an evolution of the Taurus, the next stage as the quasar. Well, <clears throat> you know, the quasar is is uh, what we call quasi-stellar radio waves. You know, this is something that you know for the astronomers out there, the astrophysicists, um, it is. It is the birth of our universe, and we're picking up on the radio waves. Until we actually had um, satellite telescopes, we really didn't know. We knew they existed, but we didn't know what it looked like out there. And as soon as we were able to put these telescopes outside of the Earth's atmosphere and direct it towards the birth of the universe, could we see these? There it is. And what it is is plasma, which is, which is still gassy. Uh, liquid space that is coagulating heat and forming, um, you might say, solar system in the birth of the universe. So the light we see today is actually the birth of the universe that is just reaching us after five billion years, four and a half billion. So uh, some astron but anyways, that's the quasar. A journey really that's crossed the universe. universe. You're not the only one who thought there was a stone floating in the middle that was going to fall out. Because I had had several people contact me and going, gee, I got my stone today. The stone's missing in the middle. What happened to the stone? In the middle? I thought it had a stone in the middle when I saw it on TV. But in fact, it's an optical illusion. Wow. And so thus the quasar, something that is so very, very far away, looks so close to us. That's the optical illusion that I created in this quasar cut that we're about to show you. Well, let's, let's unveil then, with no further ado, a bonus launch here on the Jewelry Maker Birthday with Glenn. Thank you so much for, for, for doubly spoiling us today, Glenn. Your first glimpse at the quasar cut. Wow. Mm. Very, wow. very special. And Glenn... Just talk us through what we're witnessing here right now. <clears throat> well, it has that, that same cone that the Taurus ring has, which you know condenses light and bends light and reflects it on the outside surface. And most traditional gemstones have what we call a flat table, big flat table and a small crown. But here it's all crown and what would traditionally be the table it's actually a very small, concave little dish on the top. And that concave dish optically pushes light farther away. So what's so very, very far away comes very close. Thus, the quasar may kind of what's so far away is right there in front of us. So you can see it. So it has that optical illusion as though a gemstone setting in the middle of it, but it's really a single stone. Not like the Taurus ring that has a diamond in it, it's actually one stone, but the optical illusion makes it look like it's two stones in one. And then that is the magic right there. We're gonna open the graphic straight away for this Rose de France, the largest quasar cut of the show. We're talking about a 12 millimeter gem. We're going right back up, back up, back up in size again. The lip, we have hardly any of these because it's using the bigger material. Glenn, there is, explain to, to people who are tuning in just for the first time the relationship between the size of the material and how many chances there are even coming out of the mine. Oh, well, are you talking specifically about the Rose de France? Well, just, just around the gem world. You can talk about the Rose de France, but also it's a, it's a law that pretty much applies throughout any transparent gem material. That's true. You know, most, you know, hey, you know, what's the percentage of gem rough in the world when you look at mountains, you know? Look at mountain ranges. And in that mountain range, it's, it's almost, you know, in, you know, completely a small, you know, you know, you look at a huge tree, and on that huge tree, the flower is very small. The gem, gem sources are very hard to find in this huge, massive, you know, earth that we have. And then for them to form, get big enough, is it takes just the right geological, you know, occurrences to allow the gem to grow as a crystal over time. 
So the bigger it gets, the rarer it gets. Right, and with that in mind, the bigger it is, the rarer it is. Simple principle throughout the gem world. These have almost already sold out. Liam, we're going to go straight now, please. Seventy-nine ninety-nine, despite the size. It's despite wow. the size of this incredible piece. I'm looking at it because this, this is my first experience of the quasar cut as well um, uh, during Makers. And I'm looking. Am I right in saying this? Uh, uh, certainly, the circumference of uh, of the uh, of the the stone right now, um, you almost have layers. It's like petaling, I suppose, with that like, with the light uh, and the facets, the direction that the facets go. But it almost the illusion of layering. Yeah, and, and what that is, and, and Glenn will be. I'll ask Glenn to jump in in a moment's time. It, 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 in my own simple way, I, I don't understand the science anywhere near as, as sophisticated as Glenn does. But that is essentially, the petal is the reflection of the cone in the facets. Wow. And, 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 and that layering, in fact, sorry, that sold out. We'll have Glenn talk us through that layering in just a moment's time. That sold out straight away. This is the Quasar, the bonus launch you never knew was coming. Let's move to the next one straight away for you. This time in material we haven't seen all show. I love yeah. working with this next gem. It's one of my favorite gems on the planet. We haven't seen it so far in the show. This is the Quasar in Praiseolite. And, 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 and I think it's incredible. The quick question before I hand over to Glenn, will these fit the mount still? Yes, these will still fit the Lara signed mounts. What do I mean by that? Let the, Glenn's signature is engraved into the band of your map. They're all available online. Alternative to dial the contact center, they'll be able to talk you through the options. Glenn, so much to talk about, but not enough time because these are already selling out. Glenn, talk us through two questions I want you to talk us through. Oh. One, Elle talked there about the layers, you know, the 3D phenomena and almost layers yes. of light and petaling in this, almost like a lotus and how yeah. lotuses have different tiers yes. of, of, of petals coming through. <clears throat> One, what, what, what's happening there? And I'll do a very brief overview, but I know I've nowhere near done justice to the magic. And two, why do you like working with Brazy Light? Okay, starting out, what you're seeing as far as reflections is the cone is kind of like a cone in the center. And the outer facets are reflecting that cone that makes it look like uh, flower petals because it's, it's, it's kind of a triangular cone shape. Mm. And those are reflecting on the outer perimeters of what you see in, under the crown. And then, of course, what you see in the center of the stone with the dimple of that little concave dish is actually the cone being pushed farther away. So... It is an optical illusion that it's pushing the cone. Anytime you go internally in a, in a concave, light gets pushed away. Anytime you do convex, which is dome, you're magnifying it, bringing it closer. It's, it's the law of optics, so to speak. So that's what I'm playing with right now. I'm playing with the combination of the cone and the dimple or the concave dish on the table. That's on all on optics. That's kind of where I say I paint with light. Wow. Now, the phrasal thing is very rare, like the Rose de France. There's only so much of it in the world. It is actually was a, a rare occurrence discovered, you know, decades ago in Brazil that when they were mining amethyst in Rio Grande do Sul in southern Brazil, they came across this green material, and they didn't know what it was at first. And then they realize that it's a certain amethyst from a certain location that in, when they heated it, this is a heated stone, that instead of it going into citrine, which is what they were trying to achieve, it went to this green color. Mm. Beautiful. And then they knew they had another third, third variety of amethyst, so to speak. So, you know, the amethyst, is, the citrine will go yellow. And in certain cases, in the case of the Rio Grande do Sul, it will go this unique kind of sagey green coat. Centered around a mine <laughs> known as the Montezuma Mine, became internationally famous, like Glenn says, a couple of, de couple of, uh, couple of decades ago. Liam, we're going to have to go on this one because already people are getting involved. Thank you so much for your trust, Liam. Scrap the $79.99 we talked about at the beginning of the trip. $69.99. For the only Praise Your Light of 
the show bar none. It is an extraordinary piece. And, and, and whenever, I think Glenn's been very modest here, whenever I work with a crazy light and we, we're looking at fancy cuts, it's always the material that performs the best. But you will never see Praise Light like, perform like this in any other cut. The Quasar is truly, truly unique. Huge congratulations. Already over half of these have gone. Wow. I remember, Jake, you actually referencing uh, your love for this gemstone and, and, and also mentioning uh, Glenn's cut. You know, the two, the two of those together. Um, oh, I, I wholeheartedly agree. This is absolutely astonishing, isn't it? That beautiful soft sagey green with flashes of silver almost within yeah um, and i love it you get these secondary little moments of yeah. blue coming through as well yeah. which really lend that sage uh, a, a, a real presence that color that we're getting through here massive congratulations those of you who've got this wow yeah i can't i can't think of any other gemstone in the in the gem world that is of this own and color no. can you jake Sorry, Glenn, I just missed that. Say that again for me. I'm saying Praiselite is the only gemstone species that I can think of that comes this color. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, and that's I why I love it. You know, there's so many gems that, that, that can look like another gem, kyanite to sapphire, spinel to ruby. But you're absolutely right. I, I, I'm racking my head through the gem world, and I can't think of anything. Praiselite Maybe. is Praiselite, and nothing can look like it. Crazy light is crazy light. Maybe closely some of the new sapphire we're seeing coming from different locations, but yes, not the possibly. same color. Po possibly. Um, or, 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 uh, not the same color. And, and I, I think that what they lack is that this has got a really subtle pastel blue, whereas mm. that sapphire often has a, a deeper blue. Um, I'm thinking particularly yes. in some of the Nigerian material. Really unique. Do you know what I'm going to do on this one? Right. Let's go again. $59.99. Let's put this on split pay under £30 for you right now this morning. Oh, my goodness me. I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of pleased that I can't see uh, Glenn's reaction to that right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And this is the only praiser light that we've actually brought today in the show. Yes, uh, the only one. And remember, all of these are cut under Glenn's guidance. And the master, the, 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 the patent owner, the inventor, the, the visionary of this... The only material using the, the only piece of art that is using that praise light mat medium and material, and, and we're incredibly grateful that Glenn has done that in this material. Uh, and wow. for those of you just tuning in, uh, Glenn is joined tonight by uh, by Simba. Glenn, is Simba okay to make an appearance? Or, uh, or yeah, oh, there, 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 Simba. Simba. Hello, oh, Simba. See, oh, he's adorable. Look at that face. <laughs> yeah, he is so cute. Yeah. He's, he's beautiful. Like it's more like a dog than a cat, what can I say? <laughs> he comes when I call him. He comes when I whistle. Oh, he's the most <laughs> famous cat, and, clearly. And he follows me wherever I go. <laughs> <laughs> as a, well, to Glenn and to Simba and, and to you at home as well, thank you so much uh, for being in this show. We've got a couple of chances left. We're going to... We're going to leave that there. There's about two or three chances and about 20 of you with it in your baskets there. Uh, good luck getting involved. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. You said earlier on, Jake, uh, uh, um, sorry, um, Glenn, you were saying about pastel, uh, pastels being some of your favourites. I always think of pastels as having, like, a, a, in fact, your wedding, um, your wedding, the colours of your wedding were beautiful. And, you, Glenn, you'll remember this, the pastels, multiple pastel shades. And I always think of chiffon. Gosh, this literally is that chiffon colour. Uh, yeah, and this is, this is the mm. final Rose de France. We've talked about Rose de France quite a bit. I love this material. You know I love it. I know you love it as well. Representing just 1% or 2% of a mine's output. Uh, and, and Glenn's got the pick of any mine. <laughs> Glenn Larry, he, he won't say it because he's mm. too humble, but I'll say it. People clamour to be able to work with Glenn, and miners clamour to be able to put their material in his hands. He's picked the very best, all-natural, Brazilian source Rose de France and look at this it's extraordinary material I'm going to go straight down on this one because uh, because we are we are running out of time in this show let's go straight down Liam please 59.99 one crash act quickly jewelry makers um, because they are of course selling out 
Listen, I was not privy to what these introductory deals were going to be prior to this morning's show, so I'm as shocked as you are. Um, but, yeah, don't wait. Don't hesitate. Get this home. You can even break it down to your split pay. It is utterly mesmeric, and you truly are custodians of absolute works of art. Did you imagine that you were going to wake up this morning and purchase maybe not just one, you could possibly be multi-bought across this uh, across this show. Um, that's amazing, Glenn, that we're actually talking about being able to buy multiple works of art from yourself in this introductory launch. Mm. Absolutely unbelievable. Beautiful colors, only the finest quality, as Jake said. Oh. And the finest lapidary work that I think I've ever seen. It's absolutely beautiful. We have, uh, you can get hold of the mounts as well, jewelry makers, for those of you that have just tuned in, if you want to actually have uh, the Glen Lair assigned mounts. Um, they will all be, uh, um, well, no, hang on a minute. Some of them are uploaded on the website at the prices. Some are actually going lower. We'll actually correct. They're on pre-order currently, um, so we'll do that at the top of the hour. But they're all hand signed. Uh, they're all actually sorry signed by Glenn Lehrer, um, The actual mounts, and they're different varieties as well. So there's rings um, and there's pendant mounts. Rings, right? pendants, uh, earrings. Oh. And there's a beautiful cross pendant. I absolutely love it. Fantastic cross pendant where you can sit either a quasar or a Taurus right into the heart of the cross, uh, the cross section. A beautiful faith or for fashion. That's the Rose de France amethyst. Now we're going to be going to another material we haven't seen all show. We've seen topaz. We saw, we, 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 we saw the sky blue topaz, we saw the azura topaz. But Glenn, pristine white topaz. Ice white, glacial in its quality. I know you've, you've used this medium extensively throughout oh. your career. And, I, I, and remember, every single person who gets wow. involved today, uh, you are going to get a free copy of Glenn's, uh, Glenn's autobiography. And it doesn't take long flicking through this to see some of Glenn's masterpieces that are immortalized, immortalized in beautiful ice white topaz, Glenn, does it? Mm. Look at this. Have a look at this. Take a look at this piece right here. Oh my wow. goodness me. I mean, talk about stellar. You know, we're talking about the quasar, the stellar. birth of the universe. This is a stellar performer with light. And what I love about the white topaz is that, you know, it has a much higher refractive index than optical light cords. So you're getting this kind of almost satiny brilliance yeah. that only white topaz can project, so to speak, because of its higher refractive index. Gosh, that is... And for those of you that were wanting to know what I'm saying when I say refractive index is the degree in which it bends light as it goes from one medium to the next. You know, when you, you put a stick in water, you can see it bend, and that's your refractive bending of water bending that stick that makes it look crooked. But that's exactly what's happening in gem material, and every gem material has its own distinctive refractive index, which is a gemological skill that we're able to separate the difference between different gemstones by being able to take its refract refractive index on a refractometer. And, and the ice white topaz has a very high refractive index. Yeah, and, 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 and the higher, the better with this material. So diamonds, for example, why do diamonds perform so well? It's because of their high refractive index. Mm. And Topaz, right. similarly, uh, there. Uh, Liam, let's go straight down on this one, please. $59.99, which I know, uh, Glenn being familiar with the gem world, hang on a second. Topaz, at the same price as Quartz, is that something that should happen, Glenn? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry. I don't, you know, I don't know how you do it, mate. But... But it is not, it's not your promo. This is definitely, I think, a birthday gift to all your jewelers right now because, you know, you know, I know that when I go shopping for clear white topaz, if I'm going to have it transformed into blue topaz or if we're going to do the azure blue, you're going to pay a lot more per kilo for white topaz. And it's rare because it, you know, it's harder to find. There's only, only a couple sources, whether it's Nigeria, 
or um, I or sub from Ukraine, but the best is Brazil. Glenn, I'm so sorry and, to interrupt. And, Forgive yeah. me. That has sold out that last piece there. Uh, we're going to move to our final quasar cut material. Final chance. And this, Glenn, I know this is one of your favorite mediums to work in. Um, again, everyone who buys today, who's got hold of one of, their, one, of the, one of your pieces of art, they will get a free copy of your autobiography, normally 20 pounds, uh, which talks through your, your whole story, genealogical and otherwise, which I think is lovely. But what I want to share is they come to full, full color photography areas. And there's a material that you work extensively in, Glenn. Uh, this beautiful sculpture, the wings of Isis, and you see it here, frosted optic white quartz, optic clear quartz. Uh, as, as we move across here, uh, again, some more beautiful sculptures of Glenn's featuring. This one here, the, 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 the Catwoman, again, putting it in, in optically clear quartz, optic quartz. It recurs throughout your story, doesn't it, Glenn, this material? Yes. Well, it's, it's, you might say that was my coming of age. I mean, the very first piece I ever cut was an optic white quartz. It's where I, I cut my teeth on, you might say. <laughs> uh, hopefully but it's hopefully where, not it's, too it's severely. It's where I could really hone my skills. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, uh, so this is really, it's bringing it right back to the beginning, isn't it? But uh, you doing it, it in is. an innovative cut. We're going to go out with a bang. We're going to end this party in style today. I hope you're ready at home. I hope you're ready to act on this, to put yourself in the driving seat for the first time ever. Wow. A quasar cut, a Glen Lehrer piece of art in natural optic quartz, the first medium, the medium of choice. Liam, $49.99 oh on this goodness. incredible, incredible birthday event. And, and, and I'm sure on behalf of everyone who's involved today, uh, look, I'm not going to hark on about this. You can see it, it's, it's on the biggest writing on screen, and I'm a little bit embarrassed to have that there with Glenn on screen as well. So instead, <laughs> I'm going to focus on the messages. We'll bring up some messages to Glenn if we could uh, from, from our incredible community. Glenn, on behalf of everyone uh, who's watching today, who's got involved today, huge, huge thank you for sharing your art, for sharing your passion, for sharing your knowledge. And I can say again on behalf of everyone, we are really excited to welcome you into this community and, to, and, to, and, and over you. the next few years to see what wonderful pieces of art we can build. And Tracy from Merseyside here in the United Kingdom, she's messaged in, she said, wow, wow, wow. Never thought I'd get to add a Quasar cut to join my Taurus ring I bought from Gempora years ago. Thank you, Glenn. And I'd echo that. Thank you, oh. Glenn. Thank you, Tracy. Wow, thank you so much. Uh, and Glenn, truly, Tracy is one of many, many, many jewelry makers that are literally, uh, I think, on cloud nine right now for, to, to be able to say that they own uh, one of your incredible pieces. And that's fabulous. That's really, really fabulous. So, uh, so again, I'm, I'm feeling you know, so, uh, it's, it's so heartwarming that uh, oh, Tracy and many will be saying, feeling that way. Absolutely. It was heartwarming to hear, and I know it, you know, there was something so gratifying knowing that you're spreading a lot of joy, in the, you know, which is so important for all of us, I think, to, to keep our spirits up. Absolutely. And, and, and we're excited to welcome you into the studio as soon as, as, soon as, the, uh, as, soon as travel allows. Uh, Helen's written in from Suffolk. She's saying, thank you so much, JM and Glenn Lara, for bringing these amazing pieces of art. 2JM. I can't believe I'm able to purchase one and to get the book yeah. too. And, 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 and I suppose taking that idea from Helen, you're absolutely right, Helen. Uh, on behalf of us all, thank you to Glenn. Uh, though I absolutely echo that. But if you think about it, the book's £20. And if don't, you're getting the quartz, you're getting the quartz for £29.99. I'm not going to hack on about that point too much. No, let's uh, not. Denise has written, <laughs> Glenn, I love your work. Thank you, Denise. You've got me out of a hole there. I have two of your rings already, and now I can make my own. Thank you so much. And Glenn, as, as a final uh, talking point, really, I suppose, just before we say goodbye, I mean, what an exciting thing this is for, for, for jewelry maker, for the community, but also for you. It started with the cut to, 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 to put it into designers, and now we, we, we're going back to that, really, allowing designers to work with your pieces of art to collaborate, just like Paula Crevache does, collaborate with your right. art to create new pieces of art. How does that feel to be part of that process? 
I love it. <laughs> I, because, you know, I always tell people as a gem carver artist, you know, an artist will do a work of art. They do it so they finish it. But as a gem artist, you only go halfway. You, you, you create only half the artwork. And then you leave the other half for the imagination for the jewelry designer artist to instill their imagination into it. So it's kind of like this unknown co-creative process where I'm doing something where I'm creating half of the art and I don't know where it's going to go from there. I, it's like being halfway in the unknown. Well, I'm <laughs> sure there's a lot of excited people uh, ready to take your, take your hand, take your art and step into the unknown with you. And we're, we're really looking forward to seeing all of their creations. Glenn, thank you so much. I really appreciate you joining us on the show tonight. I, I know it is late there in California, but, but keep safe. Uh, all, all of our love thank from you. the whole community to your wonderful wife, thank Sharon. And, and we're looking forward to seeing more of you very, very soon. Thank you so much, Glenn, for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure very much. So, Brilliant. Thank you, Glenn. Take care, buddy, and we'll, we'll chat soon. And those of you who have acquired this, huge congratulations. Remember, all of the Lara signed mounts, all of the Lara signed mounts are available online right now, so go and acquire those. What do I mean by Lara signed? His signature is literally in the gold. You could be making Lara jewelry today uh, or acquiring the pieces today to be able to do that. It's a huge, huge accomplishment. We've never done anything like it before. Now, now, if you want, the ones that are on pre-order, by the way, we're going to we're going to set all those lowest prices during a break that's just about to happen now. Um, and, and, and the reason we're having a break is because you've got these pieces of art, you've got the opportunity to make very, very high-end jewellery. What do you need? You need to look after it. <laughs> we're talking <laughs> yeah. about heirloom pieces. Mm -hmm. These are pieces that are going to be passed down generation to generation. You need to look after it. And so we're, we're, we're being joined uh, by connoisseurs, Tammy from Connoisseurs, uh, I'm going to make way for Tammy from Connoisseurs. She's going to be staying with Elle uh, and really giving you all the tools you need. You know how to make the art. You've heard from the artist. Now we've got to learn how to look after the art. Happy birthday, jewelry maker. Amongst the many exciting things, jewelry makers, that we have coming up tomorrow, we also have brand new connoisseurs arriving and being brought to screens in the 11 o'clock hour. Perfect for all of your jewellery cleaning needs. In the 12 o'clock hour, we have Miori, which is a premium brand for all of your storage, looking after your gemstones and your jewellery making stash. So make sure you're with me. It's 11 o'clock for your connoisseurs and 12 o'clock for your Miori. So it's birthday and always what do we do on birthday week is we have something new. So on Thursday, we will be bringing, or I will be bringing, paint pouring to you. Now you may have seen paint pouring on the great big canvases and amazing works of art, but I'm gonna be downscaling and bringing it to you in your jewelry creations. I cannot wait to show you how effective it is. Really hope you can join me in the afternoon from 1 p.m. Happy 11th birthday, jewelry maker. And after the year that we've all had, the best thing for us is to celebrate in style. Happy birthday, jewellery maker, 11 years old. Wow, that time has completely flown. What an amazing birthday event we've got for you this year. Join us this coming Friday as part of our birthday celebrations here at Jewelry Maker. We have invited some extra special guests for you. We will be joined by Daniel Raphael, our diamond man, and you just wait and see what he's got in store for you. And phoning in from Poland will be the adorable, wonderful Marius, who has some extra special brand new amber pieces for you. So make sure you join us this coming Friday, the 7th of May, here at Jewelry Maker. Happy birthday to everyone at Jewelry Maker. It has been an amazing 11 years and I look forward to everything that we've got coming up in the future. For everyone at home, I just want to say congratulations to all of you that have been involved with Jewelry Maker for the last 11 years and I can guarantee you the next 11 are going to be just as special.
Hi, I'm Chloe Minaj. Join me live this Saturday where I'll be launching a brand new booklet. I'll be showing you how to make opalous earrings and they're super sparkly, perfect for a birthday party. I'll be introducing you to synthetic opal and we'll have some brand new kits as well as booklets, workshops and more. So tune in from one o'clock. Just wanted to say a massive happy 11th birthday to Jewelry Maker. Got a really exciting week ahead to help us celebrate. So during the birthday celebrations week, I will be bringing you three new mediums, which I cannot wait to show you and teach you how to do them as well. Really exciting. Hi, I'm Roger Taylor from Argentium. Uh, happy birthday to Jewelry Maker. Uh, there was a fantastic show that I'll be on on the 8th of May. Look forward to seeing you and showing you some wonderful things. Now this coming Saturday as part of our fabulous JM Birthday Week, I am going to be joined by the adorable Roger of Argentium. And Roger is very excited because not only does he have kits with Argentium and Jade and Amber, but we've got two great new treats. Now the first one, he's already told us about previously, he is bringing in no less than 126 Argentium jump rings for you, so that's going to be awesome and a brand new micro polisher as well. We've also got the wonderful Gemma Crow from 11am with Millie Putt, so that's going to be exciting, and then Luscious Larimar from midday at 12pm. So join us this coming Saturday, the 8th of May, for our Gentium, Millie Putt and Larimar. Oh, jewelry makers, what an absolutely amazing morning. But we are not stopping there because Jake is absolutely right. When you have such fine works of art, beautiful jewelry, as maybe some of the Glen uh, Glenn Lara pieces, uh, what you may have inherited uh, or purchased yourself, it's really important that you actually look after these treasures. Um, and that's where I so gladly uh, introduce the fabulous collection that is Connoisseurs. And Tammy, hello, hello. Tammy. Hello, good morning. Morning, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, you're us. welcome. Thank you for having me. Apologies for being a little bit late as well. <laughs> That's okay. You were very busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was very, very busy. Um, but likewise, I know that uh, Connoisseurs, huge brand. Yeah. Huge yep. brand. Would you mind uh, just in, firstly introducing yourself maybe a little yep. bit? Yeah. Um, so, and, the, and, and the company yeah. itself. Okay. So I'm Tammy. I am sales director at Goodman Bros which is the UK distribution company for uh, Connoisseurs. Mm -hmm. um, Connoisseurs is a US company from Boston, uh, founded by two brothers. Um, and, and they basically saw a gap in the market that there's so many cleaning products out there, mm -hmm. but there was nothing that was specifically for jewelry. Now, as you said, we, we spend so much money on our jewelry, and if it's not monetary value it's sentimental absolutely yeah. um we do it with face care we we do it with our hair we do we spend so much but we seem to forget about our jewelry gosh you're so right you are so so <laughs> right so this is where connoisseur steps in yes yes and so as you can see so in line with the the beauty treatment that's basically what they call it is it's a beauty treatment for your jewelry so right down to the packaging you can see it's all just little bits that you can pop in your handbag yeah. or you know that doesn't look out of place mm -hmm. um, and it is specifically for cleaning jewelry from the most precious of stones right down to your fashion jewellery. Uh, everything needs a clean, everything needs looking after and, and we can't keep going to our jeweller every two minutes no. to have that big, deep, ultrasonic, professional cleaning system. So, so even, uh, even your s certain stones, is there any stones, uh, gemstones that maybe are eliminated or are we talking no, about all? No, so we have, uh, there's different liquids, uh -huh. um, which your jewellery makers will know from before. So we do have a delicate liquid that caters for um, your more porous stones, uh -huh. you know, those those delicate stones, okay. um, which is also for your fashion jewellery. Right. Um, but what we have here today is the jewellery cleansing foam. So it's a new product. Um, it's something that is strong enough for 
your diamonds and your platinum, but it's gentle enough for your pearls and your flesh and jewelry. Really? Wow, yes. that's amazing. Because yes. uh, to my knowledge, I've never actually heard of a, a, a cleaning product that can actually go with pearls. Yes. And opals yes. then, I assume, yep. as well. Everything. Wow, so even some of your softer, um, more fragile gemstones, I suppose. Yep. So this is brand new to our screens? Brand new. I think we introduced it briefly last time. Oh, sorry, once, yeah. But yeah. That's it. It really is brand new in the country, um, and it's it's just hitting the market, and and people are loving it. Yeah. And the crazy thing is, is that this little bottle right here, it does over two hundred applications. Wow. Because you don't need a lot of it, so it's going to go a long, long way. Yes. Um, and and how do we? Uh, well, the graphics are live. Firstly, jewelry makers. It goes across all your precious metals as well. That's it. Yep. All the oh, precious I beg your metals. Pardon. Sorry, no, I'm just looking at their different graphics, but we'll bring them live in a few moments' time. So, um, in terms of the application, is that quite straightforward? Very straightforward. Um, so, what I can do is if you... So, I think we'll take, we'll take this one here, shall we? So, this is uh, one of your fashion yeah. brands, okay? You can mm -hmm. see I've got some, um, some pearl, synthetic pearls, actually. On, on the bracelet there. So you just take your foam and you literally, a few pumps to get it started. Wow. And you just allow the foam to do the work basically. So I give it, I like to give it a good, a good coating. And you just, 30 seconds to a minute. I don't know if you can see how the little bubbles are working so it's almost like an exfoliation for your face really. Yeah, it literally does it's look like it. It's exfoliating the dirt away there and then you just give it a little turn over but because it's that foam that bubbling sensation you actually don't need to really do do that much with it. So the, the fact that you actually have it on your bare skin as well yes. that's perfectly safe. Perfectly safe non-toxic. I mean I don't know if you want to give sure. it a pump there. Sure. It actually smells delicious. Oh gosh, it really does. It, does. it smells, smells like a, it smells like a face cream. Like a face cream. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. So there we go. So that's had a good. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to rinse it, and this is just normal um, cold tap water. Mm -hmm. So I just dab it on the tissue there, and then just a lint-free cloth. Um, okay to dry it off and to just finish it. So we just give it a little dry here. And you'll see, you can see, I don't know if you can, if you remember how dirty this was. And of course, but to say dirty is, it's a bit of an inaccuracy, isn't it? Because it's not that it's dirty, it's just the daily buildup. Dust, buildup, dust. So Perfume, mm -hmm. bit of soap, mm -hmm. you know, your body lotions, those Hand things. creams, all of those things. I mean, yeah. and it does gradually uh, build up layer yeah. upon layer. Uh, uh, um, anti back as well, the, 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 the sanitizer. Good old hand sanitizer. Yeah, exactly. It just progresses, it almost creates a film, I suppose, doesn't That's it, it, on your jewellery? On your jewellery. So I don't know if you can see how clean Perfect. Oh, yes. that is now. So if you can see how that's, um, how that's shining there. Literally come up like new. Yeah. Wow. So you, you can literally do this on your hand jewellery makers Everything. as well. Um, so this is one of the new lines that we're actually bringing. I need to mention as well, I know we haven't brought the graphics live yet for this. It will be in a few moments. We've also got, let's talk quickly, uh, if we can, Tammy, about the lock secure earring uh. Now, I am terrible for losing butterfly backs. Yes. So <laughs> I'd, if you're like me, so I actually thought what I'll do is I'll bring here to show you because I don't know if you can see there I have three yeah okay so I don't know how many people have got the same story yeah. in their jewelry box Me. but this is just one of a little triplet I like to say because I like the earring mm. I ended up losing one so I bought the earrings again yeah so it's a vicious cycle and and the problem is that if you have a look at this butterfly that I've got on here now this is the butterfly that came with the earring and you I mean it just it literally loose. just mm. so loose and it slides off um, so yes what can you do you can go and replace the butterfly you can go and buy one 
the problem is, is what people won't say is that not every earring post no, they don't is the fit. same size. No. And they don't all fit. So when you buy that replacement butterfly, it doesn't give it that secure no, feeling. They... So the story behind the locks um, is actually, it is designed and made here in the UK, a yeah. gentleman by the name of Gary, um, in his driveway almost 10 years ago now. His wife did exactly that. Yeah, uh, and, and, and came up with... Well, listen, let's talk, let's talk some more about that in a few months' time, because Liam's just basically saying uh, they're available on pre-order. We're not going to bring them to air just yet. Sorry, that's right. my fault for jumping ahead. Right. What do you want me to start with then, Liam? Let's start with the phone, because Go I know we're going to backpedal slightly. Yeah. Now, before we start, these are shipped, not from ourselves, they're shipped directly from yep. you guys, aren't yep. they? Yeah, we're going to do the, sh the drop ship for you. Wow. So it just makes it that much easier and you'll get the product okay. that much quicker. Oh, that's amazing. So uh, delivery will come direct from suppliers, take up to 14 days. Other purchases on the day will arrive. Okay, so if you purchase earlier on, they'll come separately, basically. Um, but the other thing I need to tell you as well, jewelry makers, because there has been uh, competition giveaways each hour. Now, Tammy very kindly has bought four beautiful uh, connoisseurs gifts. So four of our lucky customers that purchase throughout this hour will also receive a prize. They so will. how lovely. Yeah. Is that? How yeah. lovely. And that comes across the actual range itself. Now, we are going to start with the foaming action. So, uh, safely melts uh, away the dirt in no time. And it literally, you could see it like you fizzing away. You can see it fizzing away. So, if we take another one here. So, let's take, um, I think that's one of yours. Yes, lovely. Yes. I've brought in some of my really dirty <laughs> jewellery. <laughs> I'm a bit ashamed. No, um, no, uh, no, um, no. But people are asking, is it safe for gemstones, this? Yes. All gemstones. All gemstones. That's so even your say. fluorite and your pearls, Tammy Everything. said earlier on. Everything. And the thing with the pearls as well, so often you worry about the actual string that mm -hmm. the pearls are strung onto. You don't have to submerge it in the water to rinse it. Okay. So once you've done the foaming application, you can just wipe it off just with the lint-free cloth and wow. just buff it. Okay. So if we go here, Adam's just said, "Can you just show everybody uh, how, how dirty the jewellery is?" I'm slightly embarrassed now. So no, 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 it's all fine. <laughs> I did bring it in for that purpose. So this is actually a Gemporo piece of jewellery from years ago that I don't think I'll admit. I don't think I've ever cleaned. Okay. So can we just can we just show it to Adam there? I don't think I've ever cleaned that. Okay. Oh. It, oh, it is, isn't it? It is a bit dirty. Yeah, yep. but, but, we're going to see it in all of its glory we're gonna in a few moments. We're going to see it, so we'll just give it a little pump here. And just, yeah. again, so we're going to just leave it to sit. And you can see, again, how it's bubbling away. And remember, safe, non-toxic, biodegradable, wow. no problems with the foam here and on my all... skin. Not all cleaning products would actually work. You could use emeralds with, I no. know that. So, so, no. so this is amazing that you can yep. actually work, even your, your softer, more pr fragile gemstones, That's it. let's say. That's it. So, I mean, as I said as well, I mean, you, you fashion jewellery as yeah. well. So, from the really soft jewellery, so, I don't know if you can see, even just as the foam is foaming away, you can actually see the luster you can. coming through there. Look at that. See the that gold there? even looks yeah. brighter, doesn't it? Can you see that there? Wow. So we'll just give that our little um, dip here. This is very satisfying to watch, it, oh, you know, it Tammy. Is. It is. One, one afternoon I just sit down and you do exactly can just, this. And the thing is, it's so quick. Yeah. So. I'll and if you, I suppose if you've got children and animals as well, at uh, certain times, like, like the old traditional pots where you'd literally have that kind of basket yep. and things and yep. the little brush and everything, you wouldn't want to do that maybe around young children. Well, that's it. So you want to just have something that's quick and easy. Yeah. Um, so. Oh, my goodness, look. Let's see the difference. Can you see there? Oh my goodness, it looks like new. <laughs> Do you see that? Look at that. Okay, oh. And that took you, what, literally a couple, couple of minutes? Of, not even. So 30 seconds for the foam. Amazing. That's beautiful. Well, yep. oh, thank yep. you. So there we go. 
thank so you, that's thank the you. one there. So here it is, uh, and this is 200 applications, bio, biodegradable, quick yep. and safe, non-toxic. Are you ready? It says on the front here for diamonds, gemstones, pearls, gold, platinum, fashion jewellery. So you can use it with everything. Everything. 200 applications, Liam is saying. Really? £7.99? £7.99. Gosh, that's very good, isn't it? That's pennies per application. <laughs> pennies per application. Amazing. Yep. Yep. Um, I, uh, Tammy, I used to work in a jeweller's years and years and years ago, and we sold connoisseurs there. Oh, yep. And we always used to recommend it with every single uh, sort of purchase to our customers, you know, make sure you look after it. How That's often it. would you... I, I mean, this is really how long is a piece of string. Yeah. Because it does depend on sort of your daily activity, etc. But um, is there? Is there? Okay, I suppose I'll, I'll I'll ask the question in reverse. Can I clean the jewellery too much? No, no. There, there, there is no limit um, to how often you clean the jewellery. That's well. it. Just it, it's exactly the same. How often can I clean my face? Yeah, basically. <laughs> you I know, I knew it was so, a dark question, really. And, but and that's why you know it looks like this. You can literally just pop it in your yeah. handbag. I suppose I say that because things, there are certain, uh, um, and I'm thinking back to like, days in the jeweller when I uh, used to see people use ultrasonic machines yep. and things like yep. that, which you couldn't use with certain gemstones and you couldn't use with certain uh, pieces of jewellery. So they always, you know, either said, no, that, no, we can't do that or restricted yep. the, the amount of times that you actually yep. did it. Uh, Shirley has messaged in uh, an amazing product. It truly restores the beauty of the gems and jewellery. Love it. Uh, thank Excellent. you, Shirley. Thank you, Shirley. Hazel. Is it okay for amber? Yes. Yep. So even amber? Even amber. Wow. Even amber. So this, so as I said, so this is the one. So anything that you are um, slightly concerned about that really is a delicate, fragile mm -hmm. stone, this would be the one that you would use. So opal, which we absolutely categorically would normally say, no, do not use Correct. your products. Use you can it. use. You yep. can use it even you with your opal. You can use it. I think. That is a game changer because, like I said, I've never been able to actually, apart from with like an, a little Tiny. soft toothbrush, that's all I've ever been able to use on opals. Yep. This you can actually use. Yeah, you can. Um, I've got here. We've got. Just hold it towards. Too there you go. Little. There we go. Okay. So we can, we can give it a little zap here for you. So we just pop it. So obviously, again. Um, so this is all um, nine carat rose gold um, set in. So you can see again, it's just doing the work. Now, obviously, this is one of your your fashion brands as well. So the beauty with this on that stretch mechanism, often a lot of the creams build up inside there. So if you've oh, got yes, a really yeah, yeah. dirty one, then you just open um, it up and let the bubbles. And I'm looking through. as well, sort of, uh, you know, sort of your elasticated watch straps. Yes. Um, exactly they sometimes that. can gather sweat. I know That's it's horrible it. to say, but, but they it do happens. gather sweat. It does happen. Yeah. So this is ideal because you just stretch it up and you allow the work to be done by the foam. So let's give it a little dip in here. Right. Take it off. And again, just the lint-free cloth. So obviously I'm using a connoisseur's one, but you can use any lint-free cloth. And we just go here like this. It's literally, I'm just, at, on this point with the connoisseur cloth, I'm just literally using the drying side. I'm okay. not using the polishing side or anything like that. So you can have a look. There. Oh, look. So you've literally come up sparkling clean, hasn't it? Yep. Sparkling clean. And yeah. Everything's still in one piece. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I, I'm really looking at it. Now, and going back to what we were saying about the sort of stretchy wash bracelets, yep. we used to have to clean a lot of those when yep. I worked at the jewellers, and they yep. do get quite. Well, they do. Over time, they do get all. But literally, it's good. They f it fizzes away. Um, sorry, was there a question then? Um, hello to you, Shella. Uh, Shelley, is it? Uh, can this be used for silver too? Or do I need a different cleaner? So it can be used for silver. The 
it will clean the silver. Mm -hmm. It depends on how tarnished that silver uh -huh. is. So it won't remove so the tarnish, but it will clean it. It's not going to have the same effect mm -hmm. as our connoisseur's silver dip, which is what we recommend for your severely tarnished silver. Mm -hmm. um, but I do have here um, quite a tarnished silver ring yeah so we can see it does have an oxidization on it as well but it is nicely tarnished there so <laughs> i can show you um, excuse me okay. so, so this can, is going to clean all the so that's the nasty clean. away yeah so that's on the silver so i've shown you so you've got on silver you've got on stainless steel we've got on gold we've got nine carats and now we are on a tarnished silver piece and again you can see through the the foam here the just how the shine is coming up already Right, can you see? Yeah, can you see there? So peeking through the foam there. There we go. So let's give that one a little rinse. Okay, we drop that off there. Okay. Give it a little polish. Give it our little dry up here. So, so as I said, remember this is an oxidized finish, so it's quite important as well because if you think about the oxidization finish on a silver, you don't want to re uh, reverse no, that oxidization course. process yep. either. So, I mean, you can have a look there. Our, our viewers will know all about oxidization. Yep. It's something they can do as well. They're, gosh, that looks like it's brand new. Brand Goodness new. me. And that, as I say, that is... And silver. that wasn't even anti, that, that wasn't no. the anti-tarnish, no. that was literally just that cleaning was just cleaning with it. the foam, so it was a tarnished wow. silver item, so it has done the job. Oh, it certainly has. Right, um, we're going to move on from this one, jewelry makers, hundreds of these were sold, £7.99, hugely popular. I tell you what, I'm going to be getting some of these as well, because uh, I'm quite ashamed of the jewelry that I actually <laughs> brought in. Um, anyway... Um, Okay, now I remember the first time that you, I, sadly I wasn't here when this was launched, but I yep. remember looking at it thinking, that's genius. Genius. Because I know that you can actually buy uh, um, machines, yep. uh, ultrasonic machines yep. and everything. They're very expensive. Very expensive. They're large. Big. Big. Bulky. Bulky, messy. It's not something that you would want sitting around the house. No. You want to leave that to the professionals. Yeah. You know, you go, you have your claws checked, you have the settings all sorted, and you have that done. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's nice to have it in your home. Mm -hmm. So what we have, so this one is just open because it does take batteries, and I'll pop some in before so it's battery I operated. joined you. It is battery operated. It's triple A's. Wow, so, so most of us have those. If we have a look there, so it really is dinky. It's, Gosh. it's the type of thing that could sit on your dressing table yes. and it would not, not look out of place. I agree. So very simple, opens up. Can, so, I, can I ask you to put it on the blackboard? Yes, so, of course. Because we've got an overview camera that then our viewers Sorry. can see there what you're go. doing. So there we go. So you can see it there. Now, if I turn it to the overview camera, can you see, can you pick up? Yes. We've got the little lines there, uh -huh. okay? So those are your fill lines. So inside the box with it, you do get a concentrated um, liquid, okay? Okay. So this is your precious liquid. So this would be for um, your diamonds and your gemstones, not your delicate gemstones. Okay. However, we spoke earlier about the dips. You don't have to only use the concentrate. So if you have some of the connoisseur's dips at home, you can use either the delicate or the precious in this machine. Okay. Obviously, you're not going to pop the the silver dip in there because that does a different job. You yes. wouldn't ultrasonic with the silver dip. Okay, so we just literally, with my scissors, we're going to... Can, can I also put out, uh, point out that as well, because we don't have it here in the studio, and I know Tammy doesn't, but you also get a refill. 
Yes. You get a refill there with is this a one. refill with it as well, which is the concentrated liquid again. Okay. So you can use either the concentrate, um, or as I said, if you have that dip lying around at home that you want to do a big deep clean, uh -huh. then you can fill it with that. So we we pop in the concentrate. So this is where we have the replacement refill concentrates, and it kind of comes up to the first line is this little sachet, so you can see there. And what we do is this is just lukewarm water and we fill that to the second fill line. Mm -hmm. So we take it up to there. Okay, then what we're going to do is let's pick here. Can we see a before? Yes, oh. we can see a no, it's my engagement ring now. I wear that oh, every day. Right. So it's going to be pretty yucky. <laughs> so we can see there. Okay. Got it. Okay. And remember, the ultrasonic is all about the little vibrations mm -hmm. just to get it loosened. Okay. And I think let's pop, let's add a. Because remember, so here you have got four little hooks. So you can do multiple items at the same time time um, so let's have a look here what shall we pop let's just pop pop oh, an so earring all, on it's there it's not just rings you can put it's not just rings in you can put necklaces you can put earrings you can put the whole lot in there okay and then we just close it up and then it's a simple switch on there and now you can see that it's actually vibrating yes. around there, okay? So it's just giving it a good jiggle around. Yes, look at that. Yep. Gently lifting off the little Gently particles. Gently lifting up the particles, just in between the claws, so in between those settings where it just gets really, really stuck and grimy. In parts that you can't often reach as well, because no. certainly my, if you look at my engagement in the back there, it hasn't actually got an open gallery, no. so I can't get, sometimes no. it's really difficult to clean behind the stone. So, and it's really nice just to do this, because basically this is a smaller version of what the jeweler is going to do for yeah. you. So, one How minute. How long do you need these go? One minute. Oh. If it's really dirty, it's not, I mean, it's not going to do any harm if you leave it there for one and a half minutes, two minutes, it's not damaging your jewellery. Liam's just saying you best leave my, uh, my ring in there for about five hours, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> what was he trying to say? I'm How telling rude. you. <laughs> Goodness me. So, yeah, so, you can, I mean, as I say, so you can... You do, can carry on doing. You can make yourself a brew. Carry on Well, I tell doing you what. Whilst that's, that, whilst that's going, should we bring? Should we bring the price to air? Yes, because definitely. This is brilliant. I want to get hold of some of these. Now, not yep. only are you getting the actual Sonic bath, you're yep. getting the refill too uh, with that jewelry makers. And and again, if you, uh, it, it's a reusable product. Like you that's said, it. it's something that you can actually have yep. um, on your dressing table if you want. You can pop it away because it's quite small and compact. $39.99 and it's literally AAA batteries. That's it, AAA batteries. Wow. So not one of those sort of flat ones, you know the flat ones no, that you sometimes get e which are just really no. annoying to replace? Easy, easy to find. AAA batteries. We've all got them in our remotes for the telly. We've, you've got them lying around. So. Yeah. Really simple to, to find. Wow. Um, some of our in-house designers are getting involved with this as well. And I think it's really important. I mean, I know that Anne's got a beautiful jewellery collection for sure. It's really important to look after those. Uh, um, I'm casting my mind back again to the jewellers. And there was a lovely lady there who had literally diamond rings. She'd yep. worked there from a very young age. Yep. Diamond rings on every single finger. And, you know, uh, soap used to get That's stocking them. You're washing your hands. People don't take their rings off to wash their hands. So I don't take my rings off to wash dishes. Yes. To wash dishes. I mean, that, <laughs> I know that's... I, I'm sorry. Right. So <laughs> I'm going to... I'm a rotter. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Joanne. Uh, I have this Sonic Cleaner. It's brilliant. Uh, it's a brilliant look. It is, oh, isn't it? Thank you, Anne. Julie's always also messaged in. Um, I've got this bath. It's very good and so easy to set up and use. Thank oh, you, Julie. Lovely. Thank you. Yeah, because some of the machinery can be quite intimidating I think yeah, this, this really isn't they can, no it's not it's really I mean you saw it was so easy mm. to 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 assemble so I'm mm. just going to pop those and rinse them off 
oops, and there again, you see, so now I've just dropped my fingers in there. No problem, no. You haven't got to worry about chemicals. Haven't got to worry about the chemicals, exactly the same as the foam. So basically with connoisseurs, that is the whole um, aim of theirs is to as well to make sure that everything is safe and non-toxic and doesn't contain ammonia, which wow. is the, quite strong normally, quite isn't it? strong, yeah. And that's the problem with using, I see a lot of people that want to use dishwashing liquid. Um, oh no. Other household cleaning, you know, you, you hear about it, oh, pop some toothpaste on it or use your dishwashing liquid with a little bit. You see people, and I know it comes from years gone by, <laughs> yeah. and you know, your granny said, oh, just a yeah. you know, bit of dishwashing liquid and it'll be fine. But A, it's probably doing more harm than good. Yeah. It might give you an instant gratification, but the long term, Especially if you're doing that repeatedly. If you're doing that yeah. repeatedly. Um, and two, it's it's not removing the tarnish. It's not giving it that additional protective layer, which is what the Connoisseur's uh -huh. product does. So, so, end result, let's say. The end result. So, we have dried off. And now, so before I even do cloth, let's <gasps> just... Oh, my goodness, me! Can you see it shining yes. from there? Yes. So, I mean, that you can see. So... <gasps> <laughs> Can I just say, Jake uh, uh, um, actually sorted this for my husband. Jake actually got my uh, my engagement ring. So right, I'm almost embarrassed that I've been wearing it in front of him without <laughs> it being that clean. Now I'm looking at you. Yeah, so that, and that's without even doing anything to it. And now if we add <laughs> just a little dry there. Oh, look at that. It's like new. Literally like new. Like new. I'm going, to be, I'm going to have to get one of these. I'm going to have to get one of these. $39.99. And don't forget, you also do get the refill with these. And you're also um, entered uh, into the prize draw. I need to reiterate as well, this, uh, with your connoisseur's range, it is shipped direct from the suppliers, not from us. Um, can take up to 14 days. Um, but it's still, uh, you, you're still only paying them on postage and packaging. You're not paying that with us and then with connoisseurs. No. Literally all comes under that one uh, umbrella. Um, amazing. $39. $29.99. Check out your baskets with that one. Incredible. Now, brand new, the Dazzle Stick. The Dazzle Stick. I must admit, I've seen this. Um, yes. This is, this is cool, and I, I have used this before. Yes. But this is new, a new this version. This is a new one, so it's a new updated version. So, mm -hmm. again, with connoisseurs, everything that they do is all about innovation. So they're constantly striving to better the product that they bring through. So you can see the beautiful new packaging um, really just adds to that luxurious yeah. feel. Great gifting, because now it's in the gift box. So it just, for that special someone, give them a little gift. Now, Tammy, you won't know what on earth's going on here, but um, bear with me for a second, yes. because we have our own little language at Jewelry oh, Maker, okay. and one of those languages, let's do a minute to madness. Oh. A minute to our graphics appear on our screens, <laughs> and that's when um, um, web bidders, telephone bidders can get involved straight away to make it fair for everybody. So, because Liam is predicting it's going to be a bit of a frenzy on the phone lines and on the right. web, basically. Okay, okay, okay. Um, now, it is a genius product. Genius. It's absolutely genius. Yep. So, you spoke earlier about your ring and uh -huh. basically that there wasn't a really good gallery here for you to get into. Yeah. Okay? So, the beauty is, is this is literally like a lip gloss brush. Yeah. Okay. Now, the one mistake that people make is they will then pick up a ring and then they will... No. Okay, so we need to actually, you give it a little dip in the water, so you just wet the tip of the brush, okay. and then you give it a few turns, especially if it's a brand new one. Well, the brackets are live, jewelry makers. Go, 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 go. Uh, can you see there? Yes. Okay, it's product so on the, on the tip. The product. Yeah. Now, it is concentrated, so you don't need a whole lot of it. Okay. And then the fun part comes. Oh, so look, you then can get we go to work. Now you can see how the bristles actually get in amongst all of the claws and just really give a good clean here. And then of course you can turn it around and you can really go 
in between. So this is your diamond dazzle stick. Uh -huh. So this is for diamonds, all your precious stones, precious metals, and it just gives that extra. They say you should carry this in your purse like you would your lipstick. Oh, uh, do you know, and I, I'm going to now from today, if I'm lucky enough to get one of these. How many did we actually have, Liam? Oh, oh, of course, because we don't have to worry about it because it's shipped from suppliers. Shipped so from us. Don't have to worry about that quantity. Okay, well, um, add one to my basket then for sure. There we go. Um, yeah, because, I, I mean, how many times do you sort of, you, 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 you know, we invest in diamonds and gemstones and things like that. And then you're right, we, I, I'm surely guilty of this, of not literally cleaning them as often as I should. At least with this, it's portable. End result? So again, so that's before I've even polished. You can see how those stones have come up. Wow. Okay, and we'll just give it a dry off because it is sitting wet here, so I can't do a half job for you. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. So, and, and how many, um, approximately, because obviously I know this is difficult to answer, yes. uh, approximately how many applications will you get so out of the dazzle again, stick? So, again, it depends on, as I said, the liquid is concentrated. So a lot of people do make the mistake of turning and turning and turning. So if you use it um, in the correct amount, you, you can get up to 50, 60 applications. Wow. Um, so there we go. Can you... Have a look there. Look at that. Certainly. Sparklingly clean. Sparklingly beautiful. Oh, thank so you, Tabby. A beauty treatment for $9 your $9.99. $9.99. And again, is this for, is the dazzle stick specific to certain gemstones or so it precious is for metals? So your, um, for your precious stones. So with connoisseurs, anything you see or you're unsure about, all the instructions are on the side. So this is diamonds, the settings, um, and your precious stones. Okay, okay, yeah, it does say that on the box as yep. well. I can just yep. read that there. Um, yeah, and, and like, like you said, complete, very straightforward, That's very it. straightforward instructions on this too. Yep. Um, I mean, uh, yeah. If, uh, can you imagine if you are, because a lot of our jewellery maker customers do also have businesses, very yes. established businesses. They do... Uh, um, commissions etc so being able to offer each of these products you know because you know you spend all the time creating those beautiful pieces jewelry makers then being able to say to your potential customers well actually how about the the future it's it's cleaning for the future because you want to preserve that well that's it i mean i think it's a it's a question that often gets forgotten so we're so excited about the purchase whether it's a custom piece or it's something that's been purchased in mm -hmm. the store from your show here it's but once we've got it, what do we do about yeah. it? You, you know, there's there's that element to preserve the luster, to preserve that look and that yeah, finish. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yep. Okay, so <coughs> at 9.99, jewelry makers, um, the idea of your dazzle stick is that you literally try, uh, you, it, you know, it. It, 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 you bring it with you. Um, what's that? The quickest way, or oh, quickest sparkle ever? Yes, absolutely. Quickest sparkle You know, because ever. you could be in a taxi, couldn't you? You could literally, <laughs> all right, hang well, on a it. second. Um, just give it a quick. Just notice you've got a build up. Yep. And as you said, so I'm in here on your earrings. So again, it doesn't have to be a ring. It can be any piece of jewelry. So if you've got diamond pendants, any piece of jewelry that you have that you want to just give a quick dip in just lukewarm water you just said earlier. water that's it little dab off there first and then just a little zap with my cloth to make sure it's nice and dry and there we have quick quick sparkle and shine look at that there we go literally they just yep. Come out the packaging. There That's we go. Beautiful, yep. amazing. It, I think. I think uh, Liam is saying. Uh, I think an essential, certainly for your own jewellery collection. I mean, That's gosh, it. I'm thinking. Uh, how many? Let's be honest with each other now, jewellery makers. I know that you know jewellery maker and ultimately the Gemporia Group. We're very mindful of our jewellery, etc. But I know lots of my friends who probably <laughs> have never, ever, ever cleaned their jewellery. Yep. yep. It's, I mean, it's something that we, we come across. And, of course, it's why connoisseurs created what they did because we, we put so much effort into our daily care. We, yes. we wash our clothes. Yes. We, we even... 
pop our trainers in the washing machine. Yes. Or, you know, but we seem to forget we about do. our most prized we, possessions. We really do. And, I, and like I said, I can remember. I, um, I can actually remember customers coming for, 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 for that purpose to get items of jewellery yep. actually cleaned and they would pay a premium for it. That's it was it. normally about, for a ring in an yep. ultrasonic, it was like five pounds. So I'm going back 20 odd years yeah, yeah. Um, for, for just for that one piece of jewellery. Um, hello to Christine. The dazzle stick really gets into the nooks and crannies. It does, doesn't it? Because yep. I don't know if you can show, yep. uh, like I said, with, with, with my eternity ring on, yeah, literally, it's so difficult to clean under that, underneath the gemstone. That's it. So, so difficult you to can get under get there. Right under there, because as you see, it is a soft flexible, bristles. soft bristles. So they really do get wherever you need them. So it's not going to go. damage the gem, uh, the not stones at all. or the precious metal no, itself? No, not at all. And because they're so soft, it's not going to do anything to the claws yeah, or to the settings anything. either. Mm. No. Okay, um, again, check out your baskets on that one, jewellery makers. Uh, you do need to check out. Um, if you have any questions, by the way, that you want to put to Tammy, then do feel free to message us because we are live here in the studio. Um, we have the locks earring backs coming up in a few moments' time. They are on pre-order right now. Uh, <clears throat> brand new launch. I know, I think our sister channel had locks, didn't yes, they, with you? Had, I, I can remember. They had before. Yeah, yes. I remember. Yep. Um, yep. So I was like, oh, that's a great idea. Um, keep dialing through for this one. Um, tons of you there. Deborah, Pat, Kaylee, uh, Sharon, Corinne, uh, new customer Susan, London, Stacy, Manchester. Yeah, I think I need to get a few of these, uh, um, a few of these items because I can certainly think of my family and and best friends who have probably never, like I said, never actually cleaned their jewellery. And don't forget, four of you are going to be winning a prize uh, that Tammy kindly bought. They'll be sent from us, obviously. Yeah, those will um, be sent from so you. So those prizes just here. Four of you are going to uh, going to be winning those. Um, okay, one more question. We've got one from Tracy. Yeah. Well, not one more. If you've got more questions, feel free to message. Uh, what should I use for titanium jewellery, please? Okay. So again, as we said, so you've got the foam that we used before. So remember, this is for any metals, any materials. So titanium obviously has that, um, that darker, more mm -hmm. dull kind of look. So you can use it for this. And you can use it with the next product that we have here with you today, which is the jewellery wipes. We're going to do those now, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. Come in a really lovely pack as well. That's really it. Really lovely presentation pack. So again, handbag size. Yeah. Easy literally. to take with you. Okay. Um, again, there, there's one misconception about these wipes. They are not wet wipes. No. They are dry wipes. Oh, okay. So they don't actually feel wet to the touch. No. They're dry wipes. So and you can see it's beautifully packaged. And they are... Um, individually in here so and there is 25 of the individual dry wipes inside okay. so you're getting 25 of these in your pack so because they are not wet they are dry they will never dry out so okay so it doesn't what? matter you <laughs> We've all left the wet wipes open and you come back and yeah. they're bone dry. Even but when you with don't, this, we even leave them open yeah, eventually. They yeah. get dry, whereas this um, doesn't. So this, again, is for all the different metals okay. that we have. Um, so far, we have a lovely tarnished gents ring mm -hmm. here. Okay. Yeah. So now all we're going to do is we're actually going to give it a quick wipe there. Look at that. Okay. Instantaneous. Instantaneous. So, and you can see again, there is no toxic concern that is biodegradable. So I'm not worried about my skin. I'm not worried about my hands. It's also not an offensive smell. No, because some of the not dips at all do yes. have quite a they pungent do. smell. They do. Which lingers. Yep. So whereas with this one, they don't. Um, in fact, none of the connoisseurs have that really strong smell. Is it the ammonia that gives it that? It yeah. would be, okay. yep. So the silver dip has a slightly stronger smell, and mm -hmm. that's obviously because it has a different composition mm -hmm. for that tarnish. But so if you can have a look. So now, I mean... Oh, my goodness me. Yes. So... 
that's the residue. So it's not dirt. No. That is that residue that's on there. So often when people see that, they're horrified and they want to run and hide in a hole because that's... No, that's naturally what silver does, But that's naturally yeah. what, what happens. Um, oh, goodness. So... Can Liam has just said to me, my producer's just said, I didn't even know that was silver before. Um, but these wipes you could also use on sort of, uh, um, I don't know, decorations that you might you have around, ornaments around do. the home. Yep, you can. And the other thing that these are great for is watches. Yes. Stupidly, I didn't come with a watch on today. I came with all this lovely jewellery, all prepared, and I forgot to bring a watch. Um, but you can, that's the beauty. So again, wow. all of your watches on the casings, you can use it. Um, and... What's important to remember is th that's not finished. Oh, so really? just because I've cleaned that one, y you can keep using it until um, it's no longer effective because there's plenty of use left in there. So if we take um, the okay. gold here. Okay. I think that's Liam's, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, so we just... Oh my goodness me, that's okay. amazing. Seven ninety nine jewellery makers for your connoisseurs, jewellery wipes, they're dry wipes, but look at the difference. Okay. Can you see that as we're going? And I promise I haven't removed the, <laughs> the colour, it just looks so that's radiant. That's literally reflective, isn't it? Yeah. Completely, and you, I mean, I barely put any pressure on no. that there. Or any time or effort Nothing. or anything like that. Nothing. Gosh, do you remember, uh, um, we were talking about our first jobs as it, um, prior to the show the other, uh, the other day, the crew and I, and um, I was saying, oh gosh, I used to be, my first ever job, I used to, I think I was paid to like 80 pence an hour. <laughs> um, and I was a chambermaid at a country, a co aka cleaner basically, at a country country house. And one of the jobs I hated doing was cleaning the silver because it involved the dipping and then that's the it. polishing. And it took ages, ages upon ages upon ages. But that's literally seconds. Seconds. Yeah. Seconds. And if you think with the necklace as well, I mean, it's just so, it's so simple because you'll, so there you just had a little wipe going there and this happens with our findings jewelry makers doesn't it you know sometimes uh, uh, if you go to your findings if you, especially if you've removed that little black strip that comes with we actually it. send them off with the yep. anti tarnish strips if you've removed those they will naturally uh they will naturally tarnish yep. um so just give them a clean before you actually start working with them uh, merseyside i love the connoisseur products so satisfying to use <laughs> Uh, Norma, um, hello to you, is saying, uh, I used these the other day. They're amazing. It's bringing everything back to life, isn't it? Is. It? it is. So it's just a simple, as I said, with the, with the chains and things, you can literally just give it a, a wipe. Now, I'm going to take a new one just to show you because it's, it is that satisfying when you see it. So clean one, and as we take the chain and we wipe along the chain, you can see... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it really gives you that, but it just instantly picks it all up again. Uh, do check out your baskets, jewelry makers at seven ninety nine. That will be entering you into the uh, into the competition as well. Um, hello, Karen, saying uh, the wipes are amazing. Uh, they made my items sparkle like new and can be used more than once. There we go. She's just saying that That's too. That's it. Yeah. Um, uh, if it's just, uh, I think we've cut off half of your message there, Karen, sorry. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can use it on all different size items, I imagine. Uh, Helen to you, Claire, saying, I have the complete connoisseur range and won't use anything else. Lovely. Thank you. And, and I think that's actually um, jewellery maker, uh, jewellery maker customers as a whole, but also very, very reputable jewellery houses will stock connoisseurs. Yes. Yes, yeah, so we are stocked in um, jewellery stores across the country um, and they, they really have become a, a staple part because the jewellers do trust and believe in the connoisseur's mm -hmm. product so that they will recommend it for that um, mm -hmm. at-home service. It's not to replace what they do in store, but it is as that throughout the year that 
you would do. You, you need to clean. Absolutely. Well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you said earlier on about our faces, for example. <laughs> we wash our face, uh, um, you know, twice, sometimes three times a day, don't we? Um, and then, you know, the uh, for the extra special treatment, you might go to a spa That's or a it. beauty therapy. You have a think of, that, think of that in the same way as for your jewellery. Seven ninety nine dollars jewellery makers to get hold um, of the jewellery wipes. Hello, Kaylee. Uh, the wipes are amazing. I swear by them. Best quality cleaning product ever i yeah i agree with you i mean literally that's the fact that it's it's so quick i mean so i knew quick. how amazing the products were but i didn't realize it worked that quickly and what's what's nice to do what i like to do is there's always a, a two-part process yeah so remember if you've got something with the stone you can just so what's this can we just move your hands up there you go sorry there that's we all right there, there we go, we so go. I'm just looking which piece is this so we can just so you go first oh, and that, you, yeah and you get into the claws of course so now we're giving it a clean in and out okay and then we'll just dip him off okay dry it nicely and then we finish off with the the wipe just to give that anti-tarnish layer and protection as well so you can wow. see wow look at that so it's it's really nice if you've got both it just gives you that extra especially if you've got those stones that have got the claws and the back that you really need yeah. to get in because obviously because with my fingers I can't get no in the nooks and crannies and it's pointless just going okay let's just clean across the top there because much of the light is touching with diamonds you know That's the brilliance uh, if, 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 if they're the clouded fire. underneath then you're not going to see that fire no. dispersion no okay right 7.99 for your jewelry wipes they're all available on the wipes speak to our contact center and they can add them to you now um i'm about to bring to you today something that is a genius genius product now how many of you have actually been in a situation where go to put a pair of earrings and you'll notice that the earrings i actually gave you tammy all haven't got backs <laughs> because I literally recycle the same butterfly backs and like Tammy said earlier on they don't always fit um, so you have to go into a jeweler's I need some butterfly backs you buy them they're usually what five pound a pair if you go to a jeweler's I know sometimes you buy them from us as well but they don't uh, um, if you're buying maybe a pair of earrings elsewhere for example they might not Pandora might not be the same as I don't know F Heinz I'm literally thinking of jewelry establishments so what is the locks secure earring back all about i'm going to show you firstly because i don't want to interrupt tammy i'm going to bring you the silver color because we've got yep. them in the three different tones that's it i'm going to bring you this uh, the silver color first and let tammy actually uh, uh, talk you through what this is all about so as i said so the locks is actually produced um invented, designed and produced here in the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, a gentleman by the name of Gary is an engineer working in hospitals on life support systems basically. Wow. So clever, clever guy. Mm -hmm. um, coming up 10 years ago, eight and a half, nine years ago, he had exactly the same situation. In his driveway, his wife, oh, I've, my earring, we, on the way out, her favourite earring, missing. Oh, no. Hands and knees, scrabbling in the driveway, looking frantically for this earring and to no avail. Oh, no. And she was devastated. Mm. And it got him thinking, obviously with this engineer's brain, there has to be a better solution for this. Because, yes. you know, again, same as with the connoisseurs, what we say, you've got sentimental pieces, you've got expensive pieces, and we've got our fashion pieces. Mm -hmm. And it just really, that system was not working. Mm -hmm. um, and so he set about coming up with this design of um, never lose an earring again. Okay. Um, so... Basically, um, what it is, so it is all hypoallergenic and it is patented, the design. Um, and as I say, so for the past over eight years, he has been working on this to make sure that it really, really is the most secure system. So if you have a look here, so 
the reason it is so hyperallergenic, and we genuinely can say it's hyperallergenic, number one, the metals, it has passed through the assay office. It does not have that nickel content, okay. number one. But number two, the part that actually touches your ear is the plastic element. Okay. Okay, so it is not the metal element at all. So that is um, what gives it that added benefit of being um, the anti-allergic. So as I said, so any earrings. So we've got an assortment of earrings coming here. Um, and the beauty is once it's on, it's on. Um, in fact, chatting with Gary the other day that we've had this, this product here in the UK for, for a few years now. And we really just, we, we don't have any comebacks with it. And anyone that comes to us or, you know, says, oh, it's not really working. It's, user error right okay, right yeah, yeah, okay yeah. so so the big problem that people do so if you have a look here so it's actually got this little spring loaded system at the back here uh -huh. so now what people do when they put the earring on is they actually depress that which is what you shouldn't do so you literally just want to insert the earring uh -huh. okay like that and Aha, uh -huh. okay, it's so don't now, push it so hard. Don't, that... don't squeeze, because that's how you take it off. Right. So you literally just push the earring through the earring back, and that is uh -huh. on there. So tight. this is illustrated on the inside of the actual packaging as that well. That it is, so, yeah. Um, I, I guess uh, at the top there, so literally just slide it on like you would do a butterfly, uh, so a normal butterfly. Normal butterfly. And then if you look at the bottom here, um, it's almost like a uh, um, little pinch action, little I pinch. suppose. That's it. I mean, it is really so simple. Um, and just to show you, so obviously the assortment of earrings here. So, you know, so you gave me those ones there, which I do note have no butterflies. <laughs> okay. So you push it so it's fitted on that one. And again, it is snug on there. Give it a gentle squeeze oh, and neat. off it comes. Wow. Now we've got the little hoop here. We squeeze it on. It is snug, not going anywhere. Squeeze and off. I need to get some of these. They these, are genius, aren't they? They come in the lovely little pot as well. So you, you can literally, and each pack has two pairs inside of uh -huh. it. So you literally pop this in your jewellery box and as you do, we recycle and we use, this is the only um, earring backs you need to have instead yeah. of the little loose ones that we have sort of the, yeah, lying around, around all over the place. Um, you'll notice as well, jewellery box, if I hold it like so, um, they come with a little, these, these are silver coloured and yep. they are silver. If you want the gold coloured, guess what, gold background. If you want the rose gold coloured, then they have the rose. So you can literally know immediately which ones to reach That's for it. to complement yep. the precious yep. metal. Um, so we have a message coming through from Kaylee. <clears throat> Um, I, I am wearing the locks and they are absolutely unbelievable, um, amazing. I highly recommend them. A life changer for wearing precious jewellery. Um, yeah, you want me to, you, okay, I'm just going to open these up and see if I can do it for everybody as well. Okay, yep. fine, yeah. Can I pass okay, you an earring? Okay, pass me, yeah. Scooch am I allowed to, of, I can, what we're allowed to do and not that's do. That's fine. There we go. Oh yeah, there were some there, sorry. <laughs> sorry <laughs> you did Liam was like I've already thought of that Al they're right there sorry so literally just to push on yep so just push it through so not pinching don't pinch it just push it through oh yeah just literally push it down like that push it down hang on see if I can get it yeah that ain't that's not going <laughs> anywhere so now to take it off you just squeeze it pinch the... oh look at that that's genius so to put on, just push. Not going anywhere. Taking it off, just pinch. That's so easy. Yeah. Um, so that's wow. why it's, it's never losing earring again. What it also does, 
So um, I think I gave you one of these little. So we've all been uh, dogged with a, a challenging year. Yes. Okay. So I don't know how many of you have masks in and out, in and yes. out, in and out of shops. And of course, what happens? Earring bats, they come flying. Off, yeah. mm -hmm. So there's no better time than to start wearing um, the lock system because you'll never you'll lose never that the earring and long on hair, your strap. I mean, long too, hair, long hair, everything. Oh goodness me, nine ninety nine. That's for two pairs as well. Two and pairs. to be truthful, you know, a, a butterfly backs. I mean, literally, I used to do the vacuuming. Oh, I still do. Do the vacuuming. You're like, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. It's if gone back. Yes. Yeah. You hear it, you're not able to retrieve no. it though. No. Um, hello to you, Rosie. These are amazing. I have them uh, and got my sister some too. Uh, they're worth every penny. Easy to choose, love them. Uh, and that's the thing, I think you only need the one. Well, you get two pairs, you but get you only really pairs. need the one you pair. You only need the one. It's, and also, just it, it is for shepherd hooks as well. Yeah. So you don't have to only use it on, on your studs because what it does do at the same time is it does do the lifting. So if you've got exceptionally heavy earrings, the, the locks actually helps to lift the earring it. in mm -hmm. the hole as yeah. well. Yeah. So um, you can see with the shepherd hook here. So again, you just feed it through as and where you need it. So it is not, people think that it's, you know, a butterfly is just for the studs, but it's, it's not. It's it goes through with and, any of them and and posts have different thicknesses i don't know if i've actually got some here yeah but um, um yeah some posts actually have different thicknesses to others um and this is literally one size fits all one size fits all because it's got a very subtle device that actually shifts and grabs hold of the post that's using it yeah let's do the gold color now then yeah. because i think if you're if you've got if you want i mean you're wearing beautiful jewelry you want it to match don't you so yeah um i suppose if you've got long hair and you're thinking i'm not bothered whichever but i would personally want to uh, match it to the actual precious metal so they actually uh, connoisseurs have actually brought this to you or locks rather uh, have actually brought exactly the same design um this is in the gold tone and uh, and, and again need to mention this because i think our ears in particular are quite sensitive aren't yes, they? Yes they are. Um, I mean I, I haven't, uh, I wouldn't say I've, I'm allergic to 925 sterling silver, I'm not, but I'm aware sometimes yep. that I'm actually wearing yep. it. Um, so hypoallergenic as, as Tammy said, you've, the actual area that touches, uh, that comes into contact with the skin is actually the plastic part. Um, comfortable to wear if you think it's... Very it's, comfortable. Yeah. Very comfortable Especially to wear. Especially with things like, you, you, you mentioned your um, shepherd hooks which I always say you're probably, if you're going to be wearing your shepherd hooks then, uh, um, and you're mindful maybe of the fact that they might tilt forward, this is going to eliminate, that, it. eliminate that, isn't That's it? That's it, totally. Wow. $9.99 for the gold colour uh, gold, gold color version. Again, you get the two pairs as well. You so have can to check I, out. Can I do a little experiment for you? A little, a little demonstration. So actually, Gary, who invented this, these locks, so they have been tested for up to 50 years worth of use. Okay. So that's over 18 and a half thousand uses, mm -hmm. opening and closing. Um, so because of that, they do come with a lifetime guarantee. Wow. But the other thing that um, Gary tested was the actual weight of what these can hold, okay. basically. So. I obviously can't hang onto my earring, um, so what I did was I just brought along a, a normal paper clip. Yeah. Okay. So obviously, if I open up the paper clip, it's going to represent um, the earring post. Yeah. Okay. So we'll be matchy matchy, and let's take one of our silver ones. Okay. And I'm going to pop him in there. Okay. Uh -huh. Now you can see that it is secure. secure. Right, so, and I did this at home, so I did weigh it with the scale. So I can tell you that my car keys weigh just over 100 grams. So if I hold just the locks, I'm not holding the paper clip, I'm literally just holding the locks. Can you see that? Yeah, no. It's not it's not falling off. So that's over 100 grams. So they really are going to hold. Which is going to hang 
off your ear. So I don't know anybody that's going to have something more than 100 grams. But then, household pliers. You're not going... Seriously? Okay, seriously. So this is about 350 grams. Okay. So I'm going to... Let me just open it so I can hook that around here for you so it's easier. So again, I'm going to just hold the locks. I'm not holding <laughs> the paper clip at all. They are very, very, very strong. Very strong. Okay. So that is 350. Oh, you're not going higher. I'm going higher. I'm going higher. Oh. And to be honest, I'm more worried about my paper clip <laughs> than yeah. I am about the locks. Okay. <laughs> so I have my mother-in-law's lizard. Brass lizard. Okay. And he weighs 650. So he is very heavy. So he's a heavy. You're welcome to feel him. So again, I've got... Look at that, holding onto the locks. Holding onto the locks These and are... not onto the paper clip. Right, and I've got one more, but mm. I need to secure oh my, my paper clip. Okay. What, what else? What else? In my bag of tricks, I have a doorstop. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay. So, they actually stop full on heavy <laughs> so gusts this, of wind. So, so this is 1.4 kilos. Okay. Okay. So again, I'm worried more about my paper clip than yeah, I am. Yeah, the paper clip isn't going to hold. About the I've locks. I've got faith in locks. The paper clip doesn't stand a chance. So let's try and make sure that my paper clip is secure. So there, so I've wrapped my paper clip so he's secure. But then you're holding on just he's to the pulling. locks. Ah, my paper clip, it did work last night. <laughs> <laughs> if I can just make sure my paper clip is I mean, that's closed. impressive. If you had a normal butterfly clip, and let's get a new paper clip. Um, if you were a sort of a normal butterfly bat, there's absolutely no way. I tell you what, whilst we set up the demo, let's do the rose gold, shall we? Yeah, um, yeah. Let's do those. And so again, you're getting the two pairs, jewelry makers, the two pairs of them. Um, a compliment to the, your precious metals. Like what I'm saying, you know, precious metals just can go perfectly with your costume jewelry as well. I've got some really yep. lovely costume jewelry that That's I like it. to wear on a regular basis. I won't want to lose them. Um, two pairs. For £9.99. So that's working out £5 per pair. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm fairly sure you'd pay more than that for just a yeah, you would. standard butterfly bag, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, you would. If, if not In the a same. Jewelers. Yeah, if not the same amount. Yeah. But, yeah, here you've got a lifetime, so it's a once investment. That's pretty cool, isn't okay, it? Okay, so have we have, got, a have a new paper clip. Oh, and he also doesn't want to oh. play games with me, but if you can... It's the paper clip that's causing it's the, the issue. Paper it's the paper clip. Not actually it's the not the locks. Yeah. You can see where it's slipping. It's the... He's yeah. not working, he's but not... you get the... We get the gist. You get the gist, and it's... This is genuinely... It did work last it night. It looks pretty heavy point as well. Four <laughs> <laughs> the, the, it's... Yeah. So but it's like really you said, you're heavy. not going to be dangling... Uh, what's it? What's the Yeah, you're he's not dangling a dashend <laughs> from your ear. So. Uh, at nine ninety nine only, jewelry makers. Um, again, I mean, if you wear different colours, uh, it's it's of your precious metals, etc. Don't forget, you can get all three of them, and you can actually customise them, of course. Don't forget that um, all the connoisseurs range are being shipped direct from the supplier. Delivery will come direct from the supplier and can take up, uh, up to 14 days. Um, if you have purchased throughout the, the other, during the day and you're thinking, oh, am I paying postaging twice? No, you're not. You're not. Um, and um, they will arrive separately to your uh, to other jewelry maker items. Also, uh, very kindly, Tammy has actually gifted four prizes for this hour. So four of our lucky purchasers, and that's all you need to do to enter into the prize draw, Purchase within um, the Connors's collection. Check out everything on the web. Um, so items are getting quite limited now um, on certain pieces. So if you go back throughout the course of the show, the locks are actually quite limited, I understand. Yep. Um, yep. Okay. I, I know, and I guess something like that, revolutionary, is, is that global? Locks yeah, is global? So, so they are international. Yeah. So they are sold internationally and they, they really are... Um, 
everybody's favourite thing to have. Yeah, absolutely. They, they, they really do work. They're, they're truly amazing. Um, and it's just, it's so nice that you can, you know, we've all got the different colours. So you've got the rose gold, you've got your yellow gold, and you've got the silver. So whether you've got your white gold or your platinum, it is it safe covers and it is all secure. Of them. Yep. Um, yep. We're running out of time. Tammy, thank you so much thank for joining you. us. I'm sorry once again no, that we were running thank late. You. Now, we are also running late this hour, but don't worry. So what we're going to do is put everything available on pre-order. We have brand new Miori storage boxes in different shapes, uh, different sizes. They're all available for pre-order right now. Um, go and have a little look at those, see if there's any patterns or colours that you wish. We'll be back after this. So it's birthday and always what do we do on birthday week is we have something new. So on Thursday we will be bringing, or I will be bringing, paint pouring to you. Now you may have seen paint pouring on the great big canvases and amazing works of art, but I'm going to be downscaling and bringing it to you in your jewellery creations. I cannot wait to show you how effective it is. Really hope you can join me in the afternoon from 1pm. Happy birthday to everyone at Jewelry Maker. It has been an amazing 11 years and I look forward to everything that we've got coming up in the future. For everyone at home, I just want to say congratulations to all of you that have been involved with Jewelry Maker for the last 11 years and I can guarantee you the next 11 are going to be just as special. Happy birthday, jewellery maker, 11 years old. Wow, that time has completely flown. What an amazing birthday event we've got for you this year. Join us this coming Friday as part of our birthday celebrations here at Jewellery Maker. We have invited some extra special guests for you. We will be joined by Daniel Raphael, our diamond man. And you just wait and see what he's got in store for you. And phoning in from Poland will be the adorable, wonderful Marius, who has some extra special brand new amber pieces for you. So make sure you join us this coming Friday, the 7th of May, here at Jewellery Maker. Jewelry Maker, happy 11th birthday. I've had the huge, immense privilege of joining you on most of those, in actual fact. Um, I'm very proud of that fact. We love you to our very bones, and I can't wait to celebrate with you. and we can't wait to celebrate with you. I'm going to be doing my disco dance. Big bead, little bead, cardboard box. Big bead, little bead, cardboard box. I'm going to disco. Happy 11th birthday, Jewelry Maker. And after the year that we've all had, the best thing for us is to celebrate in style. Now, this coming Saturday, as part of our fabulous JM birthday week, I am going to be joined by the adorable Roger of Argentium. And Roger is very excited because not only does he have kits with Argentium and Jade and Amber, but we've got two great new treats. Now, the first one he's already told us about previously. He is bringing in no less than 126 Argentium jump rings for you, so that's going to be awesome. And a brand new micro polisher as well. We've also got the wonderful Gemma Crow from 11 a.m. with Millie Put, so that's going to be exciting. And then Luscious Larimar from midday at 12 p.m. So join us this coming Saturday, the 8th of May, for our Gentium, Millie Put, and Larimar. How good was that? 
literally transforming uh, jewellery and preserving the life of your jewellery as well, which is so important that we do. And I, I'll confess, literally, I'm guilty of it. I'm guilty. I need to take better care of my jewellery. There we go. But with connoisseurs, we can certainly do that. Now, we are still not done. <sighs> Going to need to lie down after today's show. Um, but we did promise we have some beautiful storage for you, jewelry makers. I know how much you love storage. Um, this is Miori. I mean, it even sounds beautiful, doesn't it? Um, now, they pack away. Uh, I've got loads of those big plastic boxes in our house. And then when, when you don't use them, when you don't need them, you think, OK, well, it's just taking up space. And um, you don't know where to put those plastic boxes. They go up in the loft never to see the light of day, if you're anything like me anyway. Um, but these, you can actually fold down and pack away. Um, uh, yeah, literally to, I don't know, they can go on a shelf, can't they? Underneath the bed quite easily. Um, so I'm going to start with, with, the, with the smaller ones. Now, you get these two. These two, which are so pretty. So you get the polka dots and you've got the balloons, which I think are very apt jewelry makers for today, um, for the birthday celebration. Let me show you how easy it is to put together these. Which one do you want me to go for? Which one? Balloons. Balloons. Go for the balloons. Okay, so literally, they fold out like that. And then you've got this bit here. I don't know if you can see. There's a little bit there. Yeah. It literally pushes down like that. Da -da, that's it. And, and inside, look, you've also got, like, I don't know if you can see there, there's a little netted pocket just there that you can actually put further items in um, and obviously all your goodies. Now you could put tools in there, jewellery makers, couldn't you? you could put, it's robust enough, look. I'm giving that quite a bit of pressure. It's robust enough to be able to hold even your heavy duty tools. You know, have this on your workstation. Um, you can have it on your desk as well for all your pens and your marker pens. Obviously for um, all of your gemstones, your beads, your stashes and things like that. Um, I'm gonna also suggest, can I make a, an, an out there suggestion? You know when you go travel, when you go on holidays or you go on your travels and things like that and you've got, you've got your beauty products, haven't you? You bring your shampoo and you bring like, your hairbrush and you bring your toothbrush and your toothpaste and everything and they literally just end up everywhere um, in the bathroom. You can actually pop them all together in here as well. Just a little suggestion out there. Um, hair brushes, absolutely. This is not just for your jewellery making needs. Um, uh, Liam has just said he keeps his deodorants and something similar. Great idea. All of your perfumes, all of your aftershaves, all of your nail varnishes you could pop in here. Um, your moisturisers, your face skin products, uh, your, your face care products. Now, you do get the two of them. Um, and they, once, you know, if you're not using them at that given time, you can literally fold it back down. Um, who said that, Michael? Michael said, take him to the beach. Absolutely, yeah, because you could use it in picnics. Um, you could pop your, your picnics or your condiments. Um, hello to you, Stella. These are perfect uh, for CDs. I bought one for my daughter at Christmas. Yes, they're the perfect CD size, aren't they? Perfect for your CD size. Um, and, and also, I don't know, do people, I'm not very digital, digitally minded, but things like, do you still use disks on a computer and PC and things like that sometimes? Um, so you can actually keep those in there as well. Well, we say that. I mean, my mum, one of the things my mum used to do um, was she always used to download pictures on, 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 on CDs um, so that we could always, always watch them again, not just in a hard copy. You can keep them all safe in here. But you're getting the two, and I'll construct this one as well. Look. It's that simple. I like the polka dot one as well. So you're getting the both of them, jewellery makers. They are collapsible very easily. So we've got 25 minutes and I've got 15 uh, of your um, different goodies to actually bring you. Different goodies to bring you. So this is your Miori. They're wipe clean as well, jewellery makers. Let's get the minute to madness clock on the screen. Um, now, how many of these are available? Because people aren't just going to buy one. A hundred, okay. That is an issue, isn't it? That's not going to be enough to go around. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I'm always, always looking for storage, always reaching for storage. Um, great for remote controls. Um, kids' toys. Kids' toys. And obviously, let's not forget your wires, your tools, your, your seed beads, um, your findings, uh, your threading materials, your silks. 
all of those will go in here as well. It's not, I mean, that is the whole idea that we actually brought these for you. But um, I think what we're trying to do is convey that they work for everything, everything. Um, my four-year-old at the moment loves, he's really got into Lego. And you know what it's like. Parents, you know what it's like. Kids, as soon as they start playing with Lego, oh, it's ended up in this drawer and in that toy box and this drawer. This will keep it all nicely together. And they're decorate, decorated beautifully. Okay, the Minute to Madness clock is up. There are a hundred of these and you do get both. You don't have to pick between the two, you get both of these. Um, I'm bringing you the other sizes in a few moments. $14.99, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm always looking for storage and it's not just in my sort of, in a jewelry making capacity. I'm always looking for storage for things in and around the home, you know. Um, Oh gosh, let's think. Rough gemstones you might just want. I've got a little, uh, a little collection of rough gemstones that uh, I don't always actually have out on display, especially if I've got people around because they're just in around the dining room, uh, dining room. But only clear them away, pop them away safe, nice in here, package them up into maybe a bit of tissue paper. You could do that. Uh, you can use them for cleaning products. You can use them for, oh, your connoisseurs collection. You could pop your connoisseurs collection in there, couldn't you? So you know what to reach for. Pop them in there. <laughs> And don't forget, anybody that purchases, we've also got a giveaway. Um, this hour, the winners will receive this one. Oh, this one. These two. You're going to win these. That's our giveaway. One of you is going to receive those colorways, so the hearts and the berry color. Uh, but you do need to check out those baskets. Half the stock has gone already, um, over half the stock in actual fact. So we've got the sort of the polka dot and the balloons, then we've got the hearts and the berry, and we've also got some really cute characters to bring you as well. But I don't think people are just going to be getting the one uh, sort of uh, um, choice of patterns here. Keep on dialing through. Let's move on to... The berry ones. These are lovely, aren't they? So I know that if my little girl was here, she'd be wanting these for sure. Makeup. You put your makeup in there as well, couldn't you? That would work. That would work. There we go. I definitely need to get some of these. Okay, there's a single house in 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 um, in in the Stevens household where I know that I, where, where I can't find a, a scenario where I'd need these. Your baby products, for example. You could put nappies in there, couldn't you? You could put. Um, bath bombs I don't know whatever pretty much anything that I can think of um, so you are getting both of those all of the Miori collection by the way are available on pre-order including the larger sizes so um, the large ones are going to be very 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 popular for sure but I'm thinking these definitely your tools and your seed beads literally just to have them organized and and, and, and reachable as well uh, for when you're actually creating yeah storage doesn't have to be boring does it um, and, and Personally, storage, a lot of the storage that I have in and around my home is quite ugly. It's actually quite ugly. These aren't. That could be a news, you could put your, um, certainly the big ones, newspapers. Have it next to the sofa for your magazine rack and things like that. Um, next to your loom. Oh, <laughs> Liam's saying you can... you're, you're reading material in the downstairs loo, he's saying, Liam. Yeah, well, yes, you could do that too. It is, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't think there's a right or wrong to this, Liam. Whatever you find the need for storage for. $14.99 gets the two. Uh, this is that really lovely, quite graffiti-like uh, um, heart uh, uh, Miori, but also you get the pink that is next to it. So that's working out at £7.50 each. I think personally the next one is going to be super, super popular. Um, um, Liam's just confirming that. He said on pre-order they are already, 30% of the stock has actually gone. But grab these whilst you can. And I actually think as well, you know, if, you th if I put them all together for one second, jewelry makers. Now, say you've got all of these. Say you've got all of these. Maybe you've got lucky enough to have a nice jewelry making workstation. Um, you want me to do what? Swap those round, okay? Yes. Look at that, it's almost like JM branding, isn't it? So you might go, okay, I keep my findings in this one. I keep my threading material in this one. I keep my um, seed beads in this one. 
um, and I keep my silks in this one. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm just thinking a few, reeling off some ideas. So you, it's literally an immediate go-to because you know the actual fun design of them um, is going to actually allow you to do that. Um, so just so I don't confuse matters right now, right now the graphics on your screens are for these, the pink ones right now. Um, yeah, right now for those. At $14.99, that's £7.50 each. And I've just seen another feature. Is that for when you stack them away? Is it? Or is it so that you can actually hold something else on there? I think you can actually hold something else on there, possibly. Yeah, you could actually hook things over, couldn't you? Tweezers, all your pliers. You could actually hook items over there as well. So this is how, how, how look how much space that's taking, jewelry makers. Minimal space. You can easily slide those into a drawer um, or a, under, a, under sort of an area under a bed if you wanted to. Now, we have actually just found Miori on air elsewhere. Two of the pink, are they the same size? Are they the same size? Same size, look at the price tag jewelry makers, 27 pounds. Is that with postage or do you get free postage? Free postage, okay, so one way. 27 pounds, with us, 14.99. And don't forget, one postage and packaging per day. Okay, let's bring you, let's bring you, you can also do this, just something's just come into my, look. You could all stack them all. When they're not in use, just stack them all together. Actually keep them all together. <laughs> but, but my point is, the guys are like, why would you buy storage to store them away? At? Hey, listen, I've got lots of those plastic boxes that are empty and they're up in the loft and they, you know, taking up loads and loads of space. This way they're not, minimal space. This one's going to sell. Really, really, really quickly, jewelry makers. They already are with the other colours, but this one I think is going to sell the fastest. Um, because these, let's do the minute to madness clock, jewelry makers, because these are adorable. Oh, look, you've got your little llama, who's very happy, and a little owl. So you could put pens, crayons. For, you, for, for kiddies, yeah, absolutely. Um, I like the fact that they're a really nice soft grey. Grey is very popular in interior design at the moment, so they're neutral. They're going to be uh, quite, quite complementary, I think, of all interior design and decorations that you might have in and around your home. Um, they're not just storage for your jewellery. They're storage for absolutely everything, aren't they? Um, yeah, in a kitchen, absolutely. You can put spices in there if you wanted to. You could put... Organize those cupboards. Come on, come on, confession time. <laughs> Who's got a cupboard that you literally take your life into your own hands every time you open the door? It's like that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got, we've all got it, we've all got it. Organize those cupboards, jewelry makers, with your storage because you'll be thankful when you do get these homes. The cables, <laughs> we're laughing because we all know it's true, don't we? The cables that you keep, why do we keep cables for phones that, that we had 10 years ago? Um, and, and yeah, and something from that you had on old TVs and chargers for, for various different gadgets and things like that. We, don't wanna, we never want to throw them away, do we? Um, but keep them in these so they'll be all nice and neat and tidy. Again, these are absolutely flying, yeah. Clearly, you're a lot of fun jewellery makers. Clearly, you love the little caricatures on them. Again, they have that elastic detail there if you wanted to sort of attach something there. Um, could you, Liam just said, could you use them to attach them together? I don't know. I don't think so because they'd be at different heights, wouldn't they? Yeah. No, that doesn't really work. That, it's just hang things on, hang items on, hook items to. Um, Pegs? Oh, yes, you're washing pegs. Now, you saying that, Liam, um, 
my washing line and my pegs literally one of those old school fabric ones with the little coat hanger at the top you know the ones and it's been hung on my garden fence all winter and I've walked past it I walk past it and go oh, it's a bit moldy isn't it I don't really want to put those pegs on my or I don't want to take the bags out of, the pegs out of that bag because that's pretty pretty disgusting um, so maybe uh, give them all a wash pop them away back in, into this it can go underneath the cupboards right, where you do your laundry um, and it's nice and clean. Hiya, Patsy. We call our cupboard at the top of the stairs the scary cupboard L. Yes. Yeah, ours is funny enough. Patsy, ours is the under the, under the stairs cupboard. Um, uh, under the sink. I've got probably loads, if I'm honest, because um, I'm not the most organized person. Do you know there's one person who I actually think is probably doesn't have a scary cupboard, Patsy? I reckon Mark Smith. I, I, reckon, I reckon all of his cupboards would be perfectly organized because he is very tidy person but yes I have one of those and, and I've got in my under the stairs wardrobe I open it and, and that's also where I've got my ironing board and I've got my ironing ironing basket which I have to kind of launch in and try and shut the door at the same time limited on these now jewelry makers now they're limited on these as well um, less than a hundred of each of them so I'm going to start they've been brought to you individually this is the berry pink and as you can see they are much much larger um, brand new folded out can you see that little shelf there also branded it says Miori just here you push that down very robust this is perfect for wine can I just <laughs> I know that says a, a great deal about myself um, but it is you can pop your wine in there as well maybe if when you do your weekly shop Come on, we've all been in those scenarios, haven't we? Where you've done your weekly shop and maybe uh, the glass has fallen out the out of the boot, or um, we had it when we went to my father-in-law's um, some time ago and literally opened the boot, everything had rolled around and the bottle fell out the and smashed on the floor. Um, yeah, typically it was the nice one as well. Typically, so this is going to prevent any of that. I'd actually have these in the boot of my car. I think they'd be really lovely in the boot of my car as well. Um, big, very generous. You could put vinyls in there. If I tilt it this way, again, you've got that large size there for, uh, for, for, for yeah, cables, whatever you wish, really. Right now, I, rec I reckon you're watching thinking, I know exactly what I would do with that. Magazines, anybody with your magazine subscription, subscriptions, you can organize the bottom of your, at the bottom of your wardrobes, put your shoes and, and handbags and everything in there. Clothes, yeah, absolutely. $12.99 each. So, yes, it's just organize your pants and socks, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, my daughter, um, it gives me anxiety when I go into my da daughter's bedroom sometimes because it is just chaos. But I know, she's only little. Um, so what we actually did was took her, um, she's got what, little wardrobes, and we took all of her shoes out because she didn't have that many pairs of shoes. She's four, so she grows out of them super quickly. And we said, right, let's put the, to let's put the toys in there. Let's put all the toys in there. So like the scary cupboard, you can shut it. You can just shut it and close it all away. But it is chaos, absolute chaos. If I organize the, uh, her toys, they can each actually have a separate box likewise though can I just say jewelry it's perfect for your jewelry and um, your creations all the strands that you might have let's move on to the next one because these are limited this next one is beautiful and by the way very popular on your pre-orders we're going back to um, the polka dots there you go midnight magenta polka dots there you go look at that Look at how solid this is. It is really, really secure and sturdy. $12.99. I remember a certain shopping um, supermarket. Um, it was one of those ones that, well, I don't shop at because you need to uh, sort of remortgage your house effectively to get your weekly shop there. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. Um, really lovely don't get me wrong but uh, um, yeah to do your weekly shop you could actually buy their branded boxes which were quite similar to this and the idea was that you literally scan it into your supermarket trolley and then you don't have to pack it into bags you can literally just pop it in your boot and away you go I think it's a genius idea but they were really expensive uh, these boxes you could do that with these as well couldn't you because you take your little scanner that you go around the supermarkets with and um, you can have them all organized so this could be maybe for your tins you might 
might have another one for, uh, for, for, for your fresh fruit and things like that. But of course, I am kind of sidetracking here and not really highlighting enough the fact that we've launched these for your jewelry making and storage needs. Um, so lovely, lovely, lovely Miori. Really pretty. Um, if you are, if you are, just to give you a heads up, we've got the polka dots in the blue if you're looking for multiples. Um, they look lovely together, don't they? Um, I think these are coming up next. Uh, they're coming up next. These are much more limited, though, jewellery makers, the larger size. They potentially go under some beds, go in your airing cupboards, all of the above. In your airing cupboards. You could have one for, oh, yeah, guest towels. Uh, bedding in our house. I, I, I'll admit I'm obsessed with buying bedding. And then when it comes to storing it, it literally just all gets put on top of one another. And then you try and get actually a, a sheet, a bed sheet, and you're like, um, you can't find it. You can have it all perfectly, each set perfectly laid out. There we go. <coughs> Here you go. Right now, for the, I like this one. I really like this one. It's beautiful. Yeah, blue is always very popular. Very popular. You have the same colour trim, by the way, on all of these. Um, yeah, you can put loads in here. I mean, all of your hair products, all of your... Uh, if you do knitting, if you do crochet, if you do painting if you do knitting's perfect because it'll actually sit next to the sofa wouldn't it and it's not going to be an eyesore it's not going to be an eyesore um yeah get your knitting out when you're ready uh, when you actually want to have a ha, um you know start creating if you like um yes think of all the different let's talk about hobbies jewelry makers that this will actually accommodate so we've said knitting we've said crochet this would also work with your diamond dot art this would always work amazingly with Let's think, I've, got, I've drawn a blank for a second there. Diamond dot art, everything, you're right. It is going to accommodate loads of different, cross stitch, you could put your cross stitch on there, your embroidery. You could have them per medium, so this might be sort of your Argentian box, um, your polymer clay box. It could be, it could be what stores what we're going to bring you on Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Don't know. I don't know. Something might be happening on Tuesday. Not sure what. But I can't even tell you what's going on on Monday yet. Um, okay. So the idea is that it's foldable down. This is nice. Ooh, these are lovely. Um, I'm going to put them together because obviously you can get the two patterns and colours. So this one's, I'd say, is the bamboo colour, yeah. So that's coming in a minute. That's beautiful, isn't it? I've seen some uh, some patterned wallpaper which looks quite similar to this. So yeah, might be great to work with your interior design. Lovely pop of lime green there as well. Um, <clears throat> there's only 40 of this one though. Um, I think this design is actually very popular with Miori as a, a, and themselves. 12.99. So I mean, again, Christmas decorations, Christmas decorations. How many, you, you could fit a lot of baubles in there, a lot of baubles, um, and then if you wanted to sort of protect it, just literally put maybe, I don't know, tuck a plastic bag over so it's actually, um, keeps all the dust out effectively. Twelve ninety nine again, lots of you are getting these, they are really beautiful, aren't they? Really beautiful and absolutely robust. I've seen the, the sort of the, the foldable boxes previously and they haven't had anywhere near, and I'm giving that quite a lot of force, um, haven't had anywhere near the rigidity that you're seeing within your Miori. Um, so limited in their quantity though these. Home gym, uh, yes. You could put, I don't know, we don't have, we don't have your woolly hats and scarves out all the time, do you? Um, and they tend to take up quite a lot of space in your drawers. So you can have, put winter clothes, your summer clothes in here, uh, pack them away as well. Um, pop, pop, them, pop them, I don't know, in a, in, in, in a storage cupboard or at the bottom of the wardrobe, all of those things. Let's bring you the lovely dusky pink now too. So again, very complimentary of the, uh, of the natural bamboo colour. Notice how quickly I'm folding this away, jewellery makers. It is literally that simple. There you go, that simple. Popping it just there. I'm right now onto the dusky pink. <clears throat> so measuring, 
12.6 by 10.83 by 10.43. So um, they're very, very exact. And that's in inches, by the way. But I think if I just show you, they are, they are big. They are big, aren't they? It's a lovely blush pink. You can tuck more goodies just here. I think they'd be great for a picnic, these. Again, pop it in the back of the car. Who, does, who goes camping? Who goes camping? Literally, you're loading up the car and you're trying to fit, fit items in every single crevice that you find within, uh, within your car. Okay, where can we put, where can we put, <laughs> where can you put your, where can we put our toiletries? Where can we put the food and things like that? Because your cold packs will go in here. Down to the final 24, 22, sorry, beg your pardon. If we do sell out of these ones, have a little look, see if there's any left of the other. Um, the smaller ones come in pairs. These are actually individually. Um, but yeah, really beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I know that you can go into that sort of that DIY shop and you know lots of, um, have you noticed those cube shelves that you tend to get, I don't know, white or black and they've literally got multiple shelves and then you put, the idea is you put something that looks a bit similar uh, to these, but they're flimsy, aren't they? They're flimsy. Um, if you keep pulling them out and putting them back in again, they're obviously gonna lose that rigidity. These won't, so really secure, amazing, amazing quality brand. Right then, oh, I've got five minutes. I've still got two items to bring you. Still got two items to bring you. Right, who? Oh, yes! Now, I definitely need these. My mum uses these all the time, actually. And I always think, gosh, I must get one of those. Because um, how many of us actually forget to take our, take our bags back when we go to the, go, I don't know, pop to the local shops, whatever, pick up some everyday groceries? Um, if you forget and then you end up having to buy one of those bags, let me just show you, this is a shopper bag. So um, from Miori, again, little popper just here. And literally open it out. It's waterproof. Nicely waterproof. Oh, it's a big shopper bag. I'm going to just give it a little... Look at that. <laughs> it's massive. You can get loads in there. Look at that. Look how small it put... Like, it came from that to this. You can get loads and loads and loads in here. So I'm, I'm, I'm the world's worst for, for forgetting to take my bags to the shop with me. I've got, you know, the, the, the lifetime ones. Um, the other day I had the pram on them, for example. Had baby in the arm, couldn't lift the pram at the same time. So it's like, okay, well, I'll just have to buy one. I'll have to buy one when I'm in there. Um, if I had this in my purse, if I had this in my bag, I wouldn't have had any of those issues. Three pounds and 99 pence. Likewise, it is designed as a shopper, but I would also use this for storage, wouldn't you? Um, because you've also got here, I don't know if you can see, a little popper. Yeah, that clips together, little popper, and you've got a little pouch for you to put maybe money in there, I don't know, whatever, whatever you wish. 3 99 for your little shopper bag. There you go, so it went from that to this. Um, they are very popular. Yeah, my mum's got these, and I've always been thinking, I must get one of those. That's a really good idea. Um, really good idea. Three ninety nine for something that is basically very strong, very, very strong, is going to carry a huge amount. Let me hold it at full extension. There you go. That's going to carry loads, isn't it? Um, keep darling through. I've got one more to bring you. Um, <clears throat> I like this one. This is lovely. So this is in the patterning. In your Muri patterning, your pocket shopper. So even for the, for gents, by the way, who don't carry maybe a handbag, um, this will this will this will actually go in your pocket very easily. Oh, I like it. This one is a hot pink. Lovely hot pink. There you go. And it's that kind of, um, it's a waterproof fabric, yeah, basically. So that if you do get caught in, in a rain shower, perfect for that. Hello, Patsy, saying um, the bags are great for when the bead fairs open and the car boot sales. Yeah, good idea, good idea. Because, you know, we'll, we 
we juggle everything, don't we? We don't need to when we've got big shopper bags like this. Well, goodness me, jewelry makers, it has been an absolutely awesome couple of days. Coming up after the break, you have two very beautiful ladies. You've got the gorgeous Jenny and the utterly fabulous uh, Gemma Crow, who I know are bringing some very exciting mediums. So make sure you stay tuned. The prize giveaways continue. The deals continue. We'll be back with you now on Monday morning for another birthday show. So it's birthday and always what do we do on birthday week is we have something new. So on Thursday we will be bringing, or I will be bringing, paint pouring to you. Now you may have seen paint pouring on the great big canvases and amazing works of art, but I'm going to be downscaling and bringing it to you in your jewellery creations. I cannot wait to show you how effective it is. Really hope you can join me in the afternoon from 1pm. Happy birthday, jewellery maker, 11 years old. Wow, that time has completely flown. What an amazing birthday event we've got for you this year. Join us this coming Friday as part of our birthday celebrations here at Jewellery Maker, we have invited some extra special guests for you. We will be joined by Daniel Raphael, our diamond man, and you just wait and see what he's got in store for you. And phoning in from Poland will be the adorable, wonderful Marius, who has some extra special brand new amber pieces for you. So make sure you join us this coming Friday, the 7th of May, here at Jewellery Maker. Jewelry maker, happy 11th birthday. I've had the huge, immense privilege of joining you on most of those, in actual fact. Um, I'm very proud of that fact. We love you to our very bones, and I can't wait to celebrate with you. and we can't wait to celebrate with you. I'm going to be doing my disco dance. Big bead, little bead, cardboard box. Big bead, little bead, cardboard box. I'm going to disco. Well, here we are. It's 11 years of wonderful jewellery maker. Can you believe it? Now then, after the year that we've had, isn't it about time that we had a fantastic party? And the thing is about birthdays, normally when it's your birthday, you get the gifts. But when it's jewellery maker's birthday, you get the gifts. That's the brilliant thing. And we have got the most amazing 11 days. Yes, you heard it right. 11 days of birthday celebrations. And we cannot wait for you to join the party. So do join us from the 1st to the 11th of May to celebrate 11 glorious years of Jewelry Maker. Hi. I'm Roger Taylor from Argentium. Uh, happy birthday to Jewelry Maker. Uh, there's a fantastic show that I'll be on on the 8th of May. Look forward to seeing you and showing you some wonderful things. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Good afternoon, you're watching.
watching Jewelry Maker. My name is Jenny Cleary and you join us as we continue to celebrate our 11th birthday. That means giveaways galore for you. Every hour we'll be giving away two giveaways. All you've got to do is make a purchase during the live shows. In each hour, anyone who purchases will be automatically entered into a draw to win big. I'll let you know what the prizes are. Now, we have got some fantastic new mediums coming up for you today and Gemma Crow is absolutely chomping at the bit to show you acrylic pouring. Please welcome Gemma Crow. Hello. I am. I am so excited. It is such an exciting medium. And, you know, I've seen it on canvases and um, my friend Sue does these huge canvases and things. Mm -hmm. They're beautiful. But on jewellery and this tiny scale, it's just so effective. So you've taken, you, you outside of Jewellery Maker, Gemma, you have a very thriving business, uh, Crow's Mojo, not Crow's Mojo, it's the, well, um, it is Crow's Dabble. Mojo and Babble Dabble. Yeah. And if you join Gemma and Sue on Babble Dabble, please go on to Facebook, have a look at Babble Dabble, give it a like. Sue does big scale projects. So Gemma really wanted to be able to bring this into jewellery. So under, under the very watchful eye of Sue, um, Gemma <laughs> has learned how to do this <laughs> medium and we're delighted for it uh, now we I, I can acrylic pour I love acrylic pouring you get um, all, it just gives you such an amazing result and you don't have to be an artist to acrylic pour you get yep. these amazing finishes they look like they belong in galleries but I promise you even if you can't draw a face you can acrylic pour it's, it's yeah. so easy and so effective yeah, isn't it's, it? it yeah it's absolutely brilliant it's and it's so much fun it really is now we've got everything you need coming up in this hour we have decided to go for the best quality paints rather than the lowest cost and I'm going to talk to you about that in a little bit it's really important that you get the best pigment possible and that's what together with Gemma Crow um, under of course the the advice of Sue we have we've brought to, to the table today now there's three ways you can come shopping with us here today at Jewelry Maker. You can get yourself on the dog and bone. It's 0800 644 655. You can do it online. It's www.jewelrymaker.com. But in the style of someone celebrating for their 11th birthday, Big Ben, what's the quickest way to shop? Tap the app. Tap the app. I mean, I wanted you to do a, a floor skid like, you know, 11 year old boys, but there's just no room for it. <laughs> there's three ways to pay. That's what they... Do you remember being 11 and just skidding on floors for no reason at parties? This is great, wasn't it? You can pay with PayPal, debit card or credit card. And if you shop with the gorgeous L this morning and you've already got your basket, all you need to do at the end of each item you pay for, you tick the box that says combine orders. Now, it might look like we've charged you PMP, but we haven't. We work it all out after midnight. It's our bit for the carbon footprint and your bit to save yourself some pennies. Are you ready to shop Michael Wolf behind me? You can shop on the app. Yeah, he's ready to shop. Be ready to shop. Are you ready to shop, boys in the gallery? Let's have a look at your shopping. There we go. Yeah, ready to shop, Gemma Crow? Yes. Are you ready to shop like an 11-year-old boy over there spending someone else's money, Big Ben? Yeah! Yeah, it's the best way to shop when it's someone else's money, isn't it? Now, before we give you... <laughs> Xbox 360, they're saying. Uh, before we give you Gemma's kit, we got we just got thought we'd sneak in a little birthday deal. But you've got to make me a promise today. I want all your text messages. You've got any questions for Gemma Crow? If you want to know about acrylic pouring, if you just want to say something, maybe you want our advice. I can't tell you I'm qualified to give any advice, but we'll certainly give, you, give it a try. <laughs> Go. We want your messages, no matter what they're about. So let's talk to you about adding some spice and some bling with the box, of course, because we all it's spring after all. We're all spring cleaning, aren't we? I did a spring clean last weekend. I need to do one already again. Now, these launched last weekend. We got the last 50 for you today. And there were 300 of them. Huge amount of you already went for these. Could be that you've already received yours. Love it so much that you thought, why didn't I get two? Here's your last opportunity. If we were getting on an aeroplane, it would be your final call for the destination of hematites. Have a look at these colors. They're a little bit sexy. Here we go. Ben's now doing his... You're now attending the 313 flight to Hematite. Please make sure your seatbelts are fastened and you know where the exit signs are. Because this baby is about to fly out. Do you like what I did there? Boom! RVP092 is your item code. We're going to give this to you for £2.49 a strand. You can't argue that with that with Hematite, which always gives you a great weight Absolutely. to your jewellery. Yeah. And, of course, the box for gratis. RVP092 
$14.99. Now, one of these goes a very long way. One of these in a, 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 just as a pendant, one of these in a wish bracelet, but you can put them all in a stretchy bracelet if you want. You can make, I'd have one in each ear. They're powerful enough. They've got enough mm -hmm. sparkle to them, haven't they, Gem? Absolutely. Yeah, they're gorgeous. I think they're such great value. They add so much to your pieces, don't they? They really do. 10% of the stock has already gone and sold out. It's great to see your names popping up on my screen. Well done to Helena, maker in Warwickshire, Fiona in Hertfordshire, you've got yours. Stephen, Elaine and Rachel, you've got yours. RVP 092, 14.99 uh, is your price. We're very quickly going to give you something else before your paints which are coming up next so i'm going to give to you ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. same but different another hematite box this is the one with the roses in it which i always think you should make an impression if you've got silly gum these mm -hmm. are great for little valentine's pieces mother's day pieces or if you want to do wire work uh, flowers these would be great on your tree of life designs as well mm -hmm. then you've got and i love these so if you have a look at these they're like giant tealer beads, do you see? Because they've got Ooh. two holes in them. Now, when something's got two holes, there's more things you can do with it, isn't there? $12.99. Bit random, but you said message if we have anything to say. I've just reached 100 followers on Instagram. Woo! Yay! Well, give us your Insta address, then you can get even more. Now, oh, they've sold out already. Come on. Love those. Love them. I'm um, gutted they're gone. They're gone, Gemma Crow, never to be seen again. <sighs> now, I tell you something. We have got something top quality for you. Mm -hmm. Now, it was really important to us because we all know you can go to like the works or mm. somewhere cheap, the Poundland or wherever like that yeah. on the high street and you can get paints. But that wasn't good enough for us. We needed to make sure that we were going to give you top quality, artistic quality. They've got to be artist quality acrylic paints. Otherwise, you're not going to get the right result. You need to keep the pigment in your acrylic paints. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we bring you this incredible star buy. Okay, so you've got a whole box of beautiful colours and these, of course, you can mix the colours. Now, we've only got 200 of these, but the quality is what we really want to get across to you. Much like with our seed beads, with the Mayuki seed beads, mm -hmm. We wanted to be able to give you the best quality for you to complete mediums that would create gorgeous jewellery. To do that, we needed to make sure these were packed full of pigment. You get 10 tubes, you get one brush, you get the, the, the titanium white, the opaque primary yellow, you've got the um, cadmium yellow, you've got the cadmium red, you've got the primary magenta, dark ultramarine blue, opaque primary cyan, Cy cyan, how do you say it, cyan, cyan blue, cyan isn't it, uh, then you've got your green, you've got your yellow ochre and your Mars black, I'm going to show you those colours there, you can see just along here, and these are, are decent sized tubes as well, they're big tubes, I'll show you, so you've got a nice big tube and then you've got the paintbrush. Now these are artist quality. So if you've got somebody going off to uni and they're studying art, this would be a great, maybe it's A-level art or something like that, then these would be a great gift for them as well. It's not just about acrylic pouring. Acrylic paints are great for anyone who's a little bit arty. Gemma, the first mm. thing you told me, because I said, Gemma, the most important thing is, are we being super, super competitive with our prices? And you said, Jenny, it, it, it's not massively about that because you can get acrylic paints in so many cheaper places. We could go to the range. We could go yeah. to the works. We could go yeah. to, you know, uh, hobby craft. Well, Ho I mean, not but there. hobby. Uh, <laughs> we could go to those places, yeah. and we can pay. I, I think probably in a lot of those places, you can pay different prices yeah. for acrylic paint. So we needed to make sure we were giving great value. But what's most important is that this does exactly what we need it to do. Absolutely. I mean, all all, all paint qualities vary, and. Um, studio are a really great make of paint anyway and they're great for pretty much all your craft projects but what's great about what's important with your paint pouring and things like that is that you can dilute the paint without losing the colour so and so many times we've really done that strong. with paints Gemma and it's yeah. made it a wishy-washy effect yeah. so the difference in price with paint because Believe it or not, I went to a lecture about 15 years ago on paint, on, on acrylic paint. I can believe was, that, yes. It was a funny, a funny old lecture. But anyway, basically I learned then that um, 
it's actually probably more like 25 years ago, I learned then that it, it, the, the price and um, so the difference between student acrylics, craft acrylics, student acrylics and artist acrylics are the, the sort of amount of pigment and how fade resist they are. But also when we come to sort of dilute them like we will today for paint pouring or for dot art, things like that, they have to have that high pigment. Otherwise, you just lose their sort of quality and their colours. So, yeah. so this is the these this is the brand and these are the paints that we chose yeah. as a company together with yourself yeah, and, and I know great. that you've been advised a, a lot by Sue as well d d and, and these are the ones that we have chosen to do exactly the job in hand mm -hmm. and we are giving you respectively for this particular brand a very competitive price now I see you on the phone lines already we are going to give you a one minute clock when the clock stops ticking we're going to give you your graphics and you're ready to put this in a basket now our objective um, isn't to annoy you by putting that clock on it's it's to give everybody who shops on the phone lines which is probably the, a little bit slower because you have to dial and then you press your one button than just putting it in a basket and checking it out on the app if you're already logged in on the website you're ready to go you're ready to put this in a basket I think the value is superb superb value because when I heard all this I was thinking okay so what are they going to be like 40 50 pounds mm, yeah no, but they're you, not no. because I know you go into an artist shop you go into an art shop like in Cambridge or somewhere yeah. and paint is expensive a paintbrush yeah. is expensive yeah, a good you can, one you can pay sort of depending on the color because every pigment is a different value yeah um, and so some pigments are more expensive than others so you can pay so for artist acrylics, between three and eight pounds a mm. tube, depending on the colour. Exactly, and we're not paying so, anywhere near no, that today. No. Between three and eight pounds a tube ordinarily, you've got ten tubes in here. Put this in a basket, we're going to give you the most fantastic price. Already, 20% of the stock approaching gone. No, 20%, more than 20% of the stock's gone. Okay. RFP W12, thank you for trusting us. We're not anywhere near the price that we're going to stop at. Lots of you there on my screen already. Let's have another look at what you are going to be able to achieve with these, quarter of the stock gone, with these acrylic paints. Quarter of the stock is gone. Look, they're gorgeous. And it isn't, you don't have to be an artistic genius. I promise you, you don't have to be Picasso to be able to do acrylic pouring. How do I know that? Because I can do it. I've done it on big canvases before. It's mm. so much fun. Fun. It is so much fun. It's it really so is. fun. And I tell you what the great thing is. You come away from it and you go, I did that. I did that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And everything's unique. Everything's, it's just, what. look at this. That's incredible. I love your mix of colors. You can make this. I promise you. If I can do it, you can. I promise you. Uh, these are great. Two of the colors in the pack are usually more expensive. Oh, well, there you go. Thanks, Kimmy in the Shire. Yeah. Already got two. What an amazing deal. You don't even know the price yet. That's not your price. That's not your price. We're going so much lower. So much lower. Half the stock has been allocated. These paints are going to sell out today. We only had 200. Let's go shopping. Our numbers underneath are just catching up with you, but half the stock has already gone. Ready? Ready? Watch this. Making these... A crazy £1.59 each. Go. And then you've got your brush. Quickly. Please go quickly because these are top quality. Incredible, incredible pigment in these. You've got mm -hmm. all of that. And of course you can blend them, Gemma. You yeah. can do all of that. You haven't just got 10 colours. No, you've you got can, so many more. You can mix them, make your own colours. That's it. You've got all your primaries in there. So yeah, there's mm -hmm. plenty of opportunity to mix and mix and make your own. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, there is. That, there's lots of you buying two. I've got Ali in, in the... Hi, Ali. Uh, two for you. I've got Kathleen, two for you. I've got Maker in Buckinghamshire, two for you. I have got Cumbria with two. I've got so many of you shopping for two. I have got Tracy with two as well. Marilee shopping from Arizona. Chrissy's got two in Essex. Lorraine's got two in a basket. Sue, guest design... Oh, Sue, who works here? Sue with the good boots. Oh, oh. oh no, it's Nanny Nanny Sue. Oh. Uh, two for Nanny Sue. I have got Maria. I've got so many of you there. So Nanny Sue's going to be well on this. Yes. Well, Sue actually went on Sue's workshop and learned how to do paint ah! pouring. Coincidentally, about two weeks ago. How so funny. So she said, I can't believe it's coming to the show. I'll get everything I need as well. So. Perfect. Uh, hi. What are the tubes? Are the tubes metal or plastic? They're metal, aren't they, Gem? Uh, yes. Yeah, they're metal. Yeah. 
They, I, they have to be metal, don't they, for acrylic? Or do they not? No, no, they don't have to be. Okay. No. They're metal. You can it's squeeze nice them. They, they'll hold. So you squeeze yeah. them from the bottom, obviously, and then you'll get the most out of them. You've got the brush in there as well, which we were kind of saying was free. Um, £1.59, uh, and then you've got a free brush. 51 chances remain. RFP, W12, you've got to check out your baskets. If I am calling... Oh, gosh, we've got way more than 50 people in baskets. I'm sorry about the queue on the phone lines. If you could hit your number one button, that would be great. Cheryl's got two. Tracy's got two. Um, about half a minute wait on the phone lines. We are getting to you, I promise you. Laura Spellbinding has got two. Has she indeed? Laura Binding, she hello, was darling. sneaking a peek at it all on Friday. Was she? <laughs> yeah. She's like, got do it this is right up binding street Definitely. Uh, county antrim two for you patricia you've got two uh, maria in surrey don't forget we started with 200 we've only got 35 left and i've got so many unchecked baskets you've got to check out baskets pamela you've got yours antrim takes two west midlands takes two surrey takes two and I've got Kent, Patricia in Kent with two. We've got your pouring medium and we've got the silica coming up. You need those to create that oil on water effect. And it's so fun, I promise you. These are absolutely flying. We are now approaching limited stock. As soon as it gets less than 10%, we're limited stock. And that means that there's a, that I think we are very, very, very close uh, to going limited stock. RFP W12 is your item code. 15.99 for these. Please make sure you're checking out baskets as quickly as you possibly can. Isabel, hi Laura Binding. Got to, what a deal. Hope you're all right, darling. Hope you're all right, uh, and you haven't Great. locked your husband out. <laughs> RFP. No, no, because when, when we were doing a Facebook Live in the pandemic, <laughs> she accidentally locked Tony out, and it was so funny. We were dying laughing. It was, it was so funny. Uh, 19, another message just in. Wow, I didn't realise the price would be that. I know. I know, Sue. It's amazing, yeah. isn't it? And that's from our Sue Sue. Thanks, Sue Sue. Um, oh. Amazing, isn't it? Right. We are at limited stock now, which means we've got less than 10% of the stock remaining, which means you need to hurry up because I've got so I've got about 30 unchecked baskets there now. Oh, more than that, says Ross. 70? 74 unchecked baskets? Well over allocated. Okay, so good luck, good luck. I don't want to take up too much time of Gemma's Masterclass. If, now, these are absolutely a must-have. We've made sure we're very, very competitive. Gemma's going to talk to you about the quality. Uh, you need these because if you were pouring without them, you'd just be pouring paint onto paint. So these are... And, and you wouldn't get the oil on water effect, would you, Gemma? Um, no, I mean, the pouring medium sort of thins the paint out yeah. for you and gives it that nice sort of slidey feel Runny, so yeah, yeah it, run, it makes it run but it also has got like a lovely gloss finish so that mm. when it dries you get that nice um that nice finish and sheen the paint, it gives it a sheen doesn't yeah, it yeah and the paints merge wrap they they sort of merge rather than blend mm -hmm. so yeah 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 they don't sort of go murky into each other they sort of nudge along each other and yeah. just make their own little path yeah. and just, swirls just and literally does what it says on the tin it makes yeah. it it helps it pour here we go so you're pouring medium and your silicon oil now you need that you've got a minute do we have as many of these as we did acrylic oh right okay so everybody who bought yes but hang on a minute because some people were buying two of the okay right so i think people might multi-buy this sort of multi-bought the the paints because I think perhaps people are buying for their friends. Okay, how much 20% of the stock already gone? You've rang on, <laughs> oh, at the call center, 20%. Uh, okay, uh, that's never happened before, okay. Is that a thing? Okay. I don't know how you do it, but you've worked out a way of it's doing a it, apparently. Trick, isn't it? It's, it's a crafty little it's trick, that. a crafty that. little trick, I'm impressed. I'll tell you what, you know who's done that? The same people that queue outside next sale at 4 a.m. Yeah, that's it. They know what, they're, they're dedicated shoppers. They know. They're the ones that camp out outside Ikea before they let their doors open on the... They, you know what you're doing. <laughs> Ten seconds, and we're going to do this. Ten seconds, and you can make this yours. Are you ready? Let's go shopping. But make sure you're quick, because if everybody who got the acrylic paints... By the way, we've got two sets of acrylic paints left, and then they're sold out. MZX C94, your acrylic pouring essentials. And talk to us about the quality of these, Gemma. You've used these, and how do they compare with anything else you've used? I've never, this is the first time I've ever done it. I've got all my okay. information from um, Sue, and 
and this is what she uses. So, right, okay, you know, so it comes she's recommended from a professional. The research. So, yeah, so she will use this. But the porous medium, you know, you'll get through. So mm -hmm. oh, it's worth multi buying on that because Ooh. you'll be addicted and you'll want to get, you'll want to do lots. Okay, with you saying that, I need to give everyone a warning because already half, uh, already half the stock's gone. Yeah. Um, and Gemma's just said you need to multi buy this. Okay, well, in that case, we're going to have to stop everything. Let's get to your price quickly because these are going to sell out. And I, and I don't, there's going to be so many angry people and I really don't want to make you cross today. <laughs> so please, let's just give you your price. Let, Laura Binding's got two on your advice. So Cheryl, uh, they're $14.99 for the both. Now, the, the silica lasts a bit longer? Yeah, you the need silica a bit of you use such a tiny amount of. Yeah, so that's going to last you a long time. This is going to sell out any minute, any minute, and it's gone. You must be as quick as you can. Now, acrylic paints, is it, have we still only got one or two left, or have we, are they gone completely? Two left, two left, sorry. We've got, we've got two left. Uh, get off! Are you actually kidding with that price? Everyone needs to buy triple at least. That's our Sue. <laughs> That's Sue. That's Sue. She knows what she's talking about, Sue that knows. one. She buys wholesale for her for her, you know, kits and workshops, so she knows. So I have no idea. I've never, never done it before, before, you know, this. So, you know, if she's saying it's good, it's good. If Sue <laughs> says it's good, it's good. Don't forget to join Sue together with Gemma Crow and Babble Dabble if you'd like to find out more of what this t dastardly duo get up to. It does get a bit drinky drinky sometimes on a friday only sometimes. i join you when i'm in the bath usually don't yeah, i sometimes and i have friday. to get out and say i'm wrinkly i've got to leave right we're going to leave those with you because they are going to sell out and we have got more things to give you and we want to really concentrate on this masterclass because we know that you're so excited for it and so am i now which one are we going to do first which one first rossi the wooden bezels okay yeah, that's the one I had. The, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so leather cord. So are these two separate kits that I've got here? It, I get all of this for that money. Well, I know how much Ooh. it is. Did you know that? I don't know. I, you know I know how much it is. That's really good. Hang on a minute. Let me check my sheet. Do you, you know how much that is, don't you, for all of no that? I have no idea. Yeah. Leather, real leather cord finished as well. Look, and, and how, many, how we try and get hold of these, they sell out so fast. So you've got three of those. I want you just to price that in your head if you were shopping elsewhere. They're 18 inches, and you, that's real leather. And you've got the silver on base metal findings, all done for you, brilliant. Then you've got all these blanks, drill hold for you. You get one, two, three, four, five, six in the triangles, five of the, what are we calling that shape? What's it called again? So this, that joins up to make the collar. So they, oh. they join to make the collar style pieces because they sort of. Oh, I see, because they splay the out. Button. Yeah. So let's have a look at that. So the collar piece with the little splay bit, everyone's going to go mad. This will sell out really fast at that price, I'm telling you. Then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the rectangles. And I forgot the bracelet. I made a bracelet with these. I've also done a neckline piece and a, you know, and a pendant piece with these. But I, I left the bracelet on my, on my. I was thinking, is, there, is there a missing. photograph? Do you have a photograph? I will photograph it when I Thank get you, home. Thank you, darling. But yeah, but it, you just link them together and they make this lovely bracelet. But you get I love over. these pendant bells. So let's have a... Yeah. We've got to be quick because we've just... Everyone's on the phones. I'm so sorry, Gemma, to rush you. Right, we've only mm. got 100 of these, which is crazy because it means that everybody who bought the acrylic can't get the kit, which I'm so sorry for. Um, I wish I had 200. I'm so sorry that I don't. Uh, so you've got these as well. Gemma's going to show you. Don't worry. We're, Gemma's going to teach us how. We're going to go to demonstration in just a moment's time. Here's everything. Uh, you'll, honestly, I promise you... This price is brilliant. And you know I wouldn't just say that, it's brilliant. Are you ready? Let's do it, because they're gonna... I'm so sorry to tell you that if, if, if everyone checks out their baskets, we're three quarters of the stock gone already. LBX C42, you must... I'm so sorry to rush you, but for 16.99, for me, that is just... I mean, that's you've got amazing. so many... Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's amazing. Super, super... This is one of the best value kits I've seen in such a long time. You're going to be able to use this with your acrylic pouring medium and more mediums. You're not just, mm. oh, this is one medium base. It really isn't. You could do so many different things. As you can see, the stock is flying out. If everybody checks out, we're pretty much gone and done. 
LBXC42, we're over allocated. That means there's more in baskets than I now have stock of. Sorry, I know I'm talking fast. I'm just Mary in Maryland. You've got to check out Marva, check out Pauline, check out Ruby, Rachel, Jane, Matty, Janice, Alison, check out Sue in the Shire, check out Sue in the Shire, Marion, D, Maker in London, Pauline, Tracy, you've got to check out. We don't have enough for everybody with this in a basket to go around. And for that, I can only apologize. I'm so sorry that we didn't have 200 of these. I really sincerely am. Then we mustn't have been able to get hold of all of the 200 of each of the elements. It's sold out and gone, I'm afraid. It's gone. I think the acrylic paints are about, uh, are about done as well. Okay. The... the, the this is sold out. We've got more MDF blanks coming up later. Please don't worry. You can individually shop for some of these elements. Um, and I will give them. Now, the paints, we've literally, to be honest, they're pretty much like they are all in baskets. And we've sold them sort of 60 times over, 73 times over. So we're going to leave that there until it sells out. When they do sell out, I will let you know. Right now, you just need to be getting checked out. It's time to hit your record button because we are going over to the very, very arty and crafty GC, everyone. Oh, this is so exciting. It's so exciting. Yeah. Um, I'm so grateful I got a chance to do it. So just a few things to start with. You want to prepare your work surface. So you really need a nice space, nice clear space to work on. And you can use silicon trays or um, make sure whatever you're working on, you don't mind getting paint on because the paint will, you will get paint everywhere. This is not a nice tidy craft. It's messy. So um, gloves, messy gloves are helpful. Mm -hmm. and, and making sure you're prepared so that... You've got a space that you're working on, but also you've got a space prepared that you can take your work to, okay? Because it's also something that happens really quickly. So chances are you're going to do more than one pour at once. You're going to do lots of pieces, okay? So have a workspace. This is a rubble sack, a, really, a heavy duty. In a minute, because I'm just, just going to have to say, I'm so sorry to chip in. Mm. We have everything you're using. It's just, it's coming up in a kit for you. Yeah. You see Gemma using all these things that you're thinking, well, I haven't got that. So it's here, it's here. We are going to give it to you with the sheet. I don't have the sheet here. No. It's coming up, don't worry. No. Sorry, Gemma. So um, I, don't, I don't know what, if we got um, a, a sheet, no. So. It, I don't think there's any there's any sheets here, but if you've got an oven liner mm -hmm. or rubble sacks are really tarpaulin. good. Tarpaulin? Um, well, I don't know about tarpaulin. It might be a bit too um, rough. This is like a nice smooth plastic, so your paint just peels off it. You can reuse them so you don't have to throw things away. But a silicone baking um, dish or something like that is good because it catches everything. But make sure you've got it on a firm surface that you can move. So onto a tray, perhaps. Because if I try to lift this when it's covered in paint, it's going to bend and flex, especially silicone, and then you're going to lose your paint. So make sure it's on something to be able to move it um, when you're finished, okay? So that, that's your first things. Get organized first, okay? Then we, I'm going to take you through mixing the acrylics with the pouring medium. Um, so if you... Um, obviously, you can watch back today, but I also did a... There's also a live on my, or a video on my JM Guest Designer page where I sort of go through this first bit in a, probably a bit more detail than I'll get today. So um, if you want a refresher after, you can pop there and see that. Um, so I've got a, this ochre here. I've mixed my colours ready for today because I didn't want to take you through mixing lots. But I'm going to show you how to mix a colour. So you take your ochre, and I've got these little mixing cups. We've got some coming up mm -hmm. in the kit. Yeah, we've got some. Um, so I've got some little mixing cups and I'm going to take my paint and I'm going to squeeze um, about, what's that, two centimetres or like a, a marafat pea. Yeah, it's like what you yeah. put on your toothbrush. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, probably a little bit less. A marafat pea, you're very specific with your breed of <laughs> yeah, pea there, Gemma. Like pea size, people say pea size. I think, well, I like marafat, some people like petit pois. Oh, they're too <laughs> mushy know? for me. I'm a okay. petit pois girl. So it's, it's there in the middle. And then so the ratio of paint to medium, it's not a precise science. So we can guess. And then, um, but roughly, it's three parts medium, one part paint. Okay. So it's not like if you get it a tiny bit wrong, it's no. not going to work. You no. can, it's OK. Just by eye is fine. Yeah. Well, I'll talk to you about consistency as we go through. So we do it. If we roughly go to this ratio, so what I usually do is set all my paint colours up, my paint pots up, mm -hmm. put the little blobs in all of them, make sure they're roughly the same, and then fill my cuts to the same height, okay? So this is roughly three parts medium. This is so to cool. one part paint, okay? 
and then you want to stir that up. Now, I'm going to use lollipop sticks because they're really great for stirring, especially in small spaces like this. And you don't want to use a cocktail stick because it's, it's so fine um, and thin. It just cuts through rather than mixes. Okay. So then we're going to mix. Now, this bit is the bit you need to take time on, okay? Which is why I pre-mixed all mine today because you can be mixing some of them, especially like the, the darker pigments like black or um, particularly the blue. Um, it takes the pigments don't break down as easily so you have to spend a lot of time mixing what will happen is if you if you don't is that you'll get clear areas because the pouring medium is clear mm. um, and so when it dries oh, clear yeah, see, you'll yeah. just be left with clear spaces yeah like a little window yeah which yeah, you know could be worth playing with the effect but um, for these purposes we don't want to so really really mixing um, this one seems to be mixing quite nicely you find the lighter the color the easier it does. And you want to make sure that you're really getting round and mixing all that in. And if you pull your paint up the sides like this and you see like um, variances or little specks of paint or darker blotches of colour, mm. you know you're not done. So Sounds like caramel sauce. It does. This is my favourite colour. I find I've, I've used this in pretty much all of my pores. Um, it just adds that sort of it's just a nice, sophisticated colour. I don't know why. It sort of tones yeah, it's like down. a mustard, isn't it? Yeah, it tones down your brights, but really mm. gives a nice contrast with your other colours. So there we go. So I've mixed that in. I would probably take a bit longer at home mixing. Um, and what we're looking for, so if we test the consistency now of that, I'm not going to put any more medium in there. I'm going to dilute it a bit with water if it's too thick, OK? So what I'm looking for is I'm going to pick it up, and if it runs off smoothly, then it's thin enough. But that, it's running off quite smoothly, but it's a little bit, it sort of quickly goes, you know, into drops. Yeah. Okay, so we want it really quite nice and runny. So I've got a bit of water here, um, and add very slowly with the water. So, so just a, ordinary water? Yeah, just a little pipette. And this is where that, that really good quality paint is essential because you're not going to lose any of the pigments. No, that's it. You're just you looking know, to change the consistency. Just slightly, yeah. And instead of keep trying to top up with your pouring medium, it's easier just to make these final adjustments with water. Okay, because the pouring medium's got a thickness of its own as well. Okay. So water just to get it a bit runnier. So if we see that's running off a lot smoother now. So then what you need to do is you have all your paints mixed and then you need to check that each of them are the same because if they flow, if they're thicker or thinner, they'll flow at different rates and you'll get different effects. You won't necessarily get that nice flow that you're looking for. Okay. So these things are the things that, you, you know, you'll, you'll need to sort of take time to learn. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that's about right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my other colours here and I've... I've um, mix them and I've um, decanted them into some little bottles that I can use later. Um, so uh, I'm going to pick some colours. So I mixed, I'm going to go, I'm going to go for this purpley colour um, that I've mixed, this blue, and I think I might use this mustard. Just before you do that, Gemma, is it yeah. okay? Because we've had lots of messages and I am so yeah, sorry yeah, to no, interrupt you. Yeah, I hate in. interrupting I'll the demonstration, so I do apologise. But a lot of you are messaging in and I don't want to make you cross either. So I'm going to give you the kit that we have here that will work very well with not just this medium, but this will work with resins and stuff as well, won't it? Yes, it is. It's actually the resin top-up kit, but this is the one that, you know, you can see I've got the gloves, I'm using the lollipop sticks. I really like the finger guards for this because if I haven't got tight fitting gloves, I find I'm very clumsy because when you, you'll see in a minute when we pick it up and move mm. it, it can be quite clumsy in gloves. So the finger guards are brilliant. A bit grippier. Yeah. And, you know, you just got more um, sensation in your fingers and they, they hug a bit tighter. Um, and then you've got those silicone jugs, which are brilliant because they're so easy to um, clean out because you can just sort of, you can let your paint dry in there, turn them inside out and peel the paint off. So oh, yeah, because they're all rubbery. Yeah. They're so great, they're, aren't they're they? They're brilliant, those. Now, you also get your pipettes, you've got your tweezers, you've got your spoons, you've got your gloves, but you've got also the scales. I'm just quickly giving this to you because a lot of you are asking for it, and I do apologise for, inter for interrupting your demonstration. You've got 115 pieces. The details are on the screen. We've only got 55 of these, though, and uh, that's going down rapidly. We're really busy. XUOJ38 is your item code for that. I'm going to hand you back over to Gemma. OK, one thing I haven't talked to you about is the silicone. So the silicone, you can get cells without the silicone. 
um, but the silicone sort of helps break the paint apart. So. Explain what the cells are, because that's quite important, okay, isn't it? Okay, so cells, let's see if I can show you on, let me find a good example of cells, but yeah. So here, how is that in terms of glossy? Oh, there we go. Um, can you see here, you've got these little it. round bits. Yeah. Yeah, so that's where the paint sort of pulls away from itself and shows what's beneath. So you get these lovely cells, and that's what gives you all this, all the lovely sort of patterns. So the that's cells so are what, important, isn't it? Yeah, the cells are what people really want to achieve, and the silicone helps with that. Mm -hmm. But what with with um, you know with smaller scale, I mean larger scale, there's a whole different proportions and ratios and mm. mixtures. So I don't know about pouring on canvases, but from what I've learned about pouring on these smaller pieces, is you really only need the tiniest amount. Um, and I've already popped, put it in the white, so I'm going to show you, because I want you to know just how little you need to use. Um, so you've got this little pipette. Now, there's a lot in that pipette. Yeah, okay. and it's quite runny, isn't it? Yeah, so what, I, what you need to do is you just drop the... the literally, the tiny... Did you see that go in? Little tiny, tiny, tiny. tiny. And then you need to really whip it up. Okay, because that's gone in in one drop. And what we need to do is, it's not going to mix in with the paint, but what we need to do is break that little bobble up into millions and millions and millions of pieces. So you've got to whip it up real quick. Okay, so that it really breaks up and moves and disperses itself around the paint. Okay, so you do that quite quickly, immediately, almost before you put it in your cups. Right, so now I'm going to layer my cup up so that I can make a pour. So get all your pieces laid out. Um, I've got my pieces here and then we're just going to layer up in the cup now um, it's up to you what order you go in I'm choosing a blue a purple a mustard and a white we'll see what happens um, and I don't know if these little bottles are going to squeeze it out well so we'll these are what I use for old colleagues usually so I might need to take the lids off yeah I have nothing else to put them in ready mixed <laughs> right so I'm going to layer my cup now you you don't need much um, you don't need much paint at all. So if I just pop that bit in the bottom there, and then I'm going to take, I'll tell you what, I'll take a bit of this, this mustard. So I'm just going to pop that in the middle. <laughs> it's like an egg then. It does, it does. <laughs> and then I'm going to go for the purple. Oh yeah, I love purple and mustard together. Okay, and I put, I'm roughly putting the same amount in each. I'm just pouring the paint straight into the middle, so I'm not. There's all sorts of techniques I think you can develop, like pouring down the side mm. and all that. But I haven't got there yet. I'm just. Um, this is the nice. nice well, we're and easy. we're going to start from the beginning with you anyway. Okay, so then I'm going to put this last one, the blue in. Each okay. aiming all the time for the centre point. Yeah, I'm just aiming for the middle really. I think I'm just going to put a little splash more white in because I think that blue might be quite dominant. So okay. I'm just going to pop a bit more white in. But you can see how little I've got in this cup. So it's a, this is a little sort of disposable sort of shot glass. And you can see I've literally that's up to there. That's it. Okay, so then I'm going to take out my um, shapes. So always have a few handy um, just in case you've got more left. Okay, so... Yeah. Get your shapes prepared and can have I put, some... Can I have a, a piece of card if I do a card crafting yeah, or yeah. something like that a as well? A bit of paper, yeah, whatever. Okay, and I've got them sort of splayed apart. Now, we want to make sure they're nice and flat as well. So, slightly apart, because I'm going to try and do one pour all the way along. Right, so now I'm just very gently going to slowly pour this across. And I'm going to take it across the whole thing because I want to get that consistent line. So very slowly. That's so satisfying, isn't it? And it I'm has the consistency get, of caramel. I'm trying to get the same, same amount of um, paint onto each. We've got these exact blanks on their own coming up for you soon. Okay, so I've got a bit left. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this on the side here. So you're going to pour it out onto the side. Yeah. Oh, 
I can you can do some patterns if you like I mean so I'm going to say what I did learn is that the more I went backwards and forwards the less I liked the pattern I got more muddy so don't effect. mess with it too much yeah don't mess with it too much I like I've I found after doing this a few times yeah. I liked it when I kept it very simple one linear pattern okay okay right so now we're going to um, pick up each piece and we're going to spread the paint around so I'm going to pick up each and you're just going to tip it and tilt it okay and move so sorry I'm going to have to tilt it in all different angles um, and then when I need it to go over the side I can just sort of run my finger I roll my finger across so that it goes down the side so you're grabbing a bit this is why gloves sort of are pulling good it over <laughs> and it's funny because you you start off and you just think oh that one's a bit boring you just wait because it it continually changes now if you need to put a bit of extra paint on you don't think you've got enough you can take that little blob that you poured dip your finger straight in it straight down and then straight down onto your paint okay so, so don't, no need to be precious or any of that don't move it, just dip it straight down. And sometimes you just need a bit of that um, paint wow. on the side to sort of break the seal and allow it to flow. Right, so that one's done. And then we'll pick up each one in turn and you'll see how each one... And they all become so unique, don't they? That yeah. one's got more mustard on it than the blue. Yeah. Doesn't matter if it goes on the side, just move your finger like Gemma just did. Yeah, no, I, I want it to go over the sides because I want that f it to flow over so that it gives you that um, paint over the sides as it well. It looks like a solid piece. Yeah. Hi Gemma, how long can you keep the paint mixture for once it's mixed up? Um, I, well, so long as it's in a sealed container, it should... Should be okay? Should be okay. I, I guess yeah. you can just add a bit of water to it, if not, right? Ooh, I, or not? I don't know. Okay, we'll I, ask Sue. I've got to say, I don't know. Sue! <laughs> um, oh, look at that one! Yeah, so this oh, is... Oh, I love that! <gasps> so this is looking nice. That's this fabulous! Depends how you manipulate it and which angle you take it's like it at. Fire. It looks like um, a moo kite, doesn't oh it? Oh my god, yes! It's fabulous! Okay, so can you see I've got my finger on there and if yeah. I drag my finger across it brings the paint with it. So it's more... Wow. And then if I roll it, it brings that image, that sort of stretches it over the sides. So there we go. So I'm just going to keep, keep doing... Can you see how sticky your fingers get? Don't worry about the back, you'll have to... Um, You'll have to paint the backs after, maybe just a, a plain um, black or something you like that. You could put some backing foundation on it, couldn't you? Could you could put backing foundation, but I, I think just if you just paint it just so it's consistent, because it oh, will yeah, be grubby, true. Mm. it will be grubby, and you can sort of peel off any extras. Right, so that one's there. Oh, amazing. I, I can't, this palette's lovely, actually. I'm it's really gorgeous. pleased with this. I wasn't sure whether it was going to work. But that's the beauty of it, is the, the unknown, isn't it? Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. Right, so I need a bit more paint on this one. So just dabbing that in. Literally dab. Don't try and rub it in or paint it on. Just pick it up with your finger. Dab it on. Right. So... So we want it consistently over everywhere. Right. So I'm going to leave that there, but there is another step. Look how lovely they are. I'm really pleased with those. Now, these are going to change again, so they will continue to evolve as they dry because the paint's still moving, it's still wet, and those silicone bubbles are still underneath. It's very glossy to... I don't know I can... Um, can't give you any shade. Right. So we can okay. kind of see it. I'm just going to get... I'm going to dip the lights a bit. Yeah, maybe if, yeah, maybe if we'll bring it down or to the left a bit. I'm trying not to get paint it. all over the studio. Don't worry about that. That's better. There we are. I want, I'd like you to see, when I do the flame over the top, what happens. Right, just Ben's on it. He's, he's moving himself. Getting rid of some Come of on, my paint. Oh, we've got the blanks, actually. While, um, while Ben's getting that... Oh, actually, I can't disturb Ben. He's right in an in action shot. Have we got a picture of these, Benny, big, small Ben? 
You're, it's like, um, what's, the, what's the little cook, a big cook, little cook? You're like, yeah. Look, here they are for you. There we go. UMX C74, your MDF blanks. That makes the Cleopatra necklace. You get everything that was in the kit, but just... Um, just these on, on the outside. Be as quick as you can uh, because the kit sold out very, very quickly. We've only got 88 and, if, and I know I've got 200, 200 thirsty paint pouring crafters wanting these. So you've got to be quick. You are, you're thirsty for these, I know it. UMX C74. Let's go. Sixty-three chance seven ninety-nine. What do you want to look at, darling? A necklace? The strand, you mean? Yes. Here we go. Look at this. New cuts, new necklace cuts, and they're coming up for you. Mm. It's a brand new necklace layout coming up at two o'clock. I've got Jasper as well. Oh. Yeah. Lovely. We knew that we've kept these for your show because we knew you'd be like ooing and ahhing. Oh, they're coming up at two o'clock. Um, but Gemma Crow, right. please do continue. All right, I've got to show you one more thing because you've got those lovely cabochons in the kit and we've got all this paint that we've poured off. So I'm just going to take this glass cabochon. I'm going to dip it straight down into the paint. Now, it, it's fiddly because your fingers want to get in the way. So holding, if you've got like something you can hold the cabochon from the top with, it's even better. So I've got this nice bit of paint here. So I'm just going to dip my cabochon straight oh. down into it. Oh. Oh. Pull it off. Now yes. you won't see what it looks. Can you see that? Oh, it, Ben can do it. Moving, ben can moving. do it. Yes, I love it. It's like a marble. Oh, so I love it. We just put that flat to dry. You know, back to dry. Yeah. Oh, in fact, this is amazing. This one. <laughs> We're gonna have to take. How long that do I have to leave it to dry for? Um, so they'll dry probably touch dry in about six hours. So and just then... leave them overnight or something. Oh my goodness, this is so nice, this bit that's on the table. <laughs> this is what happens. Let's see. You've let's lost see. me now. I've, I'm gone now. I'm, I'm in that's the, it, we've lost the crow. I'm in the zone. This is like whiskey for Gemma Crow. Yeah. She's gone. Right, so you can then, you can even take your wood shapes. If you've got a little pool of paint um, big enough, you take your wood shapes and dip mm -hmm. those in. Dip them in. So sometimes you can get some nice effects. I think that was a bit thin, that one, because I dipped too many times. Right, so now I've got... Can you see how these are changing already? Mm -hmm. okay, it's so hard to see on that camera because they're no, so I shiny. Can see, that looks amazing. OK, so they're changing all the time. Oh, look, your cells are coming in the, on the one with yeah. the wall beige on it. You can see the right. cells forming. So oh, look at that one with the cells. Whilst we've got it there, if I just take the flame over it... Yeah. I'm going to try. Perfect. Stay, if you stay there, I'm going to move so we can see. Which one are you going for? That one? Yeah. Yeah, with right. the cells. So, oh, no, I'm going to just... Oh, there she goes, there she goes, there she goes. No, that was too shiny. That right. one there with the cells, that looks lush. But I'm going to show you how the <gasps> cells appear. Can you see that appearing oh, in there? Yeah, well, yes, look! Yeah. We've got the torch for you as well. So that's sort of activating those cells, so they change when you just... I mean, don't go too close with your flame and don't let it... Don't let it set too much because you'll just get these dimples and the recesses will be too deep. But you can see how this... So just literally sort of flicker it across. Yeah. Don't, don't concentrate too hard on it, no? Yeah, I mean, this is a light. Can I use a heat gun? You'd be better with the torch that we've got coming up because you can sort of waft it and direct okay. it over. What if I've got a directional heat gun or anything like that? Would that work? I think the heat gun may dry the paint too okay. much. OK, so um, just a flame So I think a flame anything. is better because it's, you know, it's quick. But I've got the heat gun on, I've got, oh, not a heat gun, sorry, but I've got the flame tool on the screen for you. Sorry to have interrupted, but it's there, and all you do is fill it with the butane gas like what you um, fill up a lighter with. Yeah, that's Thanks, it. Thanks, Gem. That's it. So that's, that's your paint pouring. Obviously, you clean up, the quicker you clean up, the more you can reuse your tools. Um, so that's, that's always, always good to... Um, so I don't need to gloss it, I don't need to modge podge it, I'm just good um, to go, I can wear it straight away. Well, no, so, so then the next phase is, I've got some here that I did the other day. Here's some she did earlier. So here's some I did the other day, Ooh, ready yes. for today. Yeah. So these are lovely, lovely colours. So these have dried, what else have yeah. we done to them? Just, so just dried them? Just very quickly, what we want to do is then we come to the back and we just, I take a craft knife and just trim off all that excess paint on the back. Okay, okay so because you get like this, the little ridge of paint where okay. it's dried. 
So come off and take a craft knife and just trim it all off. Then I would paint the back with just a black acrylic or yeah. something that correlates or you know ties in with the color themes because mm -hmm. if it if it twists round then you don't want to see all that on the back, do you? No. Um, so you can do that. So then the ways to finish to finish it for jewelry are you can use an acrylic like spray sealer. Yeah. That's really good uh, and you know you won't get any allergies or anything like that. Most people are fine with a spray sealer mm -hmm. so you can do that or you can use like a doming resin which I, which I know we've yeah. got coming up later over the top to really magnify it now that is going to give you an even more beautiful effect because it's going to magnify all those gorgeous um, pet, you know um, puddles and pools and of colour in the cells, and the cells. Yeah. so doming resin is what I want to do with the rest of these um, to see really where I can take it but that's, that's it really there's you know, it's just a case of tidying, tidying all up, and then putting them together with jump rings or whatever, whatever you want to do. Getting these holes out, so don't worry about the holes. You know, some, the paint will fill and pull into the holes. You can just take your bead reamer, give it a twizzle through, and what you'll find is the paint will sort of pill up around, and then you'll be able to pull it out because it's quite stretchy. The paint, yeah, it it sort of dries like, in fact. Um, the paint that pulled onto um, the dust sheet, the uh, rubble sack that I was using, yeah. um, I could pull it off and I could actually have used it as a sheet to decorate something, so like even your nails. So you could uh -huh. pull the paint really quite thin and then you can pull it and have it as like your nail, um, what do they call nail them? Nail art pieces. Um, yeah, um, what, are they, what are they called? Nail overlays or something you just yeah. put them on and you nail varnish over the top yeah like a gel overlay yeah like an overlay that's it yeah yeah so um yeah you can do that so <laughs> if you put it you, you could dip these in um nails that you then stick on as well yeah, that would be a pretty cool thing to do yeah. wouldn't it yeah you could could do that so yeah loads and loads of options and it's just really really exciting so many opportunities so honestly this is such a great medium please make sure you're checking out baskets for everything pretty much everything that we've given you has sold out and gone uh, we have got these brand new i know i just showed these to you double drilled brand new strands and they are well this one's double drilled they are all ready to make necklaces out of that doesn't mean you can only make necklaces out of them i know you're crafty and you'll do whatever uh, but they're fabulous but at three o'clock look at the mosaics have you got any mosaics out because no, they are no. oh my gosh i've never done mosaics with you before i absolutely love it it's phenomenal that's coming up at three o'clock we've just got so much i'll tell you what i've got now before we go can we do the jump rings let's do that Let's go through the jump rings. Let me have, let me just put that all over there. I'm gonna give you some big jump rings, sterling silver, 18 karat gold, and they are the larger seven millimeter inner diameter. You get 30 of these. Please remember, these are solid sterling silver with an 18 karat gold overlay. They're really difficult to find outside of Jewelry Maker. WOR. F69, 17.99, buys you 30 of these precious metal jump rings, seven millimeter inner diameter. Lots of you there. Don't forget, if you've got any questions for Gemma, just get them through. All you've got to do is send us a text. You can converse with us. That was very posh, wasn't it? Um, on, the, on the app as well, there's a little, a little picture of a message. Just click on that and you send us a message through the studio there if you're shopping from abroad or anything. Now... I'm just borrowing these tweezers from the kit. These ones are teenier. They're the three mils for you. And they're only 9 99 Now you're getting 30 again. So if you're working with your chain mail or anything like that, then these are going to be really beneficial. There's a little Mobius for you. A little Mobius. Um, and they are solid sterling silver with an 18 karat gold overlay. Next up, I'm gonna give you, we're gonna put all the, we're gonna put lots of things on the web for you. So get yourself onto the website for lots of jump rings. I'm just gonna give you some silver, but the rest of them, keep checking our website because we keep putting goodies on there for you that we didn't get a chance to put on the, uh, on screen. Uh, so these are the wee ones for your sterling silver now of course these are the beginnings and the endings of bracelets necklaces and all sorts of things so you don't just need these for chain mail they are utter essentials 8.99 for your open jump rings they're three millimeter inner diameter and you get 
50 of them, that's 25 necklaces, 25 bracelets. These are always the most popular and the quickest to sell out. We're being very competitive with prices there. Next up, scoopy scoop. Let's give you the bigger ones in silver. Bigger silver. Here we go. Here we are. The larger silver ones in a diameter, seven millimeters. These look really nice with the gold ones together, actually. I like that, mm. I like the mixed metals. 17.99 for 50, that's a great price. UK RF38, don't forget these are essentials to your jewelry making. I'm gonna give you the next, the size of the middle, actually. Keep coming through for those. They haven't sold out yet. We had, we've, we've got a brand new amount of stock. They've only just come back in, uh, but that's not to say they won't sell out. They will, but probably, probably in an hour or so. Now, these ones are the most limited that I'm about to give to you. They're that, um, they're that size in between. So they're really easy to use and they're great for necklaces as well as bracelets. And they're also perfect for doing Mobius rings with. So you get 50 of these. They are in a diameter four millimeter. There they are for you. Nine pounds and 99 pence. PSR F31 is your item code. Please be quick, as quick as you possibly can, because these ones will sell out. We, we have a very limited amount of these ones. The other ones we have plenty of, these ones not so much. Maker in Yorkshire, you've got yours. Stephanie, you've got yours. Mary's got two. Jen, you're shopping as well. Michelle's shopping. Hi everyone. Are you all Right. Rachel in Cumbria shopping. Are you okay? Did you love that acrylic pour? Do you love your mixed media? I love it. I love anything like that. I love mm. resin. Mix I love it. I just, I just love it. Yeah, I do. It's just, it's just really exciting. Like mm. you said, you, you feel like an artist, don't you? You, you, you really know. do. Even if you're a rubbish at art at school, yeah. you can still do it. Yeah, my brother, my brother loved it. He had. To he's go. very arty though, isn't yeah. he? Well, yeah, he's well, he's creative. Yeah. He like, you know, he likes things like that. But yeah, so. You know, he 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 actually did this one. Yeah, he did he did that one. Stop, did he? Yeah, and he did. Um, he tried it on a bit oh of my gosh, a bit I of wood that. from the shed. It's so, a bit yeah. Wolverine, isn't it? That looks yeah. peacock feathery. It's beautiful, isn't it? Amazing. Yeah. yeah. I've got a bead scoop. So I have. Wait there a second now. Wait a minute. So here we go. Bead scoops are always great because if you lose your mojo, or they're a great gift as well, or you just want to challenge yourself. I know Gemma likes to challenge herself mm -hmm. a lot. I like an easy life, I do, but <laughs> you like to challenge yourself. I think if you, if some, sometimes things like this, it's just getting it out and just having a play and just enjoying the moment of sorting the beads and thinking about your designs. I think that's half of the process that, that sort of relaxes our minds before we then go on to create. It's about that yeah. creative journey, isn't it? Yeah, these are lovely. And you know, if you're somebody that struggles with random, um, cause you know, it, cause I do, um, even now, you know, I still struggle to be random cause you know, it sort of goes against your idea of design, doesn't it? You, you're designing it. But these are great because they look wonderful. Just mix them up, string them together or rosary link them together and they look absolutely gorgeous. Because, you know, they're all gemstones at the end of the day. They are. And so all they, genuine they gemstones. They all work together, really. But Look at this one. You get some lovely combinations in there. I love seeing the patterns in them. This looks like a unicorn might emerge from the middle of it. I've got some smoky quartz, I've got some citrine, I've got some carnelian, I've got loads and loads and loads of goodies in here. Black agate, rose quartz, blue quartz. Oh, I've got some Botswana agate there as well. There's loads of treats. And all those different shapes as well to, and look to at experiment price. with. Nine ninety nine. You can't argue with that. Yeah, that's and you've got amazonite in here. We've got we've got um, amethyst as well. What's the weight on these? You get loads, don't you? Yeah, yeah well, I get. Oh, there's lo oh, two hundred grams. I've got it. Two hundred grams of loose beads. Cornwall, you've got yours. Greater London takes two. Linda, you've got yours. Sorry, you've got yours. Jennifer, uh, Joanne, I've got maker in Bristol. I've got Angela and Pat. A maker, another maker in Cornwall. Warwickshire, Paula, maker in the city of Bristol. Carol in Leicestershire. Loads of you there. Are you all right? Don't forget our text. Are you all right, everyone? Is everyone else all right? Everyone okay? Yep. Yeah. I'm good. Good. You had your photo shoot and that was looking fabulous. If you yes. follow Gemma on Facebook, she's had lots to going on. 
Yeah. Exciting Lots going week. on. A very I did a Facebook week. Live in my pyjamas again the other night. <laughs> I've still got three more pairs of pyjamas that haven't made their uh, Facebook debut, so I'm going to do oh, one okay. tonight, I think. All right. It's only fair, Gemma. Yeah. On the pyjamas. Yeah. I haven't even got a pair of pyjamas. Gemma, you need to see my pyjamas or it's brilliant. I You'd think. love them because they're all, like, <gasps> silky. A bit Japanese, some of them. Do you not... You don't sleep in anything, do you? No. Yeah. Now, <laughs> we'll leave that one where it is. Now... Which one, sorry? Which where? Where? Oh, I keep looking at this. I love it. You'll love this. We love emerald, Ooh, don't we? Wow, that's yeah, a beautiful Yeah, me and Gemma strand. love emerald. I love this strand, I do. And I love that it's got gold beads on it. Normally we give you silver beads. And I just love emerald with gold, I do. Absolutely. So rich, isn't it? I love this strand. I love emerald. Who doesn't love emerald? Who doesn't grow up? Thinking about the Emerald City and the ruby mm. slippers and thinking how, how glamorous emeralds sound. And yeah. looking, and then you go and you visit the Crown Jewels when you're little and you see, what do you see? You see emeralds, you see sapphires, you see rubies, you see diamonds. And you just think, oh, you know, it's just, it's such a, it's, it's, it's got something about it. something that yeah. you just aspire to own. Yeah, it's like fairy tales, isn't it? It's, yeah. that, it's that same, you know, we grow up with it, don't we? Yeah, we do. We do. We really do. They're beautiful. They're gorgeous. gorgeous. Now, you, and everybody knows an emerald, right? So you've got enough in here in pairs to make a stud earrings. You've got enough to make a great big ring. Now, what I love about these is actually they're, they're pretty much individual round brilliant cut gemstones. But the sneaky trick is we've put some, we put drill holes at the bottom. Now, what you can do there, that's a ring. That there, mm -hmm. that's enough for a ring. You've got your Kool-Aid there. You can, you can pr prong set that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. These are absolutely wonderful. I love them. I love emeralds. May's mm. birth gemstone as well. Don't forget it's... Are yeah. we in May now, aren't yeah, we? we? Are. How did that happen? Good grief. <laughs> 9 dollars 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Pence each. Pence, 90 pence each. That's We've amazing. gone mad. That doesn't make any sense. And they're natural. Just oiled. Well, we all have an oiling, don't we? I go through oil like you wouldn't believe. I've just had to order some more. UMV X15, uh, 9.99 for 35 carats of a precious gemstone that is emerald. Helen, you've got your Sandra and Rachel. Joyce, and, uh, you've got your... In Georgia? Mm. Oh, I'd love to be in Georgia. Maker in Cornwall. Carol in Leicestershire, you've got yours. Lots of you. Lots of you there. I was thinking Georgia on my mind, but you were on the midnight train to Georgia, were you? I was all Ray Charles about it. UMV, X, I love that movie about Ray Charles, do you? Yeah, Have you seen it's that? a great movie. Isn't it a brilliant yeah. movie? 9.99 per 90 pence per emerald. Now, doo, doo, doo. Oh, I'm glad you're saying these because I love these and I think they'll go with our new shapes. <gasps> oh, they're nice. Look, look, did you hear Gemma's reaction? <laughs> Can we just go to Gemma Cam? I'm going to flash them again. Oh, they're nice. They're gorgeous, aren't they? <laughs> Amazing. I, I love the spikes like of them and the moo kite, which we both love. Yeah, which, you know, again, they're going to go beautifully with these kits, if, especially mm -hmm. if you've got those triangular ones, the triangular shapes. Defo. You know, put those in with it, do a colour palette that sort of resembles these. I love them. Oh, they're beautiful. I love that colour. I think these would be make really modern earrings. Just them, yeah. on their own, just being earrings, one in yeah. each ear and they'd look super. But I also think they'd be really cool rings. And I think you could uppy-downy them, yeah. like we've uppy-downy these. This could make the most amazing sort of angular, maybe even 1920s, because they were all about shape and angles. Yeah, You could fan them out like a 1920s fan, or you could keep it ultra, ultra modern. Yeah. These could be spikes on the back of a dinosaur. You could, yeah, you could, you know, and if you tessellated them, you probably get, you probably get six, so you probably get a, um, Pentagon? A pentagon? Six sides? Hexagon. Don't, honestly, hexagon six hexagon. sides, yeah. You'll get a hexagon shape as well. Oh my so, gosh. So, you know, you could, there's all sorts you could do with those. Like, you could do like Native American style pieces as well. Mm -hmm. They'd work yes, really well in that. Yes, because of the colours. Yeah. And the shapes, the arrows, that's all. Arrows, yes. Yeah. And Mayan, they could be arrowheads. Mayan designs. So many. Yeah, I love them. That's why I need them. That's why you need them. Even if you're making like a gemstone clock, these could be your tickers. Why not? These could be the point bits on they your could. clock. We are doing clock finding soon, just so you know, so you might want to get these. 7 99 Unreal. Mookite rounds. Mookite, by the way, is from just outside of Mooka Creek in Australia. 
And it means something to do with water in Aboriginal dialect, doesn't it? Muka, muka, it's muka does. I don't know. It means of water, I think. Mm. I think it means of water. Look at the colours of mukite, red hot. When you think about where they come from, from the outback in Australia, also mm. known as Aboriginal Jasper, you can sort of then sort of change tack on how you might use them. Because when you first see the colours, I think you perhaps go through sort of autumnal vibes. But then when you realise they're from the outback, you're thinking scorching hot, you're thinking gladiator sandals, mm. you're thinking those kinds of sort of burnt siennas and rustic tones, aren't you? Yeah, I love these. These, well, these are a bit of us in the summer, aren't they, Gemma Crow? Yeah, I love this. This is my perfect colour palette. This with leather would be lovely. Yeah, yeah, it would. Tan leather, not black leather. Yeah, and wood and things like that. Exactly, yeah. Like natural fabrics. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Look at the colour, they're just bright and beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Like the him. Eight ninety nine. These would make super cufflinks. LMP, I knew you, you couldn't resist that, could you, Ross? Couldn't resist it. The Lord God made us all, that one. LMP 093. You, you knew when it was that one, you used to get, oh yeah, glow, yeah, glow, yeah. <laughs> They're all singing in my ear now. Ben's singing one that no one else has heard of. I've still got my hymn book from school. Have you? Yeah. I loved hymns. Yeah, me. I used to love stand up, clap hands, shout thank you, Lord, because we used to be able to stand up and clap our hands while we sang it. <laughs> $8.99. We're a, ben, you obviously went to a thoroughly modern school. Yeah, the same, Ross same. and I went to a heavily Catholic school. No, mine was fun like Ben. Which was yeah, fun. We had nice songs. Not in ours. There was none of that messing around. No. We've just had something delivered. Where? Where's it to? Oh, why? Oh, I love the... Oh, Ooh. sugar me timbers. Thank you, darling. And that one. It, it looks like we're building a castle, but we're building... When you've got... You all have the right pieces. Do we have a picture of this built? Because that would be really beneficial. On the web, apparently, we have. So you've got two. These are Debbie Bolford Designs boxes, so little jewellery boxes. Here's the picture of what you to really look. There they are. That's what they're going to make, but much bigger than that, because these obviously are only tiny. It's not to scale. <laughs> BXVL90 MDF jewellery box set. Two of them for £4 each. That's brilliant. And you can decorate them with the paws. Yeah. Yeah, you can. And with the um, mosaics that we've got coming up later, so they're great <gasps> for the both. Yes. Yeah. You could deck a patch them. You could yeah. do all sorts of things. All sorts of things. Now, I've got the wreath for you. I'm going to need someone to pass that because I don't have go-go gadget arms. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for my small, sorry, pointless I'm arms. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now... There's nothing like decorating a wreath, is there? This could this would be great for a wedding. Oh my gosh, this would be an amazing one for just hanging in the garden. If you put, yeah. if you've got Mod Podge, you can put all weather Mod Podge over the top of it afterwards. It will it, it'll it will go in the garden. Yeah, I love really pretty, this. Isn't it? Really pretty. Now this I'm going to guess is some kind of hanging device. You'll get instructions, so you'll you'll know. Did I go like, I keep doing that. My friends keep saying, you're so London now, you lost your accent. Apparently I went device. Yeah. 799, SCVL13. Unfortunately, it sounds like, have I lost my Shire accent? Yeah. Oh no, I don't know who I am anymore. Seven, I have been there nearly nine years though. So that's fair that enough. long? Yeah. Blimey. Now, oh, can we do these blue opals now, can we? Oh, you little fabulous one. It's got to be a star buy. It can't not be. They're lovely. You're going to like these. Oh, you're going to like these, Jemmy Crow. Sorry, sorry, didn't realise. Here we go. I do love these. I love these. Look, I actually like the reverse side of them as well. So there's the reverse. But look. They're beautiful. I mean, I would love them on, the, on a bracelet, you know, just yeah. sort of like a cuff style piece. I think you're right, actually, just like yeah, that. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. 
And then what would you have around here? Well, would it be like macrame or would it be just like a stretchy? Yeah, possibly. A stretchy would be a good idea. Or maybe, maybe a more solid sort of piece of copper, perhaps. And oh, like catch yeah. it on so it's like a quite a solid piece. You could piece. do something like this bracelet here and catch it on something yeah. like that, couldn't you? Yeah. And then have that around. Oh, Gemma. She knows what she's... This is why we pay her the big bucks, everyone. Doesn't it look amazing? <laughs> Doesn't it look... Uh, let's say Sorry. nothing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Gemma. Let's never drink and go live. Now, here we go. So you've got the jade that looks great next to it, doesn't it, the jade? Yeah. It really does. Going Double gorgeous. drilled as well. It makes a difference. Yeah. I mean, the, these would be great, you know individually as well sort of as a center for a collar so just one Oops. with two rows of pearls perhaps come in from that yeah. so you've got one central point oh that would be gorgeous i love them we've never done anything like this before so please be as quick as you can We've got the others coming up after the break for you. SXJ, N74, 35 carats, blue opal. You get one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And they are a bit bougie. They're very bougie. They're very bougie. Just one of these completely natural blue opals. One of these just in the center and then like yeah. two chains coming off it would be lovely, yeah. wouldn't it? It'd be yeah, quite it futuristic. Would. It would. Over five carats of gemstone. So over five carats and opal, and of course this is October's birth gemstone too. It's beautiful. And you've got all these edges. I think I'd bezel wire these. If you've got yeah. any bezel wire, we haven't had any in for ages, have we? No. Where's bezel wire been? It'd be nice to. They'd be nice bezel set because of course you can't so see the drill lovely. holes. So yeah. You know, they'd be lovely, wouldn't they? Yeah. Imagine one of those in a ring. I, I, that's what I'm thinking. It would be yeah. so lovely in a ring. Mm. Do you know what? We have got bezel wire in Argentium, and I know we've got an Argentium show coming up. Is it tomorrow, the Argentium show? Is that who Carol was prepping mm. with? I think that Carol has put a post up of what's coming up on her show tomorrow, and I think it could have been Argentium. Um, yeah, I think it was Roger. Um, mm -hmm. So I think you could bezel around that. Yeah, is it not could. the 8th tomorrow, then, Oh, no, it's, it is the 8th, because it, you've got Roger first, and then you've got me. In the afternoon. Righty ho, yeah, well, righty ho. In the second part of the morning. Let's go. Let's give everyone their price. 35 carats of blue opal, double drilled, smooth, fancy layout. Ooh, fancy layout. We're going to give them to you for less than £2.50 a gemstone. Which, by the way, if you are making one of these into a ring, is really super value. Yeah. 14 99 today, 35 carats, blue opal. One of these in a ring is going to make a big impact. Don't you think it'd make a great brooch as well? Absolutely. I Bezel just, set it into a brooch. Yeah, I mean, the shape is just, it's just gorgeous and so versatile. Mm. I think at that price, I would definitely buy probably a couple yeah. so that I could make a full bracelet, a full stretchy bracelet in those, and that's going to be... That's going to be absolutely gorgeous, isn't Beautiful. it? Beautiful. You can put Beautiful. larger spaces in between so that you get, you know, them spaced out more. They'd be the nice wrist. with wooden beads in between. They would. Mm. There's look just so much you could do yeah. with them. But make sure you check out uh, your basket. So £2.49 a gem. So Kathleen's got two. Noala. No, wait, I've said that name wrong last Nula. time. Nula. Uh, you've got yours. Alison in Bristol, you've got your, you've got two, actually. Wiltshire's got two. Lynn's got three. Uh, Wiltshire's got two. Diane's got four. Annabelle, Christina, Brenda in Surrey's got two. Julie, you've got yours. Wendy and Sandra. Sandra. Oh, Monica. Hello, Monica. What's Monica going to do with hers? Hmm. Mm. Mm. And I've also got Sonika, you've got yours. Julian Bromsgrove's got two. Lynn, loads of you there. $14.99. Still time for you to check out baskets, but you need to be quick. These are flying out. Don't forget, after the break, we have got more new shapes for you. So, ready to make just straight up into a necklace. You don't have to do that, though. It's called a necklace layout collection, but you don't have to do a necklace for them. But it do, it's just the easiest make ever, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Would you argue it or would you? No, I love just... these. I mean, especially if you're doing your craft fairs, they're quick makes. Yeah. They're really going to be cost effective. I've just heard Ross say, so I trust Ross. And so, you know, they're going to be good sellers. Yeah, really good sellers. Mm. 
We've got eight brand new designs like this coming up after the break for you. If you've loved the show, let us know. Send us a text message. You can do so by send, sending JM Studio followed by your message to 78070. I'd better hear from you after this. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Happy birthday to everyone at Jewelry Maker. It has been an amazing 11 years and I look forward to everything that we've got coming up in the future. For everyone at home, I just want to say congratulations to all of you that have been involved with Jewelry Maker for the last 11 years and I can guarantee you the next 11 are going to be just as special. Hi, I'm Roger Taylor from Argentium. Uh, happy birthday to Jewelry Maker. Uh, there was a fantastic show that I'll be on on the 8th of May. Look forward to seeing you and showing you some wonderful things. Now this coming Saturday as part of our fabulous JM Birthday Week, I am going to be joined by the adorable Roger of Argentium. And Roger is very excited because not only does he have kits with Argentium and Jade and Amber, but we've got two great new treats. Now the first one, he's already told us about previously, he is bringing in no less than 126 Argentium jump rings for you, so it's going to be awesome and a brand new micro polisher as well. We've also got the wonderful Gemma Crow from 11am with Millie Putt, so that's going to be exciting, and then Luscious Larimar from midday at 12pm. So join us this coming Saturday, the 8th of May, for our Gentium, Millie Putt and Larimar. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. What a busy week! <laughs> See what I did there? What a busy week it's going to be on Jewelry Maker. It's our birthday celebrations. We've got deals, we've got new product categories, we've got so much going on. And thank you, by the way, for your huge support over the years. We wouldn't be what we are today without you. Loads and loads of things happening. It's going to be the best week ever. So try and join us as often as you can. to celebrate with you. I'm going to be doing my disco dance. Big bead, little bead, cardboard box. Big bead, little bead, cardboard box. I'm going to disco. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Welcome back, you're watching Jewelry Maker. We've got some brand new strands right now for you. So I'm gonna give you a little rundown so that you can see everything before you buy because a lot of you might think, well, I wanna I want see the next one, I wanna see the next one. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you them. I'm gonna show you them all individually so you know exactly what's coming. I'm gonna do it in the right order. So we're gonna start with the sodalite. That one's coming up now, in, now in a minute. Oh, you're not doing it in this order. Okay, I'm just showing you. Right, so we've got a soda light one. You saw the Jasper as well, which is here, just while it's in front of me. There's your fancy Jasper, fancy. Then we've got Unikite. Oh, I love, oh, this goes with my dress. I need this. Love a bit of green. 
This will go with you, LJ. You're in your terracotta and I'm in my green. It's like a fusion. It's like our love child. Look at that. Next up, white howlite. Gemma's so excited for these. Look at the white howlite. They're gorgeous. It does look like marble, doesn't it? Roman marble. All right, darling. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let's go with the carnelian. Oh, these look so Egyptian. I love the striations. They've got carnelian. I'm just showing you them because we don't have stacks and stacks and stacks. So I wanted, if you can only have one, I wanted to, to just show you quickly because I didn't want that the whole thing to happen where rose quartz. Oh, I love this one. Gosh, isn't this a deep color? Is that natural? It's gorgeous. It's totally natural. Look at the color. That's beautiful. Is it from Madagascar? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the most limited. I love it. I can't believe that's totally natural. We're going to have to start with that one, Ross, because that one's going to sell out the first. I'll put that there. I love the snowflake, though. This is really cool. Gemma, you've missed out on the preview here, love. Oh, look, no, look I've at been, that one. I've are you been watching? watching? Oh, okay, I'll let you <laughs> up. There we are. Look at that. I love that. It's a proper snow flurry oh, in that one, isn't it? Gorgeous. Next up. Oh, but Gemma, this is going to be Gemma's favourite. Gemma. Gemma, Gemma, Gemma. This is lush. Look, that's a bit of you, that is. Oh, I love these. I love these. Aren't they great? Yeah, I mean, this is always the style of necklace I try to achieve with combinations of gems mm. and things like that. So to have them ready cut and, and you know, formatted yeah. like this for you, it's just amazing. It's the way to go, isn't it? Yeah. Because you're not having to think, what, well, I need something that fits there like that. The pieces of the puzzle are all there. Right, okay, I see. we've got loads of messages about the rose quartz. I can't believe that this is natural and it's totally natural. I thought, gosh, that color saturation is the, probably the best I've seen in any rose quartz. And yet, and Ross had to check it was natural because he agreed with me and went, let me just check that. Oh my gosh, is it from Madagascar, is it? It's Brazilian. Oh, la, la. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, it's, it's glowing gorgeous. I kind of wish I could take that knot off so that I can put them all straight for you, but I, I guess you can sort of imagine it, can't you? Look at them. I love, and rose quartz is just the one for the summer, isn't it? You could wear this as a necklace to a wedding. I can't wait for weddings. Can someone get married just so that I can go, please? I've got a wedding this year. I'm, you're so lucky. It's your nephew, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wish I was going to a wedding. You ready? Let's shop, but please be quick. So you've got two, four, six, seven pieces. And these are totally natural. Look at the colour. This is to I, this is where, as a crystal healer, knowing that you've got depth of colour like that, you've just and it's natural. You've got yeah. to have it. It's, it's and I know incredible. it's not a crystal healing necklace in particular, but I just love the fact it's yeah. natural. Yeah, it's it's absolutely outstanding. The colour's incredible. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's shop. 200 carats. BXP 060 is your item code. We're gonna to go to a super price for you. Now, Gemma, if you were to put this into one big necklace, yeah. tell me what you would do. Would it be cord, would it be chain? And how much of you are gonna sell it on would you sell it for? I think I would continue with beads. So I think I would either add it with seed beads even or smaller rose quartz so that yeah. it, the whole thing was um, beaded. Um, a nice toggle clasp, because um, you want a nice, because it's heavy, it's yeah. you know, on a nice strong clasp. Um, and I think I would probably go for sales around, if I was at a craft fair, maybe around the 45, 50 pounds. Crikey, mark. okay. Yeah. Maybe more, actually. Here she goes. You could sell that at Gloucester Docks, couldn't you? Yeah. Their markets are amazing. Yeah. 14.99. <laughs> profit maker then, isn't it? It's a profit, and, it's, and the thing is, Gemma, you don't need to pay yourself excessive amounts for your time because it's literally a five minute make. Yeah, that's it, and that's, it's the things that sort of compensate for the time and effort that you put into other things. Yeah. So, you know, if you really love your wire work or your seed beading, which can take a long time, mm. you're not always gonna get your money back for those things, but you'll definitely get your sort of average at your hourly rate by using things like this to bolster other um, products that you sell. 
I fully agree with you. Jill's just messaging saying, wow, these new shapes are fab. I love the picture, Jasper, and the rose quartz and the snowflake obsidian, so I'm guessing all of them. <laughs> I know, Jill, I, you've got to do what you've got to do. $14.99, BXP 060, except we can do a little bit better than that last, can't we? We can. We were never finishing there. Really? No, we weren't. Michelle, Kim, Maker in Devon, Northumberland, Wendy, Warwickshire, Maker in London Town, two for you. Nicolette, you're going to love this. Everybody pays the same low price no matter what time you checked out. Anne in Bedfordshire. At this time. <laughs> Anne. Uh, Maker in London, Julian Ayrshire, Hazel in Kent, Elizabeth in Norfolk, Gemma in Somerset, 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 Wendy in Jersey, New Jersey. The nicest rose quartz we've seen, totally and utterly natural, under £10. This is your birthday treat. This is like your little birthday bag. So I've just opened them up. Oh, Gemma. I quite like the idea of having just silver with them. Yeah, I mean, you could do. I think really to balance to balance the proportions, you'd need quite a chunky chain. Though. Oh, definitely, yeah. So, you know, you'd either have to go for a nice chunky cord or yeah. even, um, even some sort of sari silk or something a bit Ooh, more yeah. bohemian would look nice. Sari silk would be lovely. you need to sort of balance it. That would, wouldn't look right just on a fine chain. No, no, not, no. nothing fine. It's chunky, chunky. Yeah. Jill, ooh, naughty but nice. Woohoo! Hey, there's worse things we could get. Isn't there? Like wine. Or we can get something that isn't so bad for us. Use rose gold or copper beads with it. That will make the... Yes, rose gold will be perfect. Yeah. Definitely. I was thinking like, um, you know, we do the big, bigger, the biggest sort of bead, the, the, how do I, what are they called? Just silver beads. They're yeah. like space of beads, but beads, big. But bigger. That's like what I kind of wanted to do with them. Now, yeah. Do you think that'll be chunky enough or not? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I definitely think if you're going sort of, even four mil would be okay. I'm just thinking like a fine chain just probably wouldn't, wouldn't do it, but. Yeah. 9.99, you can't argue with that. 200 carats of rose quartz, fancy. Fancy shapes, fancy layout. Uh, Benoiti, you've got yours. Jenny, you've got yours. Good name, Jen. Christine's got two. Denise of Lancashire. Janice, Michelle of Surrey's got two. Joan and Sarah, we've got less than 20 available now. Teresa in Devon, I've got lots of you there. Candice has got two. Julie, you've got yours. London Town, loads of shoppers for this gorgeous necklace. Now let's go with the sewed lights. <laughs> so you, no, it was my fault. I was like, no, I put it somewhere. It was right in front of me. <laughs> Silly old Billy. Now, here we go. See, this is lovely. This is your denims, isn't it? This is your white T-shirt and your, and your jeans in the summer. Definitely. We're there. Yeah. Little denim pair of sliders. Yeah, okay. I love denim, with a bow on them, a little denim bow. Oh, right. Not got any sliders? No. Gemma, you don't know you're born without the comfiest <laughs> shoes in the world. Do you not like them? They're not, not too keen. I do have a holographic pair that my friend bought me, but I think it was a joke. <laughs> Gemma, you need to wear... I'm going to put you in my ones. They're so nice. Because they do look cute, but they're also exceptionally comfy. Look at these. SZP051. So like completely and utterly, uh, utterly natural in that denim blue. Gemma's right. Little dem denim skirt, perhaps yeah. pair of flip flops and we're away to go. S Z cider in your hand in a plastic cup. We're, out we're outside. It's got to be in a plastic cup though. Yeah. Because we're like having a dance outside. We're outside in the beer garden. All yeah. right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I've booked tickets for Wickham Festival, Yay! Soda Festival. So yeah, I'm going to That's it. That like there. this. Silver hoop earrings. This on. Vest top. Denim skirt, flip-flops, but this is like the whole thing of your yeah. outfit. And then, of course, your cider in a plastic cup. Obviously. Obviously. Only one cider for me, though, Gemma. Don't let me have more than one, because it'll end badly. 9.99 SZP051. Are we there, girls? Are you coming with us? Uh, the yeah. sewed light looks great with the red bamboo, coral, and silver beads. Made a necklace with them. It's really stunning. Thank you, Joyce. Yes. Mm. Do you know what? Sewed light and red looks great together. Yeah. Fabulous. Really We're good. at the beer garden, aren't we, in these? Yeah, definitely. Oh, I love a little dance outside. Do you? Yeah. Band playing, Can't good wait. vibes. Oh, it's all about the denim skirts, girls. 9 99 for these. Have you got your denim skirt for your festival? 
No. What are you going to wear? I don't wear skirts, do I? <laughs> I don't, just realised I've never seen you in a skirt. No. Why not? I'll have some jeggings. That's about as close to... Dungarees you'd look cute in. i got some dungarees. Yeah, you look well cute in dungarees. <laughs> There you go, nine ninety nine. I don't know why you won't wear a skirt. Let me look at you. You've got tiny little legs. Mm. Get, get them pins out. I've never <laughs> seen your legs. I've known you all these years and I've never seen what your legs look like. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you think you know everything about a person. <laughs> no, you won't see my legs out. How funny. I'm not like I did. I mean, I'll tell you time. a secret. I talked to Gemma Crow with the toilet door open. And I'm like, Gemma, me, me, me. She's like, we're not in a club, Jenny. I'm like, if I do it with everyone, I'm just like, don't care. <laughs> You've seen too much of me, if anything, Gem Crow. I think I have. <laughs> Here we go. I love these. Oh, what a colour. Lovely. And look at this. That, I just love them. They're, they're so like good, mossy, they? aren't they? Yeah. They're you know really... when you go to the Forest of Dean, you see like the waterfalls and that? Mm. That's and what the they remind ore. me of. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's, that's gorgeous. That's a really nice, bright, sort of vivacious red in there, isn't it? Mm. You don't usually see it. But it's so earthy at the subtle. same time. Yeah, it's lovely. I love it. I love Unikai yeah. I do. Totally mm. natural. MUP034 is your item code. And the drill holes on these are really decent. Let me, I haven't yeah. even mentioned that. Look at these. So you've got yeah. a well, a really, a very decent drill hole. You could easily get a one millimetre wire through there and more. Yeah. I mean, you could put these on memory wire if you wanted to. Absolutely. That's yeah. a great way to do it, actually. Yeah. Because then it'd be really comfortable. It's almost one size fits all, you know. Can, um, but they, remember, they'd be weighty, so you probably will need to clasp your memory would, wire. Would I need to put two lots of memory wire around? Oh, no, because I wouldn't get it on then, would I? Oh, you might. You might. Um, oh, yeah, because I could just spiral it into each other and then put a clasp on or a little yeah. tie back on it or something. Yeah, you would need to clasp it because it would be too weighty to hold. could put a tie, hold. like a cord. Yeah, or a sliding or something to stop yeah, it fully yeah. opening. Yeah, yeah. But I'm thinking, I'm, I'm looking at these now and I'm thinking... They, they look beautiful as a massive, you know, massive bib star necklace. But mm. individually, they're lovely as well. And then those two outside ones, you could put These together ones. and have something different in between yeah. them. Yeah, because look, so, actually, they make a good shape, don't they? Yeah, put them together. They just sort of They frame. make cool earrings. Yeah, 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 they would. They're a really quirky shape, aren't but they? Now you've got five pendants and a sort of necklace centre as well. You certainly have. Now, uh, uh, Alison bought four of those. Sorry, I wasn't, I didn't mm. see my name, so I didn't, um, right, next. But you got a few left to go. Let's do the Howlite. This is just a great all-rounder, because Howlite mm. goes with everything that's in your wardrobe, doesn't it? It does. It's How many it's... times do we not know what we're wearing till the right the last minute? Yeah, Easier to time. wear around your, what you're going to accessorise with sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> More often than not. My wardrobe looks like I've had a couple of burglaries at the moment. It literally does. I keep finding the cat nesting in there. Oh, I'm like, no. get out! I know I've got to pick those clothes up off the floor. <laughs> She's loving it. This White highlight. This is yours, yeah? Yeah, I love this one. I, cause I, I wear a lot of grey and a lot of, you know, so mm. it works oh, yeah, really do. well. Yeah. yeah. I love the colour grey. It's a, it's a real soft colour, isn't it? It is. It's like the perfect neutral. Mm. I was having this conversation with Laura Binding on Friday. It's like the, she wears a lot of grey. Was Laura Binding there on Friday? Yeah, yeah. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, Laura was one of my top models. She oh, Laura wonderful. Binding. She's so photogenic. She had some wonderful pictures then. But yeah, we were saying about grey being the ultimate sort of uh, neutral for, your, you know, for all your colour palettes. So this is lovely. Isn't it lovely? Mm. YVP 075, you know the price. Let's go shopping. 143 carats of white howlite. Seven pieces again. 7.99. Wow. 7.99. Got a bit cheekier there. I can't see me dubris. Let me see me dubris. Ross just said, look at everyone's names. I can't. There you are. Janice, Patricia, Pamela, uh, Elizabeth, maker in Northumberland, Pam, Lisa, maker in Cheshire, uh, Bristol, Anne-Marie. Alison's got three of these. Monica in Buckinghamshire. Ros in County Cork. Elizabeth in Norfolk. Or Ruby in Gwynedd. Uh, Greater London, you've got yours. County Cork, then, yes. That's where my family come from. Cloyne, mine come I say it every time I see Ros. I say, where are you from? I'm from Cloyne. She never tells me. 
799. YVP 075 is your item go. She's probably like, mind your own business, missus. Jane in Lymington. Where's Lymington? That sounds like a nice place. Carol in Wrexham. Nicolette, they're all looking. They're all intrigued as to where Lymington is now. I think we could really... I've never been to the Lake District. I really want to go. Oh, that's beautiful. Is it too tranquil for me? But my dogs would like it. Yeah, there's no light life. <laughs> no, I don't want light life. I just want to walk my dogs, you know. Oh, yeah. You love... It's beautiful. But I'm in the countryside a lot, like, so I'd kind of like a beach. Mm. You could, well, there's some beaches on the side of... OK, I'll go. I want to go anyway. Of some of the lakes. But I just don't know if the Lake District can... Is, I, I feel like they're like, it's... No, Jenny, you can't come in. <laughs> Too loud, we're here Lovely. for peace. 799 YVP 075. But you can't take your dogs to Marbs, can you? It's too hot. It's too hot for one. Then you'll have to come to my house and, and dog sit. I don't think the Lake District is quite the replacement for Marbs. No, I don't have to go think... down to Brighton or something. Oh, but I don't live far from Brighton. I can get the train there. It takes half an there hour. You go, then. Told you about that. You stay at my house for a week and go I'm there and in. everywhere. As soon as we're allowed, I'm in and you won't stop me. <laughs> Listen, there's a room for you, always. Now, we're going to give you... Brand, we're going to go to a brand new low on these. And they're coming up for you. You love these. I love these. These, these are in um, my feature necklace in my. Um, oh, can I see it? You need in to my, inspire me then, because I've got. So I'm going to be honest with you. I've got no idea how to I use these. I haven't got a picture of it because the pictures are still with the photographer. But it was. I did it here in the studio, and I used these and some other opals, a mixture of different sizes and shapes. But these. And I had How layers did you and hold layers on of to chains. them, though? They're drilled. I'm pretty sure they? they've got a drill hole. Well, I never knew that. Very tiny, and it'd be at the top somewhere. Is it, are these the ones that are drilled? They probably are. But I, oh, yes. Yes, yeah. they are. Yeah. So they do have a little drill hole in them. So you can... And they look great, just, like... D different layers, of, layers and layers of chain and... Um, some of these have and some of them I don't think have. But maybe they all have and I just can't see them. Yeah, they, they were very discreet, the drill holes. So I didn't know they were drilled at first. I, first I prong set one in a ring and then I noticed the drill hole and thought... Ooh, ah, I bet nice. you they all are then. Yeah. So they're going to be a brand new low at three o'clock. Now, let's continue on. Carnelian is next very egyptian i think i'd have to put this with turquoise what are you saying yeah. J gc absolutely turquoise lapis something like that i need to see these i might i might have you might have to let me out so i can get some Gemma needs <laughs> Gemma needs to leave right now so she can Hello. buy some of these is that okay ross could we dismiss the crow oh they're gorgeous Look aren't those. they gorgeous Look at that lovely, lovely colour. And I love, look how you've got these bands here. You've got lots of different bands of colour. LUP 016, Carnelian from China. Natural again. 7 99 just over a pound each. You can't argue with it, can you? Uh, a oh, massage gosh. just in. JM Studio, Jenny, Lymington, produced Lymington. Oh, it's between the South Coast and the New Forest. I could go, I could go there then. Yeah. You could go anywhere you like. I could, couldn't I? Yeah, wait, hang on a minute. I can go wherever I like. Cornwall, like, my brother has a house there and my best friend, so that's easy. Yeah. It takes so long to get to for my house. Mm, I love it. I know, it does take a long time to get down, but it's worth it once you're there. I love Cornwall. LUP 06, I love Scotland too. I love it all. And me. There's so many places, isn't there? To visit? Yeah. I Thanks could live more. in Scotland, I could, right up in the Highlands. I could live in Ireland, though. I'll, I'll probably retire there or Simon Sester, I can't decide. <laughs> LUP 016 799. <laughs> I love Siren. Uh, I love Siren. You yeah. can't go wrong with Siren. And Hayley Brigg there, so what could be yeah. better? Well, and there's some cocktail bars, but it's also in the middle of the countryside and not too far from Cheltenham. Perfect. Where should I retire? Or I'm thinking maybe I go to County Clare and retire there. I mean, I'm only, I'm not retiring any time ever, actually, if I look at my bank balance, never. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. 
can't retire till I'm 48 <laughs> or something like that. 48? Not 48, 68. Yeah, What's that about? Say, 68? 68 would be great. 68? Oh, so yeah. So you might have to excuse me now because I might just have to. Okay, off you way. go, quickly, quickly. Okay. Gemma Crow's just leaving to um, go to the. go and tie up her shoelace, of course. Now, they're called Snowflake Obsidian because after a volcanic erush, eruption, hot lava pours down, that glass-like black lava pours down, but the ash starts to snowflake down. Little petals of ash settle, soft as a snowflake, on top of the hot lava. And that is what creates this amazing effect. Isn't that mind-blowing? I love it. Everyone, therefore, just like a snowflake, is different. Everyone is entirely different to the next, and I love it. Oh, look. <laughs> Gemma in Gloucestershire's just bought two. Marion, <laughs> you can hear her giggling out there. Marion, Cheshire, you've got yours. Christina, Anne-Marie, Lisa. I'm going to ask Gemma to come back in as soon as she's checked out. You've checked out now, Gemma. Ruby and Gwynedd, Marion. So, Gemma, pro. Oh, she's out there still checking out a basket, isn't she? I just added a few more. You added more? <laughs> You've got two, it says here. How no, many I, added, got? I added the highlight and the... Oh, you added uh, the highlight as all, well? Well, all of them, actually. All of them. Okay, yeah. so these. I was going to ask you why this one. These should have been made at the start at 9 99 You've got an extra saving. So why is this one in particular? Or is it just that actually it doesn't matter what color, what, which gems is, I want all of them? I, I do. I love them all, but I really didn't want to mess out on this one. One, because Snowflake Obsidian is so hard to come by, um, especially in sizes like this. So I really wanted these. You're right. They're always in rounds. Small yeah. rounds at that. Yeah, and I just love them. And again, it's that beautiful neutral, isn't it? Yeah. That, you know, so those and the white highlight. In fact, I could sort Unisex. of mix them up. You could yes. sort of, you know, space them out and do different things. But, yeah, they're lovely. And I think I, w I bought two so that I can have one, like I said, as a full layout. Mm. And then the other one I can split into five pendants and then have those two end pieces to frame a central cabochon or something. Oh, So I'm excited Gemma. to use those. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. Listen, if it's good enough for Lady Crow Crow, it's good enough for us, right? $7.99. YSP010 is your item code for that one. Next up, but I, you wouldn't have been able to get the Jasper yet, so you're no. going to have to leave again. The opals are coming up at 3 o'clock. Here they are. They're a bit gorgeous. They're a bit... Yes, you can see the drill holes, Gemma. You are right. They are all drill holed. I can see them. Yeah. Manager special, brand new, lowest ever price, uh, three o'clock on the dotage. Now, Gemma, you might want to leave again because I think you're going to want to get this too. Picture Jasper. I think, I see, Love I saw this. this and thought of you first. Yeah. Oh. Have a look. Already for lying out. Let me arrange them properly for you. Do, 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 do. Look at the look at the patterns of them. They always remind me of like an owl's chest. Seven ninety nine NSP 017, 185 carats of picture jasper. Fancy picture jasper. Don't forget we got mosaics coming up as well. Gemma's got a wonderful demonstration to show us. Seven ninety nine. Oh, the mosaic jewelry is out and looking fabulous. Let's have a peruse vu. Can we have a little peruse vu, please? Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's like oh, gotta see it move, sticks right? of rock, but for jewellery makers. That one. When they move, they're so glittery. How do I make it move? Just give, oh, it, a, whoops. give it a wiggle. <gasps> um, Am it, I on the moon? It's no. so glittery. Is it that one? It's oh, no, the, you're on that one, yeah. Fury. Uh, flowers in, the ones that you want to see moving. What, these ones that I've got yeah, here? Yeah, so the one that Look. you've... Okay. When you move it, is that what you've got? Yeah, and you can see them glitter, glitter, glistening. Oh my gosh, yes, they're, um, they've got depth to them. I see what you yeah. mean. Oh, they're coming up for you very soon. I love that. Now, the fancy Jasper. Oh, nice. Don't worry about GC, she secured hers. I've secured mine. I love a bit of Jasper. 
I just love green so much. It's my favourite colour ever. Just so, I'm just so country. Yeah. Just love the grass. You do. <laughs> We needed that rain. BRB 049, 185 carats of fancy jasper. Uh, these are 16 to 42 millimetres. And you've got them in the necklace layout for £7.99. And, and you are away and shopping. Last few shapes, Janice, you've got your Samantha, Tracy and Ruby in Gwynedd, Alison and Nicolette, Maker in London, Maker in Nottinghamshire, Nikki, Maker in Cheshire. I've got Jane in L Limington, was it? Is that how I... Limington, not Limington. Lim, not Lime. Claudette, Shandy, Janice, you're shopping for these two. BRP 049. You've made, you've made Ben want a Shandy now, Shandy. Oh, yeah. I've never had a Shandy. I've had a taste of one, but I've never had a whole one. $7.99. It's like ginger beer. How come... We don't really like ginger beer in this country, but you go to America, they're all over that. I love ginger beer. I've, I'm always having ginger beer. Are you? Yeah, it's the only, it's the only pop I have. What do you have it with? Gin. I like rhubarb <laughs> and ginger. My well, gin, obviously. Yeah, so you're not just cracking open like a can of Coke. Oh, like no, but I will. I will just... That's the only one I'll really just drink on its own. Just with some ice, it's lovely. Is it? Yeah. I'm, it's a bit stingy, isn't it? No? Ginger, well, there's ginger ale and ginger beer. They're slightly different. What's the difference? So, One's alcoholic. No, I don't know. You can get ginger. You can get alcoholic. But I like rhubarb. Rhubarb and ginger. I'm all over that. I'm, all, I'm about that. Have a look at my opals. They're coming up for you. Bang on three o'clock. Now, let's give you some unusual shapes. Let's give you some more unusual shapes. Oh yes, I love this strand. Um, yes, I've seen this strand before. Yeah, I launched these and I love them. I think you haven't seen these yet, Gemma. They've got the bougie tassels on them. They're really tribal. But look, the spaces are Jasper, but look, they've got those bougie tassels on them. Oh, they're lovely. Aren't they great? I'd just put that straight into a necklace, no mess in. Love it. Yeah. And, and the way it sits, look how thick this cabochon is. So that's essentially what they are, isn't it? And then you've got those lovely, keep these tassels because they're, the, they're just, they're like the expensive looking tassels. Yeah, but I just have those as earrings, those tassels. Yeah, and because they match. match the strand so well, don't yeah. they? And you could actually take the rounds on either end and have them as the earrings. With the, look, if you, yeah. if you took this, took that round, and this, then that could be an earring in itself. There we are. NOP051 is your item code. Let's give you your price. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine big cabochons that with drill hole. Um, and we're going to give them, though, but then you've got the little, this is a two in one strand though, isn't it? $7.99 is your price. NOP051, 150 carats. Be quick. The rounds are four millimetres for those that are asking. I, I see you asking there. Uh, thank you to everyone that has got theirs. But we are now limited stock. Shayla, Sasha, Ruby and Gwynedd, Maker in North Yorkshire, Nicolette, Marion. Oh, I've got two Marions. Alison, you've got yours. Susan, a uh, couple of makers on the phone. Marlene in Inverclyde, three for you. Christine in Hans, Gemma in Somerset, uh, Cloudy in Kent, Susan in Monmouthshire, Gwyneth in Nottinghamshire, you've got yours. Janice, Louisa in Aberdeenshire is also shopping. So it's Frida, love the name Frida. Uh, on the phone, so there's more of you there. John and Susan are shopping too. Jill says, I love this picture, Jasper Strand. It's gorgeous. And you get the rounds too. Thank you, Jill. I love it when you text in. I love it when everyone gets a bit texty. I love a text. NOP 051, loads in baskets. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, isn't 18 beautiful? Oh, Gemma. I knew you'd love these. You've got no microphone on at the moment, but look at the quality of those. Oh, nice. They're lush. They're brand new. They're lush. This is the nicest lemon quartz I have ever seen in my life, bar none. It's lush. Yeah, bar none. I know it's strong, but look, look, look at this colour. Look at this colour. Doris Day yellow. This is app. Isn't it amazing? I love it. I love this strand. Do you know what? I think I'd want some in a ring, but, but earrings. They look amazing in chandelier earrings, loads of them. I love the colour. You know I love my yellows. You see my yellow flowers all over my house. I love yellow. Such a happy, 
wonderful color. It's uplifting, it's revitalizing. I love yellow. It's just, I think it lifts your spirits, that, that color. That's what I think anyway. Isn't that just gorgeous? Brazilian lemon quartz, 75 carats, fasted tumbles, the eight by five to 17 by nine on a 20 centimeter strand. I love the individuality of every single piece. They're all different shapes and sizes, all of them. So we're not mirroring anything here. 14.99, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine gemstones on there. Genuine lemon quartz. Happy, sunny, uplifting. What would you do with these? They just, they look so rich, don't they? Yeah. I think I would put them with gold, lots of layers of chain, probably have them sort of interspersed on a long, on a long line piece. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so it looked like quite classy, maybe an open jacket, white oh. cami and that. Pair of jeans. Oh, I like that. Nice heels. I like heels. that idea. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. That's rich, Glass of wine. It? Yeah, it's classy, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. That lemon quartz is stunning. That's from Margot in Fife. I love Gemma's work. Thank you, Margot in Fife. Oh, thanks, Margot. $14.99. A little bit of heat. A little bit of heat, that's all. Yeah, they are quite fiery, aren't they? They're lovely. They're incredible. Clarity is they brilliant. Look, it looks like... I'm going to say Swarovski crystal because it looks so clear and clean, clean. and yeah. like you said, Agreed. the fire in it, because you can get a better sense of the fire from a distance, I think, with gems like this, can't you? Yes, look. So from look it, at that on yeah. a ring. Yeah, they're amazing. Look, for even from there, can you see the fire? So These are lovely. I love them. I love them. Absolutely gorgeous. Look, look at the colour. Love them. Love, 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 love. Which one next, darling? Oh, we're going back over here. Oh, now. Well, now. You know I love these because they're pendulums. We can ask them yes or no. Yes, they we have pendulums. These are smaller, but we missed out on them. And, oh, do you know what? I'd, I'd make a light fairy. I've done this one before, haven't I? I want to do a light fairy mobile with these. Oh, yeah. Because Cute. they're ideal for that. You get four big pieces, and I think they are big for the price you're going to... No, I've got more than four there. I've got five. I've got five. They're beautiful, aren't they? They have to go in a, in a house mobile, don't they? Yeah. We're just, just hanging sort of just at different lengths on a window. Or a real long chain coming down to about here with the mm -hmm. pendulum piece on it. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, I love Gorgeous. these. Earrings, they look phenomenal. Yeah, I yeah, mean, if you're going statements. to a ball, yeah. hair up in a chignon. Yeah. You're, you're, at the, uh, you're, at the, you're at the opera. Okay. Just these, one in each ear. Yeah. You look like Princess Diana in the, when she danced with John Travolta. That's how you're going, okay? And we're there. <laughs> we're there. Did she dance with John Travolta? Yes, hello. Did she? In that black dress. I, I didn't think it was John Travolta. Who was it? Am I getting the person wrong? Can Wait, there. Someone that? look it up. I did think it was... <laughs> Wait, I'm looking it up. It was John Travolta, I swear. Was it? Yeah. Yes, I was right. It's that picture. Oh, it's a different, different... You've never seen that? No, it's a different one. Oh, I, I loved thought. her in that. She just looked gorgeous. She had a broken heart. She just danced like she didn't. Karen, Wendy, Julie's got two. Ruby's got two. Kirsten, Brenda's got four. Yvonne's got three. Gemma in Somerset. Anne-Marie, Rita. Oh, girls, we love these, don't we? Aren't they lovely? Twelve ninety nine. I don't know why now I was just thinking about Princess Diana then. They just made me think of that image of her in the, when she was dancing. When she was dancing, 12.99. There we are. There we are. Now, what next? Whatever next, whatever next. These for brooches. I bet you've used these before, GC. Yeah. Have you used these before? Yeah. Talk to me, baby. I've, I've used them in with um, soutache. Ah! Because they really, that, they really add such completely different texture. Um, but they, they're just so interesting. 
And also, um, I've made rings with these as well, and centres for sort of firework style um, wire work. Oh. Yeah, there's so many ways you can use these. They're just so interesting. They're great for just adding a little bit of juxtaposition into a piece. So if you've got like a nice strand of pearls, just pop one of those off centre mm -hmm. and it just completely changes. Modifies the, it. Yeah, completely changes the design. Again, in a mobile in the home, yeah. a light mobile. A light mobile, basically, you put it in the window and it, you know, when it's a sunny day, all these little light fairies will dance around yeah. around the room. Better if you've got like a plain colour wall and not yeah. patterned wallpaper. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember doing it, keeping my little niece occupied on the aeroplane. I had a ring on um, and on the aeroplane she was really, you know, frightened. And I just remember moving my hand around and all the little light fairies. Blinding the man next the, to you. <laughs> on the ceiling of the aeroplane and she was just watching them until she calmed Aww. down. So it's the same thing. Yeah. Bless her. There's eight on here, I think. Let me do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Don't know where I got eight from. Oh, because it's eight ninety-nine. Uh, Maker in Kent, Isabel, you've got yours. Rita, eighty-one pence a stone. Ruby, Jacques, Sarah, Dorothy in Bedfordshire. At this time. Julie, Brenda. I think people are going to start changing their location. Because I'm like, I can't bear it when Jenny says that. <laughs> just make up that you're from somewhere else. BZR, you don't. Or just everybody say you're in Bedfordshire all the time, then I'll have to stop. Or just, I don't know. <laughs> just deal with it. Uh, Wendy in New Jersey. <laughs> Sandra in West Yorkshire. You don't have to deal with it. You can tell me to shush now. Now. Okay. Carnelian. Oh, that's That with um, blue appetite. Yeah. That's beautiful, isn't it's it? It's a real strong carnelian, is this? Look at the colour. I've put this with green onyx before and it looks amazing oh, as well. Yeah. It's very poison ivy, that sort of look. Oh, it's poison ivy? I used to get called the poison dwarf at school, that was my nickname. <laughs> <laughs> because I, there was a guy called Nick Ginty and he, everyone used to bully him because he was so tall, so I used to be like, don't you touch him. <laughs> they go, oh, look here, here he comes, the giant and his poison dwarf. Because <laughs> I used to get at people if they were horrible to him. <laughs> EBR, you think we're still friends now? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, when gorgeous. you grow up. What was your nickname, Gemma? Uh, I, didn't, I didn't really have one. So, like, da at dance, I was psych, you know, that was my name. <laughs> Even had a t-shirt with it on. Oh, yeah. Gemma Psych Crow, I love it. <laughs> EBR U32, 12.99. When you're a kid and you're just like, yeah, should we go Psych's house? Yeah, come on then. 12.99, why do you do that when you're a kid? I don't, I don't know. know. I so didn't do it. It was like, no, I was Psych and my sister was Vibes. <laughs> so we feel sometimes like each other like that. Like and Vibes. Yeah, Psych and Vibes. <laughs> Again, I can see you now with the tongues hanging out your shoes and your backwards cat. Oh. Psych and vibes. Really oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually only recently. Have you ever spoken about it since? Well, yeah, because we were in a dance troupe about five years ago as well, so it was like the reunion. <laughs> Actually brilliant. Oh. <coughs> That's such a nightiest <laughs> thing, isn't it? Now, oh god, I got French stomach now. It's open o'clock. We've got to stop. Hang on, I've got to psych myself up for it. <laughs> Here we go. Now, I'm getting some really strong vibes from these. 
they are they are absolutely stunning so Gemma you've used these T talk yeah. to me about how you use them why you chose them and these are these are one of the feature pieces that you've just created from yeah so I mean I think just look at that recording you can see why I chose them they're absolutely beautiful and not only have they got that amazing internal um structure you know the, the colors and things like that they've also got the gorgeous texture on the outside so they're so so smooth but they're all really organic shapes you'd never find this anywhere else would no, you No, and nobody else is ever going to have anything even similar because everyone's so different so yeah. when you put them because they're random size and shapes when you put them randomly in a piece they just sort of work it's sort of the two random sort of just complement each other so i just use this randomly on lengths of chain around a and built up a bib style necklace with lengths of chain and different types of opal on the ends and these these are still the show in in the opal in the piece because they are so unusual the fire is unreal in these opal they're completely natural unfortunately we haven't got a picture of that piece of Gemma's it's on my JM guest designer page because is it? because I took loads of photos of it and a video because it was just so gorgeous the colors and Go on Gemma's good JM guest designer page and have a look. I've got it for you here. You've got to be quick though. We're going to give you a brand new lowest ever price. We're going to a price you have never seen before. We've got the mosaic coming up as well. We've got so much. So, and don't forget you pay one PMP. If you've already got a basket open, put this one in. No extra PMP to think about. All you've got to do is tick the box that says combine order. $129.99. Nah, that's not your price. Do you know, though, let's be honest, if you saw this set into a silver, a silver chain, mm. just suspended on a silver chain, through the drill hole, jewellers, £80 a piece. £80 Easily. any day in silver. I've got one, Easily. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in mine. You, you'll get guaranteed carat weight. Mm. This is going to be a mad profit maker. It's stunning. Ooh. We've got the picture of Gemma's jewellery. We think. We're going to give you a brand new lowest ever price. Price that's never, ever been anywhere near. We're not just touching the edge of the last price. We're not just taking out a measly penny. No, we're not. That just wouldn't be the Psych and Vibes way of doing it. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's it. Oh, Gemma, it's gorgeous! <gasps> oh, Gemma, how much would you sell that for? Oh, that's a, that's a few hundred pounds. I mean, there's a lot of opal in there. There's a lot of time, yeah, so I'd say it's a couple of hundred pounds worth of necklace. Are you selling but, it, or is it a... No, no, no. You're keeping it? Yeah, and my, my niece um, fell in love with it as well. My, one of my older nieces, she fell in love with it as a... At the photo shoot, Has so she I think it might be gifted. It? I think Lucky I may niece. gift it. Lucky niece. Yeah. That's it. Oh, like, Gemma Crow. So I was trying to get it in the different lights. I had it all over the garden trying to get So you'd how, need a couple of pots the of these. Is. You need two or three pots of these to complete so that. I've got two pots of those in there, and then I've got some little rondelles as well. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Brand new, lowest ever price. Never been seen at the price that we're about to do before, ever, 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 ever. Yes, we think they do have drill holes. But let me just, now I couldn't, see, I could see one in one and not in another. But Gemma Crow says they're hidden Mine, in hers. I didn't realise they were there until I came to, you know, put them into the piece. And I, then like I, I found, found. Them, but I'm hoping it's the same, the same, you know, because we but have But if not, you can products. still, you can wrap around them, can't you, easy? Yeah. No, because this one's got a drill hole in it. Some of them have, some of them have. I, I think you'll have to look for them. You've got Are you ready? days anyway, haven't you? Uh -huh. so you yeah. get them back and they're not right. But everybody pays the same final low price. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go shopping for this. These are going to be at the most ridiculous price. 
We have broken the barrier on this price. They are genuine Ethiopian opals, completely and utterly natural. $24.99. <laughs> if you want to replicate what Gem has done, you'll need two of these plus some rondelles. And then you can create that piece that's a good couple of hundred pounds. Candy, you've got yours. Maria, you're there. Leslie is shopping. So is Davina. So is Linny and Belinda in Surrey. Lots of you grabbing hold of this deal. Maria... I've said you, haven't I, Maria? Well, I say you twice, you were worth it. Sylvia, I've got in Nottinghamshire. Valerie, oh, I've got two Sylvias, that never happens. Sylvia in Nottinghamshire and Sylvia in Staffordshire. I've got Maker in Cheshire, Lorraine's got two. Wendy, Yvonne, you've got yours. Loads and loads of you there. Donna, Karen in Dartmoor's added another one. Valerie, I've got Christina, Belinda, Candy's got four. Brenda's got two. Yvonne, Oh, Sonia, yours chopping. Uh, Maker in Angus, Maker in Cheshire. I've got, oh, you're just so quick. You're so quick. Helen, you've got yours. Dartmoor's got two. They're just fiery as anything. Mm. They are That's fiery awesome. as anything. JZV X68, 24 pounds and 99 pence. Which one were you? Psych or vibes? I'm psych. <laughs> yeah. I, I know exactly, like, because, uh, so Gemma and I grew up in the same shire, but Gemma lived in Gloucester and I lived in Cheltenham. So if somebody, if I got on the bus and came to Gloucester and came across Psych, I ought to get back on the bus and go home. <laughs> no, That's, yeah, there it is. I wasn't, it wasn't like that. It was, do you know, it was, I was nicknamed Psych because of that Shanice song, I Love Your Smile. I love your smile. Da, and then da, halfway da, through, da, da, she says something and she says, Psych. Brilliant. And because I fancied the boy in the video. <laughs> <laughs> completely natural opal so so fiery it is like the which I've seen the aurora oh, borealis I've seen it you saw it by didn't, accident I didn't, didn't know it was, yeah, I thought it was a rave I didn't know it was that's that's because look it does look like a rave in my defense like a rave. it does in my defense I thought there was a rave oh wow I don't remember that mountain being there though it's probably stood somewhere else it's yeah, is it yeah I mean I, I was where the moomins were made I don't know where it was $24.99 for that. Now, after the break, mosaics! We've got the most amazing kit for you. Do not go anywhere because I know these kits are going to sell out. If you've never seen mosaic before, we're about to ruffle your feathers. We'll see you after this. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi, I'm Roger Taylor from Argentium. Uh, happy birthday to Jewellery Maker. Uh, there's a fantastic show that I'll be on on the 8th of May. Look forward to seeing you and showing you some wonderful things. Now this coming Saturday as part of our fabulous JM birthday week, I am going to be joined by the adorable Roger of Argentium. And Roger is very excited because not only does he have kits with Argentium and Jade and Amber, but we've got two great new treats. Now the first one, he's already told us about previously, he is bringing in no less than 126 Argentium jump rings for you, so that's going to be awesome and a brand new micro polisher as well. We've also got the wonderful Gemma Crow from 11am with Millie Putt, so that's going to be exciting, and then Luscious Larimar from midday at 12pm. So join us this coming Saturday, the 8th of May, for our Gentium, Millie Putt and Larimar. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com 
or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Happy 11th birthday, Jewelry Maker. And after the year that we've all had, the best thing for us is to celebrate in style. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. Jewellery Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewellery Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Hi, I'm Chloe Minaj. Join me live this Saturday where I'll be launching a brand new booklet. I'll be showing you how to make opalous earrings and they're super sparkly, perfect for a birthday party. I'll be introducing you to synthetic opal and we'll have some brand new kits as well as booklets, workshops and more. So tune in from one o'clock. Don't want to miss a jewellery maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations and of course all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. Join us this Sunday, it's my 40th birthday show and the Jewellery Maker 11th birthday celebrations, but even more exciting, we're joined by Charlie Barron himself, bringing you a whole host of brand new items, including brand new sliding class bracelets featuring South Sea Pearls. We'll see you on Sunday. Jewelry Maker, happy 11th birthday. I've had the huge, immense privilege of joining you on most of those, in actual fact. Um, I'm very proud of that fact. We love you to our very bones, and I can't wait to celebrate with you. If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Jewellery Makers, it's our 11th birthday and to celebrate when you purchase during our birthday event, you'll receive a limited edition pin badge. We have a jam-packed 11 days full of amazing products, kits, demonstrations, special guests, competitions and so much more. So come and join our celebrations with Jewellery Maker and grab your pin badge while stocks last. It's time for Mosaics and I am very excited. Okay, so... Let's have a look at the jewellery once more that Gemma Crow has created with these kits and let me just let you know that we are launching at the end of this hour a workshop on this medium. So, has that one got a face in it? Oh my no. gosh, it has. Some little faces and some Aww. shamrocks. It's really cute. Uh, these are made out of glass, I'm presuming, yeah, right? Yeah, these are glass canes and then they're sliced down um, to make these <gasps> Miller Fury little glass beads. Gorgeous. They've got little a heart one. I'm mm. obsessed, obsessed with these. Now, we've got, yesterday we had Selenite uh, with Alex the Mineral Man, do you remember? And uh, do, do you know, I've never seen them in rounds before. I've never, no. ever, 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 in fact, we've never had them. We've never had these before in rounds. We've only ever had things from Alex the Mineral. This is amazing. Look at them. We are going to have to bring the lights down, probably. Look, wow. look, look. Look, I need them. I need them. Please can I have one. Please. I love them. 
They're like magic. Have you seen these? Yeah, well, I've just seen them today here. They're I mean, amazing. I love selenite, so yeah. They're gorgeous. We never get them in beads, do no, we? No, we don't. Only like very rarely palm in... stones and stuff. Yeah. I'm so excited for those. <laughs> now, let's give you the kits first. Which we have the moon or the hearts first? The hearts, which is over the other side. Well, I'm presuming this is right. Yeah, just one heart, one heart thing in my jig. <coughs> then two. Yes, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. So you get findings, which I'm going to leave over there because there'll be a picture of them. Here are your mosaic. Are the mosaic tiles different in each kit, Gemma? Um, they look it. You sort of get a very random, random collection. So like a, almost like a bead scoop of of these lovely oh. little tiles. I love that. Oh, Gemma, I bet that this is such a bit of you, isn't it? They're I so love them. Just really cute jewellery, I think. It's just really cute, really fun and fresh and feels like summer, doesn't oh, it? Yeah, and, and childhood. Like, these are so fun. And yeah. Like, I don't, I don't, that you could put these in, like, resin coasters and stuff. Mm -hmm. I just love it. It's like being on holiday. That's what it reminds me of, yeah. holidays. Yeah. I love them. But then you've got these tiles as well. You'll notice a minute clock coming on your screen in a moment. Now, what do these do? They're great. Look. I love these. They're uh, little cabochon -y things. Yeah. They're, like, they're just little square sort of cabochon tiles. They're really, really cute. And there's some lovely colours. And I, I've used them um, in the bezels in different ways, and I've used them... Also on the wooden blanks and wooden MDF blanks because, yeah. of course, you know, you don't have to just use these in your jewellery makes. You can sort of use them in other things as well. I think they're home decor too, surely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're little accessories. Yeah. You could push these into candles and things too. Yeah, I should imagine so. I don't know. what are they? I think they're glass as well, so you know, they should be safe for candles and things. I'm very excited by this. Then you've got your bezels. You've got a heart bezel. And round the other side, I just wanted to show you both. So you've got the heart, two big rounds. You could make lovely key rings <coughs> out of these, couldn't you? Yeah, they've got real depth to them as well, yeah. these. Love those. I love these. Pour them in. Pour them in. I mean, obviously. Oh, your time's up. Let's go. I'm just sorry. I was in a, I was in a mosaic trance. Here's <laughs> everything. You also get all of your findings. What a great kit. We have got a workshop coming up at the end of the show. Let's shop. I've got no idea where he's going to go with this because I've never, ever done mosaic tiling before. No, but, I, but you've got to imagine that the workmanship must, that goes into these must be Oh, into quite the canes. Yeah, I mean... I've never bought them before, but I can imagine, you know, there's got to be a lot goes into yeah. it. Yeah. You know, and they're, they're just so Nothing. lovely. They add a different, a different element. And because they're glass, some of them are see-through. So when yeah. you can see, um, when you stick them onto the high gloss surface of the silver, you can sometimes see oh. that come through. So you see the glistening. So this is just a bezel I had at home that I, I thought it would look nice with the square shape. It does. In. It looks lovely. Yeah. My mum would go mad for this. This is totally up her street. Yeah. She's a total hippie and she loves stuff like this. Yeah. I love it. I think it's it's wonderful. GZXC91, we've got 90 chances. Hearts and flowers, Millerflory tiles. I love them. £20, brilliant. Yeah. You can't argue with £20, can no, you? No, no, that's great. That's great. Well, she's got three bezels there oh, and yes, the tiles right. and the Metafury. That's really good. And you get, I'm, go I'm going way. to guess you get a weight of, of <coughs> is it in a weight? I should imagine so. It's just a bag. I get a little we've, bag. We've got all sorts. Oh, don't they look lovely what you've done around there? Um, Where are we? Yeah, so I've just put them around, you know, just ombre the colours almost. Just making a frame. It, this, they're just, you know, they're just really interesting. A little bit different. Can combine it with other, with your other mediums, you know, as well. They're just lovely. I love that so much. Look how glossy it is. Now that one, I've, I just thought they'd look gorgeous with the resin over the top. So I just did a few with resin over the top just to see how they looked, and I and I really love them like that. Mm. I think it really finishes them off. So that one, I've just sort of allowed the shapes to protrude slightly so just sort of skimmed it with a layer of resin and then some of the others I've set really deeply with the resin beautiful I'm, I'm there for that I love it 
I'm definitely there for it. Andrea, you've got yours, Maria, Lynn, Sheila, Julie, Sean, Christina, Maker in Wiltshire, Stephanie and Kathleen, Agnes, Karen, Gloria, Diane, Mary and Jerry. Half the stock's gone. Or is it more than half, is it? Way more than half. Okay. Now, we're going to give you the moon. I'll give you the moon if I add it. Now. Look at this. Look, look, look. Oh, I've got a heart I wanted to show you. You've got a couple of these in here. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> I realised that my gel has pinged off. Oh. It, it, it happened, must have happened on the way to work. I didn't even notice it. Oh, I love them. And you've got the moon and then you've got what looks like sea glass, but it isn't mm. sea glass. I don't know. It, I don't know if it's gemstones or glass. They're just they're really lovely. They're just glass, lovely, aren't smooth they? shapes. And again, they just look lovely, sort of um, in the in the bezel. And then you, you can use the cement that we've got, the grate that we've got well, to got fill round. Yeah, yes. Or you can use the resin again because it just does look lovely with both. We've got doming resin for you as well. We've got it all for you in this hour. JIXC30 is your idea. I love it. I love it. I'm definitely converted. I love it. It's nice, isn't it? 1999. Now it is time to learn how to do this wonderful medium. I am so excited for this. I'm having <coughs> such a such a fun time this afternoon, Gemma. I'm getting crafty. I can't yeah. wait to learn how to do it. So what are you going to show us first? So it's, it's so, so simple. There's not much to show you. There's a few safety tips and things that I need to talk to you about. But other than that, it's, it's just so simple. So in a minute, you're going to get the cement or the, not cement, the grout and the um, adhesive for your Should we do that now tiles. before you move on? Is yeah, that easier? Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. That'd be good. So you want the grout here. Is this the adhesive here? Um, no, it's no. it's a uh, not this. Looks like this tile adhesive. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I have the grout. Gemma, I'll show you how and why in a moment. <coughs> it's powdered grout. Loads of people are already asking you for the powdered grout. Will I open that or no? Uh, no, don't open it. I'll open it in a minute with the gloves and oh, things. Oh, good. Idea. Oh, okay. Because I was about to yeah, do it. Sorry. That could have gone horribly wrong. No, to it me, is. Could it? it is in a bag inside, but you know, sometimes it can be a bit dusty, so that's oh, right. not too. Good point. Good point. Brand new. We've never bought this to air before. Oh, how come? Yeah. This is the first time I've done it too. It's lovely. Okay, where have you used it in your projects? And is it white, or can you change it color, the color um, of it, or not? It's used in all of the projects. Yeah, so you've used it in all of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. So okay. you, you know, we lay out the mosaic, and then we grate in between with the grate. It's black. Um, this it's black, is it? Yeah, this one's black. Yeah, because um, I wondered. I couldn't see any prominent white, so that yeah. answers my question as to why. No. I prefer it in the black because it looks like a sort of midnight background. Then. Yeah, and it's indoor and outdoor. This this grate, so oh, you can, so use, can it for, use it for garden projects and you know pots and things like that. And there's loads Six of it. pound forty nine. Is that all it is? That's all it is. I and you get two pounds weight wise, yeah? It's gonna go such a long way. I've hardly even touched what I've you know oh. what I've done. In fact I mixed half a cup up and I had to, and I had to throw some away. Really? Because you had too much? All of it, even, even the little box. Look at your look at the trinket box, it's so cute. And you could do like the top of a table it. out of this. How so cute is that? Can you tip it forward, Jeb? Oh, I love that. It's I cute, love isn't it. it. <gasps> Gemma, yeah. you could sell that easy. So they're just, just really nice, aren't they? So cute. Really pretty. So cute. I love a trinket box, I do. Yeah. So, loads of you are going for that. £6.49, very super, and it's black. You need it if you want to do this medium. Lots of you are, lots of you are going for it. I have, I've got multi buyers. Well, it's such a great price. You can do, you could do a whole table out of this. Yeah, absolutely. Do a massive project out yeah. of this. I was thinking I might do my um, garden table. You absolutely could. This is enough. And then just get loads and loads of the little tiles. Yeah, but well, you could get so loads cute. of the little tiles. You could just add them in with other things like your broken crockery and things like that. I was going to say broken glass would look nice yeah. with it, wouldn't it? Yeah. Add that to your order, carry on going with that. Then I've got the glue for you, which is brand new. So this is, this is mosaic tile adhesive. It's mm. water-based and it dries clear. Yeah. So this just 
helps you. So when you lay out your mosaic, you don't want it to move around when you start grating. So you glue your mosaic pieces into your bezels or onto your surface. Okay. And then you can then grate over, over the top. Perfect. LPYM45 is your item code. Let's do it. $4.99. It's got the precision nozzle on it as well. So this is mm -hmm. great for mosaic tiles. I'm sure you'd be able to use it for other mediums as well. Anything you need to put, you know, if you want to stick something down, then perhaps put resin over the top yeah. of it, keep it in the way. And we have got doming yeah. resin in the show, perhaps if you want it as well. Mosaic adhesive, two ounce, four pounds and 99 pence. LPYM45, right, sorry, I did it again and interrupted you. Everything you it's need okay. is available. Right, okay, so first off, I've got my, um, I've got my bezel here. And all I would do is just take a bit of adhesive. And to be honest, I had left my tweezers at home, but what I did is I had a little blob of glue on the side, on yeah. a little bag on the side of... Oh, I'll move Shows over. Some tweezers. Oh, yeah, go on then. That's good. Thank you. You're welcome. I might get them gluey. Is that all right? Absolutely. They're okay. not mine. So, <laughs> just pop. I tell you what, just use... I always use these little bags as, like, my little glue, glue pop. Um, That's why you need your precision nozzle, Gemma. I've got precision on mine. Yeah, it's it's a really good thick tacky glue, so it takes a little while to get down. Oh, I to. love tacky glue. That's the yeah. best. It's a really good it's a really good glue. It sort of stays where you put things. Okay, so I've just used a cocktail stick to to eke that out. Um, <clears throat> so what I did is I had my glue in a little sort of on a little thing by the side of me, and then I took my um, individual tiles and dotted them into the glue and then placed them in the bezel. Okay, so I did it like that rather than glue the whole bottom and then, and then um, I don't get too much glue everywhere and, you know, and it's, it just looks really, and it's really easy. And then you can move things around as well. And you don't risk, if you take your time, doing this you don't risk um bits drying and then having to try and get glue down the bottom into there and around everything so you just take your time um arranging these now some of them i picked out all the sort of bluey colors some of them i was picked out all the grays some of them the greens you know and it's really up to you whether you go completely random or have a bit of order um it's really up to you but you basically just lay these out however you like there's so many to choose from Lay them out. Once you've done that, you want to let that dry for about an hour and a half, two hours. So go and have your lunch or something. And then your, I've got this one here. And don't worry about them all being different heights because they are all slightly different heights. Um, I, you can, of course, you know, oh, put your grout that. in and then bed them in all to the same height if you want to, which is another technique, but if you, if you do that, you don't get, because they're, these are glass, you don't get the silver bezel shining up through, so you don't get the same twinkle. It sort of dulls them a little bit. So I like them stuck on the bottom and then grate in around, even if it makes it a bit higgledy-piggledy. How do you grout it, though? What do you do? Okay, so to grout, use the grate, what we do is you must... It's really important with the grey, it's such a fine powder. Do you have to wear goggles, Gemma? You wear goggles and you have to wear a mask as you... well. I've got mine, I've got everything here I need. I've got goggles for you if you want goggles. Okay, so, and gloves. So, I've got my gloves on. And um, well, I did, I would have my gloves on. Oh, I've got the, Blow I've the got end the really them. tight ones. <laughs> <laughs> The I blue prefer ones. them tight. I do, I do once I'm crafted, it's just getting them on. <laughs> there we go. Right. Right. Okay. So let me put this off to the side so I'm not getting in the way. So, yeah. And your glasses and also a mask. Okay. So I've got my... Now, you... I. You, I have got a full respirator mask, but it's so difficult to hear me through that when I'm trying to talk to you. So for now, I'm just going to protect myself from the dust particles. We're using such a tiny amount, and I'm going to put the lid straight on. So I'm going to take the lid off of here. Now, this one has been opened once, and inside you'll find a bag like this. So it's quite a lot. There's a lot in there. 
and um, then and it's with a tie. So I always, when I put it back, I always do that back up because it does prevent that sort of unexpected plume of dust. Yeah, the booth. When you open it. So I'm going to open it. It looks like up. a chimney sweep. Yeah, it's so, so fine. And that's why it's not necessarily a dangerous, um, it's not necessarily a dangerous product. It's just so fine. Um, oh, I've lost my spoon. Mm, right, I'm going to have to use something else as a spoon. I had the resin kit, didn't I? Yeah. What, do you, what are you looking for, babe? The, the little spoons in the resin kit. Oh, got yeah, the, that was a while ago, though. I've got gone? one of these. Do you want one of these? No, it's OK. I'll use this. I've got a cup. I'll do it. I've got there a cup. Go. That's a good idea. I'll do it. Right, so I'm going to use a little cup to pick some out. Now, there's, there is ratios on the back. The mixing instructions are just mix, take your amount that you want, uh, and then just add little bits of water until you get a nice, firm sort of paste. Okay, so it's not, it's not um, really important to weigh or measure. You just go by eye. So I've got a little cup full here. That is going to be, it was about that much in a cup, this little um, uh, shot glass. And that will more, be more than enough to do this, this pendant, probably two pendants. Okay, so really it does go a long way. So I'm going to do this back up. Okay, yeah, be careful, you know, when you open this, don't open this, you know, next to a window um, or even, you know, in a, a breezy spot. So if, say, you don't open it in the garden even, if there's a breeze, because it is so fine. No, just so you want to open it where it's you're sheltered from the it's wind. It's not toxic though, is it? No, it's just, it's so, so fine that it's easy to oh, Like when you're inhale. sanding and the dust can go yeah. up your nose. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay, so I've got, got some in there, and then I've got my pipette again, my trusty pipette, because I only want to drop tiny amounts of liquid in at a time, because it goes from a dust What's that, to just water? Really quickly, yeah, so just water, so I'm just going to drop... So, uh, you're kind of doing it a little bit like icing sugar? A tiny bit? Yeah, tiny bit. See how that goes, and then it'll start to pill um, and go like a crumbly, flaky mixture. And then we add a bit more. Yeah, yeah, just like making a tea sauce, as Ben said, just do a little bit at a time. Okay, the nice thing is, if you do put too much in, it gets too runny, then you can always pop a bit more powder in. Okay, so another bit. That's it, and I've got this can you see that there it sounds it sounds sandy and gravelly yeah um, if I bring it up you see it's like a that's probably that's probably a little bit too dry okay yeah so I'm just gonna make it a little bit but it's so nearly there so I don't want to put too much more in. You can see how little water you use. Just three little drops. And that should make it nice and smushy. Okay. Okay, so once, once you've got your powder all mixed and there's no powder left, you can then remove your mask if you want. This is the, the only danger is whilst it's powdery okay so um now i'm just going to take my mixture i'm going to put it in and it looks like oh no i'm covering all my lovely all my lovely miller fury i load it up quite heavily you're not scared I'm, are you you're going straight in there yeah and i'm, I'm pushing so I've got an, this, again, I'm lollipop sticks. They're like the best crafting tools. And um, you just sort of really push down into, into the mold. And so that you're sort of smushing all of that grout in between the tiles, just like tile in the bathroom. Just want to tap the grout inside. And then once we've got it all in between, we can then take off the excess. So just really Pushing and scraping it along the tops of the tiles, which because we'll remove as much as we can. 
So can you see how, what a tiny amount you use? So obviously the more um, elements you've got in your bezel, the less, you've, you know, the less you're going to use because there's only tiny spaces in between that you're filling. Okay, so I've removed sort of the main, the main excess now with my spatula. Okay, and then the damp cloth, or I like to use um, baby wipes. Now I was going to say baby wipes. <laughs> baby wipes are amazing, but use one without oils and fragrances. So, you know, um, one of the varieties that have got no, they're, they're quite, it sounds like ruggies, but th so they're just water. Oh, right, okay, just like water. if you want to give someone a hug. Yeah, <laughs> so use those. You can use a damp cloth and um, if you want to. So then I'm going to go around and I'm just going to wipe away the excess again. So I've spatulated out most of it and then I'm going to wipe um, away some as well. Okay. Look at that, that looks great. Is it, is it coming back? Yeah, it's coming back, <laughs> look. And then um, we go take that there and then I'm going to go to and get another wipe. So you would want to do this a couple of times to, to get all of that Right, roughly off of all of your lovely surfaces or you know but we don't want to oversaturate it so you don't want to be pop popping loads of water in there and then once you've gone over it a couple of times you can then take your dry a dry tissue and just give it a wipe over okay and then we'll let that let that set but every now and again so you just let it dry yeah you just let it dry and that's it oh it looks great okay so I'm um, obviously on the others I have um, some of them I've covered with resin just to, you know, give it more oomph, more sort of, it sort of just brings everything to the surface, doesn't it, resin? Yeah, it looks great. But you can leave it just like that and it's so really durable. So put resin over the top of it to bring it out, you're saying? Yeah, put resin over the top and it, it, it's not because it needs sealing necessarily, it's just because it just magnifies it, it. magnifies it and it just looks so glossy and pretty. But. Um, if you just let this set naturally, what will happen is the grape will just go a matte, like a very this. matte finish. Like this one here. Yeah. And so you don't get that pop. I like it like that yeah, though too. It's, it's nice. Both of them are, are nice um, it, and it's really up to you. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, from there, that's it. Just let it dry. And then obviously, if you're going to put resin on it, you want to make sure it's dry for at least 24 hours before you put the resin over the top. And you will get lots of air bubbles in your resin, so you'll have to keep tapping the piece and keep yeah. taking the flame over it for quite some time, um, for a good sort of hour and a half into the cure, because the bubbles will come up through. You could put glass the over the top of it if you wanted to, but it wouldn't have the same effect actually, because it would have no. gaps. Yeah, it would have spaces. But you know, it there's, you know, from here you can leave it just like it is. It you look cute lovely. with glasses on. Thanks. They keep falling down onto the end like of my really nose. You look really sensible. <laughs> You look glamorous for glasses. I am sensible. I don't think I look glamorous with these glasses on. I know you do. That's, I don't know how you're doing it, but you are. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Now, we've still got a few of the heart kits left, uh, so get yourself onto the website for that. Anything else that we've got left over will be on our website. We've got, we've got to have another look at these because... Liam is... I just need you to know what's going on in the background here. Liam is dressed... Could you go and get him, please? He needs to come in here. I need you to see Liam in a wedding dress because I don't know whose wedding dress it is. This gorgeous, do you know, this feels amazing. It feels different. What's it feel like? It feels like another gemstone, not like amber. You know, when you, when you <coughs> rub amber, it feels like that, but it's heavier. Yeah. Anybody who bought the opals earlier, we've got some more coming up for you. Ooh. Ah, yes, because you used rondelles, so people are asking for rondelles, so we've got some for you. These are beautiful. Now, have we got any pictures of the mines uh, in Ethiopia? Because I want you to see how difficult this is to actually mine for. We're going to give you another lowest ever price. And these are smooth rondelles. Now, that means we've got perfect windows straight into each individual opal. This really is a special deal. Have a look 
at this. Oh, Have a gorgeous. look. Isn't it beautiful? Now, Ethiopian opal was rediscovered, and I say that because it wasn't until an archaeological dig in Kenya, in a cave, the archaeologists were looking for ancient artifacts, and they unearthed artifacts that contained opal. Now, when they looked at it and they saw the quality of the opal, they thought, you know, there's no way this has come from Australia, given the date of the pieces. I think they were tools and things like that that they found with opal in it. And, and certain adornments. So they started to look in Africa. They made an educated guess that perhaps it could be Ethiopia, and that's where they found it, in Ethiopia. So this gemstone was forgotten about. This is Ethiopia's forgotten treasure. Now, I think it might be apparent when you look at the mine as to how this gemstone became forgotten. Because when you see the location of the mine, which we're about to show you now, you'll see how thoroughly difficult it is to get this treasure. This photograph that you've seen on television in all the books for the last eight years, the actual opal is in the, in the central seam here. And uh, we're actually going to go and film now for the first time ever with a movie. And let's go and meet the people and see how they bring us this just sensational gemstone. Here's the area that the operated the are mining. Yep. They are going just more than 100 meters. Wow, so 100 meters into the rock? Into the draw. So if I understand that, that everything they've taken out, sure. if they leave it out, okay. A, it doesn't look nice, but B, it becomes unsecure. Okay. So they push it all back in when they finish. Sure. Yeah. In the very, very beginning, the whole of that ridge. Yeah, all they, this, they all were the very, Only sort of a few meters in, but now they're having to go quite a long way yeah. yeah because if you see this one yeah. it's at the maximum just uh, one meter that yeah. means yeah. the thickness yeah. one meter when you go deeply yeah. the, the thickness becomes small. less small so the whole seam is only about one meter one meter and that's it yeah not more than that and actually looking at the landscape yeah. you can understand why they're not looking for any alluvial deposits here because sure. with so much rain it would have washed a long long way away so sure. the only place now is in the host rock here yeah this one So those were the mines on the cliff edges, the little bands, some of them only a metre deep. I find that absolutely fascinating, especially when you see what we're about to do with this strand. Strands like this, this is totally natural, by the way, do not belong at the price we're about to go to. This is really mesmeric, utterly magical. We are not going to hold on to this strand. This will sell out today. It is a manager's special clearance deal at £13.42. It has never been... What's the lowest it's ever been before? It was like 18 something, right? Now, this is really, this is really, really special. 12 carats of Ethiopian opal in smooth rondelles. And Gemma, these, these have so many places in your jewellery, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, at that price, it's unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> you definitely multi-buy those. Those were in that necklace as well they're yeah. just sort of hanging did you use around. smooth ones or did you yeah. use fat you do use I smooth i actually had both i used both because we had a, a collection of ethiopian opals on that day and so there's rounds um smooth and faceted they're, they're just lovely. beautiful and, and remember that our studio yeah, lights we've got right. nine lights on this gemstone and opal doesn't really light light it only wants one light source like the sunshine and look how much color you've still got if, if you take if you're just wearing this with one light source in in a room 
This is, listen, we have a huge queue on the phone lines. I'm so sorry. If you could use your number one button or use the app, that would be the, the preference. You need to check this out. We are super, super busy. I've got Linda with two, Sasha with two, Li another Linda, one Linda in Midlothian, this one in Nottinghamshire with two. I have got, everybody pretty much is uh, multiplying. Sonia's got two, Dahlia's got two. I have got Wendy with three, Sharon in Lanarkshire with two. Bristol, you've got yours, Yvonne, Denise, Maker in Cornwall. I've got Tracy, I've got L another Linda, I've got Andrea, Kaylee, and I've got Shirley. I've got Irene, Beverly, Makers on the phone, another Maker with two, Wendy with two, Lynn, Candy, Jennifer. Still a couple left on the brand new with the nuggets. And then if you bought these together, can we have another look at Gemma Crow's piece? Because if you bought them together, that's what you could create. Yeah, they look great. I can't believe that price. It's incredible. <clears throat> Mad, isn't it? Yeah, it's Brilliant amazing. price. <laughs> Any minute now this is sold out, you've got to check out Basket. 17 chances left. If I call out your name, you've got an unchecked basket. Hilary, Candy, Lynn, maker with three in a basket. Irene, another anonymous maker. Candice with two in a basket. Beverly, Helen, Cumbria. We haven't got enough to go around. It looks like, looks like those are going to sell out. Don't forget these little treats. Don't forget these little tree tables. This is a tree table, silenite like you've never seen it before. I keep holding on to those. But we have got, oh la la. I love spiny oyster. Have you seen spiny oyster? No, I don't think you have. Wait, this is your thing. Right, so Ben, weren't you with me before when we had a picture of the spiny oyster? And they are, so it's spiny oyster turquoise and spiny oysters are like, um, fossilized yeah look up a spiny oyster Ben you'll see it and they're fossilized and they have so you look at all of these gold tones here and these Ooh. see these reds like mookite reds that's the spiny oyster and these have been so so they've been reconstituted spiny oyster with uh, turquoise so this is honestly this is so so amazing it's beautiful spiny oyster is so cool that's absolutely cool. These like, are definitely a bit of you. Definitely. I just I think I would just glue some um posts onto those and yeah, have those as earrings. Straight into earrings, I agree with you. I love them. But I think they're great cufflinks too. Yeah. And they're really unique. They are. They're so unique. Let me look it up oh, what I was gonna those. I don't know if I got you've got one. Here's a spiny oyster. A spiny oyster. Look at this. That's what it looks like. And then when it fossilizes, on the inside, that's where mm. all the colors come from. Wow. You can pay so much money for this gemstone. So, so it's spiny oyster and turquoise together. Yeah, exactly. Such a unique combination. Wow. $14.99. Now there's a big jewelers that has spiny oyster collection and it is mega bucks. Let me find it for you. I wonder who thought just to put those together. Are they found no, together? No, yeah, they... they are found together, I'm pretty oh, sure. Wow, okay. I'm pretty sure. Let me show you. It's, they're fabulous. I mean, the Really design, fabulous, aren't I mean, they? The, the design is done for you. <laughs> All you need to do is like surround it in gold or something and it's going to be a beautiful designer piece of jewellery. They're just, they're great, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, there is a jeweller that had a collection and they are like super, super expensive. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now, we've got another one of those for you. But this time in ovals. Very last of stock, these are. Jumped up in carrot weight, but look at the, you get like um, a metallic mm. on spiny oyster and it's so lovely. It's, it's <coughs> like a bronze, me. isn't it? Yeah, yes, exactly, like bronze in it. I love these. I knew you would, I knew you'd love them. <clears throat> I'm going to show you these ones that I've just done up close and yes, personal. Thank you. They're bigger than what you think, actually, aren't they? Oh, sorry. We had. A, I was talking away then, and you couldn't hear me. 
$14.99 for these. Uh, so you've got just shy of 12 carats. Uh, sorry, you've got 11 and a half carats. Christine, Helena, Liz has got two. Corolla, Abby, Michelle. Uh, more makers on the phones for these as well. I just think they're so unique. What do you think of the colours, Gemma? I think they're absolutely beautiful. Don't, um, don't they feel good too? Yeah, I love that. Bonds. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're going to love what I've got now. I think Hayley Kruger had these and she used these with... Her tube setting. Have you seen the tube setting by Hayley Kruger? No. Have you not seen tube setting? Oh, yeah, I know, yeah. I haven't seen Hayley Kruger. It's insane, Gemma. You would go it? mad for it. We need to go to Siren and have a night. I feel yeah, like we'd we just rock up there and be like, we're staying. Yeah, Get she'd, over be, it. she'd be fine with that. Get over it, Kruger. We're staying. <laughs> have a look. <laughs> I love the Look at them. Look at oh, them. Oh, they're delicious. They're gorgeous. Rings, earrings, all of it. Love them. Two sets of earrings, or four rings, or a set of earrings. That was my elbow. ECJJ32 is your item code. Oof. They are beautiful. Very yes. fabulous price is all I'm going to say to you. Liz, you've got two. Sasha, you've got yours. Helena, you've got yours. Maker in London. Cumbria, you've got yours. Michelle in Nottinghamshire. Angela and stuff. They're just gorgeous, and I would absolutely tube set them. Mm. They look wonderful. They would. They would look wonderful. You could like prong that. set them if you wanted. You could put them in your Argentium, actually, couldn't you? Yeah. Or in your Millie Put that I've got. Yeah. On Saturday. Oh, you've got Millie Put? Yeah. Have you done it before? No. Have you tried it yet? Yes. And? I've had some good experiments, actually. So for the show, I've got it gemstones, you know, what, how you see it traditionally used. And then, um, but then for future shows, I've been worked on, working on some sculptures. Oh, so. oh OK. Then so, yeah. she's adding a GC twist to the Millie Put. Yeah. Love it. Right, darling. Let me carry on. Let's put that one back, because LJ gets well narky. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I can hear yous. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Oh, look. Those, Gemma, in oh, earrings. Oh, they're just gorgeous. But they'd be great cufflinks. They'd be br brilliant rings. They're gorgeous, mm. aren't they? Mm. Yeah, they have got this sort of mookite meets turquoise look about them, haven't they? Um. I love these. I love... They're one of my... They're sold out. I'm so sorry. I think this is my new thing. I think spiny oyster turquoise is the, one of the nicest things. I love the turquoise well, colours. Now I know about it. I'm You're going to go a bit definitely. mad for these because the bronze in these is insane. Yeah, I can see it. I saw it from here, the flash as you turned it. And they're marquees. Box. But they're a real soft marquees, look. Oh. That, them in a ring. Isn't it lovely? It's got that really rose pink and then that turquoise blue. And yeah. Then, doesn't that work well together? So, well, honestly, they've sold out. I'm sorry. They're oh. so fabulous together, aren't they? Yeah, I'm a bit about that, are you? Yeah. I'm a definitely. bit about that. Definitely. Oh, let's just go to Egypt with our turquoise, shall we? Hang on a minute. Will I take them out of the I've got four and they're big and they are all octagons. Oh Egyptian turquoise. Each stone is 1.87 carat, so decent carat weight. And each gemstone comes with a certificate of authenticity. These, I think, now let me think. I think I'm gonna make two pairs of earrings and one pendant and have one left over. Yeah. What do you think, Gemma? I, I, I think they'd look nice. Because, because they're Egyptian and because of that matrix on them, I wanna put them sort of I want a couple and then surround a big, chunky um, lapis or carnelian yes. cabochon or something and have them like in yes. a real gold, rich gold setting. So you need, quite, you need, you need to get I'd three get sets Because I think they're going to just nestle really nicely. And you know the inlay work that, yeah. that the um, Egyptians are so, you know, renowned for, the beautiful yeah, inlay. I can, at the I'd minute want... you said it, I thought, I know what she's like on about. Idea. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. XUUP03 is your item code turquoise from Egypt for $14.99 and you get four of them. That's so good. How much is that each? Like Gordon. £4 each, something like that. I've only got four. Less than that, yeah. £3.50 each. That's how bad I am at maths. 374. Okay, cool. 
that's a really good price. They're Egyptian turquoise. Come mm. on. Uh, if you if you met anyone in, on the street and said that's genuine turquoise, you can have this with it. Uh, do, do you want to give me four pounds for it? You'd be like, yes, I do. It'd be like it'd be like magic beans all over again. And Jack, it would. It would. Such a great price. Such a good price. Now, sorry, I'm just putting these away, Ross. I'm not ignoring you. Do do do. Sorry, sorry. Ooh, sorry. Here we go. Oh, what kawooks? What are we calling these? Just says cabochon cut, but they yeah, are octagons. octagons again, aren't they? We've got your workshop coming up soon. Oh, yeah. We've got some doming resin for you. So many of you have asked us. Look, the edges, are, the corners are chipped off here. Like, not chipped off, but cut off. Which I really like, so I was, yeah, it's like a princess cut. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. I was baffled when it said octagons, but I see that's why now, because it's got the eight sides. Yeah. It's like a really nice soft, it just softens that rectangle, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And they're fat as well, aren't they? Yeah. They're chubby little ones. They're really nice. I, I just think they're so summery. I think these, I'd, I'd make two rings, actually. Yeah. actually. £8.99, £4.50 each. There's no argument to be had. All that you've got to do is be as quick as you can, checking out baskets, remembering to tick that box that says combine order so you only pay one PMP throughout the day if you shop with Elle. We've got viewer's choice and we're doing viewer's choice bingo uh, in a bit, which means Gemma will have two boxes, I'll have two boxes, and it'll be bingo. Yay. Lots of you there for this one. Here's your certificate of authenticity for these as well. That comes with, and I think that's really important. And especially if you're making a gift for somebody, it just makes it even more special. They'll never know you only paid eight nine nine for it. They'll think, oh my gosh, what have they done? They've gone too mad, they've spent so much. I know. Be wonderful. Now, it's time for your workshop. Did you love Gemma's mosaic tiles? If you did, We've got a workshop for you. Now, the workshop comes with the kit included. You probably will need to get the cement, though, will you? The, uh, the grout. Is there still some grout available, or did it sell out? There's still some both available, so you're grand. It's on the website. But let's give you the date, first of all, because it was it May the... June the 24th. June the 24th. June the 24th. It's a Wait, Thursday. when's your birthday? Is that June? No, no you've only just had it. I don't know yeah. why I keep doing that to you. It's <laughs> Ben's June. Yes, I know Ben, darling. I'm yours. <laughs> Um, so it's June the... June the 24th. 24th. to Thursday. 10 a.m. 10 till 2. And then we'll be covering the techniques of um, sort of laying out your designs, going through the grouting, finishing, and then also working on different surfaces and things like that. Is it Zoom? Yes, it'll be on Zoom. And yeah. will you be at home or will you be here? I will probably be at home. Good, because I'm nosy. I'd like to see that. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, I'm it makes a home. difference. It's the whole experience, isn't it? It comes with the kit included. And you're, what you're actually going to get is the kit with a heart, mosaic tiles. You get everything that you yeah. need, apart from you do need to buy your tile grout and your glue. Okay, yeah. 39.99. Now, we've only got limited spaces. There's only 25, it's with the wonderful Gemma Crow. So all you've got to do is make sure you secure your date with Gemma, who will be at home. Probably give us a little sneaky peek. You'll have a little coffee break as well, won't yeah, you? Yeah, we have a, bit a of coffee a break. Yeah, we have a lunch break. You know. Talk me through the experience if I've never done this before. So it's lovely. Zoom's lovely because everybody's in their own space, really comfortable. You can have your camera on or you can have it off. It's really up to you. You don't have to have your camera on. And, and then for the first sort of 10 minutes, we're all just having a chat and saying hello and... Um, you know, many of us have, have met before or there's new people and we just talk about aims and objectives of the day, what you want to get out of it, what sort of substances and surfaces you want to work on. And then, um, and then I'll generally demonstrate and then, and then we'll do something along. So it depends what I'm teaching. But it's just really lovely and friendly. You can get up and get a cup of coffee whenever you want. You can get up and go to the loo whenever you want. You That's know, the it's thing, just, and you're in your own home, so you're it's in all your fine. own house. Yeah, you can, you know, you can Because not your everybody likes leaving and... their own home, and, or not everybody can no. leave home. Plus, no. we've got so many customers overseas that would love. If you're, it doesn't matter where you are, if you're in Southern Ireland, if you're mm -hmm. in. 
you, Nebraska, it doesn't matter where you are, yeah. you can join us, yeah. as long it's, as you've got the internet. And that's nice too, because the last couple of workshop, uh, workshops I've had, I've had some people in America, some in Spain, wow. some in France, and it's just been really nice just having a mix of people and where they're from. We usually have a competition about who's the furthest away. And oh my gosh. Yeah, it's, it's I lovely. love that. It's really relaxed. I really enjoy the Zoom workshops. I like doing things from home anyway, because mm. I think, you know, if anything this pandemic has taught us is actually that being at home is okay. Like yeah. a lot of it, like I, yeah. I love being in my house. I crave my house all the time. And I think sometimes you feel a little bit like, especially after what's happened, you can feel a bit apprehensive about leaving yeah. the house, but you don't want to sit and do nothing all day. No. You want to learn something. You want to be able to, maybe it's a business for you. And you're thinking, right, okay, I, I want to be able to, to create a business from home where I can sell my gorgeous makes. This is a perfect way of doing it. Perhaps you're not very well. Perhaps, you know, you can't get out. Mm -hmm. We're still here crafting and you get to have a unit and you and it's not just you know it's people interacting with you the whole time yeah yeah that's it and it is a lovely it is a lovely mindful thing to do and I'm just thinking if there's couples out there that want to do this or um, people that want to do it with a, a grandchild or a daughter or a son or yeah. whoever if that that type of grant you can get one to go between a few of you yeah. so you know you can really make it stretch you get the work could you do if somebody's granddaughter if they're looking after their granddaughter let's say and they want to join in is that okay I should think so. I would think the li little ones. Yeah, yeah, I think if you're an adult, you should pay an adult price. But yeah, but a little one's yeah, fine. A little one's probably fine. I've just decided. <laughs> Sorry. I've certainly had little ones before. Yeah, because sometimes they're like they yeah. want to do something, don't they? Yeah. She's fine. She's kid friendly. Keep the uh, camera off. I won't know. I love. Oh, oh yeah, exactly. Well, there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go then. There you go. So, Gemma's workshop. Lots of you have gone for it. I'm not going to call your names out because a lot of people buy for gifts. Maybe you've got someone who... We're going to give you the dome in resin. Maybe you've got someone who can't get out and you'd love to get them a gift. Get them the gift of doing something, being active. Having a reason to not be just in your pyjamas eating crisps all day. Yeah. Because basically that would be me if I didn't have to get... If I didn't have a dog, mm. I would just eat crisps all day. I, if I didn't have dogs and sit in a trance in front of the table, which is basically what my mum does every day. <laughs> No, I can't watch the telly, but I would, I would sit and craft all you day. You don't watch the telly? <laughs> Terrible for it. Now, you've got your resin, your doming resin. So, have you, have you got a resined piece anywhere near you, Jen? Um, yes, this one. Lots of them are resined, actually. These, mm, can't, I have to do it by feel. That one, yeah, these two are. So they've got, the, oh, the, I love it. The, the love heart when that's finished is you just see that real gloss finish it gives it it does give um, it an entirely different look it does it's it's a, it's just a nice way of finishing i love resin i did my big resin yeah. table with the pennies it's so easy and it's so mm. effective it is and it and it you know it's um you can encapsulate other things in it as well and i would say it's a great way to finish a paint pouring if you've done your paint pouring yes you said about yeah. that earlier perfect so if you got into the paint pouring and you want to get into this it's the perfect, the perfect marriage. So here we go. This is, and this is really great, this one. This is the dome in resin. So what it does is it pulls itself into a center point. It's just yeah. sort of pulls itself in. So you push so it right like up to the edges, but then it would pull itself in and rise rather than spill. Brilliant. So um, it's really great for your flatter surfaces like, like the, um, the wooden blanks that we've done the um, paint pouring on, yes. but also for filling these domes, these um, bezels, you can overfill it. You can just keep filling it, and it just domes up. Or you can do it in layers. It behaves for you. Yeah, it does. Oh, it's really, lovely. it's really good. Obviously, if you tip it, it's going to fall. But as long as you keep it level, it will pull itself into the centre. Oh, it's clever, isn't it? Yeah, it's really clever. Yeah. Lots of you there. Fourteen ninety nine. G A R B fifty six is your right to go for that before the break. You're going to put the arrow, hang on a minute, these aren't on viewer's choice, are they? The price for the Silimonite will be different. Everything else is at its price. So to get involved in viewer's choice, and Gemma and I are going to be playing viewer's choice bingo. She's going to take some, I'm going to take some. We're going to be flip-flopping. Gemma Crow is going to be presenting with me. We're going to go straight there with the Silimonite. 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 I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'll see you after this.
Happy 11th birthday, jewellery maker. And after the year that we've all had, the best thing for us is to celebrate in style. Makers, it's our birthday! We're 11 years old and we can't wait to celebrate with you. I'm going to be doing my disco dance. Big bead, little bead, cardboard box. Big bead, little bead, cardboard box. I'm going to disco. Just wanted to say a massive happy 11th birthday to Jewelry Maker. Got a really exciting week ahead to help us celebrate. So during the birthday celebrations week, I will be bringing you three new mediums, which I cannot wait to show you and teach you how to do them as well. Really exciting. Hi, I'm Roger Taylor from Argentium. Uh, happy birthday to Jewelry Maker. Uh, there was a fantastic show that I'll be on on the 8th of May. Look forward to seeing you and showing you some wonderful things. Now this coming Saturday as part of our fabulous JM birthday week, I am going to be joined by the adorable Roger of Argentium. And Roger is very excited because not only does he have kits with Argentium and Jade and Amber, but we've got two great new treats. Now the first one, he's already told us about previously, he is bringing in no less than 126 Argentium jump rings for you, so it's going to be awesome and a brand new micro polisher as well. We've also got the wonderful Gemma Crow from 11am with Millie Putt, so that's going to be exciting, and then Luscious Larimar from midday at 12pm. So join us this coming Saturday, the 8th of May, for our Gentium, Millie Putt and Larimar. What a busy week! <laughs> See what I did there? What a busy week it's going to be on Jewelry Maker. It's our birthday celebrations. We've got deals, we've got new product categories, we've got so much going on. And thank you, by the way, for your huge support over the years. We wouldn't be what we are today without you. Loads and loads of things happening. It's going to be the best week ever. So try and join us as often as you can. Happy birthday to everyone at Jewelry Maker. It has been an amazing 11 years and I look forward to everything that we've got coming up in the future. For everyone at home, I just want to say congratulations to all of you that have been involved with Jewelry Maker for the last 11 years and I can guarantee you the next 11 are going to be just as special. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Jewelry Makers, during our 11th birthday celebrations, we'll be giving away a prize every hour to one of our lucky viewers. Make sure you tune in every day across the birthday event to be in with a chance to win. Come and join in the fun. We'll see you there. It's time. You've been going wild. It's viewer's choice. Now, before I give you the pick of the day, I need you to know that all of the products for this hour has been loaded onto our website. So go and check it out. Whether you're opening the app or whether you're visiting our webpage, www.jewelrymaker.com. Have a peruse vu Just scroll on down and these products are all numbered. So if you want to see something, you think, Jenny, I, I like the look of that, but I'm not really sure what it looks like then you just send me a message, 78070, and ask me or Gemma, we're playing, a, we're playing bingo today. I was going to say, I'm actually going to... Do you know, want another one? Well, I've got two. Well, yeah, but I feel like I've got loads. I've got one and a... One yeah, here, yeah, you have to have that one as well. Put it on right. your desk, but that's can what we, we normally actually... do. I forgot to tell AJ, LJ we put them on the desk. Can we actually do it like um, bingo? So if I mark, you know, a diagonal, I win. 
Absolutely, yes. Good. Whatever you like, darling. Whatever that's, you like. That's what I'm doing. So, I'm going to give you the selenite first. We're going to start with the largest ones. These are absolute crystal healing. Yes. Now, Gemma, you've got two big pieces of selenite. I saw your uh, Facebook have. post. I was there during the live. I've got a lot of selenite and I Why? was gifted a selenite as well with some angel wings on this weekend <gasps> from the lovely Natalia. Oh, she's a one. I love yeah. her. And what about amazing. selenite? Why why is it for you? Well, it's well, one, it's just absolutely beautiful. It was the first gemstone my the first gemstone actually was ever bought for the house was by my son. And really? it was yeah, it was a selenite and he loves it. So, you know, automatically it's got a place for me. But it is actually an amplifier for other gems. So if you put that next to my jade for extra your, good luck. Well, for, for to almost charge it, a bit like the moon charges the crystals apparently. But you can physically see the effects if you put um, a fluorite. My sister, I bought my sister a selenite bowl and she put her fluorite pendant in it just overnight just to go to sleep, you know. Yeah. But she said it was literally glowing. And <gasps> when I've checked, it does. It really. Oh, it's no way, does it really? It almost charges and powers it up. It's beautiful. We're not, pay we're not, that is not your price. These are the only ones that aren't at their correct price. Benny, could you please turn the lights down? So that, because this they, gemstone glows. They just don't look real, do they? They're, they're so incredible, the effect. Look, 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 there. Oh, I need these. And that's oh. a genuine gemstone. You need those, don't you? You need those on your wrist when you're going out for your cocktails. You know, there's, you know, low lights in the pub garden. Woohoo! Oh, all our lights just went completely down, and that's why I went, <laughs> woohoo! It's not murder in the dark, Ben. Look at these! That used to be my favourite <laughs> game when I was little. <laughs> I think only people from Gloucestershire played that, by the way, because everyone else looks at us and goes, murder in the dark. It was a very fun game. Sorry, we're from the Shire. There's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of crazy things happen. Are you ready? Big moons of gemstones. Yeah, they're incredible. They are, aren't they? They're amazing. They glow. They're gorgeous. These are genuine gemstones. These aren't plastic. They're genuine gemstones. Where are they mine? From the United States. 17.99 RHGP06 and Linda's got hers. So is North Yorkshire, London, Janet, Veronica, Victoria. I've got Wendy, I've got so many new customers. I know this is gonna be a big favorite. Lorraine, we, I've never seen this in jewelry before. No. In, in, you haven't no. either. No, I've, I've never seen it in jewelry because I think it's probably very difficult to cut and polish yeah. because it is, a, you know... It's a soft gemstone, It's a yeah. very soft gemstone, and you can see how they've been cut there. They've obviously been cut like kyanite with, with the sort of crystal, you know, they've, they've you been... You can see that, you're right. They've been, the crystal structure is very similar. Yes. So they, they've got to cut them in a very... Is it the cleavage is very difficult yes. to manage? Yes, yes. And it looks like the same sort of special treatment has been given to these. I agree. Uh, I absolutely love selenite. selenite. Uh, I have lots of them. It's beautiful. And that's Andrea in Cumbria. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, I cannot tell you how gorgeous this is, but I cannot tell you how hard it is for us to get them in rounds that have been drill holed. I've just heard in my ear. Now, Wayne, our gemstone buyer, said this was a one-off buy. He's never, had, he's never been offered this before. This is the only time he's ever been offered it. He doesn't, he, he doesn't expect to ever have it again. So if you, want to, if you want this in your collection, you must multi-buy because we cannot guarantee we will ever have this back. We were selling, we had it yesterday and we had big pieces, they're triple figures and that's the price this gemstone usually is and it's wonderful at that price. But to have these in rounds to make jewellery, specifically make jewellery from, never, never happened. Don't think it'll happen again. Rod, you've got yours. Isabel, you've got yours. We've got a picture of the rough and you can see here, that's how difficult it is to, to cut. And you're right, Gemma, it mm. has a, a very similar crystal structure to a kyanite. Mm. I do have two raw pieces, one kyanite and one um, selenite. They're very, very similar to look at. Yeah. How many is on the strand? Now, my strand came undone, and I think a couple went, but two, was it? Yeah, we can see on here, look. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty-one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, thirty-seven. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-se
48 pence per gemstone at 17.99 that's crazy that is amazing brilliant our hgp06 now we'll leave that one with you we're going to go the next size down every time we give you this size it's always the most popular quarter of the stock's gone at the full price on the web when we loaded the so quarter of you're not paying that price so everybody who already checked out at that price please don't worry nobody is paying 27.99 nobody a hundred and twenty five have gone right okay sorry <laughs> quarter of the stock's gone we had a hundred twenty five have gone sorry <laughs> they're amazing they're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah. But these in earrings. I, but I'd have to have them on my wrist. Yeah. Have to have them on a bracelet. I have think you've, to. You've, got to, you've got to see them move all Definitely. the time. Oh, you have. But one pendant. Half the stock now gone. VCGP42. Let's get to it. Valentina with the gorgeous name. Maker in London, Lancashire. Karen, Maxine, Andrea, Wendy, Elizabeth, Tracy, Janet with two. Elaine, you've got yours. £14 and £99. That's a celebration of a price for an amazing gemstone. £14.99. Lynn, you've got yours. Cloudy, you've got yours. Bristol, Amanda, Candice with two. Amy and Staffordshire, definitely buy two if you can, if you can stretch it. Janet with two. Sarah with two. Elaine with three. Another maker with two. Bristol with two. So many of you are multiplying. I count them for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 46, 46, 32 pence a gemstone, which for this gemstone is absolutely as nuts as a... Squirrel's tummy. Yes, yes, it is as nuts as a squirrel's tummy. Ben literally reads my mind. <laughs> Message just in. I have a selenite tea light holder and it always makes me fall asleep when I use it. <gasps> I need to fall asleep. I also have a palm stone. Be careful though, everybody, falling asleep whilst you've got lit candles. Because mm. that could end badly for someone like me. Yeah. I have a yeah. lot of oil burners in my house and I get real paranoid that I've left them on. Limited stock now, which means there's less than 10% of the stock available. I've got one more size to give you. Each one of these will sell out today. Arr! Good and bad news. Go on, give me the good, give me the bad first. Then we've got, then we've got good news for pudding. A third of the stock's already gone on these. Okay, well, what's the good news? Yeah, a third of the stock of the tiny ones have gone. The good news is what? We had 150. That, well, that's not enough. That's not the that's not the pudding I was expecting. All right. Well, compared to the first two, it is good news. Okay. Oof. <laughs> We're being a little bit crazy here. Okay. Mm. Selenite plain round, six millimeters, ninety carats, twenty four ninety nine is not to your price. All 150 are going to go at the price. That's what Ross says he's, he thinks. We started at the 10 mil, 17.99 to give you a refresher. Then we did the 8 mil at 14.99. We got 150 of these. What are you going to do, you rascal? He's more rascally than a Jack Russell outside a butcher's 9.99 TQP uh, 84 TQG P84. Sorry, please make sure you're quick and checking out baskets. I've got Julie and Christine and Janice and Lynn. Maker and Channel Islands with two. Wendy with two. Lynn and Sue. I've got Jean and Karen. Erica in Cleveland. I have got Liz in Surrey with two. Cloudy Yvonne. Sarah and Sally, I've got, oh, your names are flashing so quickly. Jean, you've got yours. Uh, I've got Louise, I've got uh, Elaine, I've got Maxine, I've got Tracy, I've got Beverly, Elizabeth, Victoria, Vicky, Maker in Northamptonshire, Christine, Andrea, 
gosh, there's so many. You know when the names just flash so quick, you, you're like, oh, Mary Lynette, Sally Ann, Antoinette in Belfast, hi! Anne, you've got yours, Jen, you've got yours, Gay, you've got yours, Sarah, Nikki, Linda, Leslie, Sally, um, I have got, how do I say that? Amanda, I just saw a name that I didn't know and it's gone there. Maria Teresa, I've got Joanne and Anne. Oh, there's so many of it. Shona, you've got yours. Let's have a look at the rough. Let's have a look at the rough. Here we go. What is it? Psych and ooh. Vibes. Psych and Vibes loves this. TQG <laughs> P84. You wait till tomorrow when she does her babble dabble, everyone. <laughs> I want you psyching and vibing. Corolla, you've got yours. Okay, we've only got 25 left of these out of 150. 25 remain. We are absolutely going to set. Well, look at every, how many checked, how many unchecked baskets is this? 62 unchecked baskets. If what if I want to buy all three? How much would that be? And it's only one PMP. Don't forget that. 3.95 but if you've already paid 3.95 but if you've already paid your PMP today with the PMP we're going to add that 46.92 for all three that's for nothing when you know how much this yeah. I mean I'm not saying 40 pounds is nothing yeah but, but I am saying in comparison what what bad news have you got now Yes, you've only got 38 minutes and then everything disappears off the website Oh no never to be seen again and those will sell out in a minute. Now, it's time for us to play bingo with you. I'm going to start with number four. Gemma's got a okay. couple of boxes. I've got a couple of boxes. I Oh, Gemma, we had these last time I together. They're these. so lovely. Gemma Absolutely and I are both these. mad fans of, of yellow. What do you mean they're sold out? That took two seconds. Citrine, brilliant rounds. They were requested. Quick flash. <laughs> Here you go. Sorry, you can't have them. That's how this is going to be. Huh? That's how it's going to be, Gemma Crow. Right. It's just how it's going to be. You know these 1920s shapes that we've got, the lantern shapes? Mm. I've got them now in K2 Jasper. Oh, wow. And look, I love the colour. I've never worked with K2 Jasper it, before. It's actually really lovely. Is it's, it? Yeah, it's got an 80s vibe for me. I don't, That's what I that, think, yeah. I think it's the blue. That blue is the 80s blue, isn't it? I always, I always say it reminds me of, I don't know why, like poppies in a field, blue mm. poppies. And I've got no idea why. Because they don't look like a poppy field at all. But no. that's what it always reminds me of. Amazing. You've requested six and seven. Unfortunately, they've sold out and gone. So we're going to go now to number eight, which is more lantern beads. Your item code is LYG P42. They're only 9 dollars Now, this is a longer strand. There's no tassels on this strand. You've got all gems. Look at that colour. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. Lovely. That's my kind of colour. It would match what I'm wearing, won't it? It would, very much. I'm for that. I love That's those. Lovely. They're only 9 dollars Oh, will I count them? One, two, three, four, five. Hey, cufflinks. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty one. Thirty one gemstones. They've sold out and gone. Number fifty, that's Gemma Crow. That's me. So I'm gonna hand you over to my co presenter. Ooh. I have do got... you want a board, Gemma, to, to to put them on? You do need I did have one. LJ, we I? need a board. I did have one before I'm okay okay so I've got purple amethyst faceted rondelles are quite chunky so the size is from 12 to 7 no 6 6 by 2 to 12 by 7 millimeters 20 centimeter strand and <laughs> okay. 6.99 it's mosf 18 u that's amazing look at the color of it they're beautiful Absolutely what's the drill gorgeous. hole like Gemma drill hole 0.4 0.4 wire and um, your beading thread, your standard beading thread. They're so sparkly. They are. They're a birth gemstone as well. They are, February. Absolutely sold out. I've got 28. Now, look at these. They're not the lantern shape, but they're kind of like Ooh. a lantern meets a star cut. I like these. What are they? These are... They're so light with red in them. Yeah. It's, it's the oxide, isn't it? Yeah. It's the, um, oh, what's it called? Totally natural. This is lovely sodalite. That's the nicest really sodalite nice. I've seen in terms of colour saturation. 
Lovely. Love. Oh, well, you know what these will go with? The sewed-like necklace that They're we had earlier. Bad. And you said, yeah. carry on with the beads. This would be ideal yep. for that. Perfect. If you bought those, you must get these, I think. $14.99, so delights. Where's this from? <laughs> from Brazil. E-I-N V50. I didn't know that I'd been to Brazil, but I have. <laughs> I told you that, didn't I? Mm. I don't know that I've been to a lot of places that I have. How many is on the strand? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, thirty-eight. Kirsty in Hertfordshire, how are you? Linda, Maker in Berkshire, Elizabeth in Norfolk. Next up is J the GC, number 52. Oh, oh nice choice. Who chose that? Who lovely. chose that? It's Karen. Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. Is it Moonstone or is it a topazzy? It's Himalayan barrel. Oh, well, I was, I was sort of looking at it. Yeah, it's got the glow of Moonstone and the sparkle of topaz. Yeah, that is lovely. It's like gorgeous. 38 well, carats. Well, it's gosh nice, isn't it? Yes. 38 carats. 8.99. YQ RU24. 3 by 1.5 to 7, 7 by 4 millimetres, 16 centimetre strand. Isn't so it a nice graduation, yeah, look at that isn't glow. it? Oh, it's lovely. And the clarity is good, Gemma, yeah. isn't it? Isn't it's that actually, fabulous? It's actually really lovely. So I'm, sh What's I'm it looking like at it myself instead of showing you. Let's have a look at the glow. Oh, it's, it takes on like a lovely sort of. What colour? Like a almost minty, doesn't it, on the hand? Oh, it, it looks does. almost aquamarine there. Yeah, yes. It does. That's beautiful. Yes, of course. That's From the really Beryl lovely. family. Lovely. How 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 peculiar that it was totally had amazing clarity, totally clear. Yeah. Against the skin, glows blue. Yeah. Huh? That's gorgeous. What number, darling? Loved. 39, that's yours, Gemma. Oh, is it me again? This yeah. Oh, I like these. Uh, aquamarine cubes, but Ooh. like facetive cubes. Cubes? Yeah, look. They're absolutely oh, gorgeous. Yeah. BTGP01 aquamarine fussy candy beads, that's it. Candy like a, beads, that's, that's it. They're like a cube shape. Would you put There's them all in one big them. necklace then, yeah. or what? Yeah, absolutely. I think they look great all in one big necklace. Ooh. There's so many on there, there's nothing to hold on to at the end. You could cuff link them? Yeah. They've sold could. out, Gemma. Yeah, not surprised. It's a silly price. Oh, lovely. Next number is 32. That's me. I've never seen purple amber before. I am very excited by this. Now, I might purple. need un tweezer. Purple amber. Oui, le tweezer. Uh, here. Thank you, Baba. I'm just going to pop the peg in because the peg comes with, and then I'm going to hold it up. Because what I wow. don't want to do. What I don't want to do is um purple amber. Yeah, amber. What did I call it? Yeah, no, you no, said I that. It. Just... It's just beautiful. Amateurine colours. How? How have they got it? Is it heat? It's incredible. Ah. Oh. They drop colour into it. I'd like to see. Oh, I just think it looks beautiful. Isn't that unique? And again, where else are you going to get something like this from? It looks like an old perfume bottle, doesn't it? Like an old French yes. Parisian yes. perfume bottle. It's so pretty. You're right. It's absolute. I love the blend of colours as well. There's some mm. tranquility there, isn't there? Yeah. 34.99. I've got to move on. Really over-allocated for that one. Number 12, did you say, darling, for Hillary? Oh, sapphires. Well, why not? And I think this is the one of the only unisex sapphire strands we have. Oh, it's lovely, that is Really it? lovely. These have been put to a brand new lowest ever price of 30, oh, not 34.99. But look at, the, look at this, look. Look how long these are. You can make two Huge. necklaces out of that with, with lots left over. They're so long. Never been under 30 pounds before, but today, yeah, they're, yeah, but don't you think they're totally natural? And <laughs> when do you see sapphire like that at that price? It's, it's very, brilliant. Yeah, very rarely. Isn't it September's birthday as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. So it's a nice, that'd be a nice gift. Or if Father's Day's coming up, that's a nice... When is Father's Day? It's always June, right in the middle of June, isn't that's it? That's it. Okay. Oh, got loads of dates coming in. Don't let me forget that. 
ZHS F58, you're going to go 29.99 is your price. That's incredible, it's incredible price. That's, it's real sapphire, you know, yeah, and it's amazing. mad that we could go, oh yeah, it's a, one of these on a leather cord. Yeah. For a Father's Day bracelet, perfect. It'd be lovely. Or just like nice stretchy or even channel sand yeah. between leather looks great. Yes, it does. You're right, yeah. Mm. Well done to everyone that got theirs. Uh, 26 is me, Gemma. Mm. I keep thinking this looks like, a, you know, fruity polos? That's mm. what this looks like. It's an amber donut, but I really want to eat it, but don't eat it. Oh. Don't you think it looks like a fruity polo? That's gorgeous. It I does. would just do a lark's head knot. And yeah. Again, that's a great one for a guy, isn't it? Yeah, just a nice cord. You could easily put this in a chap's piece. That's lovely. I'm sure that we... That, I'm sure we never had any of those left when we had them on when they launched. No, I'm they launched. this. I'm sure they launched and I sold out. Those. I wonder whether <laughs> we got them back. I think people probably checked out four or five and then decided to put a few back, perhaps. They're gorgeous and they're so easy to use. And you know what? Yeah. The easiest bracelet you've ever made, isn't it? Yeah. Out of a donut. Yeah, just literally like Lark's said, either, either side. side and then tie it up. Yeah. They're gorgeous. Easy peasy. And it's straight up jewellery. And it's real amber. You know what I'm like with amber. It goes in the bath with me. I bathe in my amber all the time. Yeah, no. I haven't I didn't I had a rhodochrosite bath last night. I think I might put my amber. Because I was in, I didn't get to bed till like midnight. 9.99 TOG Y94 Baltic Butterscotch Amber. Gorgeous. It is. Now. <laughs> That's me. You're 40. I'm number 40. Not in I age, love these. but in that. These are the ones that I've picked out already. Oh, why? So, Tell me everything. Because I just love the appetite. I love Neon Appetite, don't I? It's my fave. I've got a better colour on the other side. I'll turn it over. It's much better this side. Look. Oh. Look how long that's So this is, is the lantern oh cut gosh, again. Extra long though. Is that, is that same cut as the lantern yeah. bead? Yeah. UGGP32, you need to check out real quick, 12 99 that's, that's Brilliant. stuff. Absolute so deal that is. 200 currents of appetite, fancy fusted beads, but it's the same as, it's the same as the lantern cut. And they're 10 by nine to something else, it's gone. Do you know, if we'd have called Africa. them the lantern cut, they'd have been Half the strand with tassels yeah. on the end and 19.99. You know, they're slightly smaller than the, the lantern. Are they? The ones okay. that we've had on the strands. They're slightly smaller, but well, that's great for graduation, here. Let's isn't have a it? Look. I'd say not that smaller. Oh, no. No. They've sold out, Gemma. I love those. We've well, got a treat there, I'm telling you. Now, 33 is me. Oh, it's Amazonite. Everyone's going crazy for Amazonite at the moment. And I love it with pink. And me. So look at this, because I've actually got some Pinsite next to me. So look at the Amazonite first, and then I'll put them together. Because to me, that is just, let's go to a wedding. Look at those together. It's They're lovely, so 1950s it? together, aren't they? So good Love too. it. I actually wouldn't discount pearls with it either. Oh, pearls, pearls and um, Amazonite, just beautiful together. They're so aquatic together, aren't they? Look yeah. at this. And you get that sort of pearly, that pearly... Oh, lovely. Um, feel running through the um, Amazonite anyway. Yeah, little yeah you do strands. somehow. Yeah, like the, it's got these little swirls inside it, hasn't it? Billows. $14.99. Next up is the... Oh, the lantern's in the same. We are spoiling you. This is Chinese Amazonite in Chinese lantern shapes. Uh, these have been taking too low to $7.99. Who did that? There's bleep words going on in my ear there. Be careful, mister. Seven ninety nine, one hundred and eighty carats of Chinese Amazonite. Th th that was yeah. Well, I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> That's amazing, isn't it? It's bleeping amazing. Yes. Seven ninety nine. Will I count them? One, two, three, four, five, ninety nine. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 31, 31. 31 on there. That's not to be missed, is That's it? That's mad, isn't it? Mm. 31. 25 pence. For, that is a fair mad price. 25 pence per... That's <laughs> a little bit naughty naught noughts. Julie, Alison, Vicky, Maker in London, Amanda, Maureen, Tracy, uh, two Tracys actually. I have got Stephanie, I've got Wendy, I've got Linda, I've got Marion, I've got Lorraine, I've got Sally Ann, I've got Terry, Mariam, uh, Vicky. Say that again to me, Rossi. Each stone is 5.8 carats. Each one is 25 pence. 
Oh, it's brilliant value though, isn't it? <laughs> it's that. This is like when you go out yeah. to get something and then you go to the till and they say it's cheaper. Yeah. Brilliant value, totally it natural. Great value, super, 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 super value. Can't argue it, can't argue it. 45, that's what? you, Gem Gem. Oh, more appetite, I think. Pretty sure it is. It's blue zircon. We never get blue zircon. Oh wow! Oh, you can see the rainbows in it now. Oh, it's lovely. Look. Oh, it's gorgeous. April's birth. Oh no, December's birth gemstone yeah. as well, isn't it? Yeah. So thirty-two carats blue zircon. Gemma, look at the price. Fasted tembos, eleven pounds. That's for nothing. Can you see that silvery finish inside? Yeah. Can I see it. Yeah, they're well fiery. They're gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So it's OGIU 54. Eleven pound. Eleven pounds. Perfect. Nuts. That's you, Gemma, number forty-six. Those 46. are sold out and gone. Oh, oh, these are nice. Labradorite squares or flat tiles. Oh, these would be great for the. <gasps> um, these would be great for the um, mosaic that I've just done. They'd be good for <laughs> Egyptian vibes as well, wouldn't they? They would, yeah. Look at that, they're gorgeous. That's they a long are. strand as well. So that's 38 centimetres, 8 millimetres. Each, £8.50. <laughs> IWGP31. This is why everyone loves Viewer's Choice Hour, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, it look. is a little bit bananas. It's now, gorgeous. 31 is next. I believe that's me. Oh, yes, that's that Kunzite I picked up that's lovely. Such a lovely colour, like a blue pink with Kunzite. Mm. Isn't it lovely, that colour? It is. Oh, I love it. It is really, really pretty. Beautiful. Kunzite plain rounds, they're eight millimetre rounds. They, they, you have uh, 190 carats here. ZCG P59 is your item code, 14.99 is your price. Pearl knotting is great with these, but these again with pearls. Mm -hmm. I put it earlier with um, Amazonite. The Amazonite is so wonderful. Lovely. But it's just so regal and so beautiful. What a soft colour. Very summery. Very, very summery. Loads of you there. Message just coming in. Karen's got two. Maxine and Linda. Yorkshire, you've got three. We're just waiting for... We've got lots of messages. Don't forget to keep messaging us. We love hearing from you. There's a really good drill hole size in those as well, isn't there? Yeah, do you know there is? There is. Uh, sorry to be a pain, but could you confirm what is included in the workshop kit? Do we need to buy the grout? Except, yes. Uh, so the workshop kit is uh, bezels. It's the whole kit that we showed you earlier. So bezels, findings, the mosaics. The only thing you need to get separately is the tile adhesive. And the grout. And the grout. Yeah. And you might yeah. get away... No, you do need the tile adhesive because they'll wibble wobble. Yeah, they will. You'll need the tile adhesive or, you know... Something I would else recommend sticky. that, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that. And, and obviously collect up any other bezels and things because you've got plenty. So that's what you get in the kit and the workshop. Um, and it's a four-hour workshop. Four hours, yeah. And, it's, and that will do those plus more. So bring some jam jars and things like that as well along because they're oh, nice cool. to they're nice to mosaic on too well you'll be in your house so you could be like hang on a minute i've just got to go upstairs yeah. I've just remembered i've got something yeah, this is and it. you can tootle off yeah uh, so that's it that, but you can get the rest of it on the you can get the grout on the website now can mm -hmm. you or have you taken it away because it's can i give everyone the code so they can get it the code is w x c 19 WXC19 is your code for that. Now let's have a look at the website because we are buzzing busy. A couple of selenites madly still available. 20 minutes remain. And Karen, you weren't being a pain. No, no question is is a pain. Loads All of, of these that are in the doll are sold out, you know. Mm. So much selling out. And by the way, in 20 minutes' time, all of these deals disappear from the website and you won't see them. You won't see them at these prices. You won't. Right, where to next? That's me, I know. Oh, Mookite, you and I have been a bit Mookite-y today, we haven't have. we? You were like, you got the ump then. Yeah, I'm not going to win this bingo. You might. You've still got 20 minutes. How long have we got, Ben? We've still got minutes. I got... Are these rondelles? Yeah. Oh, they're nice. They're lush, aren't they? We've got yeah. ages yet, Gemma. <laughs> Look at that colour. Look at that sparkle. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? It is. 
It is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. I love Mukai. And look at the, for 9 99 I'd make anklets out of those because I think it's a great anklet strand. That would be pretty. Got ankles out Rosary there. Rosary linked would be nice. Would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah really I'm pretty. a big fan of these. Very much love for these. Gorgeous. Next up is me again, Gemma. I'm so I sorry know. to tell you. But that means you'll get a good run in a oh, minute because I've done most of mine. Oh, I know. I knew you'd love these. Have you ever seen them? <laughs> no. Look at the oh, sheer size of them. But wait, it's not, all, it's not just about the size. No. The size isn't everything. Look. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. They're so powerful. Every one of them is super powerful. I love these. Look, look how great they are. Well, they're lovely, aren't they? Yeah, they're amazing. I love Labradorite. Me Labradorite too, no. is incredible. Look that at this. Even on this shape just really vamps up the mysticism, yeah, well, doesn't it? And it, it's so modern, but yeah. also has got that sort of gothic look to it as mm. well. Even the edges are really... Oh, gosh, it's so annoying when They're I can't huge, show you. are aren't they? Well, I wanted to show you the Labradorescence, which I can... There you, there go. you go. How mad is the Labradorescence even on the edges? It's the madness. Look at that. Number 42, Gemma Crow, that's you. Oh. I can have a little rest now. You've got I at least five. I love these, and I especially love the little tassels on the end. Look at these. What are they? I don't like it. Oh, there you go. It's, on your, it's coming up on your screen. These are Amazonite as well. They're absolutely gorgeous. Look at them. 12 99 They're 14 millimetre rounds. 20 centimetre strands. So that gives you 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yeah, 14. I thought they were jade. You get 15 on there. For Isn't that 12 99 Yeah, what's that? So they're less than a pound each. 17 and a half carats each stone, which is incredible, isn't it? They're absolutely gorgeous. The drill hole is probably about 0.6 mil. So UFP038, 1299. That's amazing. Brilliant value. It is amazing. 43, please, Ooh, Gemma. me as well. That's you again. That's why I got oh. my checks. I've done a run. Rhodochrosite. Or Rhodonite. Oh, I was getting them mixed up. I always, get, I always get those two mixed up. Yeah, too similar. So this is a nice long strand, 38 centimetres, four millimetre rounds, 45 carats of rhodonite, 5.99, IGP 069. Gemma, I They're think if you've got them, look at the, I've got actual antique chains oh, here, which I've never knew we had. Oh, I need those. Yeah, because they will go so well yeah. with those. Because these remind me of like old photographs that you find in a loft, that palette sepia, of colour. Yeah, yeah, sepia. Gorgeous. Is that gone? Nearly gone, yeah. nearly gone. Yeah. Oh, we're actually over allocated. Beautiful. So I'm going to give you the chain because we haven't had any antique bronze chain in time and a half. No, I couldn't find any whatsoever in my stash to make up one of the pieces I wanted to make up. She wants one. <laughs> <laughs> These are nice. Wow, a nice. black curb. Yeah, they're lush. They look, look, look. Yeah, curb chain. Look. Oh, we're calling it rose gold, but I'd call that antique bronze, would you? Yeah, well, it's, it's actually quite copper, coppery yeah. rather than rose gold. Yeah, I wouldn't call it rose gold. I'd call it some... I don't know what I'd call it. I'd put that with my bare copper pendants. Isn't it lovely? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Well, it's got real rose gold on it. That can't be argued. But I love that. I love these. Mm. They're very nice. Yeah, I think they're fabulous. I wouldn't say it was, to be honest, they're calling it a fine curb chain. It's not. It's not fine. It's that's actually quite, quite chunky. chunky. Yeah. yeah. So that's an incorrect description there. Well, I think these are lovely. Yeah. And actually, if you saw these on the website and you, you think they were really, really fine, but they're not, that could be masculine. Yeah, no, they're, they are quite chunky. They're quite And robust. I think they have to be in that colour. I love chunky, robust chains sometimes, don't you? Yeah, all the time. Well, I like, well, I, I like a fine, I told you I got my, I wanted my chain, it was too long, you were right. Yeah. Needed a 14 inch, didn't yeah. I? To go on my throat dip. Now, the dip in your throat. 6 99 buys you five chains there. Great value. Which number's now, sorry? 24, that's 24. Me. Oh, that's Gemma Crow. It's more pink. Everybody's liking uh, the pink gems today. Pink opal. This is what I thought would look nice with the Amazonite. These are gorgeous. Completely natural, Peruvian opal, 
ARRUO8. 9.99. Oh, that's gorgeous. I've got some blue here that would go nicely with that. Do you want to put them next to it? You do the blue as well in a minute. I think the blue. So I think if you put them next to each other, they yeah, look gorgeous. Yeah, well, the opals, the, the texture of it works, doesn't it? When you've got the two types of, the two colours of opal together, they look great together. And, and because they're baby colours together, like yeah. baby pink and baby blue. Yeah, they're ideal. That ideal. would make a lovely christening gift. It would. It would, or a reveal. Reveal. <gasps> Gender reveal! <laughs> That was really never good. a thing when, like, like oh, no. I don't really get it. Like, do the parents not know what the gender is either? That's and whoever no bakes the cake knows or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how it works, but it's just another thing, isn't it? But I don't yeah, know, but I'm, I'm quite excited by it. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather wait until the actual time. No way, I'm way too impatient. But, what, yeah. did you just wait? Yeah. I tried everything with Mia. I had a scan, she was crossing her legs. I did the, did the thingy and they said it was a girl, so I was like, right, well, that's it then. It's a girl or nothing. <laughs> and then I did nothing. find help with Max. Oh, I, could, I was too impatient. One. Nine months of not knowing. Not happening. Oh, I, I didn't want to know. Right, it's CX... I've got this one too, so it's CXR U87 799 Blue Opal. 45 carats, graduated, smooth rounds, 5mm to 8mm. What's the drum hole like on them? strand. Oh, they look lovely with your jade. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. I, I love opal, and I, I love it in all varieties, actually. The drill hole is actually quite good. It's, um, it's about a 0 0.6, I would reckon. You could get through there. So your standard head pins, threaded materials. There you go. I've got number 30, Gemma. That Sorry to disappoint box. you. Now, again, if you were doing Gemma's... Uh, God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> There's a lot of sneezing going on there. Smith, twelve ninety nine again. We we're, we're doing mad things. We are mad. We are the madness when it comes to opal at the moment. We cannot, really are. Cannot get over that. Look at that. And and this again, if you want to recreate Gemma's masterpiece, it's on Gemma. Is it on your guest designer yeah. page or is it? On, so Gemma yeah. guest designer Gemma Crow, but also give her a like on Crow's Mojo. And, and an Instagram follow, please. I'm looking to build my Instagram. Please tell me, because I'm always on Instagram. <laughs> Gemma Crow Jewelry. That's Gemma it. Crow Jewelry. I'm yeah. following you Babble Dabble on yeah. Instagram. And you follow Gemma Crow so Jewelry. So, at Gemma Crow Jewelry. Yeah. Gemma is with a G. I'm at Ginevra, which is J-E-N-E-V-R-A. Yeah. Gemma Crow Jewelry. Give us a follow, please. Yeah, I need the follows I on Instagram. I love the Insta. Then I can do other things on there, then. Yeah, Thanks. I do the same. I, do, I put all my stuff from home on there as well. It's like, because a lot of people try, like, will throw and request me on my personal page on Facebook, but I can't accept those because we're not allowed. Mm. Because, you know, I could have views or do, you know, anything. I can't, I'm not allowed to do that view. Yeah. But I can on my Instagram because... It's different. It's different. <laughs> it's different. P-E-S. So if you have friend requested me on Facebook and you're a jewelry maker customer and I haven't um, accepted it, it's because we're not allowed. And I'm so, I'm so sorry. We do, we're just not allowed. Twelve ninety nine. Is the price? Yes, let's do the pearls. I love those. Yeah. Are these real pearls? Or are they uh -huh. shell pearls? They're massive, oh. aren't they? Lovely. I just assumed they were shell pearls. No. They're like antique. Look, they look like antique pearls that your grandmother would have handed well, they, down to you. They just look too perfect for me. They're, they're like Cartier's, yeah. darling, aren't they? They do oh. look amazing. Fabulous. Look at these. Oh, they wow. are. Amazing. On split pay at 32.49 as well. Love a bit of split pay me. My whole life's on split pay. Love these. I love them. <coughs> they're the big, they're gorgeous. round, they're expensive looking, they're elegant, they're sophisticated, they're classy, they're Audrey Hepburn, they're Marilyn Monroe. Mm. They, they, they just are, aren't they? Yeah, they are beautiful. The colour's so, I don't know, demure. It's just lovely, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Gorgeous. Wendy, you've got yours. Charmaine, Margaret. Sue in Bristol and Karen, you've also got yours. Well done. They're the right size as well, aren't they? <coughs> for a twin set. A little, yes. yeah. little doobie doobie. I don't know, they're Gorgeous. quite luxury. It's me. That's 21. you. Ooh. <gasps> Saucer beads, absolutely gorgeous. Rubies, the rubies. 
Oh, I love rubies. them. Oh, are these the ones I've got? Banana. Oh, rubies. They are rubies. Ruby fussed oh, sauces. I love Gemma, oh. I've got these. I love them. Aren't they pretty? I made a stacker bracelet out of them, but my class broke it at home. How amazing would they be around your ankle? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I just love thinking so they much. look great rode up with my other stretches as well. Yeah, they do. Look at the colour saturation on that, though. It's I lush, know. isn't it? It's that real raspberry, yeah. coolie sort of colour, isn't it? And Perfect. the sauces sit so nicely in between rinds, or any shape, actually. They just sit perfectly, don't they? Yeah. And they'll, they'll go around a bench, so they'll go around your cabbage. I love these mm. little sauces. I, yeah. I, do you know what these look good on? If you are on Instagram as well... Hoop earrings going around the outside yeah. or around the inside of hoop earrings. Yeah. Look amazing. Oh, gold, of course, because you know I don't mix anything but gold with rubies. Yeah. I don't be. like rubies and silver. It's the only thing it's I won't do with gems. So you love it. I won't have it, will I? No. Don't I'm... be coming at me with your silver and your rubies. No. Nine gold. minutes until all these deals uh, disappear. How, many, how long have we got left on the show, Benny? Ben silent. Okay, we've got a rush. Look at these. The largest are $17.99. Then I've got the middleiest, but I'm going to show you in a minute. And then I've got the smallest, but I want you to see that you can make that graduated piece. Lots in baskets. Eight and a half minutes to get them. Look at that chatoyancy. Ben, I actually, can... actually feel like you need to put sunglasses on. Ben, just exactly. Really bright Bring the lights light. down, Ben. Let's see these babies glow even more. Look at that. Now we're going to do the middling. I'm just keeping them together at the moment because I think they belong together. And I think most of you that have mm. bought the larger have also gone in and bought the size down and the size down after that. $14.99. In eight minutes' time, these will disappear. We don't know when or if you'll see them again. If they sell out, then you won't. It's stock versus clock. So these are the ones that are on your screen right now. And those are the eight mil. One of the most versatile, they've gone limited stock, the eight mil, which means that mm. we've less than 10% of the stock. To be fair, I thought they would all sell out really, really. I, I, I can't believe there's any stock left of any of them whatsoever. No, it's amazing. Uh, really, it really is. It really is. Lots and lots and lots of you there. It's great to see you. It's lovely to have your company here today. Uh, next seven and a half minutes. Then let's go with the wee ones. Very limited. Oh, these are very <laughs> limited. These went under. Sorry, I don't know why I sounded like a donkey then. <laughs> Was it a donkey? I don't know. Very limited, darlings. This is your final, if these were an aeroplane, it'd be your final call. We are now boarding for the limited stock express. Oh, do you remember I'm hearing that? Those. Your final boarding call and you're in the shop and you go, drat, run! run. <laughs> and then you get there and there's about a million people in the queue and you're like, ugh, panic for nothing. Yes. I wish I could have gone back for that vodka. <laughs> 9.99 TQG B84, final call on these ones, final call, loads of you. We've got so many in unchecked baskets. I'm going to be checking some out if we've got time after we finish. Well, you better hurry up because you're, you've got to meet, you've got to beat Sally to it. You've got to beat Elizabeth, Maker in Cumbria. These are all unchecked baskets. Sarah in Nottingham, Karen, Helen, Denise, Julie with two, Anita, Barbara, Jane, Anne, Anne Marie, Constance in Devon. Loads of them. Number 14, is that you or me? That's, That's me. you, darling. <clears throat> and it's Black Spinel. Oh, and oh, oh, it's what? It's, Oh, it is. Sapphire. Sapphire? But it felt a bit heavy, actually. Did you think it was spinel because it's so well, sparkly? Because it's so sparkly, I just assumed, yeah. Oh, my goodness, that's oh gorgeous. Oh, my gosh, I just said, oh, no, look at the deep, that is deep, <laughs> You can see the maybe. blue now. <gasps> you can see it's like I've a, never seen that. That's beautiful. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, Gemma, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. 30 carats, Chinese sapphire frosted <sighs> round, three millimetres, oh, 12.99. That's gorgeous. Oh, Gemma, that would be amazing with the ruby. I know. It's amazing. Oh, I've got Gorgeous. 15. Right, OK. You've got 15. It's, yeah, smaller Same size. Difference. Two millimetre faceted rounds of that gorgeous sapphire. That is the deepest, most midnight blue. Oh, it's incredible. Oh, I love 7 that. 99 That is, <laughs> do you know, that's a joke price, that is. It's not even, it, I know. it shouldn't even be looked at. It's sapphire. That's a silly price. It's, Put it's, it next to them rubies, Gem Gem, will you please, darling? Let's have a look. Because that, for me, is goals. Yeah. 
I mean, that's lovely. Look at those two together. Oh, I it love that. It is lovely that. together, isn't it? Beautiful. That's just mad. Seven yeah. ninety. Who's making these prices up? They've gone and sold out, Gemma. Of course they have. Of course they have. That's it. Oh, but we got time for one more before we go. It's me again. It's you again. Right, have looking. you bingoed yet? I feel like you've bingoed. This is natural lapis lazuli. Look at the colour of that. Is this not graded then? Because I thought this one had been graded. Four ninety <laughs> silly nine. That's absolutely. That is natural. Look at the length. Thirty-eight centimetres. That Why is, is it that price though? Because next time when you see it, it's actual price. No one's <coughs> going to buy it because they think it's four ninety nine. It shouldn't be ever that price. That's you beautiful. know that earring design we were talking about. Yeah. How cool would they look with that? Yeah, perfect. Around in the ho in the hoop. Just so amazing. Gorgeous. Now, so. my darlings, everything is about to, the selenite is about to disappear. Everything is about to disappear off the website. Ross is going to stay over and he's going to be loading more fabulous deals onto the uh, web for you. Tomorrow morning, the gorgeous Carol wakes you up. And I can't for the life of me remember who she was prepping with on her Facebook, but I did give it a like. Go and have a look. I think she's got the diamonds, hasn't she? Go and have a look on Carol's page. Then she's followed by Zena. You're going to have a fantastic day tomorrow. Thank you so much, Gemma Crow. Oh, when are you back, darling? You. I'm back on Saturday after Argentian, so at 11 o'clock. You're going to have a super weekend. Yeah. So you've only got one day in between. We'll yeah. see Gemma in a day's time. I'll see you on Tuesday. I'm not in on Monday, but I am in on Tuesday. Uh, so I'll see you then. Did you guys know that? I'm not in on Monday. Just in case you didn't know that. There we go. Uh, TQG P84. I will see your gorgeous faces on Tuesday. Remember, early deals from 7 o'clock, but deals over on the website right now. Jewelry Makers, it's our 11th birthday. And we're celebrating for 11 days. Yeah, you heard right. 11 days. Jam-packed, full of amazing products, including... <gasps> Marla Notting Kits, Tourmaline Showcases, Gallery Wire with Claire, Brand New Packaging, Argentium, Acrylic, Acrylic Pouring, Oh, Jade Showcases, Swarovski Closeout Deals, New Amber Collections, Alex the Mineral Man, We've got Connoisseurs, Glenn Lehrer is launching his unique gemstone cut, Natural Diamonds with Dan, Milliput with Gemma, Burmese, Burmese Amber, <gasps> is that all of it? Is that? That's not all of it. No, there's so much more. We can't even fit it into this promo. I guess you better just tune in starting Saturday, the 1st of May from 8am. Make sure you're there. Oh my goodness, I need a drink after that. Amongst the many exciting things, jewellery makers, that we have coming up tomorrow, we also have brand new connoisseurs arriving and being brought to screens in the 11 o'clock hour. Perfect for all of your jewellery cleaning needs. In the 12 o'clock hour, we have Miori, which is a premium brand for all of your storage, looking after your gemstones and your jewellery making stash. So make sure you're with me. It's 11 o'clock for your connoisseurs and 12 o'clock for your Miori. So it's birthday and always what do we do on birthday week is we have something new. So on Thursday we will be bringing, or I will be bringing, paint pouring to you. Now you may have seen paint pouring on the great big canvases and amazing works of art, but I'm going to be downscaling and bringing it to you in your jewellery creations. I cannot wait to show you how effective it is. Really hope you can join me in the afternoon from 1pm. Happy 11th birthday, jewellery maker. And after the year that we've all had, the best thing for us is to celebrate in style. Happy birthday, jewellery maker, 11 years old. Wow, that time has completely flown. What an amazing birthday event we've got for you this year. On behalf of myself and everyone else in the gemstone trade, happy birthday, jewellery maker. To make this year's celebration the best one yet, we invited my good friend and world-renowned gem artist, Glenn Lehrer, to come and join in the celebration. Unfortunately, because of travel restrictions, Glenn can't join us live in the studio. So, 
I'm going to step in, I'm going to invite Glenn to come in on Skype, and we're going to have a party as we launch the world famous lapidarist Glenn Lehrer's Taurus Ring to Jewelry Maker for the first time ever. Join us this coming Friday as part of our birthday celebrations here at Jewelry Maker. We have invited some extra special guests for you. We will be joined by Daniel Raphael, our diamond man, and you just wait and see what he's got in store for you. And phoning in from Poland will be the adorable, wonderful Marius, who has some extra special brand new amber pieces for you. So make sure you join us this coming Friday, the 7th of May, here at Jewelry Maker. Happy birthday to everyone at Jewelry Maker. It has been an amazing 11 years and I look forward to everything that we've got coming up in the future. For everyone at home, I just want to say congratulations to all of you that have been involved with Jewelry Maker for the last 11 years and I can guarantee you the next 11 are going to be just as special. Did you know that we are live every day from 8 a.m. through to 5 p.m.? We can be watched on Sky, Freesat and Virgin. You can also watch us on Freeview SD from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. and Freeview HD from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Or you can join us online at www.jewelrymaker.com or download our app from the App Store. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. I know, I know, I know, I know, Jewelry Makers, how excited you are for this morning. Um, I've often said on air that Thursday morning has most definitely become my favorite day of the week because we have, we learn so much, don't we, from the knowledge that uh, Jake brings. But this show is going to be doubly exciting. Here in the studio, it's Jake Thompson. Good morning, Al, and good morning to you. Happy birthday, jewelry maker. It's an absolute pleasure to be with you this Thursday morning. My name is Jake Thompson, uh, the Gempori Partnership's lead gemstone investor. And on Thursday mornings, what I try and do is I try and give you access to the trade information, to the trade deals and pricing on, on certain gemstones, and access really to gemstones that the quality of which has never featured here on Jewelry Maker before. However, this morning is unlike any other as we celebrate as we celebrate Jewelry Maker turning 11 years old because. It, it, it's really today, it, it, it's not about a particular stone, it's not about the knowledge that I'm able to bring you. I'm going to be learning with you um, as we all take one of the most privileged, one of the most sought after masterclasses in the gem world. We hear directly from my good friend, live from California, uh, Glenn Lehrer, award winning lapidary artist. We're going to be talking all about Glenn's story. But Glenn, have we got you live in the studio? I'm here. Can you hear me? Hey, good evening, buddy. <laughs> really, we can hear you loud. We can hear you clear. Uh, and I know I talk on behalf of, of, of Elle, everyone here at the Jewelry Maker team, and indeed the wider jewelry making community, to say we are honored and privileged to have you joining us this birthday event. So thank this you so great. much for that. I know we've talked a lot about uh, a lot about this show. Um, we've been we've been working on this now for for close to six months. I, I think I've got it right. About six months we've been working on this show, Glenn, together, uh, you and I. And and before we really dive into the gemstone, Glenn, um, obviously Glenn and I are good friends. We've known each other for seven years now. Seven years. Wow, that time's gone really quickly. And, uh, and, and, and Glenn, so I know a lot about your story, but for, for, for everyone else who, who might not be as familiar with you, um, I think one of the most shocking things that I heard when I first met you, Glenn, was how you weren't taught at any school. And, and, and what we're going to be seeing a lot today is, is stuff that was entirely self-taught. So, I mean, we're going back a long time, but Glenn, can you try and take us back right to the beginning of your incredible journey uh, and, and really talk about that journey that was so unorthodox and has produced so many unorthodox cutting styles. Okay, I'll try to keep it short. Um, I started out as an artist and um, 
really didn't really know what I wanted to do. And when I had traveled, come back from traveling around the world, um, I, my brother handed me a piece of polished quartz crystal and I uh, just started playing with it. Like, wow, this is really different. What am I going to do with this? You know, I really want to learn like this. So I started looking for teachers and there weren't really any teachers here in America. There was no schools. And so I ran out, bought stone lapidary equipment, and I, not knowing anything, I started carving. And 10 years in, I realized I really was passionate about this. And if it, during the same 10 years, I went, went back to uh, college and studied mineralogy, crystallography, and geology to understand the medium I was working and also then further went on and got my chromology degree because it was the first art form that I, I realized it in, required a, my, a scientific background. So it was one of those art forms where science and art met together. And then I knew I was really into a lifetime learning experience. And then um, about 10 years into all this, with all this education and background, I went off to Eder Oberstein. You can see in the upper uh, right-hand corner there, me actually on one of the old traditional lapidary wheels. And, um, um, I, and, and actually, because I self-taught everything, the Germans found this very unique and very unorthodox themselves that this guy who was self-taught knew what he was doing already, started to invite me back to Oberstein to actually be, you know, study at the studio. This was a rare thing back in the They never led foreigners, especially those that never really ever went to school. So they allowed somebody like this to work in their studio. But it, the timing, meeting the right people was truly a rare experience where I started going back to Edo every year and spending two to three weeks in the studios of these masters. And that's how it all evolved. And then coming from a very untraditional lapidary, what, and being an artist, I knew that what I did it had to be something that nobody had ever seen before or had ever been done before. And that's my, my rise to acknowledgement and, and how do you say, my fame, I, you know, not to try to be too arrogant about it, but my fame came from the fact that everything that I produced was unique and one-off and never seen before. Oops. And I think that course rate was really like the, the kind of the, the crescendo of that. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, Glenn, I, I know you to be an incredibly humble man, so don't worry, I, it's, it's not, I mean, I, if anything, I'll sing your praises, because, because you, you, you took this, this, this unique uh, perspective, learned from Edar Oberstein, was self-taught, and then enhanced, and that mutual exchange of knowledge back in Edar Oberstein, and, and, and came back and started winning award after award after award, and I can say that because 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 I I, I I know you're too humble to say that, but I know how many awards you have won, uh, and quickly built a reputation as this award-winning, ingenuitive, and innovative, um, really master that blends these lapidary techniques and carving techniques together. Uh, and this is just a selection of, of the, I mean, these are some of the some of the bigger awards, the the, the AGTA First Place Award. Uh, and, and this incredible, incredible uh, placing piece from 2009. But I know that that's just a handful of the many, many awards that were that were won um, around that time. And and, and it didn't take long, um, Glenn, before you started becoming a regular fitting in, in, in pretty much every um, article, every magazine uh, going. And I've got some of the uh, I've got some of the archive footage. I hope I'm not embarrassing you here, Glenn. Uh, but you know, no, okay. featuring you. featuring on three covers of Lapidary Journal, and it wasn't just Lapidary Journal. It, trade shows like the Basel World uh, and other trade shows would feature your pieces on the front. 
Uh, and, 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 and I imagine if, if, if there were a library of magazines that you featured on and, and, and covered on, uh, you know, again, here's another two. And, and on the left here, we've got, um, I, I don't know if you can see this, Glenn, so I'm just going to talk you through it. There's, a, there's a, yeah. a, a, a copy of California Geology featuring on the front cover the, uh, the awesome, the awesome and inspiring uh, sculpture of, uh, of the Bahia in the GIA. Bahia. Um, and, and we'll talk about, we'll, we'll come on to the Bahia uh, in, in, in a few moments if I could. Uh, but just before we do, uh, there, there is no area really, I think, of, of, of jewellery making that, that, that hasn't really been a huge fan of your, of, of, of your incredible artwork. I mean, professional jewellery, it's not just the lapidary world, it's not just the, uh, you know, ju just the, uh, the trade shows, professional jeweller, and of course then Gems and Gemology, the GIA's, the Gemological Institute of America's quarterly journal featuring your pieces on the front cover. But, but, but if I could, let's come back to bit here because that's really the, the school